Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man and first time special guest, Michael. How's it going, guys? Hello, everyone. Hey, yo. What's up? Yeah, so today marks the 10th anniversary of Twilight Princess released in North America for the GameCube. Wow, really? One of my favorite games of all time. Oh, yeah, definitely. I had this game in reserve for a year and a half because it kept getting pushed back. And it, I had it in reserve at EB Games, and then by the time I got it out, I think it was GameStop. <laughs> yeah, I miss EB Games. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah those should, were the days. It should be ECW Games. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true, because ECW Wrestling Games actually sucked. But anyway... Yeah, this game, man, I mean, so much hype and anticipation for this one, and it truly lived up to all the hype. I was a part of the Zelda MSN group that has so many members, and we all just talked about it and hyped it up, and watched for spoilers, and warned people not to post any spoilers, or if they did, post a warning. Uh, it took me a year to finally fully play through this whole game, because I just had a busy year, and then I... I always love this howling at the title, it's so epic. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and I'd li also like to add, uh, this was one of the two reasons why I actually bought a Nintendo Wii. That's cool. And I... Uh, and everything's opposite on the yeah. Nintendo Wii. Yeah. <laughs> and the night I got this, I was getting ready to play it. Or the day I got it, I was getting ready to play it the afternoon. And my boss called me into work. I'm like, oh, but I liked him. I liked the job. And I said, I got plenty of time to play this at night, so... I got to play it all night, and oh man, it just reminds me of Ocarina of Time when I first played it. Just that first time you sit down and play it, you were really to get drawn into the story and everything. It's real epic. It's, a, it's it's essentially Ocarina of Time on steroids. Yep, exactly. Good point. Without that stupid owl. Yeah. Oh yeah, and a stupid. Yeah, well, you don't have a fairy, like... but you got a Midna who's kind of annoying, but not as she's at least more witty and more charismatic. I like her. Freaking Navi. Yeah. Um, oh wait! Screw the screw the owl. What about the damn fairy in Ocarina of Time? I, I was gonna say that <laughs> Navi sucked. <laughs> um, but, Ronnie, but, uh, listen, listen. Yeah. Hey, listen. Um, uh, see this right here. Th this this is the game where I found out that not all Zelda games are like sequels to one another or whatever. Because I seen this right here, and he tells Link right here. So this is your first time going to Hyrule Castle Town, is it? This is going to be your first time meeting Zelda. And I'm thinking, no, it's not. That's Link you're talking to, dude. Do you not know who this is? This is the Hero of Time. Isn't this a sequel? And then people on the MSN Zelda community said, no, here's what's going on. They explained to me the what was unofficial at the time, the timeline, and how these beings are like Zelda, Ganon, and Link are reincarnated spirits. and not the exact same original characters. Um and all that stuff so that's where i learned he's retired he's now living a simpler life yeah and I, all I'm, i can say is the abgn confused the hell out of me with his timeline <laughs> <laughs> that is wonder. one of my favorite videos he's ever done yeah. yes Agreed. i have to wonder though is opponent also a reincarnation perhaps yeah I'd like to remember, think so. Remember the April Fool's joke like 10 years ago when they said uh, they're going to make a futuristic Zelda game and there's going to be a motorcycle, an F-Zero type motorcycle <laughs> where it's like a, a Pona? <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I tried to watch it on YouTube a few years ago, but they made everything upside down. The Legend of Zelda oh, Blade yeah. Runner. I, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it really turned our world upside down. All right, so Twilight Princess starts off slow. Go ahead. They really flipped the script. Yeah. Um, so Twilight Princess right here starts off slow and boring at first, but it does get much more interesting. I always love the relationship between Link and the kids in this game. Yeah. But then uh, Chris Hansen had to have Link take a seat. And, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you. I'm curious about this. <laughs> oh, come, Link, watch that Link. Take Link. a seat right here. Link, I need you to have a seat I, right here. You know, I don't see anybody taking a seat over there, though. Uh, Link, you say right Put here. Put sword down. Link, you say right here. I want to use my master sword on you. Oh. What is up with that? 
No, actually, that wouldn't be true because Link never talks. I, I didn't mean to show up here. Is this okay? Well, well, going on timeline, I was kind of wondering this when we, you know, we we did this before, but okay, anyways, um, like, does Link live inside of the Great Deku Tree? Hmm. 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 I never thought about that. Well, the nut doesn't fall too far from the tree. Oh, I fail. <laughs> Welcome to the Ronnie uh, Pun Fest. Right. Let's play Pun Mower for uh, PC. I don't know. Now you're trying too hard. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and so right well, here. Ronnie doesn't uh, make a good exit like George Costanza. So. Yeah, I don't go out uh, <laughs> on top. On a high note. Yep. Yeah, on a high note, yeah. All right, so Link right here is pretty much the beginning of the game. We're just learning how to do stuff. Doing his power lifting. Man, yeah. <laughs> I always thought that was weird how rupees just pop out from underneath rocks. Yeah, I wish that happened in real life. <laughs> See, the thing one is, thing, one thing I don't, one thing about this game that's annoying though is every time you restart it, it like the rupee will pop up again like you got it for the first time. Yeah, that's annoying. I remember I got into an argument with someone on the Zelda MSN group, and actually I didn't really know. I think I said something like, well, there's no such thing as rupees in real life. And someone goes, yes, there is. There are rupees in real life in India. And, and, which they're right, but the way they flipped out as fanboys, I'm like, okay, calm down. Jeez. Well, that's what you get, Ronnie. <laughs> what, what That's I right. For what? Don't you know, Ron? You got to make sure all your facts are right on the internet. Right. <laughs> Pretty horsey. And this is oh, I forgot her name. I guess we'll find out here in a second. I Ilya, I think. Oh yeah. Did I tell you All to wash my horse? All she does is nag you and eventually forget you. Yeah. He's got the uh, I would totally bang you look. The what? Ayatollah of rock and roller? What? Actually, uh, what you said was better than what I said, so. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what you I was just saying that I would bang the horse. No big deal. Quit horsing around, Jay Man. Um, well, I mean, it's time to blow some grass. Yeah. You get it. Well, I, I mean, you get. A piece that's of what grass. she said. You get a piece of grass instead of getting a piece of ass. So. Yeah. As long as you get one of those two things, it's all good. Yeah. All right, so now we get to ride the right horsey. Nobody rides for free. And a peanut, uh, yeah, Epona is like, you better pass me that shit. Yeah, so, <laughs> so as you ride, sorry, as you ride on Mr. Red here, you gotta talk to some more people in the village. Put some peanut butter on my lips. Yeah. Damn it. So welcome to Let's Play Mr. Red for the GameCube. So you play as Wilbur and yeah. Mr. Red. In today's episode, he'll be herding goats. Yeah. <laughs> No, Wilbur. Uh, how do you play this game? Uh, uh, uh. I hated that damn goat thing, by the way. Yeah, I didn't like that part of the game either. I guess, I don't know what the point that was to get you to learn how to ride a pony better. I, I don't know. I guess. They make you do it twice, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, okay, the second time is fine. I don't, but like the first time, I disagree with it. Too early in the game, it, you know, it should have been like a side quest or something. Yeah. Well, you can you can do it a third time for a heart piece. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Well, it should have been just one time for a heart piece, and then maybe like fifty rupees or you know some shit like that. Yeah. Maybe like a bigger uh, quill, you know. I wish you could run at a full gallop through this village and just trample everything. Yeah. You evil bastard. <laughs> <laughs> So there's the mayor of Orton or Randy Orton Village, wherever we're at. Yep. Doubles as a sumo wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to, like, sit in the middle of the ring. Or outside yeah. the ring. Yeah. 
All right, so now we can do the most fun part of the game. Herd of goats. Ugh. Yeah, talk about getting your goat. <laughs> or Randy Orton. I don't know Ranch. why your your puns always make me laugh. I don't know what that says about me, but it's true. It's so bad that it makes people laugh. Like, oh, jeez, shut up. <laughs> you sound like Bear there for a minute. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You're making a horse's ass out of yourself. Right. Yeah. So he's talking to the head horse right here. I guess the uh, leader of this ranch. Now we got to herd the goats to the barn. Oh, he called you Bud. Yeah. Was Burhan the commentary? Get it, Bud. Or, uh, I love Mr. how they Mr. attack Mr. you. Mr. Oh, Mr. Leahy, right yeah. Mr. Leahy commentating on Let's Play. Oh, get it. Come on, Randy. You got to herd the goats in the barn, Bud. You got to catch all the rickies. Yeah. I love how it says goat in. It's so cheesy. Yeah, goat in. It's, yeah, it's like it's like goat in. A yeah. winner is you. Come on. Yeah. Uh oh. That one's pissed. Oh, ouch. Wait, you can, you can whoop with A. You can whoop. Man. Come on, goat. Whoop. Get in there. Were you raised in a barn? Hey, uh, shut yeah. the Push the A button. And, yeah. Push the A button and do your best Chris Berman impersonation. <laughs> what? I, I got it. I got it, man. It, it went, over, whoosh, went over my head. I feel sorry for you, Ronnie, if you don't know who Chris Berman is. No, I know who Chris Berman is. I don't get the joke. Just go, I got go with you two. I, I yeah. got it. I got it. I'll so. look it up. I'll look it up. Chris Berman, the A button. Yeah, somehow. No. <laughs> okay. It's the whoop. Oh, whoop. Oh, that's the saying, like, this team gave right. that team the whoop or something. Yeah, he, he, he <laughs> got the ball. He keeps running. Whoop. Oh, okay. I, I remember. I've, I've heard that before. So it's funny for two seconds. That's that right. I've I seen the longest yard. I get it. All right. So, no. yeah, and whatever you seen the replacements. All right, so thankfully, got that sorry part of the game over with. Well, don't remember. Uh, don't remember. I'm just gonna shut up for now. <laughs> Well, don't remember to save your game. Okay. To subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that shit. You've been, you've been playing a while. Why don't you take a break? Right, yeah. We've been playing for 13 minutes, and you didn't do much at all. Would you like to take a break? That was only 13 <laughs> minutes? What? Yep. Yep. All right, so that is the end of part one of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. See you guys later. I'm Ron Moore. Uh, this I'm is, Michael. This is a, a, a conspiracy. Yeah. Yep. God bless and take care. Whoop. <laughs> yep. Whoop. Whoop. There take care, is. everyone. Whoop. Whoop. Big Goldberg. I fail. <laughs>
Now, mind you, this was at something like 7 in the morning, so it was early enough where they should have still had them, but the Wii was selling like crazy. Yeah. So I finally go to Toys R Us, and it turns out that they weren't going to actually open up until 10 o'clock, and that I was there early by three hours. And they hand me a ticket and said, hey, you can get the system at 10 o'clock, just come back here and let us know, show us the ticket. So, I ended up getting the Wii and Twilight Princess at the same time, and it was magic. Yeah, I had my copy in reserve when it was EB Games in June 2005, but as you know, it got pushed back and pushed back, and so I did not get it until December 2006, and by that time it was GameStop. Yeah, so that guy right there, uh, that wuss, now we're going to go talk to his wife at the shop here, and... And wait, well, wake up. Hello? Hello, can I get service here? <laughs> she's depressed. She doesn't want to give you service. What's she so depressed about? Ah, oh, her cat's missing. So she is depressed about her cat missing. And so, we need to go out and find it before we can get any further with her. It seems to be a common theme in games, finding the lost cat. Yeah. I've seen memes on Facebook where it shows a cat in a spotlight and it says, Your gaming instincts tell you that you have a side quest. This cat may have a side quest for you. <laughs> but yeah, I've waited a long, long time. Not long, long ranch. Long, long time for this game to come out and I didn't have the Wii at the time so I got the GameCube version which I preferred because I was still sketchy on the Wii's controls and I said ah, I feel more comfortable playing this game on the GameCube. Uh, get out of here Terry Taylor. Hey. What the heck? Who's calling me? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Halloween's over dude. Halloween's been over for a while so... <laughs> Looks like uh, Sean Stasiak a bit longer hair and a wrestling reference. Longer hair or longer forehead rather. Oh, so is that? Yeah, that's the missing cat. Yeah, they can. Have you heard of a catfish? So let me jump on these things here. And what I need to do here is get that cradle for that woman that I talked to a few minutes ago. And in order to do that, see that monkey has a cradle. So now i got to call Mr. Owl. Th thankfully not the owl from Ocarina of Time. And, or, or not an owl. What is this? Uh, eagle? A hawk? Hawk, yeah. I hawk. I, I said owl. Um, yeah, so summon this hawk here. And, yeah, go get that cradle for me. Go fetch that cradle. Should you really give the cradle back to the lady if she lost it by letting a, uh, letting a monkey steal it? I mean, is she really a responsible parent? <laughs> well, I mean, those monkeys are annoying, so... It's probably hard to stop them if they try to get something. Then there's more than one monkey in this game. And there'll be a lot of monkeying around later on. And So right here, we got the cradle back and uh. okay so now I gotta follow her back to her house I <laughs> just <laughs> Like tossing it around, like hurry up! <laughs> well, she's pregnant. She can't help it. She gotta walk slow. <laughs> ah, nice! I got the fishing rod. Now I can do fishing just like I did in Ocarina of Time. Link looks so mesmerized by it. Whoa, a fishing rod! Dude! I think Link is just easily excited. Yeah. Everything gets... Da -da -da -da! You get a rupee. 
Do you think that Steam plays in his head when he picks things up? Just like, he's kind of crazy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where am I going here? I need to go where... where the cat is. Which he should be around behind this house somewhere. There he is, or she, whatever it is. No, don't fall in the water, you idiot. Go fishing. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I go fishing by getting in the water and just grabbing it with my bare hands. All right, here we go. Something fishy's going on here. I'm fishing for likes here on YouTube. I'm sure that's a very efficient method. All right. All right, and hey! Wait a minute! Douchebag cat, where you going my fish? Oh wait! Uh, I just went. Oh, it went back to its owner's house. Oh, good. Let's see if she'll be in a much better mood this time. Oh, cool! Get free milk, which means I have a bottle. And also use it for energy later if necessary. Now, how many bottles are in this game? I forgot. Four. Oh, okay, sounds about right. I guess Fairly four. certain there's four. Pretty much four in all Zelda games, I guess. Um, except for Majora's Mask, where you get six. Oh, okay. Well, I need to get that slingshot, but I gotta do some grinding first before I can do that. It costs 30 rupees. All these pumpkins around it. Halloween's over. What? Oh, shut up. Alright, so almost done here grinding. Yep, got 30. Now I can get the slingshot. Can I beat this game in one hour? Not by a slingshot. Oh, fail. Well, actually, long shot. Rather, that's in this game too, right? Long shot. Yes, um, something of that, something of that accord. Not quite long shot. Yeah. I guess we'll see, right? Yeah. Never know. I think there I is. I have a, not played this game. There's an old Nintendo Power joke where it says, "How did Link score the goal in basketball with a hook shot?" Do I want to know the answer? No, I just said it with a hook shot. Oh. With a hook shot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm blonde. <laughs> and, all right, so now we got the slingshot. Nice. All right, with 50 pellets or seeds or whatever. All right, so let's get out of here and move on. Clearly, I don't have the Triforce of Wisdom. <laughs> I need the Triforce of Courage to get through this game, or and Wisdom, because I, I forgot, man. It's been a long time. I mean, geez, I probably haven't beat this game since 2007, 2008. Oh, well, now watch out. I'm going to jump in the water so the bees can't get me. Did you ever realize that the letters for the Triforce, that stand for the Triforce, is P, C, and W? Oh, Power, courage, wisdom. I never, never thought of that. So, yeah, P, C, W is E, C, W. Yeah, that guy's such a pansy in this game. He's, he's got kind of like a Trumpian face. Yeah, he's all hunched over. Oh, oh, I'm no good. Oh. You know his wife wears the pants. <sighs> so, emo. Anyway. Let's move on over here. There's the mayor. Well, talk! What? Oh no. Jeez, oh, I ain't got time for this. Get over there. Hey, come on, Fado or Fadu, whatever his name is. Be a be the ranch hand that you are, whatever title you are in the ranch and do your job and stop these goats from escaping. 
That's one thing I didn't like about this game is handling the goats and doing the thing we gotta get the goats in the barn. That was I was like, I don't wanna do this unless I think if you do it again once you get a heart piece. Yeah, you get a heart piece. Um actually a lot of different communities do not like the goats. Yeah. And I thought what was the point of that just to help you learn how to ride a pony better, which I don't know. We talked about that in part one, but I don't know. Yeah, we could do it without the goat uh, the goat part. There's I Pope. think it's just the Zelda tradition that not every every Zelda has to have one mini game that just makes you angry. Yeah. Alright, so ouch. Bill. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that big tarantula first or camel spider before I go up the ladder. Oh, it's not, it's camel spider. It's not the gold sculptures from Ocarina of Time. Alright, so what's his name left me a present? Nice, wooden sword. It's not the master sword, but it'll do for now. Yeah, and I mentioned this in part one, and I um, mentioned this when I was a part of the old school MSN Zelda group. I This is the game where I understood, um, I found out that this game had an unofficial timeline where the spirits of you know, Link, Zelda, and Ganon were all reincarnated spirits. Because, and oh, that was stupid, I'm going to get pwned. Ouch! Um, I, thought the, I thought this is another sequel. And I thought, you know, this is Link, and I think Link's uncle, whoever it was, said, you're about to go to Hyrule for the first time and meet Zelda for the first time, right? And I'm sitting there reading that going, no, this is the hero of time. Do you not know who this is? This is Link. <laughs> and then I was explained, no, no, that these are reincarnated spirits. He's not the original Link. Oh. I did not know that until Twilight Princess. All these years, I thought it was sequel after sequel. And even though I, I thought Ocarina of Time was a prequel for sure. Which, in a sense, it is. I don't know. That timeline's confusing. Yeah, actually, as someone who is a large Zelda fan, I have been looking over the timeline in the past couple days. Yeah, the official uh, timeline, uh, that book, where it... Uh, I rule the story, yeah. Yeah, there's a split in the, in the timeline, depending on if Ganon loses, no Korean time or not, or whatever. All right, so now I got to... Use my slingshot skills here as I kill the scarecrow from um, the Wizard of Oz. Come on! My aim is and, true. Yeah, my aim is false. Oh, there we go. The looks on these kids' faces whenever you do everything right. <gasps> Girl, stop dancing. Stand still. That one little kid, that the the, the tiny one right there, freaking Cabbage Patch Kid Reject, gets on my nerves. He's kind of frightening looking. Yeah. He's all condescending. No, I'm not going to teach you how to use a sword. Learn yourself. I'm not on my horse. I'm not on an opponent right now. There's Colin, probably the only nice kid in this village. Well, I think those other two over there are, are just nice, but that little, but that little one is just condescending. He needs a spanking. All right, I'll teach him how to use a sword. I mean, you got to anyway, right? Before you move on. I suppose so. What move? Be more specific. Do the chickens attack you in this game like they do in Ocarina of Time? Um, actually there's an interesting thing with the chickens in this game. So when you get to see one, you should try attacking it and see what happens. Yeah, I may do that. Ah, 
uh, the trusty old spin attack. They better watch out. I'm going to accidentally slice. <laughs> Technically, I should have sliced their heads off, but of course, the game don't want to have that happen. <laughs> then Zelda will be ready to end for mature. <laughs> that impressed him, especially that little douche. Wow, Ron. <laughs> you have a strong opinion about him. Yeah. Is it because you're afraid of him as well? Yes, I'm afraid of him. He's freaking creepy. Ah. Reminds me of uh, that movie with the evil monster baby, zombie baby, years ago. I forgot what it was called. But anyway. Whoa, okay. That... Well, one of those monkeys are back. And... Where are they going? Are you going to try to catch it? They just threw a monkey wrench at me, and now I gotta go after him here and get distracted. Oh, I thought that was a bottle. Right now, so we're gonna cross the bridge and go to Farron Woods. I remember the first time I discovered the engine on this game and how so many things can be done with the bridge strings, the ones that hold the ropes that hold the bridge. Yeah. Oh, really? You can actually cut the bridge. Wow, I never actually knew that. I had to come back here because I forgot I need to get a Pona in order to proceed further, jump over that gate. So let me get a Pona here. As the rum more mowing some grass down here. Where are those freaking kids at? Whoa. Hey, a screech. Nice hair. Yeah. Oops. There's nothing in your hand. What are you talking? Oh, I got the lantern. I'm definitely going to need that as we go through the cave. I need oil. Alright, so I'm equipping the lantern. Is it just me, or does the equip screen feel really clunky to, to you? No, not really. I haven't, haven't read any problems with it, any issues. Okay, I already have oil, duh. I thought I had to buy some, I guess, I already came with it, so. Alright, so I'm ready to go here. I just need, well, if I can remember where to go. Let me go inside that cave. Okay, here we go. And I'm feeling caved in. Wait a minute. Oh, that's not a good sign. Got uh, lighting up all those uh, what is it? Not, what it torches, torches or whatever. I feel like playing Shadowgate now. Lighting up these torches right here. Is that necessary or do, do I, does it unlock anything? I forgot. From what I remember, it just helps to see around the cave. Oh, okay. Well, what is that noise? I don't know what I killed, but I'm glad I killed it. Oh, BQ plant. I had to deal with something similar in Mario 64. Oh, 
Oh, probably I'm sure it's a rupee worth 20, maybe. Oh, 10. And of course, they'll keep on reminding me every time I think you start the game, it remind you, hey, you got a new rupee as if you collect it for the very first time. Mm hmm. Trying to conserve my oil, oil here. The other side of Farron Woods. Is it Farron or Farron? Am I saying it right? I've always pronounced it Farron. I suppose you could pronounce it either way. Yeah, because I've mispronounced a lot of names in Zelda series. Like, again, I thought it said Skull Tula. I thought, whoa, hold on. I thought it was Skull, Skull Wall Tula. And when I found out the correct pronunciation, I felt like an idiot. And, uh, sorry, I thought it was Saria because I know a girl's name is Maria. It's not Maria. So I figured it was, uh, Saria, and then Deku Tree. I, I, yeah, I was called the Deku Tree instead of Deku. So yeah, I'll probably I'll probably butcher some more names in this game. Now, interestingly enough, pronouncing it Deku is not very far from how I believe they would pronounce it in Japanese, which would be Dek. Ah, uh, okay. Now I don't feel as stupid. Okay, so now I gotta beat these, uh, wherever the heck they are, uh, trolls? Hey! What are these K-Bats, what they, the heck they have? Okay, good, I'm glad I escaped. Feels like Metal Gear Solid there, just escape, and then if it's on the, Metal Gear. If it's on the easy difficulty, they'll stop following you in the next area. And die! Jeez. Shot him like four times in the head with the seed. I guess the seeds don't really work on those guys, only the much smaller enemies like bats. All right, more rupees. Oh, and hopefully something cool. I think that's a heart piece. How would you react if something just materialized in front of you? Oh man, I don't. Uh, that would be trippy. I'd just be too mesmerized to even move. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to open it. It seems like it'd be like a contract with the devil or something. Yeah. I was like Pandora's box. Yeah, Leah, let me leave the cave in style. What do they have? Like long tails? Hook tails? What the heck? Baron Woods is beautiful, reminds me of the Lost Woods and the Link to the Past. And that was one that also another video of mine that you were in back in 2012, the low budget review of the Link to the Past. That's true. Jeez. This music still playing. Dun, 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 dun. Anticipation of finding the children. I think I've seen a meme on Facebook where it shows Link's mowing services. It shows him mowing the grass for rupees or whatever. Be me and Link. Me and Link team up. The wrong one. I was Link. Okay, so now that I got the key, I can get through that gate. Oh, jeez. More trouble. Just beat him upside the head. That's how you usually solve problems. Yeah. Problems. the other guy a long time to react ah! 
Ouch! In your face! Come on! Jeez, come on! Do your spin attack! These gods with Don King hair, or none of them might have like, big ponytails. Oh, Screech's bird. Buy something, won't you shut up? I'm trying to. Uh, I'll buy, how about buy uh, some more seats from my slingshot and shoot you upside the head? I'm trying to rescue some kids here. Whoa, there's one of them. <laughs> Keep hitting it from behind. He's trying, to hit, trying to hit me with his club. He's trying to go clubbing. Right, be careful. Watch out. Oh, I got some skills to do that without actually slicing them. Right. I always question that. Yeah. <laughs> Russell. Or maybe it's Ruzel. <laughs> Probably not. I never seen Russell spelled it the way he spells it. Kind of like one of those names like I am error or maybe it's Error. Ha, 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 ha. It's not funny. Shut up, Russell. Yeah. Back to Ordon Village. Or Ordon. Ordon might sound more cooler. I don't know. Was he half human, half uh, beast or something? Based on his mustache, I'd say he is. Yeah. Open your eyes! Yeah. <laughs> They're both acting like they're like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> um. Excuse me, I kind of need that horse. No, you don't. Yeah, I think I do to actually, uh, well, I mean, for it to deliver, I guess I could go on foot to Hyrule Castle, but that would take a while. I could definitely use the Pona. Jeez, again? Really, dude. Man, hire a new ranch leader, wherever the heck he is. 
They could also just put a gate there. Yeah, true. It's too bad that the mayor of Ordon Village is so hard to get a, a hold of in order to talk about these issues. Yeah. Yeah, this place needs to have Mike Hager as the mayor. Alright, so here I am back in my house. What do you mean won't let me through? I'll just push him aside. Hey, shut up. I had to rescue you from whatever the heck kidnapped you. I'm not gonna let you pass. Hey, can I borrow your wooden sword? Sorry, kid. Wow. You won't let me pass, and no, I'm not gonna let you borrow anything. Do you need to go to the bathroom, dude? What the heck? I didn't even know there was a second dialogue if you said no. <laughs> Yeah. So now I need to go get a Pona back. And as I learned in Ocarina Time, rolling is the fastest way to get somewhere without the horse. Which doesn't seem very practical. Maybe if I roll into the gate, it'll open it. Um, there's my horse, so, um... Alright, so I need to sneak in through that little tunnel. Reminds me of Ocarina Tom right here. Kind of has more of a Wind Waker, Wind Waker feel to me. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't play much of that game. I could not get hooked. Also, Metal Gear Solid esque type feel. Also, reminds me of Die Hard. Oh, hi, Link. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Red don't really care for... What's her name? I say Mr. Red. That's actually a female horse, right? Epona's a female. Yeah, I don't know why I said Mr. Red. We said that in part one. Welcome to Let's Play Mr. Red. You play as Wilbur and you get to ride Mr. Red. Uh-oh. Nice music right here. Mm. Whoa, what the heck? Whoa! To be fair, I was starting to get bored. 
Yeah. Oh no, shot or what? Ouch. It's a good thing he fell on his back because if he fell face first, he would have drowned and died. That'd be the end of the game. Link with his Spock Star Trek ears. Who are these guys? Where do they come from? Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Whoa. A portal to Dimension X? Well, that's the first interesting thing to happen in this game. What happened? Where'd they go? Whoa, what the heck? What is that? Sephia color. Whoa. Heck is that? Where the heck am I? What's happened to me? Whoa! Out. That is really cool about this game. Link can be a, you can play as a wolf. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Who is that? Right, who's that being? Well, very interesting end to part two. We got to see what happens in part three as we are now in the, like I said, the Twilight Zone or the Twilight, whatever it's called. Thank you very much, Danny, for joining me for the first time in, what, three years? Yeah, three years. No problem. Definitely, I'll definitely try to have you back in more parts. And cool. uh, until then, guys, see you later. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 3. This is Ron Moore, along with Star Soldier. Yo, how's everybody doing? So now we are in the Twilight Zone, as Link awakens as a wolf in the land of Twilight. <laughs> yeah, so this is cool. It's not like a Legend of Zelda game no more. I'm a doggy. Right? Don't turn your back on the wolf pack. You might wind up in the body bag. <laughs> So you play as Kevin Ash here. And, and the, the weird, creepy girl. Yeah. With a wooden leg? Oh. Yeah, and I first played this game, man, I just... This part right here, I, I mean, I knew Link would turn to a wolf because they showed it in the trailers or whatever, but this part right here in the land of Twilight and talking to this annoying character, um, yeah, like just the way she treats Link, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> yeah, it, it is, but it's pretty cool though because, like, in this eerie Twilight music we're here in just a second, yeah, I mean, it's a very cool experience, first time playing this. Yeah, it's something very different. It's something that you don't set, you know, it's bad from Zelda. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, the girl definitely gives you the creeps. Yeah. Well, everything here pretty much gives you the creeps. No, oh, yeah, the enemies in the twilight. Yeah. They couldn't play the twilight zone music. Dun 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 because they get sued. <laughs> so they had to make this one uh, right here in the twilight zone, or yeah, I call it the twilight zone. <laughs> Come on, Link, you can get her off. Yeah. Well, he needs her help, so. Yeah, I guess she's. I guess she's pretty much the star of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, since Ocarina Tom, Link has to have someone in his ear all the time. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Now we gotta get out of this area and this cool but strange and weird toilet music. Because that would be pretty trippy in real life. You just in this toilet area and oh, yeah, it'd be freaking creepy. You see these spirits. <laughs> yeah, use your senses right here. Yeah, what the? Yeah, so you play as Haley Joel Osment here. <laughs> I see outdated graphics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it still looks kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, it still looks great. As uh, Tibbs316, who was in part one of this LP, he said, This is like Ocarina of Time on steroids. Definitely. Sounds like someone trying to talk to you on Skype with their calls cutting out. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad they can't get like the digital voices right in the Zelda. But yeah. I don't know. I guess that would take way too much time. Well, I think they yeah they could, but I think with her they wanted Midna to still kind of be mysterious and I guess uh plus like. There's not much voice acting in Zelda anyway, um, and yeah. so it kind of fits the theme, it kind of fits the usual Zelda feel, and I guess they kind of wanted to, uh, I guess make those no her have make make those noises that she's talking to get an idea of what she sounds like. <laughs> yeah, they should just hire like a annoying actress or something like a Miley Cyrus and have that <laughs> do the voice. Yeah. Or Nancy Cartwright. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. For years, I didn't know <laughs> Bart Simpson was voiced by a woman. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know either, but it was a cool fact. Yeah. Well, that's not a star soldier, but that is a soldier in fear for his life. <laughs> his soldier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're a bunch of wimps. Soldiers are never good in, like as all the games. Yeah. Oh man. Jeez. Yeah. There's always a guy in the green leotard, you know, showing them up. Right. <laughs> yeah. Deucebag soldiers and Ocarina Tom and Link to the Past. They couldn't say yeah. our role. Yeah. Only the ki kid in the green tunic, who's supposedly lazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now a dog is, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, showing them up now. Yeah. Or wolf, whatever. Yeah, wolf. Oh, man, what is black things? What the heck, man? Yeah, they're all over the place. Yeah. All right, freaking uh, <laughs> little predator enemies. Oh, no, they look like uh, remnants of venom. Yeah, if you're stuck making an enemy in a video game, just make a black, you know, blob surfing. Yeah. Boom, into an enemy. Yeah. Well, actually, I meant Venom from Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I meant, too. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that stupid black alien goo. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of also look a bit like uh, aliens from Alien. Mm -hmm. 
Watch out for the spikes. Ah, those things again. <laughs> ah! It missed because the cutscene. Oh, wait, did he? Oh. Oh, well, got it. Alright. Oh, more glowing skulls. Man, I wonder where we're at. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, it's uh, being so thick and only uh, <laughs> a yeah. four foot tall wolf is, you know, is talking to you. Yeah. yeah. Well, they can't well, see they him. Can't. Oh, okay. Yeah. They can probably hear what's going on, but. Yeah, they can't really see him because they're in the Twilight world. And yeah, parallel world. Yeah. Yeah, now they're as spirits. Oh, that's a long walk. <laughs> well, he has four legs, so it's going to be a lot easier now. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing Castlevania here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> failing. What? You're the one on top. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a joke there, but I better not say that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it does look like a Castlevania 64 here. Yeah, with, with better camera angles. Yeah, I don't know if it could get much worse, though. <laughs> well, Mario 64 is almost there. Well, in Mario 64, you had much better camera control. In Castlevania 64, it was just kind of a mess. Yeah, and I, and I still like the game, too. Yeah, me too. I don't know, could you control the camera in Castlevania 64? Yeah, you had three different camera angles, but they were all very awkward to use. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what the? Yeah, this is Castlevania. <laughs> yeah, and the jump in this game is a bit more automatic as well. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I liked about the 3D Zelda games is that you didn't have to rely so much on like controlling the camera and worry about jumping and all that. Yeah. Oh, uh, you just have to worry about the puzzles, which are hard enough as it is. Yeah. Wait a minute. Man, what a beautiful day. <laughs> I think I have an idea where we're at. And Dracula's castle. No. <laughs> yeah, just tell us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A tower. Yeah. Oh, the Tower of Hera from A Link to the Past. Oh, wait. No, another spirit? Man. I forgot how much talking there was in this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so we're at Hyrule Castle. Yeah, it's kind of different. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this black squares flying around everywhere. Debris? Debris? <laughs> Maybe. Well, what the? Really, you're in the wrong game. Get out of here. Yeah, maybe it's just like an ash or something. Like there's yeah. so much burning going on. Yeah. It's kind of like that South Park episode where everything was just ash. Yeah. After that giant oh, sparkler or something. 
<laughs> that turned into a giant black snake. Those giant vultures or whatever we killed. It reminds me of Castlevania Bloodlines where if you hit one of the those birds at the right spot in the face, you uh, knock their head off and they still fly around with blood squirting out their neck. Can't do that in the Zelda game though, it wouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they could show too much blood. Even though this game is rated T for teen, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was. Thanks Oddly for... enough, yeah, the Ocarina of Time did have some blood in it originally, too. Yeah, but I think the European version, the blood was green. Yeah. I think this Yeah, is... I remember actually playing the Ocarina of Time, and once you, once you fight Ganon Dwarf, and you, you know, defeat him, blood actually comes out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. And also, you stab him in the head at the end. As Giant Ganon. And yeah. Yeah, so this game right here was the first to be ready T, like, not so kitty in a way. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, the girl on top of you is pretty much half naked. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's kind of weird that she looks so small. Yeah. And who is this? <laughs> Is that the guy from Star Wars? Oh, wait. <laughs> Midna? For the longest time, I thought it was Medina. I was so dyslexic. Oh, wait, it's Midna. So this is who we're looking for here. And who could this be? <laughs> <laughs> Can you at least give him some kibbles or something? Yeah. He's probably hungry. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Give us your exposition. What's going on here? Okay. It probably leads to some. Okay. You had to go to this castle. Get the special item in there and then go to several other castles, get their special items and come back. Yeah. Or I will be captured. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? Black smoke? It's Sonic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it's the uh it's the predators. <laughs> yeah, they all need haircuts. Yeah. What the heck is that? <laughs> Halloween's over, man. Yeah. yeah, trim your fingernails. It's a funky mask, though. Yeah. What is that, tongue sticking out, or is that beard, or what? Yeah, it looks like a fish head with a tongue sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> that was not time to be playing a flute. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was just a statue, I guess. Yeah. Mm. 
probably like covered high woo in this trail. Yeah. All right, so yeah, I guess that is a fire or something. Yeah. Oh my god! It's. <laughs> it's Zelda. Who else could it be? Yeah. <laughs> so why is she not transformed in the Twilight? It probably has something to do with some. Okay, I can still stay the same because maybe I got the Triforce of Wisdom or something like that. Yeah, maybe. But Link has a Triforce of Courage, I think, embedded in him. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> or maybe she did transform. Because she's wearing black now. Maybe she's hiding something. Yeah. She's really a man now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. It's Zordo. I guess, yeah, I guess we have to play more of the game to find out. Uh oh. So we get down here and oh. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the guard. If it's our guards, you know, he's going to be easy to defeat. Yeah, but for some reason we're running from him, so. Yeah, as long as it's not those long haired dudes. Yeah. Now it's raining in the twilight. Gandorf as a creator wrestler and won the old SmackDown vs. Raw games. <laughs> I just wish you could have made him come down on the horse, but you couldn't. Yeah, that would have been cool to see. It would be hard to create these characters. Yeah. There's some weird rules in this game. Yeah. All right. So we got to stay a doggy for a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll find out what happens in part four. Be very interesting. Thank you, Star Soldier, for joining us. And God bless. And take care. Uh, no problem. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 4. This is Ron Moore, and returning is Tibbs316. How's it going? What's up, everyone? Yeah, and uh, if you don't remember, Tibbs is Michael. I didn't call him Tibbs the first part because I didn't know what nickname to call him. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, the 316 is from Austin. Yeah. The best. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are back in the light world, and but Link is still a wolf. And I guess we're going to find out why here in a minute. And Midna still talking to him here. I don't care. I don't care what people say. I like her. Yeah, I do too. At first, she got my nerves because she's so condescending. But I mean, at the same time, she is a good, charismatic character. At least she's not as annoying as Navi. Navi is just annoying. Oh, oh I know. At least, yeah, she's got personality. I like it. Yeah, and at least she doesn't make you repeat what she says again, like like Mr. Owl did. 
Yeah, and she's important to the plot. Yeah. And I think ever since Ocarina of Time, Link has to have someone following him around all the time. Yes. And I link to the hopefully in this hopeful hopefully in Breath of the Breath of the Wild he'll be by himself. Yeah. I think in Link to the Past he kind of had did have somebody with him, Shahashrila, the old man. No, he, he kind of he had those little things on the wall that you could read his messages, but he didn't actually like communicate with you really. Okay. Well, he did, but tell and that was only at the beginning. Around. Exactly. All right, so now we got. He's more like a wise old man. Yeah. All right, so now we're in Ordon Village at night here. When Ronnie, when you first when you first saw like previews of this game, what did what was your first impression of uh, Wolf Link? I thought, wow, this is something very different. Link as a wolf, <laughs> man, that. that I was, know it's pretty badass. That was the ECW trailer. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's going on? Oh, it's just a squirrel. Well, I thought, I thought Jeez was the postman about to come out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and by the way, the the postman in this game is like one of my favorite things ever. Is it the same one from Majora's Mask? I think it's supposed to be. It but like this guy's like like da 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 da. Yes, he he runs at you. Hey. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rocky. And, and uh, you can Gokan find, you can find him here. in the weird. You can find him in the weirdest places too. Yeah. So Ezra just got some advice from Rocky, and I guess he he's gonna go back with Bullwinkle, and as I go <laughs> further into now for something we hope you'll really like. Yeah, oh, there's that wuss. <laughs> Why don't you get off your butt and help, buddy? Yeah. No. I like this uh, music. Dun, 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 dun. I know, I know. I love how nighttime has its own little ambient music, especially out in the field. Yeah, especially on the field. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, all Korean Tom did not have that. No. Plus, here the transition's a lot smoother. All right, Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, he's like, whoa, whoa, hey, nice doggy, nice doggy. Don't, don't eat me. <laughs> he's like, uh, what the hell's going on here? All <laughs> right. <laughs> So, oh wait, I'm you don't, oh. you don't belong. Yeah. All right, so, one cool thing about playing as Wolf Link, you get to use your senses, your sixth sense, or I guess you're playing as Haley Joel Osment here. Oh. I oh. see roosters. Oh, I see Terry Taylor. <laughs> where's the weasel? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, tell me, where's the weasel? Arr, arr, arr. The competition is stiff here in the World Wrestling Federation. Oh, jeez. That's not the worst gimmick. <laughs> Little brats. See, even they don't like even they don't like the kids. Yeah. Another chicken. Oh, if you mess with these chickens, will they kill you just like in Ocarina of Time? Oh, you know, I don't remember. But they, they did, like, Link to the Past, they did. They're a weapon in Smash Brothers, so I wouldn't mess with them, personally. Wait, in Link to the Past, I don't, no, I believe they did in oh. Link to the Past. I think it was just, I don't know for sure, I'll agree on no, they did. No, they did. Really? In Link to the Past? I'm pretty sure. Because I would hit them all the time, they never did anything to me. I might be thinking of another game, but I think. Okay, I can. I feel like I'm playing Mercury Solid 2 here, trying to eavesdrop on these guys, and I can barely read the letters, <laughs> you gotta get closer. That's the mayor and that Snake. that guy with the long Snake. face. Looked you like must Sean accept Stas this mission. Yeah, that uh, guy with the long face looks like Sean Stasiak. Oh my God, he does. <laughs> yeah. He has just as much purpose too. Yeah. yeah. No offense to all the Sean Stasiak lovers out there. Yeah. So now they're gonna, I guess, get the sword. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run! You know what? 
Easy dub. Here's not. I mean, Nobby. Uh, Midna again. <laughs> nice cinematic camera work there. This village is full of idiots. Yeah, the village idiot. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder where we have to go now. Yeah. I like your you gotta, here. The, ju the, the jumps you can make as Wolf Link are pretty easy, W. Yeah. I like, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's Beethoven. He was a baby. <laughs> can I sniff your crotch? This must be a prequel. No. Or, or, or. <laughs> yeah, so you, you play as Charles Grodin. No. And Ganon's the evil the guy that, uh, tried to forcefully adopt or uh, kill Beethoven or put him down. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen that movie, but anyway. I love the first one, but I don't think I ever saw the sequels. I don't think I did either. Oh, wait a minute. We've been spotted. Oh, what is he going to do? You know, if you can actually jump down and start kicking ass, I'd respect you more. Yeah. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh shoot. Better run. What a wimp. He's got to have a bird do his work for him. Yeah. I can't I can't blame him. They're smart. I mean, I wouldn't go after a wolf either unless no. I was a bear wolf or something. Hey, thanks for getting me that fish earlier. Yeah. All right, Sassy. Oh, whatever that cat's name was in Homer Bound. Yes, I was actually thinking of that movie the other day. Yeah. Yeah, the controls in this game are real easy. I like how uh, Midna comes in handy while doing that. And I used to, for, for the longest time, I feel like an idiot. I thought her name was Medina. I guess I'm a little dyslexic. <laughs> yeah, what I'm sure now? the name has some sort of deep meaning. She jumps in the water. Well, where'd he go? Did he drown? It's a black void. Yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna go in this house. Whee! So now we gotta get the shield, which is up there, and I don't mean the the old wrestling stable. I, I knew it. I knew you were gonna go there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> found it, found it. <laughs> I, that. I agree. I, I, I agree. I love her voice. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is a one of a kind shield. Like if you lose it, if it burns up, you can't get this exact one back. Yeah, I think this. this uh, well, no, in Ocarina of Time, yeah, but you can get like that wooden shield again if you wanted to. But this one probably not. Yep. Yeah, this if you can buy a wooden one, but it's not exactly like this. Yeah, it's only a reproduction. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. I also like how uh, spoilers for anyone who hasn't played this, and you should. Uh, that this guy and I think like three or four other people end up forming like a resistance later in the game. Uh, yeah, something like that, I think, uh... Like you see them in, in Telma's bar. That's right, yeah, but I didn't know it was him included. I thought it was four totally different people. Maybe I'm wrong. No, they're all people that you encounter, I think. Okay, yeah, I do remember that part. Yeah, they look at a map, and then that's where they set off or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so Skip Hyrule's Rogers is gone. with them. Skip Rogers is with them. He provides the map. <laughs> so I gotta sneak around here. Can't let him see me some Metal Gear Solid action here. Ouch. There we go. There's a pumpkin pie. Halloween's over. Yeah, with the rocks playing. Where's the poon tang pie? <laughs> if you smell. Yeah. He has his own YouTube channel now, I think, from what I heard. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. I've seen a couple of his movies, but... Yeah. I'll just say this: uh, Walking Tall and Faster were freaking awesome, and the rundown. I like. 
I liked Walking Tall, absolutely. Yeah. Buford Pusser. Yeah. <laughs> Orton, we got the Orton sword now, the Randy Orton sword. You can hit someone out of nowhere. Randy kicks some ass. Yeah. All right. And then, now that you got the Orton sword, you can hit the RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we'll go back to the Twilight Zone. Do, 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 do. And uh, Alfred Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock, he didn't host, did he host the Twilight Zone, or who was it? <laughs> Epic fail, Ronnie, no, he, um, <clears throat> he hosted the Alfred Hitchcock Presents show, Rod Serling hosted the Twilight Zone. Okay, and then, uh, he, he also made Birds, and... Yes! Yeah, someone else, the Twilight Zone, then there was also the new Twilight Zone, and it was the same person or someone different? Uh, oh boy, um, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, watch out. I don't want to fight him. Russell's my friend, but he don't know it. Because of course he don't recognize me. I, mean, I like to trigger all these events on purpose. Yeah. I need to come to my senses here and dig up some more coins. You're looking at scarecrow. That's supposed to be. A, a, yeah, I was gonna say, is that supposed to be a scarecrow? Yeah, and he's in the wrong. Uh, not even a movie; it's a game. He probably thinks he's the Wizard of Oz. Should, why can't you carry that around in the dungeons with you so you don't get attacked by those keys? Yeah. Or yeah, that. Or you can also um, use a scarecrow just like you could in Ocarina of Time. Ah, very true. Wait. Wait. Who's this creeper talking to me? I love the music that plays at these parts. Oh, yeah. Come to me. Mm. Oh, oh, it's a trap. Beware. Beware the Ides of March. Yeah. Homer Simpson. No. <laughs> uh, the portal to Dimension X opens again. So I got five Bebop and Rocksteady here. Oh, wait. Here we go, fight the Predator again. If it breathes, if it, what, is it, what does he say? If it breathes, we can kill it. No, bleeds. Excuse me. Yeah. I don't got time to bleed. <laughs> I'm here. Kill me now. Yeah. We're here with Jess Ventura. I like the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I used to play the Minnesota all the time. Whoa, what's going on? Ocarina of Time was an inside job. <laughs> yeah. Gandorf the Deku Tree was all the inside job. <laughs> Whoa. This is cool. The spirit of ECW. You remember April Fool's joke, the spiritual stone of ECW? <laughs> Did you ever see that one? Uh, maybe. I have to link you to it. Get it? Link? Zelda. Fail. <laughs> Whoa! Dun, dun, dun. Buffalo Bills or Bison. Impact. Try to hurt Try to hurt this thing. Right? No thanks. Oh, brave youth. I am the bull. One of the bosses in Castlevania 64. No. Oh, I hated that game. I actually liked it. And not the camera angles. <laughs> this game has good camera angles. Yes. Unlike Castlevania 64 and Mario 64. Yeah. No lack of two to mess you up. The power of light. Alright, story time. Well, speaking of light, because uh, this will probably get someone in the comments will probably say either they love it or they hate it, but. What do you like collecting the tears of light or do you hate it? No, I hate it. There's probably, See, uh, there's probably only two I... things I hate about this game. That's hurting the goats and then collecting the tears of light. I must be one of the few people in the world that actually likes that part. It's, in games, I just don't like collecting stuff. I didn't like collecting bananas in DK64. I didn't like collecting 100 coins uh, in Mario 64. I it's nothing about collecting. I love that stuff. It's nothing about collecting I don't like. I'm not a collector. Well, then stay away from Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I will. <laughs> no, but pl no, I'll play it. It's a good game.
more epic music. Fairy music. <laughs> I don't know, it seemed pretty powerful to me. Yeah. I'm not just any one lady or man. Yeah. Do you know who you're talking to? Yeah. This is the hero of time, reincarnated. I wonder what you'd consider him in this game. In Ocarina of Time, he's the hero of time. and Wind Waker, he's the hero of winds. I wonder what would be the hero of light here? I don't know. Well, I'm saying that right now. He's the hero of light. That's mine. I copyright it. <laughs> Da, da, da. You get the light arrows now. <laughs> Commercial. Yeah. Ads. Google ads. All right. Coming was, this winter. Da, da, da. Yeah. That was cool. Now we're going to go back to the twilight and collect the... Uh, Tears of light. In order to do that, you got to defeat electric spiders or something. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of the game where I will be totally into it and Ronnie won't be. Right. If you notice, one little touch about this game I really like is when the sun is going down and it actually starts to become like the Twilight Hours, it does look just like the Twilight Realm. Right. Alright, so now we're back in the beautiful Twilight of the Fern Woods. Doesn't the Twilight look fetching today? Yeah. Can't see. Yeah. In this respect, she reminds me of Yoda. Yeah. He's. <laughs> you really think this thing can slay the creatures of Twilight? Use the Force. <laughs> She's trolling him. Inside, he's like. Rrr. Yeah. seething yeah to be fair she is kind of creepy she's got like fangs yeah really Ronnie did you ever get a chance I don't even know if you own a Wii U but did you get a chance to play the HD version of this no I have not well one thing you'll like in that version that there are less tears of light to get Oh, cool. Man, like, can it look any better than this, though? I wonder how it looks in HD. The difference isn't... It's not incredible, but there is a difference. I guess kind of like Street Fighter HD? Yeah. The best part is having the map right on the gamepad the whole time. Cool. Deja vu. Again. The shadow beasts. Plop, plop, plop. Oh, getting serious now. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, the sky took a dump, and out come these foul beasts. And they have as much brains as pieces of dump. You would, would have. Oh, Brad, I screwed that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a professional let's player, folks. This is only my second video. <laughs> Whoa, what? You're leaving me? What? Okay, um, freaking. I think she had to go take a dump. Yeah, really. She just dumped on me and left me. Oh, well, women done it before. No, not really. Um. Oh. What the heck? Ow! Stop screaming. With your DJ hair from Street Fighter. Well, <laughs> Link knows all about not getting much from women. Yeah. Well, Zelda keeps putting Link in the friend zone. Yeah. Oh. That's the hold up. You're not helping me. That's the hold up. Oh, now you tell me that, douche. Yeah, you couldn't. You couldn't have told me that before. Right. Now you're helping. Epic death vortex. E C W. E C W. Oh, so it creates a green portal. Cool. All right, so let's, let's let's look for some tears. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, another spirit talking to us. I love how if you just stand still, she'll like smack you in the head, telling you to get going. You know what? I don't know if I knew that. I don't think I ever stood still for that to happen. Like, eh, what's the hold up? Eh, don't, eh, eh, eh. Dark clouds of dusk. Yeah. This game's metal. Yeah. We're like lost in the story here. Yeah. I do like the music in the twilight. It's kind of a weird, uh, eerie type music that fits it perfectly and it is kind of cool. I know. It makes me feel strange and wonderful. <laughs> Someone told me that one time. Minecraft Martin told me my channel. I like your videos, Ronnie. Your commentary makes me feel strange and wonderful. <laughs> I know how to respond. <laughs> I got hey, the uh, there have been time there have been times where I put your videos on while I'm relaxing at the end of the night. They're easy. They're gentle to fall asleep to. Yeah. Yeah, I do have a lot of videos too and I never. I don't know if I. Uh, someone told Magus that one time, saying, "Don't feel creepy, but I like listen to your videos when, as I go to sleep." So I got the vessel of ECW, and I gotta collect the uh, these. You gotta kill these dark insects that hold the tears of light. Reminds me of that song. No more tears. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Who sings that? Was it uh, Ozzy Osbourne? Yes. Yeah. Love the Oz man. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics and I can't really sing because I've been my voice been a little under the weather. Extreme Championship Wrestling. Yeah. As poor as they were, they can still afford the rights to Metallica. <laughs> Or they just stole him because Paul didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we got the vessel of light, and we gotta kill these dark insects. Whoa! Imagine seeing these insects in real insects in real life. Like. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, I won't say what it is because I've probably spoiled enough. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so I won't say exactly what it is. But this one part involving these bugs later on in the game that did freak the hell out of me when I first saw it. You probably know what it is. Yeah, that was creepy. And, uh, there's a tears of light. Ah, there we go. Tears of light. There's no crying in Zelda. Oh, come on. Get over here where I can hit you. Or bite you. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, Ronnie. Well, yeah. EZW. Oh, I fail. Cue the Price is Right fail music. Yeah. Wow. 
and then play music. Dun, 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 dun. That's okay. Thank you for trying. Here's some nice parting gifts. <laughs> Price is wrong, Bob. Oh, that was right, right there. Yeah, I like this part of the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, I can see why you like it, but me is just, uh, just uh, especially when you look on the map and you're trying, especially the, oh, the water section. We get to sometime down the road. But, oh man, and then um, it, they're not as hard to collect because, of course, it gets harder as you go on to the game, but this section, they're not as hard to collect as they are in the next two sections. I like how, like, later on, they don't make it as obvious where they are. You gotta uncover them. Yeah, that's what I hate. I was like, oh, what they at? Okay, Screech now. Yeah, Slater and Zack is not here to help him, so he's scared. <laughs> Oops, I'm in trouble. I wish I kept that lamp I sold that guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. That hasn't happened yet. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, uh, it did. Hey, I bought the lamp from him in part uh, two. Oh. Yeah. I've played this game enough. I, sh I should know exactly where you're at. Yeah. We're in the Twilight World. Uh, uh, haters in the comment section. <laughs> you don't know where you're at. You're in the Twilight World. Get it right. <laughs> Wait for some Twilight. Uh, Twilight, Twi uh, Twilight Princess uh, fanboys. No, you're supposed to go right. Do it like this. Do it like that. Ooh, ooh, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I will admit, there have been times watching Let's Plays before where I have screamed at the screen, You're doing it wrong! Yeah. I can understand that. Uh, especially my Let's Plays, because they're not perfect. Um, but then there's some people that actually act on it, like post a comment. Like, okay, I, I, unless they really are trying to help, that's cool. But then there's some that get mad or too picky about the no. dumbest details. How can we not collect the one ups? Because I don't feel like it. No, it's all about having fun. It's not about perfection. Like I said, I've been watching your old Metroid Let's Play, and when you said the hell with it and turn on um, ECW mode, I actually laughed. Like, that's my Ronnie. Right, yeah. Because, I mean, uh, like I said, it's all about having fun. If you can't beat it, cheat. I mean, it's like Eddie Guerrero said if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> Viva la raza! Yeah. I should God get a t-shirt, a Ron Moore t-shirt, cheat to win. Or, what's that old saying? Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Yeah. I don't know if Eddie Guerrero said that, but I think Jesse Ventura must have said that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the body. You must cheat, Gorilla! Will you stop? <laughs> Whoa. That don't look like it would be good for you. Got some cool, got some Kool Aid there. Yeah, it's Kool Aid, all right. If you drink it, you could die. I don't know. For some reason, when I said that, I pictured it coming out of Swindoll's mouth. It's some Kool Aid there. Yeah. Get some of that Slurricane. Drink some of that Slurricane. Drinking that Scissor. That's what he was saying. Stop that fool. Yeah. What? They walk shout around out to like some idiots. No, go ahead. I said shout out to Swindoll. Right. Who never watches, but I'll tell him he said that because I talk to him all the time. Some of my favorite videos on either channel are with him. Oh, yeah, I tell him sometimes. If he was to ask about you every now and then, I said Swindoll's kind of retired. <laughs> Alright, more. There's only six more, I think. Yeah. Like that, four more. I want to make some kind of trunk joke, but I don't have your skill for puns. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm I'll make like one. I'll make like one good joke for every five videos I do or something. <laughs> That's okay, sometimes less is more. Alright. Oh, whoa. Deku plants almost got me. For someone that hasn't been a wolf that long, he takes to it like a duck takes to water. Yeah, well, he's a chosen one now. I don't mean Jeff Garrett. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, well, you don't want to piss you don't want to piss Link off either. Right. All right. Get these two. Oh, I wait. do like how they're I love how they're electrified. Yeah. But again, it'd be so scary in real life. Electric bugs like that. I mean, there's lightning bugs, but they're harmless. But these, whoa. 
I don't think I've ever seen a lightning bug in person, but I'm a city boy. Oh, I have. Down here in Texas, you will. I think there's a... Everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah, I think there's a technical name, scientific name for them. I don't know. It's called lightning bugs. Fireflies. Jeez, these guys don't ever Fire, learn. Fireflies. So there, there I think is what they're actually called. Yeah. And that song Firefly that they put in SmackDown vs. Raw. Firefly! So whoever wrote the comment telling us the correct name, you can delete it now. Yeah. It's Firefly, get it right! Well, I did shut up! Yeah. I think this is where Screech, Screech's uh, shop is at, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever pay, or do you just run off? Well, you have to pay. Well, you don't have to. Really? I thought I'd... He'll attack you, but you don't have to pay, he'll just attack you. Screech you will? No, that bird, that's that bird shop. Oh, I never, I don't remember. I don't remember that. Well, you'll have to try it. There's that monkey that, um... We saw earlier in the game. Let me get these two, and then that be it for the Tears of ECW. Is this supposed to be like a rose in its hair? Yeah, same as a female. I love the one with the, the one with the big. I love the one with the big red butt. Oh yeah, I was gonna call be witty and call this one call him George, but it's a female. Georgette? Yeah, well, I'm curious as to what I do here. Oh, okay, just get that last tier of light, and that'd be it. The boss. Sasha Banks? Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> yeah. All right, the vessel of light has been filled. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? It is time for the epic reveal. Yeah. Nice to be back in the light world. I would so take a bath in there. Right. She must be a Trump supporter. <laughs> okay, don't get Jamin and Burhan this call. <laughs> Alright, and oh, talk to another spirit here. So this is the spirit of Farron, Farron Woods, or whatever. Whoa. This thing's not monkeying around. Is that, what is that? A half scorpion or half? It's a monkey. That's a monkey. That's a long tail with a scorpion stinger. Yeah, that's clearly a monkey. Huh. Yeah, Farron, one of the spirits of ECW. I love how all the all the spirits in this game are actually like their names are derivatives of the three goddesses from Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Yes, folks, I am a big Zelda nerd. Yeah, that's cool. It was a sign. Your coming here was no accident. It is your density. I mean, destiny. Hey, Link! I thought I told you never to come out here! <laughs> and there's there your own time. ACW! ACW! Yep. Power is yours. Thank you, Captain Planet. And yours alone. Yeah. This game is ten times better than Captain Planet on the NES. Yes, I cannot stress that enough. Whoever disagrees, I've seen you are blocked. No, I'm just kidding. 
I've seen I've seen full playthroughs of that game, Ronnie, and you didn't miss much. <laughs> suggestive there you have a better storytelling voice than i do you want to read all this <laughs> it is a forbidden power long long ago i and the other spirits of light i couldn't read the rest <laughs> because of its nature it is a power that should never be touched by any who dwell in the light thank you otacon <laughs> oh but this world weeps and all that I'd like to hear you narrate Showergate, that'd be cool. <laughs> You're a brave warrior, but stupid! Your body explodes in the lava. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. In forest depths. I'm going. I'd like to be literal on the pronunciation. Depth. 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 Deposition? Fail. Now Link is ready to take on all evil. He's in his final form. I love the Unless music. This was mask. <clears throat> I love the music right here in Farron Woods. I know it. You are the chosen one. Oh, you're giving me the choice? Well, yeah, I do. I'll rescue everyone except for that little midget. Right. He's actually my favorite, though. Not gonna lie. Ah, uh, he's a douche. Oh, just roll past these DQ plants. Yeah, we got the hang of it, Midna. As Jim Ross would say, this one my first rodeo. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder why they call her Midna. Look at that! Look at the puppies. <laughs> hey, Screech. Do you got some more Oreo to sell me? Oops! I ran out! Oh, that bird just disappeared out of nowhere. <laughs> I wonder if it's the bird from Star Tropics. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that game in probably like 10 years. Yeah. SC2K LP, shameless plug. Oh, so we got the key to the gate to the Farron Woods. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ronnie, but this is, at least as far as I've seen, the most modern game you've done so far. Uh... Yes and no. I did a... I had a wrestling match with Skip Rogers in SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, back in 2009. And other than that's that... All, that's a little different, though. Yeah. But yeah, this might be the most modern game I've ever done. I think that thing off the top of my head. And I'm honored that this was the first hit me too. Oh yeah, and I felt like I had to do it. I just barely realized, I mean barely realized we're approaching the 10th anniversary of this game's release in North America for GameCube. Didn't even cross my mind till you said something. Usually I don't remember either until like I found out found out on social media. <laughs> I know, right? Today's the tenth anniversary or twentieth anniversary of Metro like what? Whoa! I know, doesn't that make you feel old? Yeah, it does. Any like when, when, Nir when Nirvana and the Red Hot Chili Peppers are being played on the oldie station. Right, yeah. The moment you realize you're old. I remember someone telling me back when I was 20, Man, Ronnie, you're, 
You still play video games at that age? I said, yeah. <laughs> I'm 36, still playing. I work with someone who's in his 60s and still plays Pokemon. I gotta meet that dude. Whoa, what the... What are you doing? He's, uh, conducting a seance. I can't go in that poison? That's what I was thinking. Well, every rose does indeed have its thorn. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, that light makes the poison stuff back off. I've seen bit. I've seen enough monkeys today. I was earlier I was helping my fiance get through um the swamp and Majora's mask and there's monkeys all through that. Oh yeah, I remember that part, yeah. You should talk to Lynch of Truth. He's a big Majora's mask fan. I am too. That might be my favorite in the whole series. Hi, Georgia. Georgia. Let's get going here. Whoa, what I wonder if you would have, like... Sorry, go ahead. What happened? Uh, enemy <laughs> I didn't see what happened. Enemy came after me. I, some, for some reason, I picture him, like, throwing that lamp at a tree and, like, light just bursting all over the place. Uh, then we'd be screwed. Haze. Right, yeah. It'd be cool if they put Jimi Hendrix music in here, but I'm sure they want to pay for the royalties, plus it wouldn't fit the game. <laughs> Excuse me! Excuse me! I was improvising, you actually had a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poem? <laughs> Apparently, Link's allergic to nuts. Yeah. This monkey's dropping me nuts. Go faster. Oh, here we go. Well, at least these monkeys are... Well, they're, they're, they're kind of helpful, just like in Mario 64, when that monkey gives you the star. Yeah, but that, other, that one steals your hat. Oh, yeah. Alright, enough monkey there? business. No. Oh, hey! You stop all my oil! Yeah, you... Did you break my lantern? What the... Oh, my lantern. Oh. Da 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 da. Yeah, it's not broken, but no oil. <laughs> what will happen to Link? Find out next week. Yeah. Alright, let me equip my lantern here and get the oil, fill it back up. Alright, good to go. Ah, oh boy, here we go with these guys again. Get used to seeing this place. Yeah, because that's how he rolls. Whoa! Whoa, what the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, am I dead? Oh, oh, I can't die? I can't die yet? I gotta save high roll and stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. What are this you? is one of my favorite things about this game. You do know the legend behind this, right? Uh, yes and no. The popular theory, and I think Nintendo has confirmed it, is that this is actually the Link from Ocarina of Time. He's passing on the training to you that he never got a chance to in life. Oh, cool. I never heard of that till now. So I guess no one had, I guess no one could know that unless they, unless Nintendo revealed it or they found out about it through the book of Historia. Well, 
if you, if you look it up, there's a lot of clues in Ocarina of Time that actually point, because you know how they say anyone that gets lost in the Lost Woods will become a Stalfos? Well, in Majora's Mask, he does, because the whole thing, he, that's where this all ties into the theory that he's actually dead in that game. So, yeah. like, this is him after becoming a Stalfos. Huh. Yeah, so that could be it. I wonder what that place is behind him. Is that Hyrule Castle in ancient time? <laughs> is this heaven? What? I think that's supposed to be the Arbiter's Grounds. All right, it's time to learn a skill I here. I love the ending blow. So badass. Yeah. He has some Try it on me. He has a little bit of asthma problems, but that's alright. Finish him! Dun, dun, dun. Damn it, Ronnie, I was about to say that. Oh. <laughs> Fatality. This is Shao Kahn. <laughs> you oh. will die. You see W. Yes! You've taken one step into a larger world. Six more hidden skills. Go powerful. Test your courage. Uh, I misread that. I thought I said the treats that face you says threats. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. The treats are for Wolf Link. Yeah, right. Sound of the Wind, the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Remember those words. Very Fare well. well. <laughs> Alright, whoa. That was fun. Did that actually happen? Yeah. Is that a dream? Huh. I'll never eat. I'll never eat those mushrooms again. Yeah. Now we're. Yeah, we're at the entrance. I love how these guys just run at you like they just don't care. Yeah. But they care now. Ah, oh, dang it! Come on. Oh. Yeah, I got to demonstrate my skill. Burning down the house. Hey, yep. All right, so that is the end of part four. See you guys in part five. Well, I will be in the Force Temple. Till then, God yeah, bless. Yeah. Take care. See you, everyone. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 5. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs316 and the Wii Guy. Yo. Uh-huh. And I yeah. am now in the... Forest Temple. Look I love all the temples in this game. Oh, I think yeah. all the dungeons are really well done in this game. Yeah. Run, Forest, run. Yeah, this is good thing I came in uh, at this part because I mean I love the beginning of this game, but it, I don't know. It starts off slow to me. This is definitely where things start to pick up. Yeah. It, yeah, they it, they all do. Yeah, it did really start off first, herding goats and all that boring stuff, but then now we're in the cool stuff. Yeah. We did Ronnie's favorite part last time. Jeez. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> collecting the tears, I'm not a big fan of that, but at least that's better than herding goats. <laughs> Collect these tears from my face as I cry for how boring this is. Yeah. yeah. Got Just a yellow game. rupee. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, well, at least it's not, at least this game won't bore you to tears like Shellgate 64. Oh man! It always comes back to that. Yeah, as I, yeah. I as I, 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 as I am now in the forest of ECW. I mean, forest temple, the ECW temple. And yeah, so right here, uh, this uh, this is gonna be a lot of monkeying around this temple. Yeah. Really? I think I'm gonna go bananas. A lot of monkey business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, let's hope nothing throws my... out monk. Yeah. I guess it's, no, I guess it's my turn, but I can't think of anything. Pun wise. <laughs> All right, good. 
Uh, I'm the well, guy in the room that will laugh at him. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's good enough. Alright, there's the first monkey rescued. Follow Aww. me! I can't think at of least this is... monkey you don't have to pay on like Link to the Past. Yeah. I, I can't figure out if this Force Temple is harder or the Ocarina of Time one. Uh, I don't know. There's a bit more familiarity, I think, with the Ocarina of Time one. This one, I always kind of forget, like, like where the, things are. This one's a little more complex, I think. Plus, I like the music in Ocarina of Time is a little better. Oh, arachnophobia. Where's John Goodman at? I love that movie. I love it, too. Rock and roll. The, the Force Temple in Ocarina of Time, that puzzle section got me, uh, was really trolling me. <laughs> Alright, so let's light up all the torches. The monkey was shut up for a second. Jeez, calm down. Hey, this monkey's... This monkey's got business. Damn, I know. They were a good singing group, but that's it. The monkeys. <laughs> People say we monkey around. Alright, thank you, Skip Rogers. I got the dungeon map. <laughs> Skip Rogers is always your buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spank this monkey if you don't shut up. For the longest time, I thought that was a zit on their heads. A <laughs> zit? <laughs> it's a nice, rosy zit. That's a fashionable monkey. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoosh. You didn't think it was going to be that easy. Oh. Not this time, Dr. Jones. <laughs> nice jiggle physics. Yeah. I wonder if he can see her. Uh, I think so. Because uh, she's in the light world, and I think she's invisible to everybody except him, I think. I guess they have, they have a special connection. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. All right, I always liked in uh, in Skyward Sword how that little robot that you bring up fell in love with Fee. I never got that far in the game. I'm trying he'll, to like, do anything that. he he'll like do anything he can for her, but he hates Link. <laughs> Who could hate Link? Probably jealous. But Link's just in the friend zone. <laughs> Link. Get him put in the friend zone. <laughs> nice. Right. Dang it, we gotta stop following me around. Why am I the monkey? <laughs> Whoa! What the? Creepy thing this is thing this. This freaked me out the first time I saw it. Alright, what is Jeff doing in this game? Holy crap. <laughs> You know what? That kind of is a little too true. <laughs> you know what? That, this game would be better on the Saturn. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you could give that voice to the text. Uh, you must be need something here too. Uh, yeah. I can't be quite, yeah, he'll fall I can't be quite out, though. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, this was it a Coco? Creeps me out. Like a little oh. bird with uh, just. Uh, yeah. this Even Link's like, creepy. what the hell? It looks creepy, and then just. Yeah, just imagine seeing that in front of you, like, whoa, it starts, starts talking to you. I don't know, it's a little charming, just, but it's definitely weird. Link's like, I'll adventure, I'll do all these crazy things, but this bird is where I draw the line. Yeah, I'll put up with Navi before that bird. Uh, not really, but, it, you know, at least it, at least it's not Tingle. Oh, uh, uh, Tingle. Yeah, I hate Apparently in Japan, he's like a phenomenon. Of course he is. Alright, so that spider got pwned and... Alright, so I'll go over here now and... <laughs> we'll go over here first and monkeys get mad. I'll go over here! <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice impersonation of a monkey. Yeah. Get down with the sickness! Now that's now that's some real monkey business right there. Yeah. Shit. What? 
You gonna make it? I hope so. We got like what thirty minutes, thir forty minutes left. Jeez. Yeah, let's hope uh, a monkey wrench doesn't get thrown in your plans. Right. <laughs> ah, I got, they get a wrench, but I got a key. The key to my heart. Yeah. Shot to the heart, and you're to blame. The key to Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't screw him over. Uh, right. <laughs> Ah, fail! I meant to. Oh, ah, fail! The bridge. I'm in murky water here. Oh, about I, I thought you were the master of Zelda. Who <laughs> said that? I thought I was watching a speed run. <laughs> right. It's more like a long play. Yes, this play is going to be long. Uh, right. I like how in this game you can actually swing the sword as you run. Oh, you can? Yeah, like you don't have to stop to swing it. Oh, cool. That was like the best feature they ever did. There's monkey number two. Just in case you don't know where to go, I'm gonna show you. Man, they can fit through there. Come on, you free yourself. <laughs> <laughs> free yourself. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's a burner bridge right there. You burning bridges? Yeah, I oh, didn't burn it, just broke it or whatever. Tell me to use your head, Link. Well, hopefully, uh, Midna can bridge the gap here and show me what to do. Oh, how clones are me? I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to get by this thing. Oh, wait. Oh, wow, look what I did. <laughs> wow, wasn't that, that a complete accident? <laughs> that monkey was butt hurt, literally. Alright, oh, his freaking trolls are back. YouTube trolls. Here come the two stooges. Yeah, the YouTube trolls. You suck at this game! Oh, you should have done this! Oh, for sure! That's me blocking them. That's what they look like, too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I know the wrong more, but I got a ton of mow grass, so let's get going here. <laughs> That's just the best part. When you get to just a large field of grass and you just swish, swish away. Yep. I oh, fail. I <laughs> oh, fail. Come on. It's like the circus. You can do this. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. Last time I beat it, I think, it was in 2008. I'll let Doink the Clown do this. Right. I don't know we got don't get that. Is that a wrestler? Yep, there you go. What we got does just, get it. I googled it. Took a guess. Doink the Evil Clown. Look it up. Yeah, whenever I make a, a reference of a certain somebody that he don't know who it is, most likely it's wrestling. He's learned that by now. <laughs> Well, I got you covered. Yeah. And let's see here. All right, as Curious George and his girlfriend follow me, go to this next part here. Curious George in the Temple of Forest of Temp. No, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the Legend of Zelda and the Temple of ECW. When all else fails, ECW. Yep. I wonder if I could enable ECW mode in this game, or uh. Or acid trip mode as uh, the video that Tip sent me a, while, a few days ago. I was gonna say that's ECW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that Link handling that sword like a pro. Well, he is a pro. He's got the spirit of the original Link in him. So, yeah, the spirits is in you. Oh, yeah. nice finish. All right. Yeah. Imagine those plants in real life. Uh, no, please, I don't want to imagine anything anything in real life. Yeah. Or a bomb bug. If, where... one, if one of them can sing, there'll be a star on Broadway. Yeah. Yeah, eat that. <laughs> eat, eat it. Just. Now that's some heartburn. Uh, yeah, I was going to say something like, oh man, that's some indigestion. <laughs> tum, to tum, tum, tums. I'm trying to remember exactly where to go here. I always get confused at this part, too. Yeah. I'm not good at force temples. Well, guess it's time to get good. Even though I think the music in this temple is better than the Ocarina of Time Force temple, because in that one it's like... 
have like a almost like a uh, the movie Psycho and someone's coming after me with a knife or something. I love that music. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It fit the tempo perfectly, but I just didn't personally. Just like the uh, just like the Woodfall tempo in Majora's Mask. That's pretty cool too. I don't remember too much about that game. I beat it one time, and it's a Zelda game that did not give me to play it again. Oh no, no! It's one oh, of my Oh, that blew up one in my, of my face. favorites. <laughs> yeah, you should. We, we gotta get Danny in commentary with you one day, uh, Tibbs, because he's a big Majora's Mask fan. Nice. Well, I'm a Majora's Mask fan. It's my favorite one in the series. Yeah, but who cares about you? Anyway, let me get this treasure chest right here. No, I'm just okay, kidding. I see how that is. Uh, I guess I'll end the comb. <laughs> <laughs> I, I care that. about you, wee guy. Yeah, see, you got a fan. Aww. Yeah. That's and that's good enough for me. One fan. No, I'm just kidding. I have one fan in my discuss, room. We can discuss <laughs> NES music all day. <laughs> yeah. We guys should have said, uh, I have like thousands of fans on like you, Ronnie. Oh. <laughs> I don't really even have fans. They're just people that like my stuff. Subscribers. That's not of a fan quality. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what the hey? That's, wait, I need that key. We're going to need a key for that's you, cheap. idiot. I hope you get sick and die. Jeez. I guess it's the mini boss. No, it's not the mini boss I'm talking about. I mean, it's a mini mini boss. The sub mini boss. Not even a mini boss. It's a boss, micro, just a, just it's a a micro enemy. boss. Yeah, micro boss. Ah, come on. Oh! Man, he planted me. <sighs> nice. Don't soil your chances. What? <laughs> just plant related jokes. Alright. Soil. Yeah. Give my key. Oh, yeah. sorry. Oh, okay. Well, I, I fail when it comes to plants. When I was in kindergarten, and you know those projects where you make your own plant in a plastic cup? I failed. <laughs> I forgot if I even did that. It's, I don't, even I, know. I I don't think well, I did. Back in my day, we did. Oh, yeah, because you're older. Old, yeah. On older, yeah. Older. It's, hey, come on. I gave you some credit. Yeah. <gasps> There's a heart in the. <laughs> nice, and now the key is all shiny, even though after it's been in the plant stomach. Oh, now it's all rusty. What the heck? Just in case you forgot it was there. Yeah. All right, sir. Obviously, you're free to go. <laughs> this is just like He's in. He's obviously uh... very happy about that. <laughs> well, is it trying to do catch butterflies? Stop jumping for joy. <laughs> This is too reminiscent of when you had to free the Gorons in the Fire Temple in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, the morons, yeah. They're reusing ideas. Except so these guys actually help you. Right, yeah. Well, I mean, the Gorons kind of did. They told you a clue, I think, after you rescued each one. Yeah, gave you some really important tips. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm a hands-on learner. A special crop. Yeah, I'm a hands-on learner. You gotta show me, not tell me. Oh! Well, the Nintendo's oh. perfect for you. Right? Alright, let's get this here. Ah! Heart piece. You stole someone's heart. Yep. Shot to the heart! I'm sorry, I love that song. <laughs> hey, come on. Link's living on a prayer here. Yeah, I'm about to say, Ronnie, you give LPs a bad name. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, nice. Made it. Nice time. Nice yeah. timing. Easy W. Ooh, it's dark and gloomy here. What is that, another monkey? Yep. These things in the floor scared the crap out of me when I first saw them. Like, oh, surprised yeah. surprised me. Tremors. There's a code in this game you can play as Kevin Bacon. I hate that movie. What? My fiance likes it, but I never did. Oh, she's cool. Some don't like the bacon, man. How can you not like bacon? I'm just kidding. Uh, I love bacon. Get my name legally changed to bacon. Ronnie Bacon. Yeah, that sounds right. All right. Oh, nice. Another heart piece or a key? No, open it. Don't roll into it, you idiot. 
Oh, well, the means to the same end. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's a tremors. Uh, wait, these enemies, they look familiar. Were they a link to the past? No. What, Tiles just guys? flew at you. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah. They look familiar. I thought they were another Zelda game. Maybe I'm wrong! Ouch! Man, I just got floored. Alright, so let's get <laughs> these giant wooden stairs here. Let's up and at him. Yep, up and at him. <laughs> up and at them. Whoa! Queen Goma? Oh, wait. Yeah, she got reduced down to just a standard enemy. Yeah, no, that's a spider from Unembodied that killed me when I went down Whoa. into the basement. First play this, I expected a Goma fight in this place. Right? You would, yeah, you would think that. Well, come on, monkeys! Can't you climb up there with me? You're monkeys. You can't assume too much out of a monkey. Well, there they are. They just warped up there. <laughs> right? Yeah. Thanks for telling me the twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. The twenty rupees again. There are two rupees in India. Alright, where are we at? Oh, wait, we're back. You ever been here, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, well, if I pay attention I'm... to my map. There's only one way into that room. Oh, yeah. See, I get lost even this with a map. Test. That's why this I skip. Is your test, man. Yeah, that's why I skip. It gets mad at me all the time. Use your map. You should use your map. One time I posted a comment in my video saying, You should have made a map, and I responded, You should have shut your mouth. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, stop the presses. He blocked me after that, and that's, that's why I haven't done video projects since Low Budget Reviews Mega Man 2. Alright, so. Alright, now we're getting further here. I think there's two more monkeys to rescue, is there? No, that's it for, na for now. Oh, okay. Is it for now? If it was real life, Ronnie, would you trust them? No, no, because I, I won't trust anybody because uh, with that, because I'd be scared to do that, that stuff. I don't trust no one. I'll be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold doesn't trust your sorry ass. What? You want a monkey around? I'm gonna whoop, and the rock comes out. I'll lay the smack down on your monkey ass. Oh, speaking of monkey ass. <laughs> Whoa, you timed that too good. Well, butt out. That ass, though. I'm just kidding. Um, all right. I wish you could deliver the finishing blow to that ass. <laughs> right? Oh, well, you can act, kind of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, you do. Right now. That's right. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's no. got smart. Fight that monkey. How do you like that? He's going to have really bad hemorrhoids. Right. Now he's butt hurt. Womp womp womp. Whoa. Well, that's what was wrong with him. He had a bug in him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The most probable cause of uh, just insanity. Yeah. I guess that really bugged him. Hey. Boo. <laughs> Haunted house. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that was good. So that was a mini boss defeated. Now I get the ECW boomerang. Oh, that weapon blows. Now That's Link's, why it's called the Gale boomerang. Now Link's gonna hear voices again. Yeah, so Randy Orton here is hearing voices. 
<laughs> guess what? Guess who that is, we guy? <gasps> Wait, who? <laughs> Randy Orton. Oh, yeah. I was, you just yeah, you just said that. <laughs> so who's talking to me now? Oh, the, oh, the spirit of uh, the brain. It's the spirit of the of the boomer. A lot of spirits talking to Link here. Boomer Kawanger? Right. E-C-W. That song makes Ronnie me knows all about the boomer. Oh yeah, that song that song made me want to work. It made me want to get a pickaxe and as someone else is on the other side of the rock, we take turns shipping away at <laughs> it. Alright, we got one. <laughs> Alright. See what got we got there's your fan. It's it's more of a propeller, but Okay, I failed right there. What the heck? Yeah, you sure did. So you have to do you have to do it multiple times for some reason. Oh yeah, that's right. Well that's stupid. Cause, Cause it's old man, old technology, you just gotta really get it working. Yeah. Come on, there we go. And third time's a charm. Know, that's a, that's actually a logical reason. Yep. Yeah, man. It's like if you left a factory, you know, for like 20 years and like try to get the gears working, you have to do a lot of oiling up and stuff to get them cranking again. Yeah, this temple is outdated. <laughs> it's outdated like my Windows 98 uh, computer. Yeah, more outdated than my Gateway 2003 computer I had. Gateway. Gateway. Yeah, Gateway. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you made it. More outdated made... than my phone, no, which thought... is only a year old. I thought you said gateway, like making a joke. No, sorry, I'll emphasize the T's more. Yeah. So man, Twilight Princess. That's such a such a great game. Yeah. <laughs> With your host, oh, I forgot the host of Twilight Zone. Oh, um, Damn, if they can jump like that, why don't they do this themselves? Uh, <laughs> Randy Quaid. <laughs> Randy Quaid. Yep. No, it Dennis was Quaid. Randy Quaid. Alfred Dennis Hopper. Hopper. No. Douglas Quaid. Bowser. Rod Sterling. Rod Sterling. Yeah, Ron right? Sterling. There you go. Yeah. Rod Sterling's the creator. I don't know if he did the Ron Sterling. Sterling. Didn't he owe the L.A. Clippers before he was forced to sell it? Oh wait. It, yes, yes, that was Rod Sterling who did the voiceovers. He also wrote a bunch of them. Oh. Okay, well, I should figure. I mean, he created the damn thing. Yeah. I love the original Twilight Zone to death. Yeah, I like the episode where that kid was, I guess he was God. He controlled anything and did anything he wanted. It's a good life, yeah. Yeah, and then the years later, 20 years later, they make the sequel. I was disappointed in that one. Don't make any noise when the music's playing. Yeah. And then one guy stood up to him and he made him do a Jack in the Box. What the heck? I love it when the Simpsons parodied that. Yeah, I think I remember that. Is it the Halloween special? Yeah, Bart has the powers. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, now I'm pulling these freaking tremors. What? Now I'm going Kevin Bacon on them. Alright, yeah. You guys are so tough now. Oh, man. Why well, did I sound like Jeff there for a second? Anyway. Nice. Got him. Two more, and then uh, after I well, after I beat the temple, I have four hots. Yeah, it's the only Zelda game where it's five pieces instead of four. Yeah, <laughs> it's five pieces that make up your that make up your heart. Yeah, well, it might be true. I don't know. <laughs> no, home is where the heart is. That made no sense. I just I got dispelled right there. It makes no difference. Yeah. All right, so now you gotta find your way to the big key, Mister. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Time to blow this place away. Yep. All right. Nice. The big key. Just like a link to the past. Oh, it's a compass. Oh, dang it. Compass. Ah, ah, you gotta co re compensate for your big key then. Right, yeah. You got Rick rolled there. Yeah, I did. I used to be a part of Compass Bank, not anymore. Alright, so. Look at the map here.
I like the zoom in and out and the sound effects. <laughs> Creepy bomb again. Bombs away! Jeez, my commentary's off tonight. Alright. Oh, All that for a red ruby. Thanks for telling me that again. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my monkey helpers. Yep. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa, hey there. Slow down. Where am I at now? Okay. Nah, they always fell right there. Jeez. <laughs> wow, that Man. is embarrassing. No, right, it's embarrassing. Because <laughs> this is a speed run. Yeah. I'm speedily failing. SGDQ, Ronnie's coming. We come <laughs> for you, no. Ah, come on! <laughs> Seriously. Come on, man. Look before you leap. It's Hulk Hogan's fault. Hulk Hogan, we're coming for you now. Ronnie, we don't buy into this act. We know you're actually the greatest gamer that ever lived. <laughs> yeah, that's why I cheat. <laughs> All it's, right. the, it's to prove a lesson to the kids. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh today, I uh, uh, will. Let's see. Uh, not today. Uh, last month uh, is when uh, Eddie Guerrero had passed away 11 years ago and I always take to heart what he told me if you're not cheating you're not trying huh yeah what's yeah <laughs> All right I got the big key now nice it's funny that they call it the big key and not the boss key yeah I guess they wanted to go back to a, a link to the past yep. the big key. this key's ugly though I didn't even notice <laughs> I just noticed the big key <laughs> Oh, almost fell right there again. Uh, this is starting to look like my Mario 64 Let's Play of me falling off platforms and stuff. I mean, that's I mean that's like half the game anyway. So I mean, well, well at least there's no uh, poles I have to deal with. You have to make them uh, appear by defeating a certain battleship. <laughs> to be fair, I forgot that once myself. <laughs> Tibbs has got a text saying, "Tell Ronnie his gameplay sucks." <laughs> get good. Yeah, get good, kid. Would you believe me if I said that's what it actually said? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because someone's watching this live right now. This is a live stream. No. Whoa. Okay, my monkeys now. Uh, man, we're the, we need a barrel for these monkeys. Right. <laughs> that's, that's, I don't know. So there's Donkey. Over there is Donkey, Dixie, Kitty, Tiny, Lanky. Cranky. Du douchey. Yeah. No, earlier you beat Cranky. Douchey. Candy. Um, uh, swanky. Yeah. Hey, I, th I think we already got like the whole monkey family right, th right there. Yeah, Spanky. and Yeah. Spanky. Yeah. That's just a whole other character from another game. Yeah. That's Spanky. He's a little rascal, all right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Nothing like the realistic touch of taking forever to climb. Yeah. Yeah, they did make it look more... Where's the stamina meter when you need it? Yeah, well, this ain't Metal Gear Solid. Um, and it, oh, whoa, I forgot that was one up there. Yeah, and, well, at least in Ocarina of Time, you can climb faster, but on here, I can understand why they went this route, because it don't look as polygonal right here, and so it does make more sense the way he's climbing. Yes. I guess. 
<laughs> okay, no need to make fun of. <laughs> yes. I guess. I guess. I guess. Get let me taste for the baby. Hard times at the American Dream, Bethany Roads. Oh no! Jeez! No! Oh! oh. Free myself right there. To be the plant, you gotta beat the plant. Woo! Yeah. Woo! You shut up, kid. Woo! Whether they like it or whether they don't like it, it's the best game going today. Yeah, snack time. <laughs> Ooh. Tasty. Yep. Snap into it. Snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I never wanted a Slim Jim more until he said said so. Yep. Marketing does Remember work. that guy that would come out and go, eat me. Oh, yeah, he's one to replace Randy Savage, but he wasn't as good. Let's see if I... Yes, come yeah, on. but I think you got it. Nice. That's clever. I, I like puzzles like that. Yeah. That took me a while to figure out. I mean, they don't spell it out for you. Well, sometimes they do. Nintendo really... Yeah. Hold your hand in a certain way, like HPG and said... These new games today, you know, don't want to hurt the kids' self esteem BS. <laughs> Outrageous. Yeah, I mean, this St. Lil Nemo, the Cream Master, is not quite as hard. If you need it, that's why GameFAX is there. Yep, or YouTube. I remember seeing uh, someone put a meme on Facebook. Back in my day, we played the games. We didn't watch other people play them. Yeah, true, but I mean, it's cool to watch gameplay footage, too, if you freaking need help and you can't figure it out on your own. I think this should be a law. You shouldn't be allowed to watch a Let's Play unless you've played that game yourself. Eh. Yeah. I mean, there might be some games you're not interested in at all and want to just see how it is. And just like, huh, no, I'll never play this game, so let's see what it's like. Yeah. I usually do, my, you know, my first impression reviews, let's check out. Oh, yeah. The spectrum is so wide for what you can do. Yeah. Yeah. And what you can watch. That's right. And with emulators, you pretty much have everything at your fingertips. Now, uh, if you use an emulator, you're a wussy. Well, I guess I'm no, one of the biggest... I just don't have a million dollars. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm one of the biggest wussies on YouTube, then. <laughs> yeah, not... We can't all be real men like we got a Star Soldier who had the real systems. For the most part, I mean, definitely Ryan. He's got, whew, yeah, yeah. he's got most of it. I think uh, the unknown called me Rom's mower. Rom's mower. <laughs> Ron mulation. That's when I told him. You to gotta shut change up. your name to that. No, <laughs> yeah, Rom mower. Hey guys, Magus here. I want to talk about Rom blower, whatever his name is. What a wuss. He has to use Rom's because he can't use a real thing. I mean, that guy's Magus. Out. <laughs> okay, we we'll see you, Magus. <laughs> Shout out to Magus. No yeah. publicity is bad publicity. Yeah, publicity, really? Yeah. Felicity? I remember that show. Felicity. <laughs> I had a high school counselor named Felicity. Pretty cool. <laughs> I hope she's doing well then. Yeah. I, speaking of counselors, I wanted to be a Nintendo gameplay counselor, and that hotline was open for that weekend when the NES Mini came out. <laughs> I tried to get one of those, couldn't do it. <laughs> a lot of people couldn't do it. I used to call the hotline all the time, Got kind of got in trouble for the phone bill, but you know that story we got. Yeah, oh gosh, yes I do. <laughs> all right, I just spot her again. Aw, oh, little spider, he just wants to be your friend. That was cool. I'm playing Resident you? Evil now. Yeah. You almost became a Link Sandwich. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Yep. Oh, sound like a monkey's down here. Hmm, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, jeez, what a lucky random find. Yeah. You did. He could have knocked that off of there and broke it himself. Come on. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Look, these monkeys. They can't do it. Yeah. 
the Monkees, that band. I used to watch their show back then. They had a TV series, it reruns, I think in the 80s or whatever it was. We get out of here. So yeah, yeah, this is the same area we got where you fall. You go down to the, like a secret room, that, that giant spider from Uninvited. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh, Uninvited. Yeah, Uninvited LP on the S2K, Shameless Plug. Yeah, we invite you to watch it. Yes, there was no uninvitation. Yeah. Unless you're a troll, then you're uninvited. I'm out of here then. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go this way now. Almost done with this dungeon. Just need to find the dungeon door. Did you just say the dungeon door? I mean the dungeon door. The boss door. Not, not the Dungeon of Doom from WCW, Mike. <laughs> Get the Yeti in here. Sullivan, my son! You must destroy Hulkamania! Those oh. are the days. What's going on? There's no Hulkamaniacs down here! Touches the water fountain. Ah! It's not hot! Well, then why are you screaming for you? Does. Peter Parker here. Oh, Pwned. Peter Parker. Yeah. <laughs> really? Peter Parker. Parker Lewis can't Look, I know lose. He's the, I know he's the Spider-Man, but still. Yeah. Parker Lewis can't lose. Who remembers that show? Nope. Mike? S sounds familiar. Oh. I was hoping one of y'all say, yeah, well, we got young, but... Yeah, it came on like 93 through 96, I think, yeah. Is that the last monkey, hopefully? I think so. And this boomerang blows. Whoa. I've seen spiders dangling from my face before. Imagine a big piranha plant doing that to you. Oh, another rupee that I've already collected. They shouldn't put rupees in the chest because that that that's misleading, man. You gonna you think you're gonna get something like a heart piece? I mean, they, they, we already got the item, the dungeon items. But uh, like, if you don't know better, you might think, oh, what's the? Well, of course, when you get the items, you get that big introduction. Da -da -da -da. But like, it's the sense of wonder. Yeah, but like for that. You might uh, think maybe it's a heart piece or whatever. No, it's another rupee. Ooh, ooh. What would he freaking do? What are they up to now? More monkey business? <gasps> the monkeys. They're turning into their ultimate form. They're going into formation. They're getting in formation. Ah, look out, king. We're in... We're in the circus all of a sudden. Yeah. Again, if I was in that video, I don't know if it's real or not. This guy saw, like, lights in the sky. And they're aliens! They're about to invade us! Uh, they're getting in formation! <laughs> Officer, do something! <laughs> Officer. <laughs> it's a double rainbow! Oh, my God! Yeah. All right. Nice. Now we're at the dungeon door. As we get ready to yeah, fight yeah. the dungeon boss. Do it, do it, do it. Time to kick some ass. See you guys in part six. God bless. Take it. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, oh, well, really? <laughs> <laughs> really going to leave us on a cliffhanger? Yeah. Come on, Stallone. Cliffhanger. Right? John Lithgow. All right. That's the, the biggest chamber yet. Chamber. The biggest dungeon is it, room. Ch is it Chamber of Secrets? <laughs> yeah. Not the Chamber of Commerce, I can tell you that. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Popping out of the soda. It's the first boss in Metroid Prime. Oh, wait. Diababa. Diababa. <laughs> the giant Baba. Yeah, Retro Prey, I like diabetes. 
we're slow beef. Yeah, right. Well, he ain't no beef, but he's had a appetizer right there. This oh, is wow. a, that was, the, uh, that was an easy boss. X rated oh. version of Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. What an easy boss battle that was. Well, that is the end of part five. But wait a minute. You didn't think it'd be that easy. Whoa. Whoa. I see what he's doing there. Got a, <laughs> got a Shoutgate 64 eyeball. Oh, God. Not breaking a sweat. Link is a cool customer. Quick, do, do the secret chant to beat him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Points of reference. You gotta watch that LP. Uh, oh, wait a minute. About time. It's about time you help out. Right? Yeah. Finally, come to his senses here. Let's help me out. All right. He's staring at his ass. Yeah, well, I have to. <laughs> in order to get that the ass. <laughs> oh! Right in the kisser. Huh. Yeah, Shao Gay season four, you suck. That's gotta hurt. Yeah. Whoa, watch out. That's not Sunny D, that's purple stuff. Ah, oh, oh, purple sick. stuff. Oh, jeez. As Angel would say, Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. I remember um, Sunny D when I was a kid. Oh, Pwn. Ooh, Al Capone. <laughs> yeah, he got Al Capone. Oh! Yes. Ooh, wow. Now that's some Oculus Rift right there. All right. I love the victory music. Yep. It did it. And so lies the remains of Plant 42. Yep. First, fused shadow. <gasps> yeah. Link's like, should I touch this thing? I mean, uh, no, touch it. It's mine. That thing. That thing. <laughs> yeah, I like the mellow music here. Ooh. Easy to Tart easy power. To I believe that's a little hint uh, from Majora's Mask with like the mellow music at the end. After you beat the boss? I don't remember. Hmm. Just a little. Probably just a little. Maybe it's just me. Oh, tell me now! Oh, Midna. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll pick up the heart that came out of that gross plant. Yeah. Hey, a heart to heart, man. Yep. Should we have a heart to heart? It's a hot, hot to hot. Yep, and so... Be done as soon as you stop talking. Yeah. Alright, so that's the end of part five, where I pwn the Forest Temple. See you guys in part six. Until then, God bless. Take care. Take care, everyone. See ya. Welcome to part six of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man... And Tibbs 316. Hello, everyone. It's storytelling hey, time. Yeah. Leave these woods and go to the east, where you will find the land protected by the spirit Elden. The land before time. <laughs>
Oh man! Didn't they make like six of those? Yeah. Um, like oh, more, more, more. The Capcom movies. movies. <laughs> I know. It's like, when's that asteroid gonna hit? <laughs> yeah. All right. So I have just defeated the Forest Temple, and now I'm in Farron Woods again, talking to the spirit of. Foreign Woods. Foreign. Farron, whatever it's called. F foreign. Foreign Woods. <laughs> yeah, it's a foreign concept to me. So I'm talking to Farron here, or whatever the monkey's name is. Go to the uh, east, right, back from unless you're in the Wii version. Yeah, Midna's what? been in Link's Shadow. Did you ask her something? What? Wasn't that thing in Majora's Mask? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, what thing? Might have been. That thing she's wearing? Oh, wait. Yeah, it looks like a, I don't know. It looks like a deer mask or something. <laughs> oh, dear. No. I can <laughs> take parts of my car with that. <laughs> yeah. Looks like an air, air filter or something. But anyway. <laughs> uh, here's rolling, awesome. Rolling, rolling. Here's the awesome music of Farron Woods. Are you doing a speed run now? Yeah. No, if you watched the last part, you know it wasn't a speed run. It was screech again. Yeah. Don't tell me I can't. Now, we already talked about this, Ronnie. You're a master. Yeah, master of failing. As I get nasty soup here. What? Maybe if I drink the tar liquid like in Shadow Gate, I'll live. No. The only way to find out how it tastes is to drink it. I think gift. you're gonna like. <laughs> I took away a heart. What was the point of that? I don't, can you set his hair on fire? That'd be cool if you could. <laughs> That's what Raven did to his sister. Wow. Well. Right, let me equip my Gale boomerang. I get out of here. I'm approaching Hyrule Field now. My favorite iteration of Hyrule Field. Yeah, whoa. 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 This the twilight spreads through Hyrule. Whoa, what the heck is that? The Octorosh or whatever. That's Star Soldier. Star Soldier. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> you remember we got running around all the energy. So I have to do my epic speed run here. <laughs> yeah, roll right off that hill. Yeah. Oh, there's these trolls again. YouTube trolls. Are you stuck in this game? Block. <laughs> ah, thumbs down. <laughs> oh. You gotta admire their tenacity. Yeah. Get the uh, heart piece here. Whoa. Whoa. Thought you were dead. What the? Oh, whoa. That evil Toucan Sam coming after me. Derpy bird. Yeah. Like uh, one of Ridley's kids. Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna get you. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Oh, a shiny bug. A beetle. The Avengers Elite Bug Collector. Yeah. It's a cool Tola. Yeah, I butchered a lot of names in the Zelda series. Kikiriko Village, instead of uh, Skowatulas, Skowatulas. Uh, instead of uh, Saria, Saria. Yeah, I got all the names wrong. I thought it was Saria. I thought it would be too. It's like Maria. It's not. It's not a Maria. It's Maria. So you think it's spelled the same as the S? It should be Saria, right? But I guess not. I never that's thought of it that way. That's and, racist. <laughs> like in like in uh, Seinfeld, he goes uh, uh, Demi Moore. He goes, I think it's Demi. He goes, really? I never heard of a Demi tractor trailer. <laughs> Oh my God. 
Oh no. I love it. I love this guy. Oh, <laughs> What, man, what is up with those Magnum PI 80 shorts? <laughs> Alright. Okay, Captain Obvious. It kind of looks like he's wearing, like, stockings or something. What the hell? Yeah. It took me a while to figure out that what he's doing is, like, the little jingle. Yeah. He's like the Pony Express or something. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you, Tibbs, and I'll be off. <laughs> well, so he gave me a The letter. mailman in spirit, in spirit tracks for the DS, the mailman, he acts like he's on a train, like with his arms, even though he's just walking. <laughs> I still prefer him over Tingle. What if they're the same person? <gasps> Man, well, that would be fail. <laughs> Wouldn't he be like really old then? Or, like, yeah. Young? I don't know. I'm trying to like. Tingle's magic knows no bounds. Yeah. All right, we're approaching the wall of Twilight again. Yes, I remember. I, have, I haven't the faintest idea. Why don't you tell me? I don't know, Ron. Dang it, I forgot the host name of Twilight Zone. Ron Brown. Oh, Ron Brown. Yeah. We're in the fail zone. Whoa! Just got pwned. Right? That really grabbed my attention. Yeah, right, yeah. And once again, in the world of Twilight, the realm of Twilight. Oh. Alright. Come on, Pete. Easy, Pete. <laughs> Yeah, Pete's a dog used to have. Gangsta dog. Yeah. Jamie knows firsthand. Yep. I I'm a cat person out. myself. Me too? Matter of fact, right before we started here, my cat wanted to come in. I didn't let him in because I'd be chasing him around the whole time. Yeah, your cat made appearance on your YouTube channel, Shamus Plug. What's this? What is it, Pete? What is it? Oh, he's a little bastard. <laughs> the youth scent. Yeah, you oh, saw predator shit right there. Right? Hey, why don't you have the seat right there? Hey, I have this chat log here. He he he. I gotta follow the scent. Whoa! Looks like Wario. Looks like Wario's been through there. Right. Yeah. The shadow beasts are back, with, or the predators. But speaking of predators, we gotta catch these predators. Isn't there a game called Shadow Beast? Alter Beast. Yeah, I don't know about Shadow Beast. What? I know about all What? I'm about to die, come on. Really? There we go. I'm going to die these Mark for Death characters from uh, the Steven Seagal movie. Welcome to your doom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the uh, the Borg. Yep. Wait, what? That was the Borg ship. Star Trek. Never mind. Oh, I just right. I just got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, beat me up, Scotty. Intelligence is futile. Oh. I don't want Star Trek. That's for nerds. <laughs> right as we uh, <laughs> yeah, we 
Yeah. As we talk over a video game. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, actually, Ronnie, uh, if you want to be correct. This game would be better on the Dreamcast. <laughs> yes, that is right, with the TCP IP connection. <laughs> okay, is that Jeff or Chris Chan? Anyway. A cross of the two. Oh, jeez. A cross dress of the two? No. Um, yeah. I had a luck job. Alright, so let's go to the Wait, we playing Portal now? Yeah, we're going back to the Farron Woods here. Because we're going to need to bridge the gap between that area and uh, the other side. I love how the sunset looks in this game. Yeah. Let's just like the Twilight Zone. Why can't you look around? You have one eye. Right? Yeah, you have that, all that power. Jeez, could this be it? That's freaky what she does with her hair or whatever that's supposed to be. An yeah. arm. Yeah. You can't do that in real life. Eh, it's all done with mirrors. Yeah, smoky mirrors. Well, no, all that, like, carbon shit looks... That looks bad for the uh, environment. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's the climate change. Yeah, pixelated dust, or whatever it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah, that's what really caused the flood in Wind Waker. Yeah. Stop hitting me! Yeah. Yeah, if this is Pete the dog, that thing would be dead. Pete wouldn't put up with their crap. could so rip those guys apart. Right? <laughs> Damn, no way hit him. <laughs> Alright, let's go deeper into this realm of ECW. So, Ronnie, is this going to be a 100% run? Hope so. Are the shadow beasts again? Ah, Kakariko Village. When I was a kid, I called it Kaka Kaka Village because I thought it was funny. In this game, it actually looks more like a village. Yeah, that's what. Is that what they said? Ka Kakariko Village. Yeah, because because in Ocarina Time it it doesn't feel like a village. It's more like a little town. Yeah, but a village is a town. Well, well, right, I know, but it just it it feels. I don't know. Like a village is smaller than a town, so this should actually be crackhead town. I think. Why, MCA? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's for reference? No. Village people, come on. You're uh, awarded zero points. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta talk to another spirit here. Okay, I, I, I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> I am a spirit of ECW. I was thinking that. Two steps ahead of you, Ronnie, or at least one step. Yeah. Get 
get the vessel. Here comes your favorite part. Do what? Ronnie loves this part. Oh yeah, jeez. Collector of the tears, yay! Let's do some collecting here. Are those like the magic beans or whatever from? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah from Bear Thirteen from Ocarina Tom. At least, at least here you get to blow something up. Yeah, that's true. And it's better than herding goats in the barn. <laughs> talk faster. Of course, I can hit the A button to make it talk faster. Yeah, that's me playing these types of games. I mash the hell out of the A button. Yeah, Come I know. On. Well, me though. When this I should be an this should be an option at the beginning. Like, is it your first time playing? No. Okay. Me though, when I first play a game, I'm I've been anticipating for a long time. I try to soak in as much of it as I can, and just let it play out. Want to play it alone with no one else watching. And so that's why I try to uh, make the most of it. And Skyward Sword, I kind of couldn't do that because at the time I was living. In the D house, and everybody wanted to watch me play it. Like, Leave me alone! I want I want this game for myself right now. <laughs> I'm an only child, so I had everything to myself. Yeah, I did too until I lived with the other people. Whoa! Some spirits in here. Oh, it's the children. Well, well, well. Who's the other people? Where's the midget? I don't see those black brutes the anywhere. Heck is Mr. <laughs> the heck is Mr. Leahy doing this game? These little racist bastards. <laughs> <laughs> don't be afraid of the black man, little child. The spirit of the bear will come and save us. Or excuse me, the wolf oh, fail. Oh, that's that's like a cross of Randy and Mr. Lady. Right? I love this guy. Nothing is over! You don't just turn it off! All right. Dennis the Menace, what the heck? Okay, that, look, that looks like Jody's mother when she, when she was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a damn Disney character. I don't know. <laughs> right? Whoa, Chief Thunder's getting pissed. Way to Aww. go. Let's make her yeah, cry, making... idiot. <laughs> I'm out of here. Cue the Harlem Globetrotter music as he tries to do that. <coughs> Damn right. Not all of you, though. Time to light this place up. Yep. I 
like to think she's accentuating all the words in red. Wait a minute, you want her? You're chosen! Yeah, I'm still wondering how come Zelda didn't transform in the Twilight. Maybe because she's the princess. That's a good because point. Because girls never do shit in these games. It's always yeah. up to the damn guy. It's not true. Samus uh, saved what, the universe several times. Yeah, but that's on um, like a completely different strange world. Strange uh, world? What? Saying this is different, damn it. Oh. Yeah. Alright, and. If you play other M, she's really different. Yeah. Even though they made her look weak and Metroid, uh, was it Other M? Oh, yeah. let's not even talk about that game. <laughs> uh. Unless you want to hear Tibbs' uh, two cents, Shameless Plug. Yeah, Ronnie knows how I feel about that game. Yeah. That game is for two cents. <laughs> Alright, so uh, now it's time to go bug hunting and get the tears of ECW. Oh, the graveyard. Try Re time to dig up some graves. Remember the old man from the graveyard, no Korean Tom? Yeah, Dumpe, uh, yes. Yeah, Dumpe. Oh, hey, it's Dumpe. Damn it. Yeah, Lupe? <laughs> Toupe. Toupe. Yeah, Touche. Touche. Right, uh, whoa. I wasn't playing in graveyard games in this one, I doubt it. You ever playing a game alright? Collect the tears. <laughs> Back in Kakariko Village. Now collect more tears. What is it now? Shut up. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Probably wants to remind you what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Ah. It's freaking w These vultures or whatever they are are freaking weird. They. They don't have a face, uh, they just have a giant hole where they make honking noises. What the heck? Uh, no bonus game? Nope. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. Theoretically, that should have killed it. Yeah. Either one of you ever play Hyrule Warriors? No, I've no. always wanted to. It's Never actually pretty decent. It. It's Dynasty Warriors, but Zelda style. Yeah. Or the other way around, rather. We get to play as Ganon. Dwarf. It's, it's fun for what it is. You get a ROM hack? No, it's a real game. Oh no, it's an actual game on the Wii U and the 3DS now. Ooh. Yeah, I've always wanted to try it. Especially when I heard you play. Well, I know you play as Gandor for Smash Brothers, but that wasn't a Zelda game. Then again, High Rule Warriors is not canon also, but I've always wanted to try that out. There's a lot of content. Yeah. A lot of these damn tears. Is this gonna be the rest of the video? Yeah. Oh shit. They cut. Remember, they they kind of recycled this a little bit in Skyward Sword, but the challenge was different. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that far in Skyward Sword. I kind of actually end up giving up on the game. We end up selling the game along with my, the rest of my collection. So this is like the, the last great Zelda game I really played. You ever try Link Between Worlds? That one was awesome. No, I did try, uh... Well, after Twilight Princess, I did try out, uh, Four Sword Adventures. Oh, me too. I didn't like that one. I did. I just didn't get to play through it. That's one of only three of them I never played myself, the other two being the Oracle games. Oh yeah, Oracle Seasons. Freaking ECW. There's too many fucking Zelda games. True. 
But there's also too many Mega Man games, but at least most of the Zelda games are actually good. Ooh. There's not enough Mega Man games. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and, and no, um, the, the, the CDI games not count. <laughs> So, so, someone in the Zelda group said, uh, I've never heard of those. I don't play fan-made games. And we're like, those are not fan-made games. Those are real <laughs> games from a real company. Fan-made games are better. You should have right. just said, you know what? You win. Right. And <laughs> fan-made games are free. I'm sure they are better. I haven't actually played them. But I've seen some footage and stuff. And Oh, yeah, they got to be better than the CDI games. Jeez. <laughs> Have you heard of uh, these randomizers that you can add to, like, um, Mario World and Link to the Past? No. What it is is you you have the ROM of the game on your computer, and you download the randomizer, and what it'll basically do is it'll make all the chests in the game spawn a random item. Okay. It's actually pretty cool, because you got to rethink how you play through the game. I know, uh, like for Metroid and stuff, they uh, they have, I guess, they're not exactly ROM hacks, but it just like changes everything in the game, like the locations. Yeah, uh, yeah. pretty much like, the same thing. But, it, it, but the, the, you know, like the map of the game is completely different as well. Ah, oh, fail. Oh. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Damn. I wish Nintendo would like stop whenever anyone makes like one of those fan made Metroid games. I wish they would stop taking them down. Yeah, but same time they have the right to. I know it's lame, but they have the right to protect well, their IP. Then, then they then they should make one themselves, and I'm not talking about Federation Force. Right. You just you have to remember that Nintendo doesn't like promotion. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. They don't like increasing their profits, apparently. Yeah, neither does Sega with the uh, taking down well, the Streets of Rage well, remake. Well, you know, it's Sega. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Romantic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chicken shit. Get out of here! Come on! <laughs> he went for the door. You're supposed to uh, stop, drop, and roll. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, in China, a dog is a delicacy. Uh, so is cat. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah, this is way better. Three at once. Yep. <laughs> Let's just go burn everything else down. We'll get them real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was fun. Yeah, I mean, I mean, fire, fire, fire. Yeah, Star of River House that was. But... Ah, fuck him. Yeah, hopefully it was Barnes' house, the douchebag. Yeah. Anyway. If you leave explosives in your house to that extent, you deserve it. Yeah. Dang it, stupid. Uh, vulture. You know what it is? This that's Hyrule's version of a uh, meth lab exploding. Yeah. Ah, nice. Another one. Jeez, oh, I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, gotta stop! Gotta stop the action to tell you. Man, jeez. Just don't kill the momentum. I got three more to go. Oh, what? Four more to go. Oh, Goron. Yeah, these morons. Oh. Uh, I never like these people. I know that's racist. I don't like Gorons. Big deal. Yep. Yep. Protests in Waco have risen. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, but at the same time, the Gorons do rock. Uh, fail. Oh, come on, that joke rocked. 
I don't know, you almost you almost made me give you the last three tiers. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch out, J-Man's gonna rage quit like he did in Shadow Gate 64. When, J when J Man mentioned Waco, I almost made a crack about Janet Reno, but uh -oh. I'll have a little taste. Oh. Well, you know, he's, he's crossed over, so. And no, for those of you listening, I was not in the compound with the David Koresh. Well, yeah, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> no, some people he let go. <laughs> Seriously, people used to ask me that when I was new in Georgia, when I lived there for four months. Oh, you from Waco, Texas? We at the compound with David Caress, Cuddy. <laughs> they said Cuddy. No, right. they didn't say Cuddy. I made that up. Anyway, whoa. Fun it was A1. <laughs> Man, this is... Funny thing, Ronnie, I completely forgot about you living there. <laughs> yeah. Man, where are we at? In the terrestrial plane? I don't know, we're playing like uh, like Mario Paint or something. The game is still young, Jay, man. We got a long way to go. It's like a Disney movie right here as they start singing together at random. Mufasa. Not really singing, but humming or whatever. So we're eventually going to find um, that wolf again, wolf man, whatever he is, to learn some more hidden skills. Ah, oh, dang. Let out, some, <laughs> let out some steam, Bennett. Dang, I'm steamed. I did download Steam to play Shadowgate 2014. Thanks, uh, uh, Mandarian Swift, or Blue Rose, or whatever five names you have. Oh, what's this? Oh, Death Mountain. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, ECW Mountain. More beasts to fight. More friends to play with. Yeah. Gotta fight these beasts. Gotta fight these Brock Lesnar's. Make another portal to where we can warp back here later. We got two more bugs here. There's someone, somewhere, someone. There's somewhere up here in Death Mountain. Who's this idiot? The way those stand guards do that. Yeah, that's right. You are useless. Alright, there's one of them. Ah, oh, jeez, another freaking horn bat. Yeah, just a little horny. Yeah, I was, I was thinking of a dirty joke, but I didn't go there. I think J-Man left. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought he rage quit, yeah. <laughs> No, I had to rage piss. <laughs> well, at least you had the DCC to turn the audio off where you did that. No, I didn't. I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> this game, this <laughs> game scared the piss out of him. Yeah, right, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pissed. Oh, don't get smoked again. Yeah, well, J-Man, at least this game has color. 
on like another game we uh-huh. upload. Oh, okay. I thought you were uh, saying something else racist again. <laughs> no. You know, can't make the black turn what? white in this game. Oh, can I? <laughs> I wish you just slapped these people in the back of the head. They can't see you, but I guess. Can they feel you? Well, yeah, it sound right, but. <laughs> like, what I mean is, like in GoldenEye, you're invisible. That, that cheat. You can just slap people in the face, and they're like, huh? What was that noise? I mean, not noise. I'm thinking of Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. yeah. What was that feeling? Oh, who slapped me? Oh, jeez, little critters. He's what just kill Freaking critters. Oh my god. That's trolls. Oh, yep. yeah. Fail trolls. Yeah, you're killing them, and then they're going to kill me. Yeah. Alright, don't feed the trolls. Nice, got the last one, finally. Oh my god. That's all she wrote. Let there be light. Yep. Nice, the vessel of ECW has been filled. So light has returned to Kakariko Village, and Link is back to normal again. That's you, Ronnie. We're just starting to have fun. It's almost over. <laughs> All right, now we talk to the spirit of Elden. Whoa. Oh, which is a giant <clears throat> hawk? Eagle. Eagle? Okay. Flying like an eagle. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. What the hell? I like a frog face. My name is Elton. Yeah. Well, you need to do a better job. Getting close to one of my personal favorite parts of the game, the sumo wrestling. Spoilers. Yeah, that's right. Ah, so this game is ECW. It's going to be some wrestling. Where you can unlock E Honda. No, I was kidding. Um, <laughs> I just fade away already. Jeez. It's like cool. Yeah. So all right, that is the end of part six. And oh. we'll see you guys in part seven. Where we will I guess that's where we venture into the Goron Mines or Death Mountain. Until then, God bless and take care. Take care, everyone. Peace. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Part Seven. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs and the Lens of Truth. What's up, everyone? Hey. Oh, there's Lens of Truth out there when he was five. Oh, oh, hey. Jeez, and there's me when I was four. <laughs> I don't mean him either. <laughs> the guy in green? <laughs> yeah. There's a little bastard again. I wish he'd go away. That's Donald Trump when he was a baby. <laughs> Right, and Peter Pan, I mean Link, has uh, restored light to the Elden Province and Kakariko Village. The conquering hero. Yeah. 
as he talks this to guy with big lips yeah and uh and mr Leahy, <laughs> they just ignored him luda Dennis and Menace now tells us what happened. <laughs> uh, Tatanka now is oh, that's so racist. <laughs> you better not give him lip. <laughs> yeah. oh. He's got collagen, or what's it called? Collagen? No, it's collagen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thinking of uh, those girls from White Chicks. Yeah, nightmare. That's what you are, buddy. <laughs> Just like my life. All right, we are coming up to Tibbs' favorite part. Yes, I like this. I love the Gorons, man. Yep, we get ready to go to Moron Village or whatever it's called, or Village Mo Moron Mines. They want us to mine our own this... business as they are hating the humans right now. Uh... When I first played this, this was the part of the game I really started to get excited for what was to come. The Goron's having a pr pride parade up in the mines. Yeah. It actually does make sense because they are very proud. Especially of their nipples. I know. Yeah. I do kind of miss Darunia. I like how they're all, they're all like they're all they're all like tattooed up and stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are they looking well, at Link, can you coax them? Yeah. Well, Link, I guess it's your job again. <laughs> yeah. Well, he is the hero of ECW. Alright, time for some healing here. Where's the song of healing? I love how you can repair signs with that song. Yeah, I remember that. I could have sworn that um, you could also do that with Zelda's Lullaby and Ocarina. Oh yeah, I think you could do that too. It's been a long time since I tried. There's so many little details like that in these games. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like how one of those uh, stone statues says, if you get lost in the Lost Woods, you become a Stalfos, and that's why there's speculation that yep. in this game, when you learn a new skill, that's actually the original Link. But that's just a theory. Right, a that's why I say speculation. Theory. Game theory. Yeah. Is Link dead? Man, Link is really rolling here. Now we're heading up to... I make a Limp Bizkit reference, but they suck. <laughs> well, back in the, I don't know about now. Back in the day, they were cool. They don't take use their music as an interest theme song. That's probably the coolest thing they ever did, was playing him to the ring at WrestleMania one year. Yeah. Now we're going to the Goron Mines. Uh oh, wait a minute. Uh. Looks pissed. You shall not pass. Uh oh. Watch out, ABGN. Here's a rolling rock. Oh! I'm oh. ready. I'm ready. Ouch. <laughs> and that's the point the game ends because Link died. Yeah. Because yep. who could survive that? Right. Well, let's go back then. We can't go up there yet. Let's fig figure out something else to do. <laughs> go hoard some more goats. Oh, jeez. Well, he good got old goat. rousing round of goat herding. Why didn't you stop me? <laughs> it it's funny. dangerous to go alone, so take this. Right? Yeah. Bow. 
bow-nosed Gorons. It's got to be a Star Wars joke in there somewhere. No, that was a uh, more of a football player joke. No, I mean as in Poe from the new Star oh, Wars po. movie. Oh, is it? What's po? that his name? Bo. Bo Poe, whatever. Like Bo Jackson. Or Bo Jackson. Yeah, I get that. Oh, Don Tello's Bo. Oh, Bo Bo Derek, the actress. Okay. <laughs> Oh, just got a text saying stay on topic. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, there's going to be a lot of horsing around here. Here comes Skip Rogers on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Look out. Okay, opponent's going crazy. Woo! Now it's my job to tame her. Ah, jeez, fell already. I, this part took me Wait, a long Link, time. This, this part took me a long time to get through. This is practice, Link, for when you have to tame Zelda. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on! I hit the right arrow. <laughs> oh, the right arrow. The right direction, whatever it is. Yeah, now left arrow. Now right. Hold your horses! Here we go. Nice. All right, Mr. Ed, or Mrs. Ed, calm down. All right, ECW. That's enough horse playing. Insert horse joke here. Yeah. Oh yeah, how many horses have you wrangled? All right. Well, tell me what to do. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here, head back to Hyrule Field, and go back to Orden Ranch. <laughs> I like running <laughs> over those trolls. <laughs> I love that, uh, I got that addition. Another. Sorry. I was going to say, I got to collect another bug collecting. here. It's, this is bugging me. All right, go ahead. That uh, nice little addition that they, they put in this game that you can dismount backwards. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, Dang, uh, what, what, is, what is it, Tibbs? <laughs> it's a good thing... That's Swindoll's job, old school S2K show. I just gotta hand this letter here! <laughs> but he'd be like, wop, 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 wop. Yeah, how does he survive on the field with all these enemies and, and, and danger going on? You could find him in the weirdest places. Man. Okay, uh, who's this from? Oh, uh, Coco, that's right. Oh, dang it. I don't want no creepy letter from him. Or is it oh ooka ooka ooka? Forget Uku. it. So my theory is that the mailman is a truly neutral character, and you can find that theory to be proven in some way, shape, or form in Wind Waker when he delivers mail from a moblin to a little girl. Ah. Yeah. Well, if Tingle can survive in the Zelda game, so can he. But in Wind Waker, the mailman's different. He's one of those bird, the the Rito bird. Is it the same mailman from Majora's Mask? No. Okay. Do you think that the mailman is like reborn, just like Link and Zelda and Ganon, and, and gets its own? And he gets the middle piece of the Triforce. Yeah. <laughs> He may be a mailman, but he's no Carl Malone. Oh. Right, let me get this heart piece right here. Yes. Nice. Five hearts now. Ah, another troll. Just ignore the trolls. Don't feed them. 
gets you knocking down all the trolls telling you to play better. Yep. Oh, watch out. That's that's you when you turn on ECW mode. Right, yeah. <laughs> that was Link in Majora's Mask when he had the fierce DT's mask. That's Link in ECW mode. <laughs> this is true. I remember someone in the old Z Zelda community MSN group tell me one time, I said, that, that final boss battle with Majora's Mask was easy. And they go, no it's not. You, what'd you do, use the Fierce Deity's Mask? I said, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, no wonder, you cheated. It's not cheating, it's part of the game. Well, you go through the entire game getting all those masks, you might as well use it, you know? Yeah, of course, it, why make it harder if you don't have to? I, 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 that's not cheating, that's part of the game. You're welcome to use the mask. Yeah, that's like the same idea as with potions and things in games. Like, oh, if you use a potion, you're a loser. I was like, um, that, that's part of the the game, and uh, I mean, it's not like I'm using a ROM hack or a cheat or ECW mode or anything. But that's saying all the people that play those games with regenerating health. Yeah, now everybody can beat Zelda without a sword, like Mike Pate. <laughs> uh oh. Time to learn another skill. That's been around long before him. Yeah. A three heart run of the original Zelda. Now that's hard. Right. I can barely beat with all hearts. Oh. You have a lot of heart to beat any Zelda game. Alright, so here is the alleged hero of time. Let's get ready to learn a new skill. So, what is that? In the, is that supposed to be like Hyrule Castle in the background? I don't get it. I think so. Does that look like the original Ocarina of Time Hyrule Castle? I don't remember. Well, all the songs that you play in this game with the wolf are actually songs from other Zelda games. I didn't really notice that. Well, I probably did. I had to listen to them again. It's been a while. Like the, in the last, the pr previous part we did, what song, which, which song was that a rendition of, if you remember, from part six? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, because that was when J-Man was about to rage quit. Alright, so now we're going to learn the uh, shield attack. So this is where you got to yep. utilize the help of Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins. me master Hadouken! <laughs> so we're using the link from soul caliber here and no, I don't know I'd be okay with that just grab him by the arm and throw him off a cliff like every other time <laughs> yeah yeah ACW, you learned the second hidden skill. The shield attack! With the Link, I know we talked about Hyrule Warriors in the last video, but the Link in that game has some badass weapons. I gotta check that out. I'm gonna look that game up on YouTube. Been wanting to play it, never could because I have a Wii. Be prepared to invest about a thousand hours into it if you want to beat it completely. That's oh, cool. yeah. Right. It's fun, though. All right, it's time to wake up and get back down to business here as we learn a new skill. The skill of ECW? No, that would be the mortal draw. Oh, yeah. You kind of think about it. I'm trying to remember if I did learn all six skills in this game. I don't know if I did. I definitely try to in this Let's Play. I thought there were seven. Maybe there is. Randy Orton Village. All right, here we go. Out of nowhere. I know Danny's not understanding any of these wrestling references. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the silence. He's like, whatever. Hey, I only it's a know recurring... a couple wrestlers. That's There's a recurring a... theme in these videos, I've noticed. It's just you and me who get the wrestling stuff, Ronnie. Yeah. Well, J-Man, too. We got to a certain extent because I talked about so much. He's like... I bet you that has something to do with wrestling. 
<laughs> Alright, there's a... Uh, Speaking of wrestling... Right? Perfect uh, segue nice here. Nice little segue there. Yeah, as we are talking to Bo, the mayor of Gordon Village. See, folks, we know what we're doing. Uh, where his eyes finally open up. So this is an eye-opening experience for him. What? Yeah, literally. Uh, she's dead, Bo. Just kidding. That's not funny, Lake. Now, is that supposed is is that supposed to be a mustache or like horns or something? Cancer. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I always thought it was horns, but um, like Danny said in part two, maybe it's a, his beard and the shape of horns. I don't know. So he has to be half beast, half human then. So basically, jeez, we're about to wrestle Brock Lesnar? Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to beat him in two minutes like Goldberg. I was going to say, now's a good time. He'd be easy pickings. Yeah. Well, first you got to listen to Paul Heyman cut a promo before you wrestle him. Then during the match, no! No! Yeah. Alright, so now it's time to learn some E-Honda sumo wrestling. Well, not exactly. You can't use a thousand hand slap. More, more likely a one hand slap, but still effective if you know how to do it right. You have heard of sumo wrestling. Remember E-Honda, Yokozuna, Akibono? <laughs> Akibono. <laughs> Jeez, let's not even talk about his sumo wrestling match with the big show. Uh, classic. Still better than Gober versus Brock the first time. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now he's teaching us how to sumo wrestle here or tell us what the controls are before we get started. I like the voice that starts all the rounds. It's like, what are you, y'all? Yeah. Come to you Shut up. Yeah, saying shut up at the end. <laughs> what is y'all? Shut up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you thought you've seen everything in these games. Whoa. Link shirtless? <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. I don't want to see that. <laughs> of course, the camera had to start there. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh. That part was easy, but this is where it gets more challenging. It took me a while to master here because it, get, it gets a little harder. Dang it, is that camera angle again? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Watch! Toasty! <laughs> yeah. Wait for some trolls to post a comment. You suck at this. When I was four years old, I beat this sumo match the first time. I like the look on his face when he misses. Oh, I gotta look at it again. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hey, that was first try. Yeah. To shabby laddie. Is it because he's as fat as a Goron? Yeah. Now he's also a reincarnation of the Gorons. Everybody in the Zelda games, including Octoroks, are reincarnations. No, not really. Well, in a sense, yeah, they I'm are. Gonna give you, I'm going to give you a tool to cheat. ECW boots. Yeah, but I said the ECW boots. The fee boots. Yeah. 
Not that fee. <laughs> no, then they wouldn't shut up. You have a 50% chance of winning. Yeah. Let's see what's up here. Master Link, these boots are magnetic. If you use them, you will fly into space if there's anything pulling you with a magnetic field. Yeah. Well, there's nothing... Push the A button thing. to open this door. Yeah. All right, I'm doing this one more time because you get a heart piece. Easy as one, two, three. Yeah. Nice. All right. I look at Link's face every time he gets an item. All right, let's get out this ranch for the last time. Oh, wait a minute, let me go over here, here real quick. Who's that? I told you! I told you! I've never seen this before! <laughs> Sorry for peeing we my can mic. Just let the goats eat a messy looking. What? What was that all about? What was he doing? One time I even found him in the, what is it called? The Cave of Ordeals on the last floor. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he's really hard to find. I mean, he's everywhere. He's a good postman. He's also in Talma's Bar, but I think everyone knows about that one. Yeah, but I, I, yeah. I, I would hate for him to go postal. Working on his shopping. I must pay a visit here to some of the villagers, let them know I'm alright. I'm not sure they want to know about the kids, too. There's Russell's wife. Hale and Hardy? Yeah. The Hardy boys? Yes, Colin Farrell is alive. Keep the faith. Uh oh, is she the mask salesman? Yeah. Yeah, I've met with a terrible fate, have I? Have you guys seen that, that new video that's out that's like a fan made a film of the Skull Kids origins? Yes, it is beautiful. Oh, I love it. Whoever did it really knows their stuff because there is nothing. I couldn't pick nothing out of that video that was wrong. That was me. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, even though I did find the secret spiritual stone Ocarina of Time, if you remember that, Tibbs. Yeah. <laughs> As we talked to Sean Stasiak again, I was referring to uh, the spiritual stone of ECW. It'd be fun to bury this guy in the sand, have his head just sticking out like a, like a peg. <laughs> Push him off for attacking you earlier. Yeah. <sighs> Why is there a redid on there? Well, what? <laughs> he does. He does look like a redid. Oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> Here's Viz's wife. So we're talking to honey honey we're talking to honey boo boo's mother again. Yep, they're in Kakariko Village, or as I called it for years, Kakariko Village. Actually since Ocarina I mean uh Link to the Past, I always called it Kakariko Village until I heard Danny say in the uh Majora's Mask LP, Kakariko, and I said, oh, that's probably what it really is. She should give you stuff for free for saving the kids. Right? All right, so speaking of Kakariko Village, we're back here again, and... What? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Not these guys again. Run! 
That means you too. Dun 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 dun. No, she's gonna get trampled. Why are you just standing there? Well, she's frozen with fear. Wait a minute, King! Move, bitch! Get out the way! <laughs> Dennis and Menace with the save! Oh, Mr. Leahy, oh, what's that? What's that, bud? I love this moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Link, you're too ugly for me to look at. Wait a minute, King! Here comes Link! Ah! Where'd he come from, JR? <laughs> Oh, good God, Keith, they got Dennis! What, what's Link gonna do, JR? He can't, he can't find all those people! Link can do anything. He was a uh, big quarterback at Hyrule State. <laughs> we are live now, ladies and gentlemen, back at Kakariko Village, and... <laughs> and Dennis has been, or Colin has been kidnapped, and there's a Tonka now. We're live, ladies and gentlemen. We're back in Hyrule Field. Hey, good God, King. They got Colin. Ah, what's he going to do, JR? He's telling the to bring it, JR. There's no chance in hell you will ever save this kid. Wait a minute. I feel like I'm in E3 right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait a minute. What? Oh, look out, JR! What? How's he gonna fight off all those people, JR? Link's gotta do something. King is outnumbered here. The numbers game is strong. There's strength in numbers, King. What does Link hope to do, JR, by himself? The fire and fire arrows at him. Oh, wait a minute! He's attacking the sword! I tell, you, the sword? I tell you, this Link is pugnacious. He's got a lot of intestinal fortitude. You live by the sword, you die by the sword, JR. <laughs> Don't count him out yet, King. Puppies, puppies. <laughs> oh, no, they shoot, they're, uh, oh, they're shooting him by accident. Oh, he got him, King. Ah, how did he do that, JR? But he still got the kid. Oh man, I failed at this part like seven times. That's one. That's a strong. That's a strong animal to be able to jump with him on him. Right. Okay, welcome to Joust with the GameCube. He's gonna be coming at you like a truck. So I guess you'd call him a semicolon. <laughs> nice. All right, and this part right here, I'm not not good at. See how many tries this is gonna take me. Ah, jeez, one. I would say use arrows, but I forgot you don't have them yet. Yeah. Use arrows anyways. Right. Yeah. Well, I was gonna do this, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Right, come on, come on! Oh, oh, nice. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot you got him again. This boss looks like he's been stealing all sweet rolls. <laughs> yeah. This boss hogging him. All right. Come on, let's get this right. Let's not take seven tries. I wonder if Link has any regard for knocking that poor kid in the ravine. I don't know, but yes, I got him. I don't know, but wait, the hog is still running off of Colin. I like this part right here, Link in all his glory. And the new ECW champion! Let me mess up. The horse fell off right there. <laughs> they both fall off into the abyss. <laughs> and then, uh, not Navi, not Navi, uh, Midna. Hey, what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> Mr. Wilson, is that you?
No. No, she's Punch not, him, say yes, I'm pissed. No, she's not mad, but he's still going to be in the friend zone. She sort of hesitated before she said no. Yeah. Do the anime opening. Yeah. Say Kyle! <laughs> if you put your mind to it. He goes, mm. And he died. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't carry him. <laughs> Move out of the way. I will bring him back to my place and give him plenty of Lipton. Yeah. Thanks, like what? Thought I was the center of attention. <laughs> All right, now we are finally able to head to the Goron Mines. Man, that's way high up there. Time to, time to drop it like it's hot. Yep. Or hold it like it's cold. Wait, if it's too cold, would you still hold it? Unless it's frozen to your hand. Never mind, anyway. Um, before we do that, though, let me go to this shop right here. Oh, what? Oh, Malo uh -oh. shop. Mallow, whatever his or her name is. It's a haunted house now. Yeah. Can I get service? Where's the... Oh. Oh, you're right there. What? <laughs> Shut up. I'll just push you <laughs> to the ground. Take whatever I want if I wanted what? to. What you gonna do, you little bitch? Yeah, right? Who told you to take out this unmanned shop? It's still unmanned. He's just a kid. This is what I need, the Hillian Shield. The ECW Shield. Okay, Link didn't look so mesmerized right there as he did when he got the heart piece. He spent 200 rupees on it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, I hope this is worth it. There goes my savings account. Make some money, I'd sell the wooden shield back to him if I could. Yeah. Hey Link, buy something. Shut up. Hey Malo, shut up. I get the red potion. Oh, here come the trolls. Oh, you, man, you're such a wuss. When I was four years old, I didn't need tr uh, 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 potions to beat this game. Yeah, you did. Anyway. Man, I, <laughs> I wish I just oh. slice his head with <laughs> my sword. He belongs on Wall Street. Yeah. All right. Need to pay a visit to Barnes here. Wait, this is the wrong house. Dang it, it's not Barnes Bomb Shelter. But I got a butt. I got an ant while I was in here. <laughs> yeah, that's making progress. Not so. I guess you just didn't anticipate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting antsy here. I want to move on with this game. There is a method to Ronnie's madness. And that is ECW mode. <laughs> Yeah, I better equip the iron boots here.
Now we'll see how tough that Goron is. Time to pay respects to the dead. Yeah, let's go here first. They, they just married Colin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Colin, Colin Powell? Another treasure chest materializes before my eyes. Alright, I guess a heart piece. Oh man! A big chest for that? Come on! Man, that's so misleading. Maybe you think it was a freaking heart piece. Ma Ma Mallow put it there so you could spend more money at his fine store. I want to troll these bees here. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, now they're trolling me. Big mistake. <laughs> They'll troll you right back. Right? They're out of control. Oh, they're still coming after me. I'm going to end up in a grave. <laughs> Don't get out of here. I wonder if you can catch a bee in a bottle. I never tried that. You can catch a fairy in the bottle and stuff. and Catch a bee and let it loose in the boss you fight and kill the boss. <laughs> <laughs> the boss be allergic. <laughs> it gets stung and it dies. You ever used the golden bee in the length of the past? Uh, oh, I think I Once. remember. That's right, you use the bug catcher's net. And you put it in the bottle, right? That's one thing, I, I might have mentioned it in my low budget review of A Link to the Past. I don't know. But, um, or the LP on SC2K. I didn't know, because I'm an idiot. I didn't know you can use the Master Sword to deflect a Gondam's power back to him. I thought you had to have the bug catcher's <laughs> net, which also works. I remember. I remember you mentioning uh, that. Yes. <laughs> and I, I thought that was the only way to do it. And I should have, I should actually uh, listen to Skip Rogers every once in a while and talk to everyone here because I was told that you got to figure out a way to deflect a golem's power back to him or something like that. And I think that was a clue to use the Master Sword. Instead, I used the Master Bug Catcher's well, Net. In ah, Ocarina of Time, you, use, you, can, you, you can use a bottle to reflect Ganon's magic back at him. Really? Yep. In Ocarina of Time? Yep. Yep. I never knew that. How does that work? I mean, I'm, oh, I know how it works, but how does And that... I think in this game, you can use the fishing rod. Wow. I... Um, yeah, you can use the I fishing might... rod. Yep. It distracts him, though. Well. It doesn't hurt him. Well, that stuff's new to me. I still, remember in, using, uh, I still remember using the bug catcher's net. <laughs> I thought that was the only way to do it. <laughs> and when I play the game again, I say, no, man, I, oh, where's that kid? Where's that sick kid that gives me the bug catcher's net? I can't go further without it. All right, well, I should be able, I should be able to get further in this part now that I have the iron boots. And I get ready to... <laughs> Go toe to toe with this more or go on again. <laughs> yeah, now what? I'm back. What you call me? <laughs> you were stupid hole. How dare you call me a guard utensil? Get out of here! Boing. All right, now it's time to go up to ECW Mountain. Oh, ah, oh, jeez, I forgot. There's more that rolls out. <laughs> now I am ready. That shield must really protect you. You didn't get squished. Right. Says, watch out for oncoming traffic. If you, you just keep rolling, rolling forever, hurt you. That skipper say, use the metal boots. <laughs> no, use the boots of force. Oh, I see a portal. You know what that means. Uh oh. Oh, there's one of those uh, statues. Jeez. 
Ow. Ain't no Goron shoot arrows, so it can't be the Gorons, it must be those trolls. So, the Gorons won't allow... Ow! They won't allow humans... Yeah, they won't allow you, but they allow those trolls up there. Yeah, what the heck? What? Oh, no. Ow! Now some Ocarina Time Death Mountain action here. Hellfire Brimstone King! Here comes Kane! <laughs> uh oh. Mind blown. Yeah. Thanks, Marv. Go on, mind blown. Fail. Hey, uh, you think that maybe adding ladders to this area would be a little bit of a good idea? Uh, Ow. No. <laughs> It'd be a good idea for me to get out of here. Oh, no. 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 Uh oh. Oh, jeez. That was close. Is he done? Yes. Uh-oh. What, you want a box? Come on, what's up? Ow! I'm going to use him as a platform here. Nice. I'm up there. Ah, oh, fail. Oh no, I'm cornered. Oh no. What are you doing to me? He's got him cornered, King. What the heck? Is this? <laughs> yeah, lack of two uh, camera angles now. It looks like he stubbed his toe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My toe! My toe! Hey, Achilles heel! Yeah. Just a really high pitched voice for a Goron. Yep. Ow. Oh. Is that ouch. For you? Hey, the game didn't tell us what those rupees were. Oh. I forgot. How much are they worth? What rupee? That was a joke because this game always tells you when you oh, reload it up. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a certain rupee hidden up here I didn't see. Yeah, you collect it and it says question mark. And then you gotta look down in your uh, wallet to see how much it was actually worth. Oh, this is nice. Like a little Goron Spa. Oh, cool. They're selling stuff. Let's hang in here with these guys. They're nice. Yeah. I'll probably buy, buy the stuff later. And I can't even buy the arrows right now. I don't have the bow yet. I could probably. I don't know. Would, would it let me buy it if I didn't have the bow, or say no? You can have the bow. I don't think you could buy it if you tried. In the original, you could. Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah. No wonder they eat rocks. Look at those teeth. Right. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen Darunia? Never mind. This is like ages later. He's probably dead. These these guys must be these guys must be Hulk Hogan's brothers, brother. Oh, yeah, they keep saying brother all the time. Oh, what was that? I ever tell you about the uh, guy who worked at the GameStop on my house, Ron? He dressed up like uh, like Hulk Hogan. Uh. -uh. He uh. He had to look down pat. He really did. Oh, cool. When I was when I was a kid, I met this bald kid head, and pot belly, and everything. <laughs> yeah. When he I was knew a... nothing about video games. When I was a kid, I remember uh, this kid had a Hulk Hogan lunchbox. Yeah, if that guy didn't know anything about video games, he should have worked. Uh... Well, I know there's no wrestling stores. <laughs> Which I'm kind of surprised. It's poppers. WWE is today at least. Well, then they got online stuff. Just order stuff online. 
Jeez, how many more of these Gorons I gotta face? Could have been cool if I would just slice his head open right there. <laughs> Not too bad I don't have any paper. I could beat these Gorons. That's the that's the X-rated version after Dark Princess. Yeah. Wow. Um, Goron. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Oh. Thank you, Mr. Miyagi. I think not, little brothers. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi, I'm Danielson. Whatever his name was in the movie, I forgot. Who is Danielson? Danielson. Dan uh, whatever his real name was in the movie is Daniel something. I can't remember his last name. Yeah, Ralph. That actor's L name is Ralph L something. I forgot. Ralph Macchio. Daniel LaRusso. LaRusso, that's, that's it. Yeah. Miss Miyaki, can you teach me? Sure, paint this fence. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Outsiders are not... So, okay, so Scott Hall and Kevin Ash are not allowed in here. He gives him that look. Oh, yeah? Okay, you can come in. <laughs> yeah, this is the real main event mafia. <laughs> yeah. The main event. Miss Miyagi versus um, a young Chris Jericho. I don't know. That's Link, you stupid idiot! You gotta take off your shirt. Just pull out that sword and stab him. Yeah. Now they all the girl wants to come after me. Oh! <laughs> I got points. See, he heard you. Look at those nips. Yeah. Your body is skinny, brother. Your body is skinny, brother. You can't go up against the largest arms in the world. Well, yeah. Well, do you have the most, uh, the largest boots in the world? <laughs> I'll give you the big boot, brother, along with the leg drop. Oh, ECW! Shut up! Bear hug. If <laughs> Bear hugged me, that'd be it. Boots wouldn't be able to save me then. Oh, he's got him on the ropes! Yeah. Remember WWF Warzone when you kicked on bounced off the ropes? That JR goes off the ropes! Into the ropes! Against the ropes! Oh, those games. <laughs> Do you ever play the ECW and 64 Jeez, games? I wish I so had, bad. I wish I hadn't of. That game was not easy to. I don't care if the name is on there. This is more easy to than those wrestling matches were in those games right here. All right, I hit uh, L1 or whatever the finish move is on SmackDown versus Raw. Do the finish move right here. He's my special, which is just push him. He off. slammed him. Yeah. I don't believe it. Remember that sumo wrestling match on Raw with Yokozuna and Earthquake? That was dumb. I do now. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Without pause. Yeah, I can pause the game and pause it that way. Darbus. Uh, no. We got the Ark of the Covenant in there? Yeah. With 
the arc of ECW? Okay, give me ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. With ten rupees. You can just barely beat him in a wrestling match, and he's like, I need you to save the entire city. Yeah. Well, I mean, they uh, they pride themselves on strength, and that's how Bo got their respect, even though he cheated. So did I. With the boots. And so because of that, they think you do anything. If you can beat them, you can beat anyone. To be continued. Yeah, to be continued in oh, part no. eight, where I will be in the... Go our minds of the Fire Temple, whatever it's called. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you later. I'm Ron Moore. By myself. And I'm Tips316. <laughs> Once a true 1689, or I was. <laughs> All right, guys. God bless. Take care. See ya. Fare thee well. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 8. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wii Guy, the J-Man, and Tibbs. Ooh. Yo. Oh, yeah. We are in the Fire. Foya Temple, or Goron fire, Mines. Fire, fire. Yeah, yeah. Fire me. Me. Oh, now this is going to be good. Just don't oh, F it up. This is hot shit. Right? Yes. Yeah. And so, in this release, uh, you don't have to have a, uh, a certain... Uh, garb to wear, a certain clothing to, to resist me. That's right, I forgot. No. I never thought of that until you said that. I was like, yeah, that's, huh. That's... Yep. But oh well. Yeah, they only kept that in Ocarina where it was like, you must have. I mean, they still had the, the water thing, which we'll see much later, but uh, yeah, no like fire resistance thing here. Right, yeah. Right. Alright, so I failed a lot in this dungeon. And see how many times I failed this time. Whoa, really? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you really shut up. Uh, oh, are we gonna do like Shadowgate deaths? It's Twelve. Right, yeah. This is one of my how favorite times in the game, actually. Yeah, how many times will Ronnie die? I call two times. Yeah, let's do a, uh, a Shadowgate again. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's hot in here. Oh man, forget metal slug, fire slug. Imagine seeing those in real life. <laughs> right in the middle of a death. Yeah. yeah. I'm really glad they kept the uh, like theme of like atmospheric music because I really like just like dung, 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 dung. Yeah. simple, oh. but I like it. Yeah. Whoa. Imagine fire, fireflies, fire slugs dropping. You killed Slugma. Now how am I gonna collect, collect, complete my Pokédex? Well, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm feeling sluggish right now. <laughs> I ought to slug you. Oh, see? Jeez. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Oh, get? I did make it. Nice. Keep playing like this, Ronnie. We'll have to put a slug in the back of your head. Oh, wow. Savage. <laughs> ah, idiot. Alright, now we are in. Big or Grand fire. Canyon. Yeah. And what is that? It's a um, uh, Terminator 2 thing. Right? I feel like I'm in a... I'm like playing a combination of Terminator 2, the NES version, ported to the GameCube here. <laughs> you fall in the lava <laughs> and you die. And then, like, you put it's your gun... Like, ...where you're completely cold. Yeah. Okay, got a small key. I like the, uh... Ah! No, I don't like that. I like the small attention to detail when you walk on the the platforms here, and the the noise it makes it, it, it sounds just, just like it, it should. When you walk on these things for real, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you gotta give credit to like Nintendo. To they know they know sound design. Yeah, I like to picture the Gorons walking around in here doing their work. Right. <laughs> oh we oh. Oh no! This is Mario 64 platforms now. Yeah, TikTok Right, yeah, that was taking me off. Teleport. Yeah. Oh, awesome. (laughs) 
He should be in the uh, electric temple. That'd yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anyone ever? Anyone know what happened to that guy? Um, he uh, he became part of Registry Out. Who, a leg man? <laughs> no, he uh, well actually he teleported to a, a better existence. Who did? We're we're all left jealous. I I elect that we uh uh <laughs> I got nothing actually you know what screw it. Well we yeah, got. You're not... oh. I'm an honest man. I'm an, I'm not I am not a crook. Yeah. You're impeached from SCP. Oh, I'll take a peach. Yeah, you, need to, you need to get a job as a cook. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Wheat. But that's racist just because he's Mexican. I'm Hispanic. Oh. <laughs> Like Did you just tackle. assume my race? <laughs> well, your last name's Gutierrez. Yeah, I know, but it's just that's a joke. The uh, did you assume my blank? <laughs> I don't know. It kind of sounds like guitar. I would never <laughs> assume your blank. Guitar, I don't. Yeah, thank you. See, he respects me. All right, as an Chris individual. Hansen, I would never assume your blank. <laughs> it says here in the chat <laughs> that you assumed her blank. <laughs> what is that? Is that supposed to be a virginity? What's going on? Well, sir. Well, first you have to blank her blank. Yeah. Blank her brain. And after, blank. That, after that, she'll blank your blankety blank. <laughs> and, sir, I want you sir. to. You need, yeah. I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway. <laughs> sir, you need to sit down. <laughs> okay, what was this. Man, this cool looking crystal ground here. Is it oh, is that crystal, crystal snail stage in uh, X2? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, this is like the effect of global warming, you see? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Now we'll the bosses. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love this part of the game right here, those iron boots. You can walk on those, uh, the ma magnetic crystals, whatever they are. It's pretty Link's cool. Link's got some serious leg strength. Right. Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a magnet. Whoa! It's, uh, Gangster Link. Right. He's stomping the steel toes. Yeah. Well, dude, this guy's blazing. Right? What yeah. time is it? <laughs> Vaping. Is this 4:20 right now? Either what? that, or either that, or he really stinks. Yeah. Oh. What's that? No Who's making that noise? Is that coming from y'all's background? Uh, that whistle? Like huh? It's like a deformed Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Pikachu? Whatever. That's like. It's, uh, the, it's the third form of Raichu. Yeah. That's like uh, like Fallout 4 Pikachu. I don't know. What's that? Noise that like a quick whistle noise. I don't oh, hear anything. I just hear stuff in the game. Are you driving me? Nuts? Don't be like this old man and lose your marbles. <laughs> yeah. Marble yeah. madness for GameCube. Yes. Yeah. I know David Wise. He said he's amazed. I want to be amazed. So that Goron got, is Skip yeah. Rogers reincarnated, as I got the map. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. He's like, dude, enjoy a map. Yeah. Why? Uh, why do the rubies have to be red? That's uh, that's right. racist. Yeah, it is. That's a that's a twenty yeah. that's a twenty yeah. value rupee. Don't you remember? That's colorist. I know. It's it's like the redskins, you know. Oh. Oh no. <gasps> yeah, it's my oh, favorite. Oh, that's the noise that that quick whistle noise, whatever it was, is. Dang it, Jeff! What is it again? You what found a cock. <laughs> that's a, um, oh. that's, a, that's an Ill, illegitimate child of Ripley. Ridley. It's like a combination of a, Ripley and Ridley. Combination, combination, combination of of uh, Jeff and ET here. Or, I don't know. It's like a turkey um, human thing. What? Freaking egghead, yeah. Okoko. <laughs> Oko 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 oko. If he's Hispanic, would be a local. El pollo local. El stupido. I know this is gonna sound weird, but well, like I don't sound weird already. But this this kind of reminds me of uh, Metro Prime Two for some strange reason. I mean, Nintendo, uh, Metro Prime Two. Now, uh, present Prime Two was like two thousand four. Yeah, the Echo. Yeah, was it like was it like the effect here of like the glowing? Because I could see that because yeah. like it had kind of had this like reflective like thing about echoes. 
Yeah, when you went to like the other, you know, you went to like the other side, whatever. Dark Ether. Oh, was that a jump cut? I think I saw a jump cut. Yeah. Got a little lost there. Now I'm back on track. This isn't the Lost Woods. Come on, there's no excuse. Right. What's uh, the Lost wait, Dungeon? Wait, he's playing. I'm playing. Yeah, no, I, I'm playing. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Stay on topic. Uh, I hate Google. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> went off the rails. Right the rails. I, I like will the rails. I, as a fanboy. Oh. Ah, uh, what? Okay, maybe overkill. <laughs> All right. I think he had a family. I told you Link came from the hood. Yep. Oh wait, it's not over yet. Is the music still playing? All right, now it's over. Now I can step on the switch. Time to flip the switch here. I'm gonna flip that switch. Oh, cutscene. Oh, not really, but. Uh, yeah, you can clean up the uh, the junkyard here. Oh, yeah, morph moth stage. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed. Come on. You missed your ride. <laughs> dang it. Wah, wah, wah. Bus transfers. The yeah, this transfer is only good for a few more minutes. There we go. <laughs> oh, I gotta I I got catch my ride. I'm gonna miss the yeah, bus. Yeah. Blood's rushing to my head. Right. See, imagine uh, experiencing that in real life. Like, just these boots, and then you like walk upside down, and the magnets pull you up there. And, man, that, that's freaking. Almost like a, feels like a ride, like Six Flags or something. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's pretty much the same feeling as when you're like held upside down in like a crazy ride. Yeah. Woo! This thing's intense. Can't even imagine the force of like being pulled up and then having to walk in these heavy boots with the magnet magnetized, you know, energy or gravity or whatever. Couldn't be any worse than the force using the hook shot. Oh yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I think we need a rating scale for that. J-Man? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I thought you were gonna- I just wanted you to say 6 out of 10. Just, that's all. No, you already said it. Game theory, man! You can't use that reference 6 out of 10 times. <laughs> 6 out of 10 doctors recommend you don't use the reference. Uh, 4 eyed These freaking tech types. Alright. Well. You gotta get tight. Right. Alright. Let me get my, uh, my Richard Simmons DVD then. Oh, jeez. We're gonna girl. work it out. Alright, got the small key. I'm Richard Simmons. He's like a, he's like a shut-in now. It's actually quite sad. Sorry, man. We'll have the memories of him on Who's Line. Well, he does something on YouTube now for new up <laughs> He does something now for new up here. It's called sweating to the newbies. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's sweating to the doobies. <laughs> it's smoking the doobies. Yeah. All right, now roll and twist and light and puff. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, cool. three. Hold it in. <laughs> Have some black sound that's playing in the background. Oh. Hold it in. Inhale, but don't exhale. Yeah. Yeah, well, like Bill Clinton. Yeah. Oh, now we take our lunch break. That was the best impression ever. Thank you. All right, more magnetic action here. Oh, I know. I mean, it... oh, oh sweet. Is this like elevator action? Yeah, it looks like uh, about to enter a, a a transport, supernatural transport tunnel or something. Stargate. Yeah, was I was just about to say that? Whoa. Wow. Nice. I guess I'll say, uh, what is this, Star Trek? That's a little bit. Yeah. Well, I'm on the right Star Trek here. Uh, Gee, what is this? <gasps> a key. Damn it. I'm, I'm saying with all the red. Come on. Blue is a better color, and there are only five. Right, so those... I'm more a fan of the purple, thank you very much. It's racist. Look at that. I like how Link puts that sword away like a boss. Um, how many rupees is a, a, a black one worth? 
Uh, oh. Well, <laughs> technically, Whoa. there is a black rupee in like four swords, and they take away money from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you lose like ten minus twenty rupees, I think. Now that's racist. <laughs> Uh, that's, okay, that's... so much does a white ruby worth? <laughs> I don't think that's the closest thing is a silver, and that's like 200 rupees. Yeah, Ooh. like it was an Ocarina Tom. <laughs> no, no, maybe the silver rupees in Ocarina Tom, they, uh. I forgot. Yeah, and they just keep giving them I away. I think the silvers are 100. Yeah. High Hill Silver, <laughs> away! And then oh. orange, or like gold. Uh, no, it's orange, well, I think, are worth the Well, first. orange is a new black. Orange is. Uh, <laughs> Well then, nice, re <laughs> nice, nice reference. If, if there's ever a like a best of SCGK video, <laughs> this part needs to be in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that should that should have been the 10th anniversary. Is a best of go through all the footage and just choose the pick the best moments. Yeah, actually, it wouldn't be that hard. We kind of have our best moments already picked out, really. Yeah. <sighs> Oh man, that was great. <laughs> we probably wait on the uh, S2K 10th anniversary podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, there's so many moments. What yeah. is it? There's Dr. Asshole, the Sweet 16, yeah. Met Super Metroid, yeah. the Black Turn White. Yes, the mix. Of, yes, the, <laughs> that's probably my favorite. Oh, <laughs> star power, what? and then use it. One star power. Well, you drop the logs and. Uh, no, what was... Well, oh, I, uh... my uh, my breakdown and uninvited about all the and oh yeah with Italian names. <laughs> yeah, that was it's yes. spaghetti. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, the uh, mo a lot of moments of Shadowgate, but of course the guessing of the deaths. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's guess what this is. <gasps> it's uh, a new <laughs> car. Of course. Damn. There you go. A new hey, it's car. Purple. Dude, like I want a, that purple drink. A price is right. I like the disappointment. The disappointment. The disappointment on the contestant's face on the price is right when you you hoping it's a new car, but instead it's like a new furniture set or something. <laughs> they have to pretend like they're still happy. Oh yeah, yeah this, is, oh, this is totally what I wanted. Uh. I, was for, I was waiting for. I was waiting for a guest to really be honest and not smile and be like, "Man, come on, Bob, really, man, what's new car at, Cuddy?" You be tripping, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, come over here, please. Yeah. But at least you didn't say Drew. Nigga, I want my car. <laughs> that was the worst surprise of all. Oh, Koga, we're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> you were to get over the damn show. I hate that guy. Hey, now, he at least he had the courage to enter the 2001 Royal Rumble. I would punch him in the face. <laughs> you think I'm... <laughs> okay, I am, but... Uh, he'd probably kick my ass, but... Still. Hey, he's a cool guy. He's just not as good as Bob Barker. The price is he's wrong, Bobby. A, he's a he's a dick shit. No, he's not. That I'm... guy. That guy. I know I'm going way off topic, but that guy did correctly guess the correct amount, and he was just like, "Oh, look at this. You got the right price. Right, we'll see you next time." It's like, are you kidding me? Bob Barker would have celebrated the fuck out of that. Hey, not. Feeling having piece of shit. Hey, he, he was tired that day, Have your so spayed and neutered for having Ohio living ass motherfucker. Fuck hey, you, Drew Carey. Hey, he was tired. I pee on your leg. I will pee on your leg. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was tired that day, so That's he has extreme. an excuse. That's the quote yeah, of this well, whole series. Yeah, I will Whoa. pee on your leg. Shane is soon now. Drew Carey, if you're listening, He's I know you listening. want. I know you follow us, UK. I will pee on your leg. Look at this. Shane, All right, Kelly can't settle down for a moment. Shane, hold on, Shane is soon yep, now. Is a get in line. Yeah, I feel like oh, Jamin's like this Goron. He's all old. He's like, oh, the Drew Carey. Oh, that's like sounds like the that's granddad mutant ninja turtle. Oh. Oh. Sounds like a <laughs> wizard wizard like me from Shadowgate 2014. <laughs> uh, young Kathika, uh, young Jeff. Ah, uh, okay, Shaggy 2014, that's why I was about to say, I was like, you're gonna reference 64? I know, but I thought, <laughs> anytime you say Shaggy, I just assume uh, 64, because that's what you always reference. J-Man can't take it, ta cannot take a drink, because we mentioned Shaggy 64. Oh shit, that's another best of moments. Uh -huh. Dude, we had like four or five in that LP. <laughs> LP was the best. Yeah, yeah, at least the LP was good. I know, it's probably my favorite LP on the channel, I mean, 
really do love the Shaggy 64 LP. Uh, yeah, I mean, you that know, one was you're awesome. Game, can it have color? I mean, yeah, whoa. J Man couldn't handle it though. He had to rage quit. <laughs> I, I think Drew Carey made that game. <laughs> 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 dun, 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 dun. All right, we're at game and here we go. All right, thank you. See you tomorrow. Would it make you Would it make you feel better to know that there is a guy in the credits with the names with the name Drew? Would you stop drawing up conclusions? <laughs> right. You should said drawing up conclusions, but I get what you're saying. I better yeah, I better uh, draw my sword here and get ready for this mini boss battle. Right. Oh snap! I like this. Look at this guy. I'm Bear 13. What are you doing here? Human. No the, new and the new and improved. Yeah. What's he doing with his hands? Yeah, I was about to say. He's grinding himself. Yep. He's, uh, he's staying on the grind. Whoa. He's gonna be the new. Oh shit. Oh man. Dude, what? he came in like a like a ball that kind of does something. I think it wrecks. I think. I don't know. <laughs> this is another. Came in like uh, like the Super Mario 64 Battler battle. I was about to say Ooh. that, yeah, and I didn't know that till this part right here. You use the Gale Boomerang to do that to him. <laughs> it's almost as you know, you like Super Mario 64. You're in a round area and you have to throw him off the edge. Well, you have yeah. to hit uh, spikes or whatever in 64, but still. So long, Gay Bowser. Like I live so long, Gay Bowser. Gay Bowser. That's what he says. <laughs> His, uh, his kids were, uh, his kids were adopted. Yeah. Yeah, really. Not there's anything wrong with that. Right? Right? My father's gay. No, um. <laughs> yeah, what are doing in the 30s? Yeah, he's happy. He's happy. Right? Oh, he's, he's not happy. Guy. He got burned. He got roasted here. Oh, yeah, roasted. That's oh, right there a little bit. Right? Yeah, Cro Krogomar, whatever. Roasted chestnuts. Yeah. Yeah. That shit was epic. Yeah. Dude, his head looks like a nut. So he's lucky he didn't sink in the lava. He just uh, bounced out of it. Dude, dude you were in Wait, sync this whole fight. Like, uh, he has like blue fruit looms underwear. <laughs> what are you doing looking down there? Uh, not there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> right? No, there's anything dude, wrong with that. Just saying. He, ju he just got out of the hot tub. Right. Yeah, he lives in a hot tub, basically. Yeah, see what I did there? Look at this place. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I just got flamed. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move on here. And it is time to get the item in the dungeon. All right, here we go. Yeah. A hero's bow. Nice, I got the hero's bow. Dude, you better give me a bow right now. You know what I mean? Oh, we got no, a text. I... Master Hands telling us to stay on topic. Right, roll. <laughs> so, okay, I do, I do have like a, a, a relevant to the game question. Okay, it, it did look like you had a bow before, unless that was a different item. Uh, is there is there like a difference? It's probably the fishing rod. Uh, <laughs> or the boomerang. The hell did it? Oh my god, fucking fishing rod. Well, something like, fishy is huh? going on yeah, here. Okay. Uh, no, there's a, there was a there was a slingshot, but that's the that's it. Yeah, that shoots. Oh no, it's these things from the to the past. Whoever you copied this uh, this playthrough from to open up their. No, he screen. recorded this man. I gave him a capture card and everything. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, he gave me a capture card that worked. Right. Oh, uh, these freaking lasers. I'm watching him play it right now. I went back in time. I'm watching him play it right now. Yeah. Dude, he's live streaming right now on tw on, on Ustream. On Twitter. I'm Twitter. Twitch. All right. So. <laughs> nah, man. Ustream, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Hot, hot, Ustream. Hot, they hot still hot around? Are they yes. still? <laughs> are they still around? That's why I made that joke. Oh, yeah. Oh. I thought I sent you back to the future. Well, oh, you're, yeah. And now you're back, Great Scott. Okay. These, Great. these laser statues, they were in Link to the Past, I think it's where they made the debut, and then in Ocarina of Time. Yes. Unless you want to get chronological, maybe they made their debut in Ocarina of Time? <laughs> Wait, who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, these things? Oh, oh, shit, here we go. What is it? The compass? Uh, oh, it's, nice. a, it's a compass. compass. It is a compass! Yes! You, you got the compass. 
Dude, you can pass. That ass. Now you can tell where you're going. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll pass some fucking gas. <laughs> yeah. Dude, pass the roach. How freaking drunk are you right now? Um. Uh, dude. Uh. uh that much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's off makes the it, scale. It, that, that makes as much sense as his rating for Mega Man 4 as an ah out of 10. Is that the A? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> Dude, I think that's a best of. Literally, in the LP for, for my Mega Man 4, when I asked you what your rating was, you just said, ah, and nothing else. And I was like, all right, that's his rating. It's on the screen for that what? video. Yeah. But let's uh, discuss. Because you yeah. didn't give me a number. Yeah. Just, yeah, cool, because it's. Uh. <laughs> that game is, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's frustrating because I like it, but I don't like it. And this guy's been smoking some dope. Uh, right? Yeah, it's like my feelings. Uh, Actually, no, I know. He looks like a freaking hey, totem pole. Speaking of Skull Castle. Actually, no, this has nothing to do with Skull Castle. You're just kidding. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but I do like this guy. I don't, no. I'm not. He looks like a Skull Kid. Like a, a yeah. Pizza cup. Right? Dude. Yeah, I like think a he's Goron, a Goron, rad. A Goron Skull Kid. Dude, how hard do you think Goron's nips are? I mean, look at that. Do you see his nip right there? Whoa. How hard do you think it is? It looks like Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we gotta find Patrick Swayze. And, uh, yeah, keep yeah, her right? yeah. Oh, or that was the movie Jumpin' Jack Flash? Or I fail, I forgot what it was. Yeah. Uh, the uh, or, uh, sister, sister Act. <laughs> Sister, sister, sister yeah, Hex. Uh, listen, sister. <laughs> yeah. Twisted sister. A, a female Hulk Hogan. Well, you know something, sister? Yeah. <laughs> Brooke Hogan. Should've, they sh should have started that trend. It's, I would go to thing, but I will After not. After menopause. No, I will not. I need a menopause this game. I need to capture a menopause. <laughs> for my Pokemon. Oh, wait, that's a menopause. Damn it! <laughs> I... Uh, Ooh. Wow. This is why we still have Y'all don't know references. I know references. This is why we don't have that many subscribers as I'm now in, in the deeper part of the dungeon. Yeah, really. Yeah, you're you're as deep as my as my dignity is, which is very deep and shit. <laughs> what? I don't oh. know, I'm just making a joke about me. Dude, don't be a dick. Right? Dude, I'll be a Richard whenever I want. Jeez. Richard! I know, I just tried to make a joke about <laughs> I just me now got that. I think. Okay. <laughs> Good. I, 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 I still have to explain uh, it. Sorry, I'm Jalen. Anyway, no, no, I'm trying to make a joke. And, 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 and. <laughs> I think somebody is not only trying to make up for Bear not being here, but Jeff is one. Right. Dude, it's hard to take on all these personalities. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> this is in 2006. <laughs> It's oh, true. Oh, that's an inside Dude. joke. I don't think I told you about that. We got... Yeah, that was the, that's the glory days. Make YouTube great again. 2006. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yes. No. Actually, no, no. How about 2008 or 9? That was the best years. Yes. 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 J Man is the Donald Trump of SCTK YouTube. We're gonna make you know, YouTube great again. I'm gonna build a firewall. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> right. Whoa. Dude. Jeez. Cool. <laughs> cool. That's shocking. Dude, I love the, the power boots. Yeah, me too. Forget the power They're glove. So the power They're boot. so bad. They're so good. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to make my own joke here. They're so good. That's <laughs> yeah, alright. It's I. Take those things, whatever they are. I, I have another question, and it's. I don't know, it might be irrelevant, but, um, are, are there Deku sticks in this game? No. No, uh, not, to, not to my knowledge. Okay. Because, I mean, like, I, I like the puzzles in Ocarina of Time where you, like, light up a Deku stick and, you know, go around and light the uh, other portals. Yeah. Damage just likes to have fire. Yeah. Wee guy, come on. <laughs> Don't blame me for <laughs> Oh, headshot. We didn't start the fire. Boom, headshot. Let's start the fire. Hearts on fire like a Rocky Four. Oh, okay. I Whoa. am the god of hell.
hellfire. Um, how do we sleep in our beds of rain? Wait, say that again. How do we sleep when our beds are burning? There's an old oh, 80s song. Oh, Farrah Fawcett reference, Well, yeah. of course you get off the bed, and maybe you'll find a new place to sleep. Yeah. And then well, start to yeah. burn down the house. What if you're, like, really tired? You know? uh, well, I don't... Man... It's like winter Stop time. Stop roll. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right there. Right there. Well, when you make your own bed, you gotta lie in it. That's right. As these freaking moblins want to be Rambo's shooting, exploding out flaming arrows at me, whatever they are. Dude, I can't wait for the new Rambo movie. I hope not. They need to let it end the way it did in part four. No. Well, really? I'm, li I'm lying. There is no new movie. Not that I know of. Well, I heard okay, there's going to be. Oh. How about Rambo versus Rocky? <laughs> yeah. The long lost <laughs> yes. brothers. Yo, yo. Uh, I will destroy you. Yo, you're my brother, man. I am no brother! No one! <laughs> uh, what happened to Polly, man? Uh... Polly, hopefully he got killed. You're a bum, Rock! S seriously, let's kill, off, <gasps> let's, let's kill off the more lovable character, Adrian. And let's keep the douchebag Polly. Hell. Right? I mean, what? I mean, yeah. I mean... <laughs> Huh? I mean, back on topic here, as I try to get in this magnetic amusement park. On right topic? Again. What's that? <laughs> right, yeah, it's 2K on topic. <laughs> uh, on topic is something that apparently good YouTubers do. Yeah. What? Why does this room have to be used so much? I mean, what do you, are you going to go, like, fight uh, construction? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. You mean, this is the second time oh, you've been Oh, dang it! Room. Man, how did yeah, I miss that? Like, crossing sticks. There we go. About trains. Don't tell me shit about trains. I know about trains. Okay? <laughs> Planes, trains, normal. Choo choo. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man. Oh, is this this is the final stretch. Right. This is at the final countdown. Yep. Bro. Yes. Three, two. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh. Has anyone actually ever listened to the actual album that song was off of? Or just no, I just have. that one song. <laughs> no, I, I have. Well, you know, back in the eighties. Ouch. Oh yeah. Oh. It's something I always like to ask. Dang, it's the same with the uh, turning Japanese by the Vapors. I, can, I don't think anyone, anyone yeah, I've asked has ever looked at the actual album that song was from, but I have it. I like it. I think I'm turning They're Japanese. Nice. Yeah, it's off called Nuclear <laughs> Days. <laughs> in uh, Beverly Hills Ninja. Chinese turning American, um, coming to America, um, Beverly turning Ninja, yeah. something or other. Yeah, all those things. Oh, pwned! My brother Nunsi! Man, what kill Bill on those guys? <laughs> turning Nico. I think I'm turning Nico. I think I'm turning Nico. Oh my god! Which you better recognize. Oh, oh man. I almost put away my sword too soon there. Uh. Dude, you never, you never want to. Now you I'm want, done. Uh, uh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta finish the job, Ronnie. You gotta finish yeah. the job. You gotta. You, you can't pull out. That's not a very manly thing to do. Oh, well, speaking of finishing the job, here we go. Yeah, but it's, it's a good idea to do. Yep. Well, you know, uh, to wrap that up. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut up! I don't like that pun. No. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. What is that? Oh. Some S and M shit going on here. Wow. Huh. And man, he's really black. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh. What? Look look he is. The most oh, racist most racist uh S two K video ever. Dude, this is like Mighty Joe Young. <laughs> he's Whoa, what is that? Sounds oh, like it's I you guys just in time. Uh oh. Oh shoot. You woke oh, him up, no. we guy. Your racist uh, comment. Dude, I just want <laughs> to... Dude, kind of you need to now. What'd you call me, huh? He's... Rah! <laughs> oh. He's on fire! <laughs> Am I black now, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit, he's on fire! Ah, uh, he's warming up to Link. Aw. Virus. Dude, I, I think he has a Vi burning desire. Virus? Tyrus from TNA? Uh, Cyrus from the Credit Card Boys. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Or Cyrus. Oh, that's my glowy eye. Like the, uh, he's got to change like the stupid wolf flame. I hate that aspect of this game. I, I know it's not the last discuss, and that'll be like three months. Oh! Back, I hate that stupid wolf aspect part. He's got an anchor lock. He's got an anchor lock. Will he tap out? <laughs> Is he gonna tap out? <laughs> Yeah, he's all listening. Uh, this is like uh, Metal Gear Solid, where you're uh, fighting that damn cyborg fucker that's like hurt me. Metal, Metal Gear, oh, uh, Gray Fox. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this, there is snow. This is more like that's great. This is more like fighting Bowser and Yoshi's Island here. <laughs> this is this is Black Fox. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Like Fire How Fox. It only gets worse, folks. <laughs> Yeah. Hurry up, hit him before he gets uh, up. Oh, now he's mad. <laughs> do it, I'm here. Kill me. Kill me now. Yeah. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. If he's a flamer, we can kill him. <laughs> oh, bullseye. How? Right. <laughs> It's like miss, 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 miss. Finally hit. Right. Oh, he'd be tripping. It's a hit or miss situation. All right, Faris. All right, that's it. You're fired. Put out the fire. Oh, what a finishing move. I had to do a Terminator reference there. You're terminated. <laughs> You're terminated. Yeah, that, was, uh, <laughs> that was Rosie O'Donnell. What? Art piece, that's it? He had that know. big orb in his fucking head, and that's why you get art piece. No, you get the uh, third, the second part of the Majora's Mask. <gasps> oh. Uh, oh. You, you, something else as well. Um, there's there's some aspects of this game that reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. Yep. You know, uh, um, like soulless shit or whatever. Oh, like the black things? Yeah. Yeah, the oh, black yeah. things. Those black creatures? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, I get ya. Yeah, right. You know. It's it's not very pure. It's all just... <laughs> oh. Oh. So she reveals who that that bad guy Sounds was like a red in neck. the game, Zant. <gasps> Zant. Yeah, Ronnie Zant Zant. Sounds like a radioactive ant. Right. It's a Zant. Yeah. Winner's good. I mean, never, it, Zant would never be my king. It, uh, Donald Trump's not my president. It's to say, doesn't that sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Zant is backwards. Um, Tenaz. Tenaz. So? Tenaz. I don't know. I was just making a dumb joke. You know what? Idiot is backwards? No, I'm kidding. You know um, what? Uh, it, you know what pool is backwards? What? You, you know what? Dracula is backwards? No, wait. Um, um, uh, uh, I know no, this one. guy is backwards, EU guy. <laughs> okay. Is it? Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're, we're playing Twilight Princess here as I just defeated Virus. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't oh, know what I was looking at. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh he was a real person all along. He's waking up. I now I have six hearts. That's a thick heart. Yeah. Well, yeah, you gotta. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, you gotta go all heart. This is Donkey Kong on steroids. Is he the okay, leader there. of the bunch? <laughs> I think I know him well, dude. He's finally back to kick some tail. You got. Um, you got. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Actually, he looks more like Mr. T. <laughs> I already said that. Damn it. Ah, oh, yeah, but I, I didn't hear you. I was making my own joke. <laughs> uh, I, I said he has uh, Duke Nukem here. Oh, yeah, yeah he him. does. Duke Nukem here. Yeah, brought he Lesnar here. Blow it out your ass. <laughs> oh, I've got balls of steel. Yes. As I, yeah. as I get past part eight here, or the second temple of the game. Yay. And we'll see you guys in part nine. Until then, God yes. help us all and take care.
<laughs> Oi! Join us again if you dare. Ric Flair. I gotta go. Woo! Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 9. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs and with the first time to join us, Logan. How's it going? Hey, hey, uh, I'm doing good. Or Outlaw Harvest or whatever you want to be called. Now, uh, Logan's, here, across Logan's the good for me. That's usually just what I refer to myself on on my channel. Yeah. So I just got through beating the Goron Mines, and now I'm back in Kakariko Village. Seek and you shall find, you piece of trash! Dennis and Menace again. Get some rest, kid. Get good, kid. No. You don't. You wouldn't have survived what I just went through. Yeah, right. I want to be like you one day, Link, when I grow up. No, you don't. <laughs> nice earrings. Yeah. I know. Oh, I forgot how pretty this game looks. Yeah, it's very pretty, and it's pretty ECW. No, you're not, kid. <laughs> you gotta get good. You don't have the stones. Yeah. Yeah. The only stones you're Go gonna have. Rogers. The only stones you're gonna have is kidney stones, or when Stone Cold opens up a can of whoop ass. And that's the bottom line. <laughs> yeah. As Nighthawk from Mortal Kombat 3 vows to take care of the kids. And then Bear said to Eagle. Yeah. Our White Eagle from Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> My mom loves that show. Oh, so do I. Of course, you're from Texas. Yeah. I had no idea how long these loading times would be. Yeah, I don't remember this game being that long to load to the next scene. Well, there's the GameCube version is a smaller disc. Yeah. But I, suppose, I thought that's supposed to be the future of discs. Because I, I remember the GameCube having much, much shorter loading times than the Wii for some reason, even though the Wii was a newer console. Because um, they, they basically like optimized the best discs or whatever. Um, I have tons and tons of super scratched up discs that just work fine in my GameCube for some reason. Remember the load times for the original PlayStation? Oh yeah. Or on PlayStation 2. You were hoping to see that screen, and if like, oh, please load, please. yes, yes, the game's gonna load. <laughs> I like that the switch is gonna go back to cartridges, though. Oh wow! Hopefully that while well, getting some bombs here, hopefully the switch will be the bomb. Wonder if he knows what happened to his uh. Storage shack. Oh, the one that blew up? Yeah. <laughs> nice, and we get the heart piece. Ah, fail. Use the air tornadoes to get the heart piece. So, another hidden cave here, whatever, to get some extra stuff, like rupees and fairies. Alright, time to 
to go for a dive. Spoosh! We go down her, and I think that's another heart piece. Those are some great water effects right there. Yeah. As he opens his mouth in the water and all, and the water or the ma the water does not go in his mouth. <laughs> I, I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah. I'm right, gonna catapult myself up. Ah! Oh, fell. Oof. <laughs> Oof, shoot. Try that again, sir. Like now they're all buddy buddy. Now that you help them. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Link has no disregard for others' personal property. Right. So now we're going to go way up here, and I think, uh... What else up here? A heart piece or a bonus game or something. I like how no one else mentions that portal in the sky. You would think they would all see it. Right. Only Link at Midna can see it. Yeah, other than that, it's in John Cena mode. <laughs> mean Whoa. injured? It landed on the ladder. Nice. Whoa, kid, what are you doing up here? Oh, yeah, you're really doing a good job. Check me out. Or just to let them to where you are. Right. How would you like if one of those red portals opened up right now and the shadow beast just dropped down and attack you? <laughs> Mallow would fight him off. <laughs> yeah, Mallow just stare at him in that face. He like, oh yeah, so um, go away. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Freaking uh, he's a reject of Chucky. He's put. Target practice here. I gotta cater to my target audience here on YouTube. Notice how he isn't as easily impressed as the other kids were earlier. Yeah, well, he's a douche. <laughs> what? Oh, first I thought the mailman was gonna show up. <laughs> no, I'd be. Hey! Or. Hey! Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. Well, it'd be funny if I shot her by accident. She wouldn't be saying any day. <laughs> I've tried. I don't think you can. Yeah. And then Mayla may would be like, good going, dude. Well, Most yeah, impressive. Uh, he was so reluctant to give me that. <laughs> yeah, so I hand it over and shut up. Alright, what next to do in this town? Do some pillaging. Let me go to this douche's shop. I wonder if he put those posters up himself. Oh yeah, you know he did. Ah yes, the Hawkeye, that's what I need. Don't they give that to you for free if you fail that game? What game? The one just played? Yeah. No, not that I know of. Does that make sense? I could have sworn they gave it to you. I don't know. Why would they give it to you if you fail? I don't know. Because you're sorry. Your consolation <laughs> prize? Ah, there he is. Hey! Yeah. He's busy this time of year. <laughs> Christmas time. <laughs> yeah. You keep running, you're gonna fall off, dude. Right. 
So two letters here from Barnes and somebody. Barnes and Noble? Right. Were you raised in the barn? I fell. I do like bomb arrows. That is pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. They literally are the bomb. Yeah. The more I watch you, your playthrough of this game, the more I realize I really, really need to play Twilight Princess. Because I, I was playing uh, Ocarina of Time back before I sold that game, and it was like the greatest thing ever. But um, I just haven't been able to uh, start up Twilight Princess because it costs so much money. I think I'm probably going to try and go out and get a bunch of this gameplay here. Yeah, you definitely got to play it. It's so good. It's like Ocarina of Time on steroids. Right. Boom. I think the best thing about Ocarina of Time was like the controls and just the, the sense of adventure of it all. Absolutely. Yeah, I love the uh, the adventure and the story and yeah, the essence of the Triforce. Okay, there's something. That's why up. when Ron Sorry, That's why when Ronnie asked me if I if I wanted to be a part of this series, like do commentary with him for the first time starting with this game, I'm like, "Hell yeah." Yeah. And it's perfect. Found, there it is. A heart piece down there. And uh that's that's actually the ironic thing about this uh playthrough Tibbs because uh he picked you you who loves Twilight Princess, but he also picked me who's never Twilight Princess or knows anything about it. <laughs> we don't discriminate. You'll love here. it. We don't discriminate here at the SC2K. The more the merrier. We're one big family here. <laughs> yeah. Dang it! Watch it, Ridley. Wrong game. <laughs> it's uh, it's like Thanksgiving with gaming, pretty much. Yeah. Like everybody, everybody's thankful for the same thing, no matter who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Dang we it. recorded on Thanksgiving too, so ironically enough. Yeah. Man, this is bugging me. Dude, this game's bugging. Yeah, this game really does have I'm a just lot of bugs off in your it. Joke there. Yeah, this <laughs> game really does have a lot of bugs in it. Oh, that doesn't deserve to have your mouth open, Link. Right? Oh, it was just a bug. What was that old song from the 80s or whatever it was? Then the Judah Isn't bug. A... Snap, snap. And then the Judah bug. <laughs> it's older than that, I think, Ronnie. Yeah. I know. Well, well, I saw in, like a Mad TV parody version of the 80s with Bob Barker, and they should play that song. What is this Leave thing? him alone! Freaking evil possessed lettuce on steroids. What is that? It's a lever. Yeah, lever alone. Yeah, I remember that joke from Nintendo Power. <laughs> or lever to beaver. That'd be Justin Bieber. Trust Justin. me, when it comes to Zelda, I know my shit. That'd be a Justin Bieber expansion move. If he's a wrestler, the lever to beaver. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, where he just leaves the ring and no one cares. Yeah. They just ram her head into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Well, what was that? Did we get to read it? A phasmid. What the heck is a phasmid? They are real too. What is it? Like, what kind of a bug is it? Does it sting you? Is it poisonous? I looked it up once, I forget. Fastness. What's so I, fascinating about it? I like how that bridge has the outline of it being broken even before it happens. Yeah. Almost as if it's a clue. Hmm. Let's see if I can get that bug way up there. Oh. Ah, there it is. That looks like a stick bug. 
I know they're fast. Yeah, it's another fast. But that's what it is. Yep. Stick bug. Ooh, that was a nice explosion. Link loves to de destroy the environment. Yeah. And now it's getting dark. We get to enjoy the ambience of the night. Woo! No, not again. They just can't get enough. You know, I need that bridge too. What's what is it with these beasts stealing bridges in this game? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, th I guess they didn't want to feel like they did that day. Yeah. I like how the the Damn. music begins to play for the night to come in and to transition in the night, and it sounds all peaceful as the beasts steal the bridge and, and come from the sky. Huh. Yeah. They're Jamaican dreadlocks. Yeah, and I can't use Midna right here because when the light whirls, I gotta Midna. kill them the old-fashioned way. Come to party with us, man. Yeah. All right, DJ. All right, and let's go over her. It's now time to go to Lake Halia. I love the lake in this game. Yeah, high roll at Lake Halia and high roll. Can I beat it real quick? Highly unlikely. I fail. Speaking of fail, yes. fail trolls again. Yeah, they're on patrol. Has anybody ever you heard You know that? what makes Link such... You know what makes Link such a badass? He does all this adventuring, and he never once, until Skyward Sword, has to go to the bathroom. Right. Did you go to the restroom in Majora's Mask, or is that something else? There was there was a restroom and like a hand would pop out of it wanting paper. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. But in Skyward Sword you can actually sit on the toilet and when you get up it makes a flushing sound. <laughs> so we're now about to enter the realm of Twilight again. Yes, we've been here before. Another drill. You grab me and drag me into the twilight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Let's Play just got dark. Yeah. Oh no, it got dark <laughs> in the last episode, man. Let me tell you. What have you been doing to help me? Well, yeah, she has been very helpful with her powers. Not and when you're. Not when you're human. Well, she has useful information. Alright, so this is the third and final uh, Twilight Realm, maybe? Oh, wait. Oh. Looks like we just picked up another scent. Ah. Lila. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, Molly Cyrus. What good? Break that. See, what's what? You smell the girl, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You find that funny? <laughs> Hehehe <laughs> 
She's a bitch, man. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she got her head chopped off. <laughs> She'll be a good antagonist in the Saw movies. Can you escape? <laughs> As we look at Disneyland in the twilight. Oh, I'm hanging. There is kill. so much dialogue in this game. Right, feels like I'm playing or watching Metal Gear Solid 2. No, this game's plot actually makes sense. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I remember that. Especially toward the end where where uh the fake Colonel Troutman Troutman, dang it, not Rambo, uh <laughs> Colonel <laughs> the fake Colonel Campbell was malfunctioning. Like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> And Link isn't a whiny little bitch like Raiden. Right. Even though they kind of look alike. I mean, the th the thing about MGS2 is you'd, you'd have, like, these two-hour cutscenes that you couldn't pause, and you had to go to the bathroom, and then, you know, they got to still be talking. So you have to sit there and hold your pee and wait as these people just talk and talk and talk. I mean, a lot of that could have been cut down. Yeah, I think yeah. one of them lasted... How long? Like half an hour? Well, they did plot twists just for the sake of having them, you know? Yeah. I mean, it was cool when it first happened, though. Like, it got you intrigued, and it's a good story. Whoa. Did you ever play Snake Eater? Because that was awesome. No, I always wanted to. Didn't uh, Snake Eater have that one part in it where if you, like, waited for six months on the final boss, like, he dies because of the PS2's clock or something? It wasn't the final boss, but yes, there is a boss like that. Hyrule yeah, Castle Town. I love little works like that. Whoa. And there was another boss, I believe, where... Every, er, literally every single person that you killed in the game, their spirits would be in the boss fight. Like, you have to walk down this long corridor of the people you've killed. Wow. Yeah, I've played very, very little of uh, Snake Eater. I know I can just, I can just get it any time for like five bucks, but, and I, I don't have the time to play that game. There's too many, too many great old NES games. Games I gotta gotta boot up. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the NES. You can't go wrong with this game either. Definitely one of the best. As as Skip Rogers would say, NES is the best. Yeah. Damn right. He would say, "Not don't try Nestle quick. Try Opal Team." Speaking of Skip Rogers, I think that was him in front of that tent. Huh. Yeah, it probably was. He pitched a tent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, man, yeah, this is very eerie right here. When Hyrule Castle Town looks a little different from the Ocarina of Time version, and especially right now because it's in the twilight and all these spirits are around, they have no idea what's going on. Rum, rum, rum. Yeah, it's true. Actually, I'm curious. Since uh, Skip is such an amazing gamer, and uh, he's obviously <laughs> the world video game champion, what would be his tips for this game? That's what I want to know as a Twilight Princess noob. Get good. <laughs> yeah. He, he would probably, the opening of the, the review, he'd be like, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Imagine a world of Twilight as you have to enter another world in another realm to rescue the princess. Kill each enemy and fight the shadow beasts. Then take on Ganondorf, the master himself. Pay careful attention to the sneaky tricks we'll show you. Here we are, finally, Telma's Bar. 
Whoa, there's Lila. High real soldier. There's Telma and her and her and her boobs. Right? Yeah. Look, that's Skip Rogers right there as the head soldier. <laughs> Study the map! <laughs> okay, baby. That's weak eye J Man and Star Soldier in front of him. He's like, Come on, guys. Study the freaking map. You don't want to make Skip mad as we study the map right here. And Oh, yeah, that's what Skip would say. This game has many maps and compasses. You'll be encompassed by the adventure. Aw, what's wrong? Picture her having a real butch voice. Yeah. Sell down, honey. For some reason, for some reason, I just really think <coughs> that girl looks like an SJW. <laughs> <laughs> SJW! SJW! No. That's a new invasion angle. SJW versus ECW. <laughs> Owned by Jonathan Coachman. <laughs> yeah. So SJW's what? Super. Uh, super. Uh, jovial wrestling? I fail. What the heck? Oh, social justice wrestling. Hello. Duh. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about that, that would be the perfect, that would be the perfect wrestling, like, tour or whatever. Is you get, you just get all the old ECW guys, then you throw them in with the SJWs. And, yeah. like, the, the SJWs are just yelling, like, snarky comments and stuff, and the, the ECW guys just come and, like, you know, get a freaking chair or something. Yeah. <laughs> Like one of them's like, we're gonna kick your butt, and all of a sudden the Sandman shows up and like blasts him with a beer can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the new Jack. Oh man. Yeah, he'll jack them up. And all right, so now we're back in Hyrule Field. I still need to buy that that wrestling service that just gives you all of the all of the wrestling like ECW and stuff. I remember you you recommending to me that in the the podcasts that we did, but I still haven't gotten it. I'm sure I can I'm sure I can find it somewhere online because well, I really can, need to catch up on all that old wrestling. New subscribers will get the first month for free. Yeah, I've had that. I've had it since it started, almost. Oh, here's the great bridge of ECW. Now that's a bridge. Yeah. yeah whoa. Almost dried up. I just there. have this uh, weird feeling that uh, some somebody who just taped all of the ECW stuff as a kid just watches the same tapes that they had as a kid over and over and over in their house or something. I used to do that. Yeah, me too. It's better than a lot of the stuff today. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I I came into this one live stream that was that was at being advertised on YouTube or for some reason. And this guy was just in his house like live streaming all these old VHS tapes that he had. And it didn't get taken down for copyright. <laughs> oh man, that, those two just burned a bridge with me. Get out of here! Yeah. Get to the chopper! Wait, there's no chopper. Uh oh. I regret nothing! <laughs> And that's the end of Twilight Princess. Uh, oh, wait. Whoa. 
Yeah, surprise ending. Yeah. Lake Hallier, or I used to call it Hillier. Because I can't pronounce anything right in this series. Man, well, you're so lucky you hit that hole. They just, like, right? That would be pretty great if he just, uh, like, it ended right there with he, he just jumps and then the credits start rolling, like, super fast and it just says the end. Dude. <laughs> People be so pissed, they'd be outraged. I'd be outraged too. I'm like, I want my money back. Are you kidding me? Everybody would would just spam forums saying like, oh, I'm never going to buy from Nintendo again, but as soon as the next Mario comes out, they buy like 10 copies of it and then sell them on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. Be out a lot of YouTube rants about it. <laughs> Man, the Zoras look freaky in this game. This, that oh. poor guy there. Dumb. This Gomer Paul reject. Hmm. Put, put on a real shirt. <laughs> there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people in this game that don't cover up, and like this guy definitely needs to cover up. Well, if he's a ghost, wouldn't <laughs> he be cold? Well, he's not really a ghost. He's just a spirit because he's encompassed in the or enveloped in the tw twilight realm. He's not really dead. Um, but jeez, look at his gut sticking out. <laughs> Dude, what is your problem? Is that, a is that a tattoo or his hair? I don't want to know. That beast should shoot him. That's why he's out there. The beast is like, uh, put on a shirt. Uh. Wait, Brock Lesnar's here? Oh, yeah, that's right. Alright, so now we gotta fight this weird looking shadow beast. Uh oh. What's he doing? You gonna, you gonna get that hawk to attack me? Come on. He's getting high. See? Getting high. Yeah, so I guess. I guess that hawk's gonna attack me? What the heck? Whoa! Holy crap! That's not a hawk. Dude, someone blew a hole in his face. Jeez, man, what? That's uh, one of those birds put on steroids. Now that's Ridley. Believe it or not. And shoot him right in his whole face. <laughs> and that, that thing's annoying. <laughs> freaking Castlevania boss battle right here, like from Bloodline Stage 3. Oh, yeah. Once again, these birds, they honk at you. Uh, I think it's more like level 8 Super Mario Brothers. Eh, no. <laughs> Who? What, Bowser? <laughs> oh! Got me. I, I can't... Why don't you come down and fight me I like a man? I can't remember that, that one... That one 80s movie that um is like... You know, oh, oh, this is this is level eight Super Mario Brothers or something. This that would always, always be referenced in, in just these random movies that that I've seen. Huh? Was probably it probably the Wizard? Huh? Yeah, or Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I can't stand that movie. <laughs> you think Jeff that movie is a disaster? No, not Jeff. I don't think it was Jeff. I think it's We Got that actually liked the movie. <laughs> My fiance likes it too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why for the lols? Well, that's okay, because I actually like Street Fighter, the movie. Oh, no. Quick, change the channel! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter is kind of like, it's good in a so bad it's good kind of way, like like Mortal Kombat, sort of. 
Well, the first Mortal Kombat movie was actually pretty good, but the second one was garbage. Yeah, I, I haven't seen the second one, but... Um, like, I have a weird love-slash-hate relationship with the first movie because it has, like, really, really cool fights and stuff, and I, I really like the the costume designs and stuff. But uh, there, there's something about it that, like, I kind of love to hate about it. I don't know. What I love to hate is the fact that in, in Part 2, the movie Part 2, they try to make us believe that Raiden and Shao Kahn are actually brothers. Get out of here. They ain't brothers. You will die. Yeah. Right, so this is pretty yeah, cool. Be, we get I'd to actually shitting, use this thing. I'd be shitting my pants if I was Link right now. Right? Yeah, but this is cool. We get to actually use Ridley or uh, whatever the heck this is. Well, I'm, I'm just imagining experiencing this this in real life like that. That's got to be insane. Yeah, I know. It's just... This is all this force is blowing into you like you're over all this hype. Wow. Yeah, no, they, is this area under construction or something? Yeah. But this game was under construction for a long time. I think I'm getting pushed back and pushed back. All the big Zelda games always yeah, get delayed. This, this yeah. game needs to go... This game needs to go back in construction if you ask me. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> this game's pretty, very tight. Yeah. And In, Into the magic keyhole. Right. And I know all the Zelda games always get delayed, and someone says, that's but, a good thing, because they want to take their time with it. And yeah, and I agree with that part, but it's like, get it right the first time, or, or stop pushing it back six times, because we get tired of that. Like, do a better job in actually knowing when you're going to release the game. Yeah, but like the the thing with with uh, Twilight Princess that I've seen, like I, like I said, I haven't played the game, but from the footage I've seen, like the HD remaster pretty much brings nothing new to it. They just kind of make it HD is all, and um, you know, like I said, I haven't played the games, but what I what I like with HD remasters is they put more more stuff into it. Um, but they just kind of made it HD, which doesn't really matter to me. So that's the reason, the whole reason why I didn't buy that game, because they didn't add anything, add anything new to it. So I could just be paying the same price for, for uh, pretty much the uh, the used version. So it kind of sucks in that regard, because I don't even use HD television anyway. I'm actually about to get HD TV for the first time soon. Nice. Twilight Princess I, I, HD. I don't know. There's there's something like appealing. There's something appealing about the the square CRT TVs, especially when you're playing like NES games on it. Oh, I, absolutely. And this place is cold. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm a guy who collects. Who collects like VHS tapes and stuff? So I'm I'm like one that's of those vinyl guys when it comes to TV. That's cool. We finally arrived in Zora's domain. Time to chill. Okay, everybody, chill. Yeah. I wonder uh, how much he paid for his domain, because you know I, I can't afford like a five dollar domain name or whatever. It's like that's too much money. Yeah, I just had to renew my <laughs> domain. How long have you had that website anyway? I think about three years now. Mm. We got revamped in twenty fourteen. Two years ago this month because uh, I had to leave GoDaddy because they suck. Remember when they were all the rage? Yeah, I mean, I've been trying. 
Yeah, I remember when GoDaddy used to have commercials all the time. Like these really like weird and provocative commercials, but but they they don't even advertise anymore. Uh, I, I didn't even know they're still around. Company, if they. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, are still I, I have a feeling they went like the way of... Yeah, I have a feeling they went the way of like Angel Fire or something. They should be fired. <laughs> <laughs> I always mess this part up. Yeah, I messed up a few seconds ago if you've seen it. I got pwned. Yeah. Jeez, how many more times we gotta jump? Are we there yet? Jeez. Might as oh, well jump. No. Oh, oh, wow. Finally. Son of a mother. We're finally in Zofar's domain. I mean, Zora's domain. Oh, boy. Dang it, more shall beasts. We're really beasting it here. So you're seeing Link versus Barack Lesnar. Nice open Paul open Heyman's open. on the side. No! No! Yeah. F5 just so we shut up. <laughs> I'll take you there. Yeah. Death metal version. I'll take you there. <laughs> no, look look under the ice and see all the corpses. Yeah. All the spirits. Alright, so in order to break the ice we gotta get that giant debris from dang, what's the place called forgot the Goron mines this thing right here yeah. death mountain yeah death mountain that's right not the Goron mines that was a freaking temple or dungeon whatever up here We left J-Man and Wee Guy in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that takes Apparently a lot she's part Master Hand. Yeah, that takes a lot of telekinetic powers. I wonder how all your molecules and stuff still are intact after you transform like that. Imagine if they came back together the wrong way. Yeah. It's too what bad I, this doesn't uh, happen, want happen do in the light world. With, uh, <sighs> what I want them to do with like uh, a sequel to Twilight Princess, when they do that molecule thing, they just turn into like the 8-bit characters or 64-bit characters or something. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. We thought out Zora's domain. That was pretty quick. Makes me think of this time. Last winter, I was stuck outside in the freezing cold for like a half hour. My fiance and me, we come home and we take a steaming hot shower. Man, that, I can't explain how good that felt. Yeah. I bet you were a little I steamed. I was uh, watching an interview. Yeah, I was uh, watching an interview with like Sting on uh, one of one of the uh, late night shows or whatever. And he was talking about how when he was writing a song, uh, he basically just went outside in the freezing cold because he couldn't think of any idea for a song. And, uh, you know, he wasn't dressed up or anything. So he went outside in the freezing cold and he ended up, like, writing the first verse just about how he was outside 
in the freezing cold or something. I thought I was, I thought I was talking about the wrestler thing. Me too. <laughs> I'm so cold out here. Yeah. There's no warmth near. <laughs> Wait. Who's, who's up? Who's give me? me a blanket. Whoa. Who is that? Rutella. Uh, Rutella. Uh, it's dialogue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Followed by more dialogue. So instead of Ruto, uh, we get some more dialogue. Yeah. Instead of Ruto, it's Rutella. What a bitch she. <laughs> yeah, she was. Jeez, she's trying to marry Link. She forget. Link doesn't want to marry. <laughs> Remember Rudo, how childish she was? Mm -hmm. so I, I'm not going anywhere. I would have sit right here, and I would have been all right. Fine, let the whale digest your ass. <laughs> uh, he's actually dead. We're too late. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's the. I believe she talked about the uh, the Zora kid we saw on Telma's bar. He's barely alive. Be cool if they gave you an option to say no there. Well, I know they did in Ocarina of Time, the DQ tree. He just goes, no, Link, you must accept this. <laughs> then he dies anyway. Yeah, Jody played that. I had him play, play that when I was a kid. He typed no and says, no, Jody. We start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting me! <laughs> We're itching ever so close to your favorite part, Ronnie. Is... Yeah. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Wait a minute, waterfalls? I thought you weren't supposed to chase rainbows. I never heard anything about waterfalls. Whoa, two rainbows. <laughs> waterfalls chase you. Yeah. <laughs> Lake ECW again. That looks like a shark's mouth. Well, why didn't you wake me up? Why don't you just let me <laughs> wake up moan if you want me to wake up? <laughs> Pokemon snap out of it. Fail. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure uh, Nikki would appreciate that joke. Maybe. <laughs> okay, it's getting old. These beasts. Come on, man. I guess. Well, I guess the good thing is to open up a new portal. Hey, uh, Ronnie. You know this uh, commentary here was a Pokemon snap, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> You fit right here, Logan. It was, it, it was uh, <laughs> uh, Pokemon. Well, well, if he goes down, I go down too. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, another portal. What 
wouldn't it be cool if like anything else could just randomly fall through? Right. Remember Anyone that, steps in the wrong place. Remember that old cartoon or movie or some saying, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Oh yeah, Chicken Little. I'm like, what does that mean? The sun's falling, then we're all roasting. No. Like, what? Skyfall, is it James Bond? Isn't uh, the one where they go, the sky is falling? Isn't the one where they go, uh, the sky is falling underdog, I thought? I have no idea. I don't know. I I remember like or oh wait it's the it's a bird it's a crane it's it's a frog that's that's from underdog. Uh, I I don't know why I I I, I haven't seen underdog since movies, I was a kid. Like, weirdly, for some reason, even though they have. Oh yeah, it's it's a really fun cartoon. Um, it has like that that Hanna Barbera style. Yeah, where the, I, I, I love the those cartoons. The animation is super, super limited. Yeah. Alright, so I got Top Cat. Here you go, go Ronnie. Bigger. Got the Vessel of Light to collect the last of the tiers of ECW. I actually talked to the spirit of Halia here. Yes, we know. Talk faster. Come on, that's the spirit. I would if you stop talking. All right. All right. Time to collect the tears of ECW in the next part. <laughs> Sorry, kids. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> All right, so in part 10, I'll collect the last of the tears of light to bring light back to Lake Halia. And so we'll see you then. Thank you very much, Logan, for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me on. It was fun. I've uh, never done, like, commentary where you just look at the thing and then commentate. I'm I'm always that kind of guy where I'm like, well, I I gotta be playing the game if I'm gonna talk about it. So it's it's kind of a challenge, but I did have fun for my first yeah. time. You can pretend like you're playing. Let's get... <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll see you guys in part ten. I just gotta take... pick up a controller. Yeah. All right. <laughs> take guys. care, everyone. God bless. Take care. Right. See you all later. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wii Guy and Tibbs. We're, We're back. back! Whoa! So, and it's time for more collecting, yay Tibbs! Yeah! Sweet, Sweet. I didn't know we were, we're playing, playing Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Babooie. Fail. And uh, this one. Well, at least this is the last time, Ronnie. Yeah, this is the last of the collecting, and Jamie and be thankful too. Nah, you, ne you, you never, never stop the collecting. collecting. Well, that's true, because there's more uh, bugs to collect, these safe bugs later on. Although there's something very special about this round of collecting. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, dig it. Oh, I oh, dig it, brother. Whoa. Stop on the slam jump! Yeah, that's to that bug. Oh wait, you snapped to me. Ouch. Come on, get it, you idiot! Uh, 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 this, this game's bugging me. Get it, you stupid idiot! You know what? You just made the list! The list? Yeah, the Chris Jericho list. Oh. Uh, Remember the golden rule, guy. If you don't get it, it's wrestling. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. No, I got that. I just, I'm trying not to get beyond like just a big wrestling. Like, what kind of wrestling reference is it? Like, what, like what era? This era, now. Oh. Don't ask us that. We'll talk forever. Yeah. Face, 
basically, if you're a stupid idiot, you're on the list. Oh, wow. Oh, no. You don't want to be on the list. <laughs> J-Man was here. They're like, uh, oh, oh, blacklisted? Whoa, whoa, racist, whoa. <laughs> this, dang, this guy needs to untie his shirt and actually wear it normal. No one cares that he's pregnant. But who impregnated him? Oh. Oh, even, I don't want to know. Oh. Maybe he conquered an impregnable fortress and failed. What? Oh, no. Oh, wow. I mean... I should go on the list for that joke. All right. Yeah, you're on the list. Grass. I wonder if you can smoke this grass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, run, baby. Yeah. Did you have any of this planned out, or are you just really like, all right, I don't know where the bugs are, but I'm gonna do my best to find them. I don't know where the bugs are, but I'm gonna do my best to find them. Uh, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> really answered my question there. Well, they're all marked on the map, so you know where they are. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, well. Look, yeah. I mean, Skip will tell you that. <laughs> I forgot about that. I don't know. I'm, I'm sick of this. So you got this map, but you have to follow it. I don't, don't need, need no stinking maps. All the on screen map. I need Google Maps. When I was your age, I used to walk that ski wall. Oh, I cool. actually showed, showed some of the original Metroid, and that was the first thing they asked me. Where's the map? <laughs> there is no map. I said, make one. He, no, you just gotta play the uh, the ROM hack where they added the map. That's why I think Skip, that's a feature. That's why Skip hates Metroid and never reviewed it. No map? <laughs> oh. Wait. I was just trying to look for the hack. I think it's actually only at saving. Because there was no save, only passwords. Oh wait, included as a scrollable map when the game is paused. Oh, that's a great... Man, that is a great... Yes. That is a great hack. Anybody gonna play Metroid? Play the ROM hack of uh, plus saving. Metroid plus saving. It's so good. I could beat the game in half the time if I had a map. Now it's time for this for Big Bird to help us out. Dip. The word for today is fly. Mr. Someone blew a hole in my face. Right, yeah. <laughs> I wish it was. I wish it was octagon. Octagon. So it's like the. That's the. Uh, that's, that's a meme. So that Jack Black was in a Sesame Street, you know, appearance, and he was talking about the word octagon, and it's like, I think it's a meme. I'll just tell you that. I have no idea what you're talking about. Memes are the internet. Well, I, I know. I know that. He knows what a meme is. Somebody about the understand the reference of the meme. Uh, if you just search Jack Black and Octagon meme, you'll you'll find all you need to know. That's racist, Jack Black. No, uh, <laughs> shut up. And but like I thought you were talking about Otacon. I thought you were going to say Otacon and Metal Gear Solid, but you said it wrong. No, I'm talking about Octagon. <laughs> no, this ain't uh, the UFC. Anyway. That's gamer logic in a nutshell. We thought you said a video game character instead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, 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 man. This, this is one of the reasons why I hate collecting in this part of the game, because if you mess up right here, you got to start all over again. Well, just be good. Jeez, I can't get good, kid. Yeah. Get good! Fuck you! Get good! Get good! It ain't about getting good! By the way, we got to get a new catchphrase. catchphrase. Huh? That's gonna become a new catchphrase. Yeah. But we gotta need to ca uh, catch out. I need to check out your uh, uh, live stream of I mean, the past. Haven't watched that yet. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty good one. I've been thinking about making a donation request to you, but I just don't know what yet if you haven't, if you haven't covered it yet. 
Uh, I mean, I, it doesn't matter if I already did a game. I'll do whatever. That's the thing about donation guys. It's for anything. I'll do. I'll. I'll I will. If I can do it, it's not like play uh, the latest uh, um, game on PS4. It's like I don't have one. I can't do it. Yeah. Do Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, <laughs> no, we got would charge fifty for that. No, Ronnie would. <laughs> Ronnie would probably want to play something good, and classic like Metroid or Shattergate or something. I just recently watched the uh, LP of Rocky Bullwinkle, and so did Mike for the first time in, in your rage. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ah, uh, the classics. Yeah. Okay, whoa, Screech's sister now. And, whoa, there's another bug. She's waiting for him to get out of jail. Long yeah. wait. Hmm, <laughs> got him. And get it, get it, you got it. Good job. 10 out of 10. Also, I remember uh, we got it was one time, I didn't, before I knew how Twitch worked, um, I still don't know, but I tried to attend your live stream one time, and I went to your channel, and someone else was live streaming on your channel. Oh, yeah, that's hosting. Yeah, I'm like, what? Man, this is false advertisement. What is this BS? I want to see we got. Who's this? And I was, I was <laughs> mad. I was let down. I was like, man, this is... And, and then on YouTube, I, I tried to post a uh, chat. But, or no, I think uh, yeah through YouTube. But you're on Twitch. I couldn't chat on YouTube. I'm like, what is this sorcery? I don't get live streaming. What is going on here? Well, well I, I just, just cut, cut back, back some options, options like, like the ability to chat, chat on the YouTube, YouTube version because I can only keep track of one. And I'm like, well, it's all about Twitch. Yeah, I'm still taking it slow. I'm doing it on YouTube first before I move on to the advanced world of twitching. Yeah. All right. Uh, now I'm learning another song here. What Ocarina Time rendition is this? I got my volume turned turn down. I have to hear it. I think it's the Temple of Time theme? Yeah, it sounds like it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that's it. I think so too. Or is it the water? Lake Hylia theme to go there. Ah, oh, it's too similar, man. Jeez. Now another golden wolf is gonna kill himself. Yeah. Or no, oh, I gotta remember the actual name. What was the blue note in Ocarina of Time? Like the song. Serenade of Water. Yeah, Serenade of Water. And then Prelude of Light was the Temple of Light one. Yeah. Yep. All right, let me pull a skip here and. The pool skip. skip. Yeah. Link's favorite know. thing, collecting the tears of his enemies. Someone told Skip one time, all right, Skip, I'll make sure to skip your tips. Yo, no, don't, don't give, give a skip. skip. I'm, I'm real, real hip. hip. Everybody, Everybody knows, knows that, that I like, like chips. chips. What is Skip Rogers' favorite peanut butter? Um, Jeff. Skippy. There you go. You're darn Skippy. It's Jeff. No, Skippy. <laughs> oh, Adams, sorry. Not Jeff. You know what? Uh, Jeff is better. Which, by the way, Too I bad heard... he couldn't make it. Yeah, he's on still. He died. He's still on vacation. Um, oh, Jesus! And, uh, when you say he didn't make it, that's what I immediately think when someone says that phrase. It's like, someone whoa, what happened? happened? I didn't get the news. Speaking of gifs, I think someone has said, and I don't know if this quote is for real, but the creator of the .dot gif files said it's pronounced GIF, not GIF. Well, well he's, he's an, an idiot. idiot. Well, he created it. You wanted to call it a, a GIF, yeah, you should have made it a JIF. Yeah. Idiot. idiot. Well, I created that's a G. I can name, I created, I can name it That's my favorite peanut, peanut butter. butter. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's probably, probably that, too. It's like, because like, uh, obviously the G stands for graphical, graphical and then I have. It's uh, one of those names where you don't care how, if it's, if, how, you, how it's technically supposed to be pronounced. You could, you're still going to pronounce it the way you want it. Ryu, you, Ryu, you, Ryu. Like, 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 like uh, Magus. Technically, I heard it's pronounced Magus. But people say Magus, and they're going to stick with that. Yeah, just like your name is Rumauer. Yeah. Well, there's still it's the different the thing with Jeff and Jeff is that it's it's a G Jeff or damn it uh, Jeff uh, dang it I can't <laughs> look you're you have, you're pronouncing the G sound that's what I'm getting at it's the the G in Magus you're still saying the J the G Magus Magus it's still the G.
Yo, I, you, yo, you. yo, yo, I hear what you're saying, G. Exactly. G, Probably. we're yeah. skipping. G, we're off topic here. But, I mean, <laughs> you're just looking for the bugs. Yeah. That's all that's going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. So we can talk about stuff like the discussion over GIF or GIF. Yeah. Well, just about on this waterfall right here. Don't go chasing it. You should make a GIF out of this. <laughs> yeah. If you fall off, it's going to be a GIF. Ready? Watch right. what's going to happen. Dang it. Well, I'm a real gifted player at this. Um... Nah, I can't make a pun. <laughs> you already used it. Yeah. You're no pun. Uh, well, I've made one good one tonight, so I'm happy. Yeah, it's good. You go out on a high note, George. I guess I better go to the zoo and look at a GIF rap. Uh, nope. Cancel, cancel that one. Cancel. Fail. Well, I give you an A for effort. But an F for fail. Like an A for A hole. Yeah, there you go. Right now we're in Zora's domain. I'll give you a D for dope. Right here. Yeah. And Zora's domain is still still in peril. Yo, I'm in peril. Where's Will, 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 Will Ferrell? Gonna, gonna go and get, get some. some uh, 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 Yeah, uh, gonna uh, get uh, sterile. Uh, hey, Harold. <laughs> What's up, Ferrell? <laughs> <laughs> gonna, gonna go, go play some Metal Gear Solid. Meryl! Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, I got five more bugs to go. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, turn around. Watch where you're going, you idiot. He's looking at us. Oh. You know no, don't fall, fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. You know what, Minda? You just made the list. Whoa! <laughs> I almost made the list by falling off. Make another list. list. Yeah. Dusty Here's Rose the gist of this. this. Dusty Rhodes had a list. Well, let me tell you something better. Yeah. Hard times. It's what you worked for a company have... 20 years, 20 years, 20 years, and they give you a watch. Ha. I get that. Whoa. Well, you don't, anyway. The polka dots, baby. <laughs> polka dots. That was supposed to be a rib, and he still made it work. That's how good he was. Right, nice. Oh, come, oh, come on. on. You going, going back? back? You didn't get all the bugs? Come on, man. Yeah, told you. It really bugs me, too, man. Yeah, it's, I, you, 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 I was going to make a bug pun first. <laughs> now you straight up bugging, yo. Yeah, well, you know what? This commentary is infested with bad puns. There you go, not bad. But you need to work out. You got those buggy whip arms. Wow. Are, are and you're so whipped. <laughs> what? Is that a brand of like bug spray? Well, you never heard of a buggy whip? No, I haven't. It's like those, uh, what's it like on, on those old wagons from the uh, Eastern Time, the Little House in the Prairie, buggy whip. Oh. Well. Oh. I hope you sleep sleep well tonight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. There you go. Nice. An oldie but a goodie. Yep. Just like your stick. Um, mattress. <laughs> yep. Oldie but a goodie. I don't know. Actually, no. I just got a new bed. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Look at this bed. Gonna rest my head. On the pillow. Everybody, Everybody knows, knows I'm a good fellow. Damn yeah, that's right, still, that's bravo, sir. That still worked, ish. I like marshmallows. I like marshmallow. Gonna play some marshmallows and play, 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 play as mallow. Hey. I show sure right yellow. Yeah, I ain't yellow, except, except in the Simpsons. Simpsons. Hey, hey, son. Yeah. 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 Word up. Hey, son, gonna go get a home run. Yeah. All right, I believe I got all of them in there. I believe I you can, can fly. fly. I believe I can touch the sky. 
Yeah. yeah. Did you, I, think I think you think, think about, about it every, every night, night and day. day. Something I fail. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know any other lines past that one. <laughs> Something I believe I can soar. I'm an open door. <laughs> and, I, and, wow. I, and, I, and I need an oar to paddle my way through Lake Hylia. Yeah, you're, you're, you're going, going up, up Lake Hylia without, without a paddle, paddle you know? Yeah. Right, yeah. I just remember that. I first heard that song, I think, when I watched uh, Space Jam. Yeah, I, I think everybody did. did. Yeah. I'm going to jam here. Where's those two bugs? Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, here we go. Must be hidden, because I don't see him on the map. Oh, no, man. Uh -oh. Not again. Time for some old friends. If I was still a dog sitting bear, I'd have to argue with him. No, it's too dangerous outside, bear. Can't go outside. The shadow beast. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, bear, it's too dangerous. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the service here is terrible. Nikita's making fun of everything I say. She's like a live Retsu prey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that rhymes. Yeah. Nothing like getting roasted on the spot. Yeah. And I and I handle chicken for, for prepared foods in my work area, so I mean I know about roast roastings. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we used to. I'm old restaurant job. We used to roast each other, and this one guy roasted this kid. It was funny. He, he goes, "He looks like the kid from Holes Zero. and it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god! Well, no, hit him. Talking, I know. Yeah, hit him. Yeah. Hit him. Yeah, he was the same kid that was in Walking Tall with the Rock. Walk tall. Ronnie, have you have you ever seen that movie Waiting with Ryan Reynolds? Yes. That's, That's something else. else. Yeah, it's alright. It wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. But it's true, though. A lot of stuff that happens is true. Yes. That has Dane Cook in it. Yeah, he's a cook, too. In, in one, one of his, like, like rare, rare, like, like good, good roles. <laughs> alright, so. There's one more bug, and it's back in Lake Hollywood. Time, Time for the, the part that makes it all worth it. it. Right. It's time. It's Vader time. It's clobbering time. Yep. Well, what is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, it's probably nothing. Black man's drowning. Who? Oh, a leg man. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's drowning. That trusty don't mix. What is he doing? That's what he gets for having a stupid track and stupid music in a stage. That's how you like, eat him, just throw, throw, throw him in the water. water. Trying to sound like R.E.M. or whatever that band was called. Dun, 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 dun. No, he was, he was trying, trying to sound to like Girls in Cars. cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Girls in Cars. Dun, dun, dun. We got uh, dun, 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 the dun, soundtrack dun. for that game, Shamer's Plug. <laughs> they bit rendition yep, 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 yep. WrestleMania. WWF WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Yeah. The original one by Acclaim. Published, that is. It's not good enough to make it on their own, and... <laughs> Alright. I mean, they never did make anything on their own. Not in that era. Uh oh Really be into dead, dead space, space now. That's one big water bug. Yeah, this is this is straight out yeah, like dead space, space, even though dead space, space wasn't out when this game came out. Yeah. Water bugger. Fail. Good. Well, that's, that's a good game. <laughs> Jeez. Here it is, a water <laughs> bug. I mean, he was in the water. Yeah. Whoa. He's getting revenge on us for. Killing them all these years, stomping all over them. Well, don't invade us. <laughs> Just because it's hot outside, I'll be eating coming around. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know someone that has a phobia of bugs. Imagine what, what she would do if she saw this. She would literally have a heart attack. Tough. So, yeah. yeah. It's gonna have. It would be like that with any movie. Or yeah. any movie. What? Any phobia. <laughs> I don't know. I have movies on the brain. You think of arachnophobia? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah there we go. I forgot. Hey. Yeah, you see them. Yeah, I you mean, the same thing at first, too. Yeah, I forgot. It's been a while. Oh. That's nice. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Dun, 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 dun. That seems so good. Bye. There we go. Shouldn't that tear be bigger? Never mind. We got all of them? <laughs> Just that's that's, 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 that's it, Ronnie. No more. SC2K has collected all the haters' tears. Nikki Nikki says, says use ECW mode. <laughs> I don't know if you can. And, like GameCube game, except Game Shark. <laughs> all right, now light has been brought back to SC2K. One star, star power, power. Or, or wait, wait one, one tier, tier power. power. Damn it! Yeah. Ah, ah, glorious! Glorious! glorious. I will defend, I will defend to my victory! Like a giant slug. slug. Yep. Or eel, excuse me. Ah, I see. It's more like a. It's like a basilisk. What's a basilisk? Good Some word, kind of brother. Snake. Huh? Some, Some kind, kind of snake. Of snake. Oh. Got a jawbreaker stuck in its mouth. <laughs> yeah. It's so delicious. <laughs> oh, hero. Oh, hero. Remember that? Yeah. I think, I think that was a commercial about the oh, we oh, or something. I don't know. No, that was uh, Spano's track in Killer Instinct Gold. You know, someone oh. told me recently that the soldiers in the Wizard of Oz, they're actually saying something. Supposedly they're saying, supposedly they're going, oh, we love the old one. That's what I was told. No, they the original. No, they're saying, oh, the element room. I know they're saying, oh, loop. Oh, wait, that's uh, Woody Wonka. Did you say Woody Wonka? <laughs> Willy, Willy it's Wonka, a different yeah. kind of evil. Whoa, get out of my face. Not story time. I love, I love it. it. Oh, oh Ocarina of Time shout, uh, uh, throwback. Right. And they say that they never make reference to Ocarina. Wait, nope. nope. That's a lie. <laughs> exactly. That's the whole point of the argument with the Zelda series. It's like, after Ocarina of Time, it's all the same. It's just Ocarina, except different. Yeah. Except, Except for Majora's Mask. Actually, was, like, the argument could be made that Link to the Past is what started all this stuff. The more you know. Well, yeah. But I mean, since it's, you know, 3D, and they follow the same formula in that term. Have you ever seen the sequelitis on Ocarina of Time? Of course. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, I know Eagle Raptor. I talk with him all the time. <laughs> what are you doing with that knife? Whoa! Oh, wow. snap! Dude, this is getting, like, avant-garde. She's turned into the Undertaker. Yeah. No, she's become a deadite. Whoa, all of them. I guess all of them turned into the Undertaker. Oh, damn it. Looks like Bruce Campbell's gonna have to come in. If only he could run like that in the game. Just faster. Right, yeah. Whoa. The Dark Links. I hate Darkies. Those are the Links you Wait. Whoa. Whoa. I meant the Dark Links. Dark Links. Those are the links you click on and they fish your passport. Don't forget, Weak Guy Ronnie has the power to edit what you say. Yeah. Nice. We're have nightmares. Right. I always thought this was cool because it's like the first time in the Zelda series there's like a kind of like major cutscene. Of some, of some kind of like story, story proportion. proportion. That wasn't that was just text and stuff like an Ocarina of Time. 
I mean, there was visuals and stuff, but wasn't as impressive. Yeah. Uh, 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 and that's off-putting. Oh man, <laughs> he's all stoned. Dude, he's he's having a, he's having a trip, man. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so weird. Dude. <laughs> See. <laughs> oh, so should play for school. Mm. Man. Yeah, that was intense storytelling. I know. What the, what, what the heck was the point of all that? To tell him a story about the dark power? I guess. Find out next time. time. Yeah. So, so, so strange. strange. Yeah. Till then, God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. Oh, oh snap. snap. Would, you Would you look at that? that? I, I know, know how, how to rap. rap. So, so, take, take care. care. Booyah! Welcome to part 11 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, where I've collected all of the Tears of Light and no more Twilight. Look how beautiful Lake Hylia looks now. <laughs> So, like, what, it, what? So, what do you remember that you have to do next? Um. Well, I know the Lake Bed Temple is supposed to be next, but first I need to I think do some things, maybe some side quests here, whatever. And I am joined by Bio Phoenix, and for the second time with us, Logan of Outlaw Harvest. Hey. Jeez, this guy. <laughs> That dude always creeped me out. Yeah. He still needs to get a real shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what is this, Mario 64 now? Whoa! That's a long loading time. Alright, yeah. <laughs> So that'd probably be more fun. At least in Mario 64, it'll show you um, as you're like flying in the air. Yeah. Also, you get to shoot like wherever the hell you want. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This one's not as fun. They charge you for it. <laughs> I need to like run off the edge of like the chickens, if I remember right. Um. Yeah, I believe so, and uh, that's what we gotta do before we get to the Lake Bed Temple. We got to bring that injured Zora child to the shaman of Kakariko Village so he can get healed. Whoa, who is that? Get away from him. You yeah, know what, forget the... let's get out of here. Yeah, that's the other creepy fucker. Yeah. I was just thinking. Right, back to Hyrule Field, and we call a pony here. I was just thinking maybe every time you pick up an item or talk to someone in this game, which is like most of the game, it seems at this point, like they just do a micro transaction. That's the new HD remaster for the NX. Just micro transactions every time you talk to somebody. <laughs> oh, that'd be horrible. Ah, uh, here we go. Another weird guy. <laughs> running plan. He's not as weird as that last guy. Oh, two <laughs> yeah. E ECW. <laughs> He's like the the postman, but without the car. Yeah, he like run. I, I think there's a part in this game where you can actually make him like run off the ledge. Which is kind of funny to think. <laughs> no, you can't? <laughs> yeah, 
I forget how to do it, but there's a certain point in the game if you stand in like a certain spot and when he like activates his like his speech thing, he'll like run like towards you, but since there's like a cliff in the way, he'll like fall down it and it'll actually just show it and you won't get the message. <laughs> <laughs> I got looked it up on YouTube. Yeah, that's how I found out about it and I was like, oh wow, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, Castlevania 64. I mean, uh, Castlevania for GameCube rather now. Yeah, with the um, motorcycle riding um, skeletons. Right, they didn't make sense, but that was still cool. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it, it was fucked. <laughs> Alright, so motorcycle. We got through collecting the tears of light from those evil bugs. Now we're collecting the good bugs. Out of pain, Mantis. You know, <laughs> nice. this this game this game reminds me strangely of Skyrim. For whatever reason, I have a big feeling that 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 Twilight Princess was an inspiration for Skyrim. Somebody on that team. Yeah, probably oh. was. I was gonna say Skyward Sword. Skyrim Sword? Fail. <laughs> yeah, cause if you look at this game, it's like a it's a more open gothic version of Zelda, and like um, Skyrim is very open and gothic, except it's just way more open and you can talk to more people. And the talking actually feels more interactive in a way, um, cause you can actually choose what you're gonna say. Love the song at night in Hyrule Field. Yeah, it's really eerie. That's me, it's Rex. Yeah, the whole. Sounds like Malin and the whole Thomas OST singing it. Is great. Yeah, the whole ODST is great, or OST for this game is really, really good. Cool. ODST? The same goes for. <laughs> I think there's a game called that. Yeah, it's uh, Halo ODST. ODST 2K? <laughs> I thought that was way more funny than it be. <laughs> Another nice. point. Imagine just... seeing a glow butterfly at night. That'd be cool. Yeah, I was just gonna say like ODST 2K kind of sounds like I don't know, like like the Master Chief playing like basketball or some shit. Or it sounds like. SQK has ADD or something. <laughs> oh, where are you going now? Are you trying to run from me now? Uh. How's that feel? Fatality. Alright, look out, Orsi. I want to blow you up. A... I wonder if there's a Teletubbies game. That would be cool. I'd be all over that. I think they have one on PS1. Really? Yeah, Ooh. I think they do. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, PS1 is my babe. Remember the whole controversy back in... Well, I don't know if you guys remember. Y'all guys are really young. But in 2001, Jerry Falwell was really, like, talking bad about the show because Tinky Winky carries a purse, and he said... Tinky Winky is gay. This is not right. Tinky Winky is gay. Teletubbies are bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that, but, you know, which is weird because Teletubbies was around when I was younger. Yeah. And I think the, uh, the little baby that, where the baby's face was in the sun... It's like probably in her late teens or early twenties now, I think. Hmm. Probably early twenties, wow. I would imagine. Yeah. And yeah, that's should be out. In other words, your age. 
Yeah. I never watched Teletubbies back when it was like brand new episodes. I always watched it like in syndication on like a weird time on a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. What the heck was a Teletubby anyway? I have no freaking idea. Drugs. Exactly. Who, who does? <laughs> That's gotta do research on it. I don't know. I went through this very, like, weird, extensive period in in my youth where I just wanted to be in the Teletubbies. Like, I, I would fantasize about, like, being in the Teletubbies world and it being the greatest thing ever. That I and I have like artwork that I drew and stuff. It's it was a really weird period of my life. I even wrote like fan fiction and stuff like that. I think I was like seven or six years old. I was writing Teletubby fan art and fan fiction. <laughs> nice. Well, as long as you weren't like you know writing fan fiction about them having a massive orgy, I'm fine. <laughs> six years old. I remember when I turned six, I was mad because I was so used to being five and everybody asked me, how old are you? I'm five. And then I found out I was turning six and I was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. Yeah, I have a very similar experience to that because when I was five, I had that mindset like, boom, I am in charge. Everybody should listen to me, because I'm five. Hey, I'm, I ain't four anymore. I'm five now. So I'm the boss. Right. And then when I when I turn six, I'm like, well, if I was the boss when I was five, what does it mean when I'm six? And, like, it, it was really weird. <laughs> well, this game is ten. Ten years of ECW, as I'm... Get ready for another ECW moment here where I'm gonna learn another skill. Yeah, skeleton link. This is the third skill I'm gonna learn. I do not. Just kidding. Oh, you had to pick I do not, or else the game can't continue. Right. It's like Okri and Tom. Dost thou wish to take on this quest? No. It says no, Link. You must do it. <laughs> Yeah, that fucking owl. I'm so glad this thing doesn't have that. Yeah, actually, I was talking about the DQ tree. He says that at the uh, beginning of the game, where you, you have to choose. Yes, of course, but yeah, that owl, freaking annoying. Yeah, Before, the, whatever his name was. I can't even remember the owls. And I just call it the stupid owl of like stupid. Yeah. <laughs> say like 20, 2012 or 2013 when I was constantly frequent, frequenting the, the, the game facts forums for uh, the GameCube and I would always see like these posts about uh, Twilight Princess and Link's skills and stuff. It was it's a weird time. I guess there was like a big boom in that game back then. Now I'm going back to Hyrule Castle Town. Yeah, it's funny, because this game came out on the Wii first, by like a couple months, or more like a month, I think. <laughs> then like it came out on the GameCube later, and the GameCube version just happened to be better. Yeah. So control. like what they're gonna do with oh. the Switch? Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, it's mostly because of the, you know, the fact you're actually using a GameCube controller rather than like, you know, flaying your arms like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't this know, right I like the motion controls. 
Yeah, Are actually, this want? castle, oh, yeah, got like... a, the bugs you collect, you need to turn them into her. Oh, yeah, um... I think they work fine in some games, but then there are some games where they're just annoying to deal with. Mm. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, in a game like Mad World, where they use the motion controls in an interesting way, to where it actually feels different um, when you're uh, when you're just slashing through enemies because you learn different abilities, or in like uh, No More Heroes, for example, where you actually use the Wiimote as a phone when you're talking in the game, like that stuff, I think is really fun, you know. But if it just gets like weird and like you have to move too much, that that can be a problem, especially if it's not accurate. Like Twilight Princess, um, I haven't played it on the Wii, but I hear a lot of things that it is very uh, strenuous to play because of its weird controls. But I think motion controls in general can be really, really cool. And uh, an example of how to do that, you know, more heroes, because there's an extra level of interactivity within that, and it keeps... Now I'm going to tell him but whoa, Dr. Wiley, what are you doing in this game? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Lila? What? Don't act like you don't know me. Sorry, bud. I'm pregnant. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, so I'm almost far here. The cat has to heal her. Yeah. Or him. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's like, oh. Um, err. Man, Elden needs to hire better people. <laughs> what do you mean? Because, like, you know, like, all, like, the guards are, like, apparently not oh. that good. So, you know, she needs to hire better people. To what, do she to hire better programmers, or what? Like, what? No, like, better, like, guards and soldiers. Oh, oh yeah, Zelda needs to hire... Oh, I, I, see, I'm thinking you meant Nintendo needs to hire more. I don't know why. You said Zelda, not Nintendo. Oh, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Yeah, but the star, the star soldiers, the soldiers, you're not stars, they're cowards. Link seems to be the only one to do anything. Is that Ken? He's the internet troll. Yeah. The one that, like, fucks with your videos and, like, talks shit about your mom on random topics. Yeah. Sends you death threats and... 
Paul okay. slash your videos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, I, exactly. Whoa, how'd they get over there that fast? I, I actually had uh, a very <laughs> weird experience uh, with that false flagging thing. Because um, I commented on this video called Anime is Trash, which is going around on, like, Facebook or whatever. I commented on it because this guy, he, he runs over and he, like, insults these people and says, like, they're, they're re retarded or something. So... I comment on it, and I'm like, yeah, this is anybody who uh, judges somebody on, on a TV show they watch is pathetic or whatever. And then, like, uh, like we should judge people on who they are, not on what TV shows they watch and stuff like that. And then I immediately go to my channel, and I get all these comments, like, saying, um, uh, yeah, you should die and stuff. Like, you gotta... You know, you, you should kill yourself, and I get all these same comments in this thread on this video. Yeah. yeah that sounds like a comments. Never heard those before. <laughs> Alright, so now we're playing Little House in the Prairie for GameCube. <laughs> that uses horse and buggy to get across Hyrule Field and to a uh, rig of village safely. I hate this part, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I think I died right here a few times, first time I tried it. We should do a Let's Play of uh, Little House on the Prairie, just have us commentating over the show. Alright, <laughs> right, we run through the flowers. Uh-oh. Gotta do this again. Oh, nice, I man. think he has nowhere. So the second battle with that troll on the bridge is a lot easier the first time. <laughs> but it's not over yet. Still got a ways to go before we reach Kakariko Village. Kakariko! Yeah, or as J-Man says, Crackhead Village. Crackhead Village? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds well, like considering nightmare. everyone there looks like it. Yeah, it's, it's gonna say, considering like everyone in that town looks kind of fucked up looking, yeah, they're probably our crackheads. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna find ECW Village. Wonder what came of the village for that, dude. Yeah, Paul Heyman would be the shaman. Paul Shaman and fail. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be like wrestling rings everywhere, and then we'll be housed. It'd be like, I guess, g arenas or gyms, table ladders, and chairs. Every time there's a fence, it's actually barbed wire. Yeah, I did try here. This would be barbed wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there'd be like an ongoing fire. Yeah. Oh, nice. It was Ridley's, one of Ridley's kids. Oh, buggies on car, wagon, whatever you call it. Use the gale boomerang to put the car out. Man, you're so much better than me at this. <laughs> I'm not doing too bad in this LP, it's as if someone else is actually playing. Oh, ouch, I'm not doing good right there. 
I'm gonna do an LP where everybody is playing the exact same game at the same time in the same parts, but we're just all in the same call. That would be pretty interesting. The live stream? No. Well, it, 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 it could yeah, be a live like... stream, it doesn't have to be. But I think that would be easier to yeah. set up, though. Yeah, it's like, uh, we're all playing, um, RC Pro-Am, and, like, Chris has got RC Pro-Am going, I've got it going, you've got it going, and we're just all in a Skype call. Was it ECW AM? What? Well, that game is ECW, so... Thank you, uh, you told me in the interview you did... We interviewed me that you did do that with a friend of yours. You being a sky call and you know, playing the game at the same time or something like that. Oh yeah, we we did it like over the phone. Like when when we were we would play Minecraft, we'd do these let's play videos where he'd be on the phone and I'd be holding the microphone with he talking and also having the phone on speaker. <laughs> yeah. I kind of had to do that with the Super Metroid live stream with S2K in order to have the Skype app on call with Jeff and Tibbs and put the phone close to the microphone as I'm playing Super Metroid. Yeah, I don't know if I do it with like the actual like Skype itself because I know you can, but I don't know how. Yeah. But you just gotta make it work like boot like bootleg style. Oh, watch out. We're almost there. We are there. I've got to make sure they don't die right here. So I think, close. like, the most bootleg video you could possibly do is, like, have your camera being recorded on a VHS camera, have your gameplay recorded on a VHS camera, and then, like, commentate using one of those weird things where you plug it into the VCR, and then, like, you have a microphone that's one of those old ones and and then like you use video effects through that or whatever and then, <laughs> oh like have God, someone on and have someone on like an analog phone yeah <laughs> you know someone should just do a video like that just to see what it would look like yeah Alright, so I we made it to Akrika Village, and the shaman is taking care of the Zora child. Is it Rollis? I think the child's name is Rollis, and he said was... he's going to be okay, he just needs to rest. For saying her name wrong, like you usually do in the Zelda games, it looks like it says Laya. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how, how that was said, and well, since this doesn't have voice acting, it, you know, it's kind of harder. Yeah, I think it's Laya. I don't know, Lila, Laya, whatever. Liar! Liar! Liar, liar, Jim Carrey. It gives you room to make weird voices as it goes along. Imagine just like a full let's play of just all the cutscenes from, from Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess with people making like weird voices over it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did good, honey. It's like, quit calling me honey. Down by sugar. I'm not that sweet.
Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I do not want to go to the bar with you. Never. Mm. <laughs> Wait, you see me like, did I just get hit on? Now she's hitting on him. the RKO out of nowhere is Ralph's mother the princess of she was the princess of Zora's domain but she's dead in the previous parts of those that watched she made a day saying if you rescue her son she'll give you a prize so I guess we're gonna get that prize right now Graveyard. I think this is. Oh, I think this is her grave. To the graveyard. Oh, you get to raise the dead. Uh, this isn't a ghost house for the Sega Master System. Oh yeah, that fucking game. <laughs> Master of Darkness is much better. Oh, for sure. Cutscene like soonish, where actually, no, I think that's like way later on. It was like a really fucked up cutscene. I don't know. I remember it was like this really weird, like dream thing, and then I remember. Oh, was, that like... was uh, that was in part 10. Check that out. There's the part before this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that was really fucked. I'll just post that in League of Ordinary Gamers. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll add that one to my watch later list. But yeah, it was yeah. Like, he saw like three like shadow links, and it's funny because I remember I told my friend about that, and he didn't believe it was actually a thing. And I'm like, well, that's why you don't skip the fucking cutscene, dumbass. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You stupid idiot! You just made the list. <laughs> So, our prize is the Zora Armor. That's what we need to get through the Lake Bed Temple later on. Yep, and you happen to always wear flippers uh, all day, every day. Yeah. Getting into the few shadow. I know, I know. We got one more, uh, the third final part of the few shadow to still collect a little bit later on in the game. Yay, the water temple. I think of a current ending. That's the end of the season. Part 12. Let's take care. Yeah, I'll see you guys around this host.
Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 12. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs. Yes! Alright, so now I'm still in the graveyard here. I'm gonna go through this little hole and start using my water bombs as I just got the. What's it called? The Zora tunic? The Zora armor, I believe. Right, Director's so cut. Alright, so let's dive in here. See what's down her. I think those bombs violate physics. Right? Yeah. Theoretically, they should not be able to spark under the water, but that's why they're so badass. Yeah. Only Barnes can make the best bombs, at least it's useful for something. Yeah. Oh, nice. I think this takes us back to Lake Halia. Yep, it does. I like how the suit even has little flippers. Yeah, right? Flipper. I remember that TV show. Nothing will ever beat the Zora mask in Majora's Mask, though. Swimming with that is awesome. Yeah. Like Holly is pretty beautiful here. Like I said before, in this one, it's like actual lake. How big it is. Yeah. Imagine how it's going to look like in Breath of the Wild. Man, I am so pumped for that game. I don't know, I think the CDI games are going to be better. Oh! <laughs> Dems fighting words! Troll level over 9,000. You just made the list! Yeah. <laughs> I think I need to talk to that uh, idiot. Or is he at, like, oh, the guy with the pot, the, the guy with the pot belly. Yeah. The pregnant belly. <laughs> yeah, he's over here. No, that's not. There he is. There he is. All right, shut up, you freaking Gomer Paul reject. Slam. What do you say, buddy? <laughs> Freaking redneck star soldier laugh. All right, here we go. Now let's skip this guard. I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna turn this lever now. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Combination of Gomer Paul and Goofy, love child. All right, long loading time. There we go. So this part's mainly gonna consist of bonus games. Whoa, this time guy's to play with creepier. The... Time to play with the cocks. <laughs> yeah. This guy seems a little cocky. You know, you know, one false move, buddy, and you're out of your misery. Right. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, Link could just push him off right there. <laughs> oh no, wait. Never, never mind. He, I thought he was at. Well, yeah, I still can push him off. I thought he was at the very edge, though. Yeah, he's living on the edge. Alright, so I'm gonna try to land. Uh, oh, so I can look around here. Yeah, right there. I know we got a kingdom to. I know we got a kingdom to save, but we just want to take a break and play some games. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How rule can wait. Right. Try to land on top of that thing down there that's slowly spinning. You know, so tried, peaceful here. Yeah. You know, I tried this in real life with a chicken. That don't work. <laughs> now, I saw a video where someone, uh, not really try to do it, but it looked like they were trying to do it in real life and actually work. He goes, what the? <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, 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 oh what? Oh. Come on. That's I played, okay. I played Pilot Wing 64. That... I know how to do this. That's okay. Well, he's got a heart it's just money right up here. top. Oh, really? I thought, it was a, I thought it was a heart piece up there. No, it's just money up there. Uh, well, that's dumb. You, you think the heart piece would be up there. It's more re rewarding. Disneyland in the background. 
The world's caving in on you. <laughs> I love the Zora music. Yeah, beautiful Zora's domain. Uh, the same music as in Ocarina of Time. And in this game, you could actually unfreeze it. Yeah. All right, where to go here? I'd rather be a Zora than a Goron, because this is a more beautiful atmosphere. Yes. Alright, what's that fat catfish king? Uh, the king of the Zoras, whatever he is. <laughs> oh, I think Probably he still hasn't even left his throne room. No, well, no, the one in this game is dead, that's right, because uh, the, the queen is dead also, and Rawlis, the one that's, that was sick, that we rescued, is... Uh, Gonna be the new king. Dang it! Yeah, someone tried to attack him and he couldn't move out of the way fast enough. Yeah. Oh! Well, I took one for the team. <laughs> Me. Me. Oh yeah. Jeez, that was annoying. Like, hurry up! Jeez, that's like a even bigger, fatter version of Volk Catfish from Mega Man X3. <laughs> I guess this is the is this upper Zora's domain or the throne room. So got a lot all these up right here. It's kind of morbid when this thing is still frozen over and you use your wolf senses and they're all just laying there under the ice. Yeah. And it's like how they're still alive. They're frozen to death, but they're not human. They're Zora, so I guess they can endure freezing. Te uh, technically, I think humans can too. No. Nah. Cause you're frozen, you're dead. Cause it like freezes, like it, you're in perfect hibernation or something like that. No, I never heard that. I heard because your blood freezes, your heart can't pump. But I'm not a doctor, so. Purple ruby. Oh, nice. We're gonna go down here now. How much of those? Ten? Yeah, yellow's ten. Oh, I can't see anything. Whoa! <laughs> I'm playing a Wind Waker now? Looks like fire. Yeah. Wind Waker fire. Link's like, what's the deal with this rock? I'm gonna blow it up! Yeah. Oh, I think, uh... That's the answer to everything. Yeah, that's right, there's a Goron in there. He should have eaten his way out. Right, yeah. Thanks, brother! Yeah. Oh, oh no. nice. Got a bag with bombs. Yeah, if you play your cards right, you should never run out of bombs in this game. Yeah. You ever bother to use the bomblings, the little ones that scatter on the ground? No. Life Force. I never played that game. Oh, I love that game. Don't force me to play it. <laughs> Wonder how much those boots weigh. Uh, yeah, maybe a ton. I'm not sure because. Well, if, that, if that's the case, then Link has some powerful leg strength. Yeah. They gotta weigh a good amount because he used it to beat a Goron in the sumo wrestling match. Yeah, but in this game, you still gotta be light on your feet. As we approach nighttime here, we 
if I should take a dive. Let's, let's see where I need to go next. Yep. Oh, Sprint. I almost hit that ledge. Or Link, we hit it. No, I did. Oh, bug. I thought it was a poet at first. Not yet. Dragonfly. I think that was a poet there, but I'm not ready to collect those yet. No, they won't appear yet. Oh. I thought someone outside of, in part 11, outside of Howrell Castle Town at night. Or maybe they do. Well, I know you can't do anything about them right now. Yeah. Speaking okay. of which, you gonna go for all 60? What, bugs? No, the pose. Oh, I'm gonna try to. 60? I thought they were Have you ever... No, you get 20, and then you can get... It's kind of like the Skulltala thing. You get a reward after 20, and then one after 60. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see about that. This LP's long enough, so I don't know. We have another rock with some more rupees. Or oh, there's a bank in Hyrule. First Hyrule bank of Hyrule. <laughs> yeah, I barely discovered that actually uh, you can shield yourself from the blast. Because <laughs> I have a blast with this game. And if you're not careful, it'll blow you away. Alright, what to do next here? It's very uh, easy to get sidetracked and distracted in this part of the game because it's so beautiful to explore. I know because now there's no more Twilight, so you can go pretty much anywhere. All right. Upper Zor's River. What about Lower Zor's River? Oh, I guess that's where we came from. Or was that the, was that the Medium Zor's River? Oh, right. is it time to go fishing? Uh, maybe so. I have a love-hate relationship with the fishing hole here. Yeah, I had that with open of time. Get this bug right here. <laughs> Link just snatches it. Yeah, because dragonflies, they're, they're the ones that hover over water, right? Mm. They hover over water and grass after it got mowed. Not that long ago, my uh, Nikki and I went to a pizza place, and somehow a dragonfly had actually gotten in there. <laughs> so it like sat on the window next to us. <laughs> they look scary because it looks like they could hurt you, but they don't. What, oh, you're closed, man? What? Yeah, this is why. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought the shot beasts were gone. There's no more twilight. Get out of here. You yeah, see, they didn't do their job, so they're kicking them out. Yeah. I'm so used to fighting him as Wolfling. <laughs> Just don't have a uh, Medna to do her trick where she can get off at the same time. Yeah, she's she's taking a break. Yeah. Because I'm the hero of time. Yeah. What a champ you are. <laughs> It's like at the end of Zelda 2 when it goes, thanks a million. I, lo I love how the hair just kind of swivels on the head. Yeah. Man, P Peggy Bundy, eat your heart out. <laughs> oh, Al, a handy guy would be a help around here. Uh, no, Peg. One of my favorite things in this game, freaking bomb arrows. Right, yeah. Remind me of Rambo with uh, Rambo 2, we did the, uh, was it, uh, 
exploding arrows. It's kind yep, of the same yep. thing. Ah! Yeah. I like how you kill that guy with the exploding arrow. Survive a war, you gotta become war. Alright, so bonus game time. Bye. Ah. <laughs> right, here we go. I was never good at this. You didn't really get everything here. Yeah, the mini game you can play on this afterwards gave me some trouble, but I must must have done a lot with very got some practice because when I played it on the HD version, I cleared it the first time. Nice relaxing bonus game music. Even though I have the volume all the way down on my end, I can I can still like picture and hear the music that plays during this. Yeah. Uh, I, got, I gotta go with the current here. You gotta stay current. I would so take this ride. Right. Whoa! Ah! What you? Jeez! Scared me. Where did this thing come from? What if you hit him with the bomb arrow? <laughs> yeah. Bonus game over. Him, her, whatever. Yeah. Or the uh, boss of Scour Sword go her him. There we go. Nikita calls him Tongue Man because he's always going. <laughs> Who, that Zora? No, gear him. Oh. I never seen Gahura him. I never even seen that far in the game. I just know. He's extremely he's extremely flamboyant and full of himself. Yeah, uh, Danny just told me about him, the name of him. I never actually seen him. Or better, maybe I need Rennie or Tencel. Fail. Remember that meme of uh, Chuck Norris where an ore hits him in the face and he don't even budge? Yes. I saw something on Facebook last night. It showed like a 50 car pileup and one car that got through, and it has an arrow pointing to it with Chuck Norris's face. Nice. <laughs> I never Where's this Zora keeping all those rupees? Yeah, I never played the game, but I've seen Wave Race 64. This kind of reminds me of yep. it right here. So much open water. I can't imagine how talented you gotta be to make a game like this. And it sure ain't active enterprises. Right. They tried, but failed miserably. Oh. No way, I'm not the wolf. Speaking of which, that book I got, so far the only game to get a zero rating is Cheetah Men 2. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is it worse than Cheetah Man 1? Well, it depends who you talk to. What, what did they rate Action 52? I think it was like a, star, like a star and a half or half a star or something like that. Did they rate each individual game or just the game as a whole? The package as a whole. Oh, okay. Some of those don't even qualify as games. Yeah. Some don't even work. Yeah. 
that, did I get a bigger bomb bag? Yeah, you can upgrade all your bomb bags in this game. Cool, how many can I hold now? Up to 30? And I like how when you get an upgrade, it affects all of your bomb bags. Yeah. Whoa! That bird from Star Tropics. Oh, wait. Plum. Plum. Are you plum dumb? There's this. Place like, where like I I'm out of here. I'm not. I'm not dealing with this thing. There's this place where I live that's called Mike Stahl's Plumbing, and their tagline is "We're Plum Cool." <laughs> that's something I say. That's something I would do if I had a plumbing company. That's the tagline I make up. We're Plum Cool. Come check us out today. It's not a bunch of pipe dreams. We are plum cool. <laughs> we promise great service. Have Mario on the commercial. I think <laughs> the pipes are clean. Ah, uh, pipe down, Mario, and just tell us about the business. We are plum. We'll give you a, z uh, a zero discount. We'll give you a 50% discount. Zero down payment. We, uh... Uh, so pipe down all you haters or something. It's plum incredible. Yeah. Oh man, speaking of plum dumb. His, uh, his eyes look so sad. Yeah. Like hasn't slept. Why am I here? Yeah, like hasn't slept in a month. Oh, I wish I had the tech tights. <laughs> the tech tights are gonna attack a pona, yeah. A Peter needs to come after Link. <laughs> you let you let uh <laughs> You, you let a uh, opponent get attacked by the Tech Tights. And then again, uh, if, if, if Peter will go after Nintendo because of the stupid Tanuki suit controversy in Mario 3, they'll probably go after Link too. Yeah. I still can't believe that. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. I know, and, and especially considering that the Tanuki thing was in the original game, you know, decades ago. Yeah. What about all the NES games where you could punch and shoot dogs? Alright, or uh, hit chickens. Well, maybe they made up for it by having the chickens attack you back. And Peter said, that's okay. You know, I have to wonder, like, Mario 64, as awesome as it looks, imagine Mario 3 in that format. You know, I've always wanted them to bring Bowser's kids, the Koopalings, back for a 3D game. They've never been in any of the big 3D games. I don't know why. But, you know, I think they're working on a... Are they working on a 2D Ocarina of Time? I know that a fan is making or has made Ocarina of Time in 3D. Yeah, that's what I meant. A fan man game, 2D Ocarina yeah. of Time. I, I've been hearing about that, but I haven't actually. I've seen parts of it. I, I don't know if they finished it yet or not. Someone also took Mario 64 and put that in 2D as well. I gotta see that. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We can't. Nintendo took it down. Never mind. <laughs> oh, the fishing hole. Fish are crying? Fish cry? Getting the largest fish here is more of a pain <clears throat> than it should be in your reward. You don't really get a reward for it, but I have to do it any every time. Yeah. I just watched the episode of Soundfield, the parking garage, where Elaine had that goldfish in the bag, but couldn't get home on time to put the fish in a more sterile environment, so it died. <laughs> and Peter went after them. No, I'm just kidding. But Larry Dave in the commentary, or, no, or someone in the commentary, I guess to clarify in case Peter got butt hurt, he said, The fish were not hurt, we promise. The fish didn't really die, so calm down, Peter, you stupid idiots. You guys made the list. <laughs> Something fishy's going on with them. As Link tries to make up his mind what he wants to do here. Keep fishing there, Link. There's a bottle there. Oh yeah, there's a bottle. You found a bottle. Wait, there's someone inside. Hi, I'm Christina Aguilera. Points of reference? <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's there if you actually go down there, but if you, you can fish it out. Oh, 
Oh yeah. So would would she be a game genie in the bottle? Fail. Oh man. <laughs> Hope so. We'll use ECW mode. We're gonna do a boat fishing first. Might come back for that bottle later. Have you ever played that little roll goal game here? Uh, <laughs> hold on his face. <laughs> Like, hey, look at this eating fishies! Wow! Wow! Jeez, oh, here's a girl from Little House on the Prairie. He's obviously never been here before. Did you just see the look on his face? Yeah. <laughs> now, what were you saying about the rolled gold pretzels? What? No, <laughs> no, those are good. But there's a game here called Roll Goal where you can. It's like one of those things where you have to tilt to make the ball fall in the hole. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? I do. It's in here. It's in this this cabin, and you can play it. It's got like, it's like uh, it has the same amount of levels in it as Super Mario Brothers. It's like, uh, like one 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 uh, one one th to one eight two one to two eight that type of thing, and you get the frog lore if you beat the first world of it, so to speak, which helps you fish. But the first time I played this game, I actually played it all the way through, all the way to eight eight. It took me forever. To find out, the only reward you get is she fills your wallet up. Huh. Wow. I'll probably never do it again. I will play it to get the frog lore, but I'll never play it all the way up like that again. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I can capture your heart too. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you do butthead, I can't tell if you're doing butthead or triple H. Uh. <laughs> I can see butthead as triple H and uh, and who be Beavis in WWE? Mm. Well, for with us, Star Soldier could be. No, oh, we guy. <laughs> Jamie and be butthead. We did that LP where they did. That's before. right. <laughs> Jamie thought it was terrible and. I mean, it wasn't, uh, to me, it was all about the comedy of it. I did McVicker. Oh, oh, you little bastards, huh? Uh, uh, Beavis and Butthead! Uh, uh, I'm gonna get you for this! Uh, uh. As he gets taken down by the Secret Service agents. Okay, Beavis and Butthead, you need to stop bothering the principal, okay? <laughs> right, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Mr. Was it Van Dreesen? Yeah. Buzz cut. But hey, what are you doing? Davis! Get your butt over here! Mm -hmm. Mr. Anderson. You you the bow was that spray painted my cat's butt? Uh no. What's with those other kids? Oh. Stewart. Stewart's we guy. No, Stewart is Jeff. Stewart is Jeff. <laughs> J Man is butthead and Weavis Weavis. Uh we guy is Beavis. I don't know why I thought of this all of a sudden, but I think it's safe to, as we're trying to think of what to talk about here as I mess around. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. I know, that's too bad. We just watched the original Star Wars last night, Nikita and me. Yeah. That's probably why I thought of it, because fishing, Carrie Fisher. But anyway, yeah, seriously, Carrie Fisher, rest in peace, just found out that this morning, or as of this recording this morning. So yeah, may the force be with her. Ah, this is the bonus game where we're gonna shoot all the lanterns. Only twenty dollars. And you must sign this waiver. Yeah. Sign this waiver which means if you drown in the waves, you can't sue us. Right, let's follow the Zora here. Let's see if I get all 20. Is there 20 of them? 25. 25. That's the score you gotta get. But some are worth uh, multiple points. Yeah. See, the red ones, I believe, are worth two points. Yeah, I remember feeling at this a lot back then. Yeah, me too. Maybe the lanterns are green. I can hit them. At least you have unlimited ammo. Yeah.
he puts the ball away, then takes it back out again. Yeah. That's, that's, that takes some skill. You gotta keep this a uh, uh, strong current. You gotta paddle and then like aim precisely at the same time. This is Deliverance Zelda style. Yeah. Those lanterns remind me of the design in one of the levels in Kung Fu Kid for the Sega Master System. I like how the Bridge of Elden up there is still broken. It's a nice touch. I didn't notice that. Ah, I thought I hit that one. Come on. There we go. There you go. Waterfalls. Don't go chasing them. I heard that song at work imagine, last week. Imagine if you hit the Zora, you automatically lose. Oh, yeah, right? Like, like a Majora's Mask where you can hit that witch. I forgot about that part. Oh! I hate that stupid witch in Oracle Seasons that keeps bumping into me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, you bumped me. No, you did. That's a witch bitch. That's a sandwich place or whatever it is where I live. I call it Witch Witch. <laughs> Get it? Yes. I think it's stupid, but I heard it was a good place. Better be with that name. There's another stupid place where I live at called The Egg and I. The Egg and I? Yeah, the Egg and I. I made that before. It was it was good, but the name is like maybe they make these names stupid on purpose to get attention. What's well, working? Come on, Ronnie. Really you can do it. You can do it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, twenty six. ECW. Twenty six. Huh. I broke the barrier. Alright, where's my prize? Where are we going? Here's your prize death. <laughs> Seriously, I thought there were only 25, I guess. Was it a bonus one? No, the score you have to get is 25, but there's more that you can get. Oh, okay. How many do you actually So you don't have, Yeah, you don't have to be perfect. Oh, how many are there actually? I don't quite remember. Maybe 30? I'm not sure. There's some room for error. Now I got the giant bomb bag. I'd say play the other mini game going back up river, but you can't do that right now. Yeah. According to the map, there's a void in the middle of the lake. Right, yeah, I'm wondering what that is. Skip. According to the map, there's water. When there's water, you must swim. Yeah. Leave your buggy Unless you're and Simon swim. Belmont. Yeah. Or Blaster Master. Leave your buggy and swim. It's faster. <laughs> Which is probably true. I don't know. I never played Blaster Master. Actually, technically in Blaster Master, you can move in the water with the tank. Oh, cool. After you beat the fifth boss, the tank can move through water at the same speed. Are you telling me Skip was wrong? No. He just needs to get good. Yeah. Get Nick, good. If you when I was playing, 
When I was playing Ninja Gaiden 2 last night, I was on the final level having some trouble, and Nikita told me to get good. <laughs> that probably pissed me off, because I really hate when people like are saying it to me for real. I'm like, shut up. Like, <laughs> just shut the F up. I'll what I, I turned around... I turned around and motioned to give her the controller, like, why don't you do it? She goes, no. I probably said, all right, here. Here, you do it. No, no. But then shut up. How about get quiet, kid? That's what I would say. <laughs> when I actually beat the game, she was sleeping. <laughs> uh, then she wakes up. They don't count because I didn't see it. <laughs> Videos or it didn't happen. Well, I took a picture and put it on Facebook, so believe me. It should be like, Photoshop. Where to now? It's epic music again. More horsing around. More trolls. Isn't there one of those golden foxes around here, or did you get that? You mean to learn another skill? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, it was uh, like on the side of the castle. Oh, side yeah. Castle yeah. town? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah that's the that one part. I'm thinking of. I got... Yeah, I got that part 11 where I learned the, uh, where you roll and attack from behind. Yes. Okay. Oh. Give me some money. Oh. I believe you got to give this guy a thousand. And I want like I don't think I ever fully did this. Like, uh, what do you? What's the purpose of this? You get a heart piece. Oh, cool. Cause I think I gave so much and I ran out. I said, man, this is a, this is just a way that the game would trick you to lose a rupee. It's just like when you, like in the old Zelda games or in Oracle of Seasons, where you you uh, find a, a hidden passage, like you bomb a wall or burn a bush, and they go, oh. Thank you for paying me for the repairs, and they take your rupees. Yeah. I thought this is what it was. It's the way you're tricking out your rupees. It made me mad. What I usually do is I'll turn in my bugs to Agatha, and that's a quick way to build up rupees to do this. Yeah. Because if you want 100% this game, you got to spend quite a bit. Yeah. All right, thank you, Sahasrila. Moving on. The carnival back, back there I might do that. Right here, check this out. Freaking dog from Ocarina Tom, what do you want? Well, I guess I'll go in. Stray dog's going in with me. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's a wrestling arena. We have a cage match? That'd <laughs> be cool, like. Have a, a segment like in the first Spider-Man, Bonesaw McGraw versus uh, Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. Link versus... Uh, the, Gor the Gorons want a rematch. Yeah. Hey. Your opponent for tonight, James Ellsworth. Yeah. <laughs> That's the warm-up match. The final boss of this game is Barack oh, Lesnar. No, no. Brock Lesnar is Zant. And Heyman, since he's the advocate and the puppet master, he's Ganondorf. <laughs> yeah, I'll do this maybe later. <laughs> no, Roman Reigns could be Zant because he wants to be the head, the big guy, but he can't. <laughs> And of course, Link is John Cena, dun, 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 overcoming all the odds. Dun, 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 Super Cena. What is it? Well, Look at this guy, he's always peeking in her window. Freaking creeper. Sir, uh, I need you to come in here and have a seat. I'm trying to look at Agatha, she's probably 12 years old. <laughs> How it is, Agatha? 
18. But I, but I just like bugs. Okay, sir, so have a seat. Take a seat. Tell me why, then, you were looking in when she didn't have any. Hmm? Huh? I'll tell you what you got. You got no, no, she goes, uh, no, here, she probably say something like, let's say you got the love bug here, but she's underage. Is that bug? <laughs> no, I was looking for bugs. That's what I was looking for. Uh -huh, right. I was looking for something else. I'll show you my bug if you show me yours. <laughs> your eyes are bugging out of your head, sir. You're lying to me here. Some of the things she says about these bugs are quite disturbing. Yeah. Right, the stick bugs or the phasmid, whatever. You can sometimes find her wandering around outside the castle gates, too. I've never seen it before. Just like the postman, you'll find him in random places. <laughs> Not running after you, but actually squatting down, looking at mail. Just like we did in, uh, in the barn in uh, Orton Ranch. <laughs> I think he appears in other areas of the game, too, later on. This, I'm probably gonna leave. I don't wanna stay here. Or can get more bugs later. Got plenty of time before we, for me to do that. Alright, fine, I'll give you another one. I remember, I remember she keeps she keeps saying that she's gonna have a ball with all of them. I, I remember thinking like what's gonna happen when I give her all these? Yeah, she's she gonna go to the ball with him. I guess show him off, or I don't know. It's weird. This is a weird uh, she's, part of the game. She's she's gonna have a ball. Yeah. All right, creeper. What business do you have? For, what business do you have uh, being a peeping tom? <laughs> you no, know, you're better off not harassing freaking creeper. As soon as he leaves the castle town, the cops take him down. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! <laughs> to catch a predator. We are now, we are back with Hanson vs. Predator. This time we are in Hyrule. That's probably the only reason he's still there is because the castle guards suck. Right, yeah. Yeah, the castle guard, the Hyrule edition of To Catch a Predator, the Hyrule guards take him down, but not really because they'll escape because the Hyrule guards suck. For the first time ever, the predator escapes. Whoa. That's not enough. I need more. Oh. Yeah. I mean, why'd I pick 30? Why don't I just keep on picking 50? I don't know why I keep on picking 30 sometimes. Oh. Oh, there we go. There, there you go. Nice. Blessings from the heavens. Nice. Got eight hearts now. Back in high roll file. What's that guy's name? Uh, WC Fields? Yep. ECW Fields? Fail. <laughs> I remember uh, on the last episode of Nitro where William Regal goes, I have something to say about WC Fields. <laughs> the very fate of WCW was in my hands. Yeah. Shane McMahon. The contract reads Shane McMahon. I love how at the beginning of that show, Tony Schiavone is like, Welcome to a landmark night in the industry of sports entertainment. 
It just seems it seems so weird for him to call it sports entertainment, you know? Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice that. Yeah, he's probably told to say that. Mm. But one, uh, like I think it was a shoot because William Regal. I mean, I think what William Regal might have said was scripted, but Tony Giovanni probably did a shoot back. William Regal said, "Vince, are you sure you want to buy that company? I've been down there before. It's like a cesspool. You don't want none of this." And Tony <laughs> Giovanni said. You know, I, I want to address the comments that William Regal made, talking bad about our company. You know, we had to do a lot of crazy things on this program, Steve Regal, including trying to put your ass over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? What are they gonna do? Fire Tony? He probably don't get care. I mean, even though he said sports entertainment, I guess just to do what they say. But after that, he, you, you never saw him again in wrestling. I, I I know. Well, actually, you might. And TNA made a brief appearance, but it seemed like a work shoot. With, by my today, but like as far as like full time broadcasting, like unless it's independent, I've never seen him again. Well, from what I understand, the year or so he spent in the 80s with the WWF, he hated. Yeah, he was there for a brief period, that's right. Then went back to WCW. Right, let me see if I can get right. I know it's just. The roof is right here, but let me see if I actually. I want to prove this to myself. Yes, my pilot wings. There you go. Come back to me. Nice. The look on Link's face that should have been what? Yeah, I still think of the look he had in his face when he entered that cabin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this. <laughs> this looks so funny. It's like, what is so special about there? It's like, you see a fish tank, and he must like fishing, I guess. It's like, whoa, cool, a bunch yeah. of fish and stuff. We didn't have any fish on the ranch. Yeah. I mean, I went fishing, but we just had a little, little kitty pool. Back in my daggum day, we didn't have a big, vast lake. We had a mm. kitty pool and made the best of it. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry you're some guy stuff, ran though. some guy ran it who lost his hair. Yeah. You can actually fish that guy's hat off his head in Ocarina of Time. Really? Yep, as <laughs> don't think you can fish it right off his head. Nice. Yeah, saying sorry, sir, you've been fished. <laughs> you know what just came to my mind? You ever play Goonies too? Yeah, I did LP of that. Well, Shameless plug. When you pu when you punch someone and they go, "Ouch!" What do you do? <laughs> oh yeah, what do you do? Like what? <laughs> Mine's with Metal Gear. I feel asleep. I have key or whatever. It's... All right, so now we're at the entrance of the Water Temple. There we go. Nice. All right, so that marks the end of part twelve. So until then, God bless. Take care. See you, everyone. Welcome uh, to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess Part Thirteen. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs and Bio Phoenix. Hello, everyone. Yo. Yeah, so I am finally in the Lake Bed Temple. Things are gonna get deep. <laughs> yeah. I gotta this get is the good. first dungeon in the game that stumped me a little bit. Yeah, it's time to get good, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, first yeah, item. Oh, it's arrows. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, thankfully this one is, like, probably one of, like, the easier, or not as annoying, um, water temples in Zelda games. Yeah, I think this is easier than the Ocarina Tom temple. Yeah, or the, the Majora's Mask one I also didn't like either. I love the Great Bay Temple. Uh, see, I forgot oh. about, I don't, I've, I've only beaten Majora's Mask one time after that and never played it again. It's not that the thing's a bad sucks, game. The but the I, temple's I, good. Yeah, it's not that it. I think it's a bad game. I just, it just did not get me hooked. It didn't want me. Didn't make me want to play it again. So I really don't remember much of Majora's Mask. 
Yeah, that's how, like, I'm like that too, where I kind of like some things about it, but, like, every time I try and replay it again, it, I can't, like, play through it because, I don't know, like, I just don't like it as much because of the time limit and all that kind of crap. Yeah, and I don't know who's more annoying, Navi or um, Tattle, or whoever was your guide. Navi, Tattle. Navi, all day. Well, I don't know, because uh, Tattle's a jerk. But so is Minda, but Minda is so charismatic. Tattle was just annoying. I want to tattletale on her. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's like, one of them is named Tattle, and the other one's name is Tail. Yeah. <laughs> Mind blown. Yeah, and Tattle though, <laughs> at least, yeah, Navi was more annoying. I'd rather hear ding 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 then. Hey! Listen! Alright, uh, this, this Royal Temple is much more beautifully designed than in Ocarina Tan. All the dungeons in this game are ECW. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while though, I mean, I've beaten this game only once, and that was in 2008. So. Uh, 2007, late 2007, I think, early 2008, so, uh, I kind of forgot what the rest of the dungeons look like, but we'll find out as the LP progresses. Well, after this one, the game really gets interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I agree. Alright, so, the camera's moving somewhere, means something's about to happen, or there's something to see. Jaws comes out of nowhere and eats your face! Yeah. <laughs> Who's this douche? <laughs> he was easy. I like how the I like how this I like how this temple has actual like door doors. Yeah. And I it's love fancy. the I love the Zora armor better than better than the Zora tunic. Yeah, because the Zora tunic really didn't do anything except help you breathe. Yeah. Well, is this the same? This one actually functions. Oh, well, how? Like, I thought it was the same thing. I was saying it looks better. I didn't know it does actually something different. Well, this one, you actually swim with it. Oh, kind of like the frog suit Mario 3? Yeah, because if you were wearing the normal green tunic, you would just kind of swim along the surface. You couldn't dive. Oh, yeah. And plus, can you swim smoother? Like, just hold the button down and it'll, you'll just swim? Like you do. I think exactly. Yeah, I think it's only like a couple seconds, yeah. More arrows. Come on, give me some keys. At least your keys fail. Isn't the bash called keys in the original? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, isn't the, the in the original game bats are called keys? Yeah, keys. Or keys, keys. yeah. I hate these things. They look like keeses. I want to sit down and eat some Reese's. Fail. I'll tell you though, as if I didn't hate bats in video games enough, playing the original Ninja Gaiden games has really made me hate bats. All right. Oh yeah. god. Yeah. Bats the birds. Yeah. Remember uh, ABGN's review of uh, Dracula games and Halloween special yeah. 2008? Why is there so <laughs> yeah. many freaking bats? That's actually one of my favorite episodes of him, actually. Kick him in the face. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. I think I hear what's his name. We'll get to that in a minute. Yes. Either a compass or a map. All right, let's go back oh, over you, here. Were you referring to the the alien chicken thing? The yeah. Coco? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The thing that cannot be explained. Yep. <laughs> yep. It can't be risen with. Not what well, could, but it, it's weird. You gotta shoot yeah, this. This was the first dungeon. This was the first dungeon in the game that kind of made me think the first time I played this. Yeah. The first game I played that made me think was Samus Quest. I think that was actually the first Castlevania game I ever played when I was a kid, and I had no idea what I was doing, but it was fun whipping zombies. Me too, exactly. I did not know what I was doing. It's the first Castlevania game I played. First one I played was the N64 one. <laughs> yeah, those are good. Oh, I feel, I feel sorry for you. 
Yeah, well, I still kind of liked it at the time because, you know, I had no idea what to expect, and I didn't even know what, like, the older ones were, so... So after that, I just never went back to it. But, of course, you know, like, best part of the game was skeletons on motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I often think about stuff like that. Like, I wonder if there are any kids today that their first exposure to something like Sonic is Sonic 06. Oh, I never <laughs> played... I never played Sonic 06, but I, I just heard a lot of bad things about it. Oh, I've played it, and yeah, you're, you're not missing much. Be glad you never you never experienced it. I think Even ABGN, watching people play it hurts me. I think, not ABGM, but I think James and Jake, 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 James and Mike Mondays might have played it. Yeah, they did once. Right, yeah, the Game so, Grumps played it all the way through a long time ago. I bet you they were grumpy after that. This dungeon right here, you gotta make the stairs rotate off and on before you can advance further. Oh, here he is. Ugh. Oh, boy. Dude, Ronnie's stop long getting lost brother. Stop getting stuck. <laughs> That's Jeff's long lost brother. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I, I fell asleep in here again. Hey, thanks for waking me up. Yeah, sure, we do commentary. <laughs> this, this guy keeps getting stuck in. And jars. Link don't look surprised anymore because he's seen this guy the third time now. But the first time he got him, he like, what the heck is this? If if you looked at Link real close, just there, it it, it like reflected light on him as if the damn thing was glowing. <laughs> They're shiny. Oh. Um, oh, more these tectites. Yeah, doesn't, like, a tech type mean, like, a form of, like, glass bodies or some shit? Yeah. I think so. Did ABGN read the definitions of some of those? The, some of the yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I, that was, like, a part of the description. It was, like, it was something like that. I can't, there was another part to it, but I, I can't remember. Pole's voice. <laughs> a giant rabbit's head. <laughs> yeah. What was the one where he tried to make up a different name for it, but then he found out the name of it is actually what it, what it's supposed to be? A like likes. Like no, it was like a, no, like a spider or some some enemy. I forgot. Like, well, what are these? Uh, uh, tactinoids? And then he actually read the definition and, and is exactly what it was, what it appeared to be after uh, after all. Oh, okay. I think it was the rocks. Yeah. Okay. He's like, oh, it's a rock. I should have yeah. known. Uh, 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 Dwayne Johnson's? Nope, the rocks. <laughs> Man, those up. Whoa! Wait a minute. What, what the, the hell is that thing? Man, a weird uh, crackhead grasshopper. <laughs> the Let's crackhead grasshopper. Let's get away from that. <laughs> I was gonna talk about those armored armadillos. What's this, Mega Man X? Remember those guys in Majora's Mask? They go, gack quack, gack quack. Oh, yeah, aren't those the frogs, right? Oh, no, the tur yeah. turtles. Yeah, there were some am am amphibian beasts. They'd, like, hit you with your shell and when you were trying to follow the monkey. Uh. Whoa. Hey, is that, uh, Liz Alphos from Ocarina Tom? Yep. Uh, yep. They actually look cooler in this one, and also the, they, the sound they make isn't as annoying. Yeah, I remember fighting them in the, uh, what was it, the Fire Temp? No, the, the Dongo's Cave? In yep. Ocarina? Yeah. In Skyward Sword, they can be a bitch to fight. Uh, I remember Dillo again. But he used a Spark Shock for the weakness. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, is that crackhead grasshopper in a bubble again? Well, I hate to burst your bubble, punk, but you're messing me. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> get popped just like Bubble Man. Oh, Link's climbing a vine. Time to take a nap. All right, yeah. <laughs> Be sure to take a nap. Yeah, it's like in every game, he always goes up vines really slowly. Well, he, he, he was a little bit faster in Ocarina of Time, but on here, they I guess they wanted to make it look more realistic. 
don't know. I do remember it being kind of slow in Ocarina of Time, but I don't remember. Man, it's a long way up. Oh, another key? Oh, another water bomb. Or ten of them. Wait, am I fully stocked? Look at this. He climbs the ladder slow, too. At least Mega Man climb fast. <laughs> yeah. And Mega Man can actually yeah, shoot on the ladder. Yeah. I remember someone, I think, uh, it might be one of my Mega Man videos, I forgot, saying, Mega Man's a horrible character. He's the worst video game character ever made. He can't do anything. He can't run. He can't jump. He can't flip. I'm like, really, dude? <laughs> like, who cares about how, if he can't, if he can't flip or whatever, he can, still, like, he can still acquire other robot things. <laughs> uh, other robot masters' weapons, and he has a slide and all these power-ups and stuff. Like, One of my favorite things console. to do in Mega Man games is when you're climbing a ladder with him, when you're almost all the way to the top, like, right before you reach the top, he'll be, like, slumped over it. It's like he's throwing up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. And he blinks. At the time, that was, that was innovative. Like, whoa, a video game character blinking instead of standing there. Yeah, it must have been a pretty crazy time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, more keys. I actually got killed by those windmill things once. You get, <laughs> really? What, you got crushed or something? Yeah, it can happen. Oh, ouch. Oh, more Castlevania gears. Well, you ever, you ever wonder... You have... Oh, sorry. You ever wonder what the practical purpose is for a lot of the stuff you find in these places? No, what do you mean? Like, the way these dungeons are set up, like... Like, what's what's the point of their existence? Like, what is all this machinery supposed to do? Oh, I guess to make it function right, and for certain things. Or, like, what would, like, the person that, like, owns this place would, like, do with it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Might have been a, uh, a place where they had slaves back then to work and make the water flow. I don't know. Kind of like Goron Mines, except they weren't slaves. They were Gorons that just uh, dug holes and or did whatever in the mines. And the Forest Temple, I don't know. Maybe some ancient civilization lived there one time. The monkeys. Yeah, that would sense. You know, they got a channel called The Game Theorist. This should be, we should start a channel called The Overthinkers. And <laughs> The Overthinkers? Yeah, and just uh, say, hmm, I wonder what this area was once used for. Rumors have it that back then, in the 1700s, there were ancient civilization that were slave drivers. And jellyfish ruled the underwater. I don't know. <laughs> James and Mike were actually part of a group called The Overanalyzers. Did you ever see that? Uh-uh. No, I never... More they did stuff like that. And then of that's course, a chest. I think there's a heart piece in these parts in a similar nook that I missed the first time. When we, when we overanalyze these video games, some haters might say, Stop overthinking it and just play it and enjoy it for what it is. Don't question it. <laughs> Wrestling fans are the same way. Yeah. Man. I've watched a countdown today yeah. of like the top 10 gaming stereotypes and the number one was that gaming is for children. Right, yeah. When I was 20 years old, someone told me, man, 20 years old still playing video games, man, really? But my, but my friend was stood there and he goes, when I'm 80 years old, I'll still be playing. Hell yeah. Oh well, yeah. I mean, why stop? That same person is either a hypocrite or has a double standard because years later he bought a PSP. <laughs> now you might say, I'm just using it to play DVDs or UMDs. Nah, nah, nah.
or also what was the other what was on the list uh not jericho's list but the list you talk about was it oh people play video games live in their parents basement yeah that that we're all single that it's only for for guys that they can make uh, people violent they can make you stupid etc actually that's true i'm single <laughs> anyway whoa what the whoa Oh. Oh, jeez. All right, well, I'm getting ready to fight a Contra boss from Shatter Soldier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Jeez. Looks like he ate well over Christmas. Yeah. Oh, all eyes are on me. Can he actually see out all those, I wonder? Right. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, talk about me being single. Can I single-handedly beat this boss? <laughs> Man, these <laughs> late Zelda games have some weird bosses. That shadow of his frog body makes me think of Blaster Master. Huh. Oh yeah, the frog boss in that game. I'm not too familiar with that game, I have to talk to Skip about that. You gotta play it, Ronnie, someday. Yeah, it is a pretty good one. No, that game's for kids. <laughs> it's uh, a you, know kid. A game, you know what's a game for like, real men? Is Dora the Explorer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Star I'll tell you this right now. If a kid of like 7, 8, 9, 10 years of age could pick up and beat Blaster Master on their first try, I would bow down to them. Yeah. But uh, speaking of kids' games, Star Soldier and Jay, I think, reviewed Fisher. Fisher Price fire, uh, uh, fire truck game or something. <laughs> oh, one of the Fisher Price games. Yeah. And how did that go? Uh, yeah, they totally hated it. <laughs> they ripped the game apart. <laughs> uh, that's great. Oh. It threw up a treasure chest. All right, this has to be the hey, why not? dungeon you, item. You did Barbie. Yeah, it's true. Got the claw shot. Yes. Yeah, that's true. We did do Barbie. Man, that was a weird one. Yeah. I did Barbie, uh, I think, three times on YouTube. <laughs> three times? Yeah, uh, let's three? check out. Three? I think I only saw two. Uh, uh, let's check out, in 2008, uh, the unfinished LP on S2K in 2011, then the finished one that B. Jeff and Bob Phoenix did this year. Yeah, that... <laughs> oh... I think he did it three times too much. Yeah. I can only watch so much of that game. Yeah. And I tried to think that, like, well, it might have been fun for girls back then, but because it's easy for me as an adult to say, oh, this game sucks. It's for girls. Well, duh. But what about from a girl's perspective back then? I don't know if a girl <laughs> actually bought that game, though. That's what I wonder. Yeah. Cut to a ten-year-old girl in those days. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, some kids know when stuff sucks. I remember uh, in college, this woman had to bring her little, probably like eight to ten-year-old daughter with her to sit in in class with her because I guess couldn't find a babysitter, and we had to watch this stupid, cheesy, goofy bi biology video about photosynthesis. They try to make it cool. A rap song during the oh, whole thing. On. A newscast saying, oh. all right, woo, woo, woo. Photosynthesis is awesome. <laughs> and they start singing to the music video, and the 10-year-old girl looked at her mother and said, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. Those, those videos been, are always so cringe. Yeah, it might be on YouTube, like photosynthesis uh, rap video or something. Oh, man, I, I posted a comment saying, I watched this in my college class years ago. It was the cheesiest thing I've ever seen. The rap song's like, photosynthesis, da, 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 and then when things grow and the sunlight hits it, da, 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 I don't even know the lyrics, it was <laughs> stupid. Yeah, I actually wonder if the people that made that, like, got paid enough. I, I hope so, because they're probably getting beat up every day. <laughs> oh, fuck. Do we have enough for medical bills? Jeez, how can they... I probably think they're college students, too. Maybe in college they can get away with that. If they were in high school and junior high and did that, they'd probably get beat up in the schoolyard every day. <laughs> Just like those those games like Crime Patrol and Mad Dog McCree, sometimes you look at those people's faces and they're like, why am I doing this? For the money. 
I need, I need the money. My wife is bleeding me dry. Yeah, I think some they like in some of those games. I think they actually had like some pretty decent actors at the time, which is amusing to think. Yeah. It, it was just the uh, you know, like the script for them are so bad that they just kind of didn't give a shit. It's funny you say I that. I would say the same thing about plumbers don't wear ties, but you don't actually see the move. Yeah. And what was the um, crime patrol? The, the the one of the detectives in the first part of the game. Uh, I know, uh, man, he's like kind of a fat guy and curly hair. Yeah, um, I remember. Him? Yeah, he looks like, um... He, he looks he like, like, the, he looked like he... the guy that's in this game, he looks like the... You know the guy you have to rescue after you collect... You have to collect all the pose? Uh, <laughs> he looks like him. <laughs> that's what it looks like. I said, that's the guy from Crime Patrol. <laughs> That's great. We'll see that a little bit later on, probably the next part or so. <laughs> it's gonna be too too long after we beat the Lake Bed Temple. We'll, we'll see that guy. That's him after he retired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes, so, hey, does anyone remember when I was in Crime Patrol? Yeah. He goes, no, I've been cursed to be this way because I did Crime Patrol. Get I him, begged him, to kid. do the sequel, but they wouldn't let me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the acting's so bad. They're like, get good, kid. Right, and this, uh, yeah, the more temple music in Ocarina of Time wasn't that bad on here. It's, I think it's kind of more ambient, maybe. I actually like the music in the Ocarina of Time one. I know it's relaxing. Yeah. The Skyward Sword water dungeon is only like half of a water dungeon. It also has this really dark underworld part to it. Yeah. Uh, I, I really need to actually like get farther in that game because every time I play it, I'm like, I always get tired. <laughs> it's a tiring experience. It'll make you retire. It's, it's worth playing at least once. Yeah, see, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to at least finish it because, like, like from what I played a bit, it it is good. It's just I find the motion controls in it are kind of annoying. Yeah. Cause I like 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 the open well it's not really open world but you know like I like the um, like the world that you're they get to like fly around in and stuff. Yeah. And the graphics in it are pretty nice too. And of course you know you get. Ah <gasps> oh, dang it! <laughs> fail. I was gonna say uh, you also get like the best freaking character ever, Groose. <laughs> oh, I love him. Yeah, he's freaking hilarious. Bruce Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee. Uh, Bruce Lee. <laughs> I am, I'm surprised, I am, I'm surprised uh, there hasn't been a meme yet. I am Groose. Come on, climb it right. Get good, kid. I was about, I was about to say, Ronnie, what are you doing? <laughs> right? <laughs> well, that's not me playing. It's someone else. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Liar, liar, Jim Carrey. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, was it good for you? I've had better. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kicking my ass, do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, are you jelly? <laughs> I'm mad jelly. Yeah. I'd say that thing is jelly. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's probably, they probably gave us some sort of creative name. Magellan? Magellan? <laughs> There's this kid in school named Miguel. If you called him Magellan, he got pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thought I got blown up there. <laughs> Once again, contradict the laws of physics. <laughs> Throwing a bomb underwater. Yeah. You know, they should have sent Link to fix that BP oil problem years ago if he had the Zora armor. 
<laughs> By the way, has anyone ever played uh, Aquaman on the GameCube? No. <laughs> no. Okay, that's good. <laughs> what, the game's good or it's good we haven't played it? It's good that you haven't played it because it's awful. <laughs> and, and if it's not good, then get good, kid. Oh, I fail. <laughs> yeah, the you got I was gonna say, if the game's not good, whoa, if the game's not good, it's not a programmer to can. get good. I tried to get good at Action 52, I couldn't do it. Jeez, why even bother? No one can be good at Action 52. I wonder if there's, <laughs> I, I never see speedruns or anything, I haven't tried to look it up on YouTube. Well, I think, like, I don't know, like, there's some games in that game that are, like, pretty much unplayable. Like, you can't even get past, like, the first level in freaking, um... Non-human, I think it is. And, yeah, and uh, ooze, they offered like like ten thousand dollars to anyone that could beat it because no one could. Well, it's because <laughs> no one could because of the game not allowing people to do it, like because of glitches or messed up programming, or because it's that that hard. No, because it's messed up. Well, see that that don't count then, because I mean, if it's messed up, they don't count. <laughs> That's probably why they offered it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. And what was it, uh, Alfredo? I didn't Alfred, think it worked. I didn't I think did. it worked, but some people had copies, or some someone somehow made it work. The ROM. Yeah. It works on the ROM. No, I didn't work on my ROM. Yeah, like there are. Um, well, it's your emulator that has to uh, work with it. Uh, I think. I use Nestopia, and it works on there. Oh, I forgot. There is one YouTuber that actually did. I think. Beat some of the unbeatable games on there. Uh, he goes by the name of Skip Rogers. Oh, yeah. Well, I should have known. Yeah, he did. Skip's that. not human. Seriously, he did a. Uh, yeah, he did that video in uh, 2000, not eight 2009. How to win an Action 52. <laughs> Skip is so badass. He even beat, beat Cheetah Men too, which no one else ever has. Right. And the part where AVGN got stuck. Nope. Skip didn't get stuck. Yeah, it was like, what, like, you can only, like, get to a secret area by, like, once in a blue moon? Yeah. <laughs> or something? Yeah. Oh, and, uh, Bomb Phoenix is talking to Skip right now. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, telling me, saying that you need to get good at Zelda. What well, tell him, uh, if he can do a live stream Action 52, then I'll get good at Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch that. Right, imagine Skip doing a live stream. Yeah, I, by the way, did you ever see his post that he made in a um the 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 selling group where he was selling a coffee of uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> he said he was selling the game for the same price it cost years ago. <laughs> you know, I picture Skip as being the YouTube version of Chris Jericho. Right, yeah. You don't, a, want to be, you don't want to be on Skip's list. That's a pretty funny analogy. <laughs> yeah. No, I picture <laughs> Skip Rogers as James Ellsworth. Oh. <laughs> That's probably what he looks like now. Gilbert? <laughs> yeah, Gilbert. Who would win, Gilbert or James Ellsworth? That's one of those Gabby J. Glass Joe situations. Right, yeah. Now, James Ellsworth will win because Gilbert passed the torch. <laughs> I like how they kept the, uh, what is it, the Nehru symbol on the doors. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. Well, yeah, all, all, the region, all the regions in this game are a take on the names. Like with Din, you have El Din, Faror, you have Farron, and Nehru, La Nehru. Huh. Interesting observation. I didn't really know that. I'm a big geek when it comes to Zelda. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding, but... <laughs> so. It's fun to know little stuff like that in any game. Yeah, so I take it you have the Zelda Historia? Yep, yep. Yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> I have it too. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome book. He also has the, uh, 
NES Ultimate God from Pat the Punk. Pat the Punk. <laughs> Pat the same <laughs> Punk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pat the Punk sounds like a bad rap album. And, oh, I got punked out right <laughs> there. A freaking bubble boy from Southfield. Oh, these geez. guys are sick that you keep walking. Sick. These guys are pissed off. You keep walking by. Sick. Yeah, they're sick in the head. All right. <laughs> they look sick. I got a freaking bubble boy from uh, Mega Man One. These guys are WCW. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, you have to uh, if you get close to their bubble. They need their they need their personal space. If you paint their bubble, they get pissed. <laughs> they must be millennials. <laughs> hey, so was Logan, but he actually seems mature. Yeah, well, that's the different thing. It's the majority of millennials that are like, you know, complaining about stupid things. Yeah. All right, oh, there we go. Now, I first got to this temple, I was like, what are these things in the wall? And I had a feeling it had something to do with something later on that I had to do. This claw shot's much more advanced. You can, like, uh, move down. Like, it, you know, it, it, it can, uh, like, when you grab onto something with it, you can pr propel your, not propel, but uh, lower yourself down. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I think every Zelda game since Link to the Past has had some variation of this. Yeah. <coughs> is this the compass? Finally, jeez. Yep. Like 33 minutes in this dungeon, I finally got the compass. Link's got psychic powers, items just float in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Go up the ladder. <laughs> Get up there! Yeah. Ronnie and I were laughing our asses off when he went into the fishing hole cabin. The look on his face. Oh yeah, Link had- Oh! Why, why, this ain't Slitterbond, this is like an evil Slitterbond. He stopped sliding just for that second. Yeah. But yeah, the fishing, uh, if you go back to part- watch part 11, Chris, uh, he walks to this fishing cabin, the look he has in his face, like, <laughs> Whoa, look at this with the fishies and, and pictures. And <laughs> he looks stupid. Yeah, was I there for part 11? Huh? Was I there for no, part 11? I mean, part 12. Part 12. Oh, part 12, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, part 12. Like, he, he just had his look on his face. <laughs> Like how I would look if I walked into a wrestling store or something. <clears throat> Remember WWF New York, that restaurant? <laughs> that never happened. In a restaurant? <laughs> yeah, it, uh, wrestling restaurant, it, like just, I don't know, I thought it was dumb, I, I didn't even care about it. That's probably why they shut it down. They had, a, they had a football league too. Yeah, and they try to make movies like... Just stick to wrestling, Vince. No, well, it's not wrestling, it's entertainment. That. Jeez. Yeah, so that's the difference between him and his dad. His dad actually did wrestling stuff. It's a good thing Triple H is there, like, helping uh, do things, especially with NXT, because it feels like wrestling is coming back again. We're going to get back to wrestling. <sighs> yeah. Let's just have a death match. When are we going to take over WWE? <laughs> Did you hear what Stephanie said about CM Punk the other night? I thought yeah. that was great. Savage. I haven't watched wrestling in a few years, so I have no idea like what's going on. <laughs> this year actually wasn't bad. No, it wasn't? Nope. Well, well that's good. The, Cruiser the Cruiserweight Classic was awesome. Yeah, and Owens and AJ Styles are on top of the business. Guys that actually wrestle instead of forcing John Cena down our throats all the time. I can't even take that dude seriously anymore. Yeah. Just keep Kevin Owens away from your children. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
AJ Styles is the face that runs the place. Apparently a friend of mine got blocked by Kevin Owens on Facebook because he wanted to know who he was. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Owens blocks a lot of people, especially on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought it was kind of funny. He's too savage. He seems like the kind of guy that would try to keep kayfabe. Yeah, he's a little too savage though. Well, I guess he's doing he's playing his I'm sure he didn't really mean it, but he played a heel character real savage the other night, I think it was. He told this old guy, like his a, like probably a grandpa. He goes, Listen here, grandpa, blah 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 and he said, Well you are gonna die in five years anyway. Like, wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's dark. Yeah. Remember how the Dudley boys were in ECW? Yeah. They went too far, the fans. Like the, they they grabbed a beer out of one guy's hand one time, and just threw it right in his face. And like that, okay, that's that's too far. Yeah, well, no, the Sandman didn't do anything like that, from what I recall. And he did it to himself. Yeah, he just smashed his own face with like beer cans and shit. <laughs> yeah, the Sandman would party with the crowd. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think one of the. I think Dudley Boys is talking trash about this one, this girl and her mother about their whores or whatever, and and like uh, I think they tried to spit at the Dudley Boys. Dudley Boys spitting right back, so it looked like a spit fight. It was kind of funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of those Bubble Boys again. Go this way. Yeah, a geyser. But geyser. <laughs> Holy guys! <laughs> Imagine seeing these in real life, jeez. You just took out those small glassy bodies. Yeah. And I hope those boots are waterproof. Yeah. Well, they have flippers, so I would imagine so. Don't get crushed. <laughs> <laughs> this temple has a crush on Link. <laughs> yeah, about the time someone does. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, well, Ruto did. It didn't, like, pretty much everyone like Link. Well, as far as women? Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I know for sure Ruto did. Yeah, Princess Ruto, Ruto, whatever, and, um, Saria from the, you know, No, they the were just friends. Oh. The only females that I can think of that are actually, like, swooning over him are actually in this game. Spoilers. <laughs> oh, yeah, Telma? No, I, I'm the three girls outside that mini game. Uh, I think I think well, Tamara's flirty. She flirts everybody. I think she really wanted um, what's his name, the shaman of a uh, Kakariko village. Kakariko. Yeah, or Jamie Cra say Crackhead Crack Village. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was gonna say Crackhead Village. Yeah. <laughs> All right, almost done here. It took me a while to figure out. I kept on like jumping on these switches. Well, where I go now? Where am I missing? <laughs> yeah, this one did get a little bit confusing the first time. Zan Zelda Xanax. Zelda fanboys watching, saying, "Man, you need to. No, you need to go this way. Man, you're dumb. I ain't no faggy cheat codes, and I was four years old and beat this game." <laughs> Hey, yes, hey I'm man enough to admit I got stuck here. Yeah, well, seriously, there was a comment on my... Uh, it, the video's taken down now because of, of quality issues, but, like, in 2007, 2008, someone posted a comment on my Captain Skyhawk video. I think I told it... Yeah, I told the story before. I don't know if Chris heard it. Oh, I uh, think I've heard it before about Captain Skyhawk. Yeah, I bashed Captain Skyhawk saying it sucks and the ending is garbage. It just says game over. And uh, I was cheating in that in that review. And he goes, Captain Skyhawk's a great game. You just hate it because you suck at it. I beat this game when I was four years old, and I did—I did not need any faggy cheat codes to beat it. While you're playing games that are 20 years old, I'll be getting laid later. 
<laughs> yeah, well, honestly, that game does suck. Yeah, I didn't respond to that, because obviously, even back then, as a noob on YouTube, I knew it was a troll comment. And, you know, I know, don't feed the trolls. But he's lucky I wasn't Swindle or J-Man. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh, boy. What? Jody's telling me, no, you need to get on that fool. I said, no, man, it's a troll. I don't even respond to that. Just, I'll, just leave, I'll leave it up for other people to troll him. Stop that fool. <laughs> yeah. He'll probably respond saying, as I bust you upside the head and a gap proceeds an inch in your skull and your blood oozes out of your eyeball and ants, your blood gets instantly covered with ants. <laughs> or something like that. They'll go into detail. Oh, jeez. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, watch you know, watch a SC2K video called "Now That's ECW." <laughs> that's what it's called. Now that's ECW, where I narrate an old post that Jody posted on SC2K.com years ago. He was actually roasting Venom. Venom and Swindoll kind of roasting each other back and forth, like messing with each other. And Swindoll got into detail. <laughs> You've now signed your death warrant, and then all this gory detail. What he's gonna do to him? <laughs> <laughs> I loved it when you two played Super C together. That's like the best. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was uh, man, 2008. That was one of our first ones. Well, we didn't do too many reviews together. The last one I think we did was Street Fighter 2 Turbo Low Budget Review, January 2009. And oh, <laughs> yeah, Super C was one of our 2008 reviews. That's where we did all most of our reviews. Was 2008. Man, you don't even know. Yeah, it has better graphics. No, no, no. it has better graphics to argue with me. Damn it. <laughs> uh oh, I'm about to have to go swindle on the boss here of the Lake Bed Temple. This ain't the boss. There's two pots. What is this? Oh. <laughs> yeah. The fairy is the boss. Yeah. Let's go down here. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Ooh. This is freaking scary. I mean, me, I can't swim anyway. If I fell down here, number one, I can't swim. I'm drowning. Number two, I see this. Where am I at? See, if I was in this situation, I think I would die. Yeah, I think a lot of people would. <laughs> Because I'd be, like, shitting my pants when going down there. You mean die of fright? Yeah. I thought you meant die from what what's about to occur here. Well, no, yeah, I would die from, like, being, like, scared because, like, being in, like, really deep open water is, like, creepy. Yeah, like that movie. Man, Nintendo, Nintendo loves eyeballs. Right? <laughs> Morpheal. Morpheal. Yeah, he's a heel. So if he becomes a good guy, it would be Morpheus. <laughs> oh, jeez, no. Yep, see? He grabs you. He yep. grabs you, Morpheal. No way, you'd be dead. Why would he let go after that? Yeah, normally you would just die. Yeah, I need help, Midna. What should I do? <laughs> it's like, well, you got three lifelines right here, so you can either call a friend or, um... 50-50, yeah. or uh, ask the audience. Or cheat. Yeah, or target, cheat. way to break the fourth wall. Yeah, or use someone else's footage. <laughs> ah, there we go, gotcha. There's a yeah. little thing called the ECW mode. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about Jax here, go, gotcha. Oh, something fishy's going on here. Oh wait, those are, those are fish bombs? What are those? Ah! Alright, that's, what was it? Three or four hits, I think? Ouch, that's my glowy eye. Oh, no. oh, I need wait. that to see. Oh, for God, that's only the first part of the battle. Link, you better throw that bomb, it's gonna blow up on you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the longest I've ever seen a bomb, like, not explode. Yeah. <laughs> It's like on The Simpsons where that guy holds the grenade too long. Kaboom! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's turning into Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. At least to hold on to that bomb. 
Okay, now you better let go. <laughs> That'd be messed up if, like, because you're frozen right there in the cutscene, it just blows up and, like, damages you, or if that was the last part of your energy, you die. <laughs> you die during a cutscene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I gotta. Here we go. Climb up to his back and then hit his eyeball. Oof. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's this... squirming too. Yeah. Yeah, this is some Shadow of the Colossus shit right here. Yeah. Nice, that's it. He's a dumb. He's a dumb. Hooray. He just stands around the eyeball, King. Ah! <laughs> You're still an eyeball, Jerry. You can't do that. That's illegal. You can't I gal. <laughs> oh, he just ran head first to that. Oh, oh, now the water's receding. Oh my god. He smacked into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Good god, he just went head first. Oh, old school JR and WCW. Good guy, he just hit his head. He just hit his head in that wall. Smack dab. He's gotta be out cold. Nobody can get up from that. <laughs> uh, yeah, King and JR were like the best. Yeah. He just hit his head in that concrete. I Michael Cole would be like, oh my. Yeah. He just hit his head on that hard surface. That must have hurt him. What, what There's the last of the fused shadow. You're finding shadows here. All those tight cloth planks? Yeah. So his power is not true? <laughs> I guess not. I bet you'll prove it. Yeah. Well, hold on, let me get my heart piece no. first. No, I want to go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't anymore, the water receded right here. Fuck saving the world, let's go fishing! Yeah. <laughs> let's go play Go Fish, the card game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that is the end of part 13 of the Late Bed Temple. See you guys in part 14. What will happen then, now that we got the all three of the fused shadows. Until then, God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, and also, See this you. is the last video of the year, so Happy New Year. Happy Woo! New Year. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 14. This is Ron Moore, along with Tibbs. Yo, yo. And, uh, whoa. 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 Zan. You need to see a dentist. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do Chicken now, Zant? Zant? Yeah, what are you going to do now, Zant? Oh, jeez. Oh, Dang, all he did was, what, breathe? Man. Man, man, how powerful is Zant? After all we went through. After all we went through, the Twilight is back. That'll make her happy. <laughs> hey, no, not the few shadows. <laughs> that always made me laugh. She just throws them at him. Well, no, that he, he took them out of her. I, I never thought of it that way. I, I always like to picture it like she just threw him at him. Uh, no, she's not going to give it up that Take easily. Take that! <clears throat> she's tied to something. She's now down to something invisible. Now, 
Ow. Ouch. Your god, huh? Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Hmm. Oh, jeez, nice try. Looks like she's kissing. Well, what the heck is that going in his in his head? No wonder this game is rated T for teen. Yeah. Consort. Yeah. We don't consort with their kind. That's racist. They meet every night. <laughs> the thing looks like a tongue. Yeah, it probably is. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, wait a minute. Ugh, too much saliva. Oh. This just took an ugly turn. Yeah. Lend me your power. Well, she really doesn't like the light. No, she doesn't. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's kind of like a vampire in the way the light's killing her. <laughs> He's like, hmm, now what? Oh, where did Link go? I love the music in this section. Is that supposed to be like an earring? Yeah, good question. Well, who's talking? Oh, the spirit of Elden. Or L Laranu spirit or whatever spirit. There's too many spirits in this game. <laughs> the spirit of ECW. Go to the princess locked away in the castle. <laughs> yeah, the castle. Castlevania. Why didn't she give it to me before? Right. She could have said, just in case this happens, here it is. Right. So now we got to get Midna to Hyrule Castle. I love this music right here. Sad yet beautiful. Yeah. Those are the internet trolls you just ran by. How come you're uploading, not uploading every day, Ronnie? Right, yeah. And I need no faggy cheat codes to beat this game. <laughs> They're mad that you used ECW mode in Metroid again. Yeah. Or whatever that code is. Yeah. This is the only time it rains outside, too. Yeah.
There's another cat to talk to. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Promise I won't hurt you. <laughs> hey, I'll go in Telma's bar. They'll help me out. Woof, woof. <laughs> Ouch. Maybe not. <laughs> Well then. Well then, Elden. Hey! Uh -oh, uh -oh. Yeah. Hey, it's Thomas Cat. Oh, how'd you know? This cat looks like she knows everything. Yeah. Louise. Oh, I get it. Thelma and Louise. I never realized that. Yeah, I saw this when I first seen this right here. That, and I, I mean, I don't remember. I, I, like I said, I beat this game like 10 years ago, but I didn't really realize that till now. That Louise, I go, I wonder why they named the cat Louise. It's Thelma's cat. Wait, Thelma's cat. Ah, Thelma and Louise. That's awesome. Well, wow, you don't bad, look so uh, good, Minda. Nope. Yeah, she looks terrible. Like she looks more emo than usual. I was gonna say, don't feel bad. And and Dumb and Dumber, I didn't know for like probably 15, 20 years, the uh, Lloyd Christmas joke. Like Mary Swanson, Lloyd Christmas, and I always wonder, that's a weird last name. Why is his last name Christmas? And if they were to get, <laughs> then I had a thought one day, if they were to, if they really did get married, her name would be Mary. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those sound Don't you feel real? You feel both smart and stupid at the same time. Yeah, one of those Soundfield jokes. That's why a lot of people didn't like Soundfield because they didn't get the dialogue or read between the lines. All right, so I'm gonna go through a secret tunnel here in order to get inside a Hyrule Castle. This music. Welcome to Let's Play Young and the Restless for the GameCube. <laughs> Telma's Bar. You gotta watch out right here. You fall off, you get kicked out. I'm sure it was Good a Goron. Good thing are these ropes conveniently up there for us. Yeah. I'm sure it, it was a Goron that kicked me out, because no one else in that bar, even Telma, was strong enough to just kick it, the wolf out there, brave enough to <laughs> Unless Telma had a big broom. <laughs> I don't know. She's a big woman. Yeah. Is it Stop breathing too heavy, men. Nothing can hear you. Her hand is blue now. I guess she's suffocating or whatever that thing is. Probably what they usually do. Yeah. Drop a pot on her head. Yeah, and he's standing right above you. Yeah. Easy dub. Easy W. C W. Yeah.
You got Nikita saying that now, by the way. <laughs> it's contagious. I got J-Man saying it years ago, and he delivered a pizza, and then he got in his car, so he started counting his tips. He's like, yes, EC dub. He, wait a minute. Dang it, Ronnie got me saying EC dub. There's the guy from Crime Patrol. <laughs> Crime Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! The first pole in the game. To be fair, I don't think they would have had enough money to pay him all that. I mean, how much money do you think it's spent to actually make that game? I don't know, man. I, I mean, for its time, though, it was an interesting concept. If I would have actually, ouch! If I actually played that game back then, I would have been like, whoa, cool, man. This is real. Like, real graphics. But, but yeah, like. Yeah, rip the soul out. Right, yeah. Poe soul. You ever play night? You ever play Night Trap? Uh, well, J Man quote unquote played it as an LP on S2K years ago. <laughs> Giovanni. I love how even the cat is frozen. Yeah. Jengle, Jen Jengel. Jengle, yeah. Jeez, 20 of them. But his his eyes are like turning colors. You think men would be like, no, we don't got time to help your greedy ass. I gotta get to the castle. <laughs> I, don't, I think she's unconscious. No, because she uh, told, told Louise, like, please tell help us to get to the castle. But she's conscious. She's just breathing heavy. Durr. Wait, what? He's got his mouth open like... Durr. Oh. <laughs> it's a fall into the... treasure chest pit. It's a trap. God, now we're going through the sewer. So we'll help Giovanni, or Giovanni, whatever his name is, uh, as we continue this game here, but there's going to be a few parts Joy where, where we capture Joy all the pose. Huh? Joy Giovanni? Yeah, I guess. Mayor Giuliani? I don't know. <laughs> oh! Another giant spider. Now we're, pl we're playing Resident Evil now. Yeah. Imagine Link with a gun. Alright. Closest he ever had to a gun was the hook shot, the claw shot. Or arrows, rather. Feels like I'm playing Castlevania 64 here. <laughs> now the camera would be whooping around all over the place. Oh, yeah. And you would have died when you came into this place. Yeah, I think... Can't touch water. I think Lackett is the cameraman in that game as well. <laughs> Let me open the secret passage here. I thought they were a secret passage. What the heck was that all about? No, you're doing the right way. I think you got a cup of mortal light. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, let's dig down here. Deja vu. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Stupid trolls. Yeah. Good thing the ropes are here, because Minda can't help us. Yeah. Minda, snap out of it. Come on. Wake up, you wuss. I've been in light all my life. You didn't hurt me. <laughs> Lighten up, Minda. Oh, nice. He landed on the rope and fell down. Oh, I, can't, I can't believe we haven't mentioned, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the first video of 2017. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. And uh, hopefully soon, due to schedule conflicts, we haven't done the year review show yet, but we'll do that hopefully here in a few days. Oh, 
Oh, we're getting stormy now. Yeah, it looks different without the twilight. Yeah. Freaking Ridley. go from here across that bridge there well whatever the curtain whatever it is that's a shady bridge <laughs> oh oh there we go now this is a castle right You would think, since there were some beasts roaming the town, she'd have a guard outside her room. Right. Twilight Princess. You see the boy you... Oh, well, you know what that means. Yeah. I always thought, though, she's so powerful, why can't she save Hyrule herself? <laughs> I know, it won't it won't uh, make for a good adventure, but uh, for a good game, but just uh, overanalyzing things. <laughs> I know, just like just like in Ocarina of Time, spoilers for anyone who's never played Ocarina of Time. <laughs> she disguises herself as Sheik, and she can jump around and do all kinds of things, but it's right? all that she can't. Right. Takes me back to Ocarina Tom speaking of. The LP that went on for so long, I couldn't remember if you finished it or not. Oh, yeah, I did. August 2013. Hopefully, this LP won't take as long. I was bowing there. Yeah, I was bowing there. <gasps> dun dun dun! Well, could you tell me? She's a reaper? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's she doing? Someone call an exorcist. Yeah. Stop her from what? What's she doing? I think she's supposed to be giving her her life force. Huh. What, Minna doesn't want it? Because it's light or... Or it causes Zelda to disappear? <laughs> Where'd 
Where'd she go? Yeah. We go back. Who's she on Schwarzenegger? We go back. Yeah. Well, as Zelda disappears, we gotta go back to Farron Woods. We have to go back, Link. We have to go back! Yeah. I order you not to go. I order you not to go! Whoa. Whoa, what? What's happening to what Disneyland? What's the dome all of a sudden? Yeah. We're alive, King, at the Twilight Dome. Ah. Here in ACW, High World Championship Wrestling. We're Link with the uh, Highfield, Highfield, uh, Highfield, High World Field High School, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, said in part seven, went to Hyrule State. <laughs> Played for the Hyrule Goats. Yeah. Won, won the Tingle Bowl. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, so let's go to Fair Woods. Where... Oh, so that's where we gotta go. We gotta get the Master Sword. Let's go ahead and go to Farron Woods now. See, folks, all the time we were fighting those dark beasts, it came in handy. Yep. Get to hear this awesome music again, this relaxing Farron Woods music. Stupid screech bird. Or a screech anyway. Whoa. It's our old friend with a big pimple on her head. Oh, these things. Oh, what, the, what are these creepy things? Did they come from Jorah's mask? I think they're skull kids or like puppets. Oh. Freaking creepy. It's okay, Rose. Whatever your name is. Draw me like one of your French girls. Yeah. I guess your name is Rose. Thank you for being a friend. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what was the name of the monkey in Link to the Past? I think it was like Kiki. Well, I know that that's what the sound he made. Well, I don't know if that's his name. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. So we got to head back there to get the ancient master sword. Oi. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Ouch. Don't hit the wall. St. Pink Floyd. <laughs> Or Jericho. Break the walls down. Who's gonna make the list this time? Oh, me if I fall off like an idiot. <laughs> you won't want to. Jeez. Just think if it wasn't a windy day, this whole quest would be over. Right. Time to learn a new song. Dang it. The only Zelda game where the music element kind of got on my nerves was Spirit Tracks, because you actually had to blow into the microphone. I never played that game. It it sounds cool, 
but this one song that you have to be absolutely perfect, and it was getting on my last nerve. Oh, wow. Well. I said it perfectly in this rock band microphone Jeff gave me, so I guess this is why it worked right here. <laughs> <laughs> New uh, rock, uh, Guitar Hero Hyrule Edition. Play real Hyrulean guitars in Ocarinas. <laughs> and the uh, Ocarina comes with the, with the pack. Oh, and as a bonus, the mailman from Hyrule runs to your door, sees you down the street in real life. Hey! Here's your game! When Breath of the Wild comes out, that's that's how it should be delivered. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if anybody's gonna has cosplay cos how you say cosplay or cosplay? Cosplay. I wonder if anybody has ever cosplayed the mailman. From from uh, oh, I the, the other it. games. <laughs> in Hi- in Hyrule Warriors, you can actually download the uh, mailman's costume for Link. Yeah. Cool. All right, so that is the end of part fourteen. We'll see you in part fifteen, where I'll go after the ECW sword. Until then, God bless. It's gonna be epic. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 15. This is Ron Moore along with Mike, or Tibbs, and Jeff. The legend continues. It does. Also, Tibbs, do they call you Mr. Tibbs? Uh, no? Some do. Okay, I was like, I was like, come on, you guys can't be that young to get miss that reference. Wait, wait, Kung Fu? A lot of my friends don't get it. Oh. You say the legend continues. Kung Fu? What was David Carradine in this game? <laughs> All right. The Sacred Grove now. This is going to be an ECW part of the game. It's very eerie. There's a Zelda's lullaby. <laughs> Shut up and howl, Wolf. Yeah. Remember the Wolf Pack here. This is Kevin Ash in Wolf form. <laughs> Kevin Come on, Ash. Chico. Oh my goodness. <laughs> e C double U. Oh my goodness. He spins around like yay. Did I unlock something? No. Aw, oh, the skull kid. Nah, the douche kid. Did you just fart some leaves? Whoa. There's those crackhead puppets back. <laughs> <laughs> you got any crack? <laughs> you got any of that crack over there? Yeah. Hey, Jeff, I didn't know you were in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, wait damn. a minute. No, no, that's not him. He's the a cuckoo. Hey, that guy kind of looked like like Gino's retarded brother. I don't know why I'm bringing up Mario RPG. Why not? Why aren't we playing Mario RPG, Ronnie? Because we're That's playing Twilight play. Princess. And we already yeah, did that, by the way. Uh, so yeah, keep up to date. Well, I missed out on that, so I'm not happy. Yeah, well, you know what? This part, <laughs> this part of the game right here is kind of annoying because uh, you gotta chase the skull kid around. And then avoid the, uh, yeah, these, uh, weird crackhead skull kid puppets, whatever they are. EC dub, EC dub, EC W, C W. Uh, he doesn't have ECW on this. this CW phone. Network? ECW Network. <laughs> <laughs> it's, dang it, it's the WWF and will always be. Yeah. That's right. All right. Yes, I love the, uh, old, uh, Sorry, a song. Of course. Now, now you need to run into uh, Ocarina of Time's Link. Just try yeah. to have a conversation with him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or Darunia, because you know how much he loves this song. Oh gosh. Well, are you gonna run or what? Time for a fight. 
the heck is he doing? He's doing his King Hippo impersonation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Minions, protect me! Yeah. So is this the same sacred grove as in Ocarina Time? Possibly. I assume the this game takes place like uh, like millions of years after Ocarina Time. <laughs> millions of years. Yeah. Jeez, when is this gonna end? When you pull the trigger. Yeah. Pull the trigger. You look like a grave digger. You're gonna have to play with that tiger named Tigger. Do it. Pull the trigger. Do it. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. The punisher at the end, do it. Do Come it. on. <laughs> do it. Kid starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good boy, Tommy Dreamer. Grow up to be a good man. Because if not, I'll be waiting. <laughs> he does screw up to be an ECW legend. <laughs> what in the... Jeez, come on. I'm get pregnant. Car. It's Tommy's. Did, did, did we murder him? He's not. He he looks like actually. Now that I think about it, Raton, a Tonberry's deformed like cousin. It's about I'm time. Tonberry. Ah. Finally, he's gone. Now we can proceed here. Because remember, our quest is to look for the Master Sword it's around here somewhere. <laughs> You're showing up the Master Sword. Come on. Yeah, still haven't gotten that sword yet. Yeah, we all know what's about to happen here. Uh, yeah. Hell at the moon. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so. Such a, such a good song. Yeah, no one's more familiar with Twilight Princess than Jeff. Oh, yes, I am the expert at anything. Um, are we playing Mario here? Whoa, 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 <laughs> is this the Pokemon <laughs> games you kids play? Oh, yeah, that, is that a Pokemon? That's a Pokemon on my back, yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like your mom calling every game console ever had a Nintendo. She has no clue what's going on. Yeah. No, oh, okay, no, I remember Ronnie, this. Do you, do you do you have the solution to this written down? No, I remember I did this ten years ago. It took me a long time to get this right. Ah, well, I don't see his butt. You're gonna get. I did it on team. my own first try. <sighs> you got this right your first try. Yeah. Well, after a few minutes, of course. No, I see. See, he's trying to glow well, 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 so did I. I mean, what I mean is, yeah, like, it took me a long time. Not just a few minutes. Like, probably, geez, I don't know, ten minutes <laughs> to get this done. Solve our riddle, and you can have the all-powerful sword of our land. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this done before long. <laughs> Make him jump off the pit right there. Game over. <laughs> game over, yeah. They're like, no. We can't jump over here. No. There you go. That's the way you do it. Yeah, do it before Roman Reigns becomes champion again. Yeah. As of this recording, uh, Jericho just beat him for the U.S. title. Uh, he just made the list. Yeah. There you go. Jericho oh. just made the list, the list of U.S. champions. Nice. All right. See, I told you, Ronnie's the greatest of all time. He just likes to hide it. That's the way you do it, Ronnie. You play the guitar on the MTV. Uh, MTV don't even play music anymore. I, I know. <laughs> quiet, Ronnie. I, 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 they did once upon a time when things were Qu quiet, better. Riot? Yeah. Quiet, Riot, yes. That's quiet, the way Riot. you do it. You play the guitar on the Snooky. <laughs> <laughs> Snooky from... Uh... Jersey Shore. Oh, I, I thought you were going to talk about like Guitar Hero. I was about to say in 2009 they actually released a Guitar Hero for the Master System in Brazil. Wow. Yeah. God bless those Brazilians. 
Well, speaking of master, who's speaking master of sword. Brazilians, it's time to yank something out of the ground. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> okay, okay, Link, you can turn back into a human, please. That's exactly what he's doing. That's not a human being. What is that? That looks I've like a pine cone. Now. She she clearly looks like a villain. I'm sorry. That thing looks like a villain. Well, she's chilling like a villain. Yes. Yawa throbbing in my hands. It, except he would literally totally make makes the up for my small dick. <laughs> He would make, like, the worst leader of Hyrule ever, though, if he was in charge. Because he can't speak a word because he's a deaf mute. No, he can speak. You just don't hear him speak. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I'm talking. He's standing there. Sir, well, would you like something? Well, Sir. Well, well, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he speaks. Yeah. He just spoke right there. Huh, huh, huh. He went, huh, Sir, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Well, get it away from me, then. Really? Is it? Is it, lady? Can I stab you with the sword? I don't need you anymore. Is that stuff in red important? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Can't touch that. Dun, 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 dun. Shigeru Minamoto, what were you snorting? If we kept it, you'd be able to transform into a beast anytime. Not capitalized. You can transform back to Brock Lesnar at any time. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't you want to transform to Brock Lesnar first? Yeah, he's a beast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just just call Brock yeah. Lesnar in there, Link. You don't even need to Midna, do this. Midna is Paul Heyman. Link, <laughs> no! Yeah, yeah. She said, call her. Call me on my frequency. The frequency is 141.25. <laughs> it's in the back of the jewel case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, breaking the fourth wall. I love games that do that. That's really I don't think I ever got I think Swindoll might have figured that out. I had to look in the magazine. What are you talking about? See jewel case. I look in your inventory. There's no C jewel case in my inventory. It took me about 10 minutes to get it. And then I, I, I realized because I was just kind of looking at the manual and it just happened to flip over. And like, oh, it's on the back. Hang it. My favorite codec call in the whole series is when Colonel Campbell's going all screwy in the second oh, one. Oh, in MGS2. Uh, like, I'm not a big fan of MGS2 because I don't like Raiden because I think he's a douchebag. But uh, I do like that moment, yes. Hey, Raiden's uh, voiced by Danny of Lens of Truth. Actually, I've met the voice actor who does Raiden. He's a very <laughs> lovely man, but he's still weird at the same time. Um, no, it, it, it's it's funny, though, because I, I cosplay as Colonel Campbell from time to time, so people uh, always ask me to say that, and I, I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, what was it? Um, damn it. A tuning for... I, Fuck, I, I need scissors. 61. <laughs> well, everybody knows that. But... Oh, there's another Poe. Oh, I was once a, a American earthworm in my past life. What were you in your past life? <laughs> just, just like that. <laughs> Or then when he names off a bunch of Japanese cities, like what the hell? Oh, they hey, get it, you hey, idiot. It's Poe. Where's BB-8? Yeah, this is the beginning of us hunting a lot of Poes. Is it Cameron Poe? <laughs> he just got Poed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We officially only have like five Poe jokes, and we're yeah. just done. Whoa! What the hell? I'm digging up bones. I'm digging up bones. Digging up, digging up. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, speaking of the breaking the fourth wall, I accidentally broke the fourth wall on the X-Men for Genesis, the part where it says, reset the computer now. Oh. I could not figure it out. I gave up. I said, man, let me start over. I reset the Genesis, and that's how I beat the level. <laughs> I love games <laughs> that do that. It makes it so interesting. And I, I was like, yeah, heck yeah, I did it. I was, I was going to quit. So sometimes speaking quitting of is breaking the, the fourth wall, to get back to Metal Gear Solid, Psycho oh, yeah. Mantis blew my mind the first time. Oh, that yeah. controller switch thing? Yeah, that was insane. Yeah. What's the matter? What's the matter, Snake? You don't like gals? <laughs> I, I love the uh, the Ford commercial that came out a few months ago for that. I don't know if you watched it. But... <laughs> I see you've been playing The Legend of Zelda. You're not very elusive around traps. You what does he say? Punch in the face. It's a, Skip, try oh, to tell it's, us. It's a trap. 
What, what does he say in the Twin Snakes? I, I have it, but I've never actually... I've only beat through it once. I can't remember what he says about the memory card. Yeah, that's what he says. You've been playing a lot of Legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, David Hayter, the voice actor who will usually play Snake, he took a pay cut so all the original actors could come back for that. Huh. Pretty awesome. Don't be a David That's Hader. dedication right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a good man. And David Hayter is voiced by Kurt Russell. Actually, another fun fact about David Hayter, his first acting role was in Gundam <laughs> 0080. Which I think is funny. He kind I of love how, started on his anime. Uh-huh. Speaking of Kurt Russell, how in uh, Metal Gear Solid speaking 2, the, 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 name, the, the, oh. na- the name that Snake takes is, uh, oh, was yeah. it Iroquois Pliskin? Iroquois Pliskin. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I can't remember what he got Iroquois from. I know it's from something. But... <laughs> yeah, Iroquois Pliskin. Well, I mean, because Solid Snake was based off of, partly based off of Snake Pliskin, so I mean, it made sense. Yep. All right, now we're back in the world. Call me Snake. Field. We should really be playing Metal Gear Solid at this point. All right, yeah. Welcome to the Legend, of, Le- Legend of Solid Snake, uh, Twilight, <laughs> Twilight Soldier. At, at least let's play some Smash Brothers so we can have a snake fight. Oh, <laughs> no. Jeff, come on, man. Stop interrupting my gameplay. <laughs> yes. Hey, greetings, Mr. Link. Sorry I fell asleep. Here's your letter. <laughs> da, 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 da. Why don't you come behind closed doors, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Well, my business is concluded. I gotta get back to the shop. See you later. <laughs> you know, one day that guy's gonna go postal and murder you. It's like, this is for making fun of me, asshole. Yeah, he turns heel and just shoots you with a bunch of flaming arrows. <laughs> exactly. Can't you make him run off a cliff? Didn't we talk about that before? Yeah, I think uh, you or someone, or, or Bon Phoenix or someone talked about that. It might have been you with Bon Phoenix in the commentary. So the letters are red. Telma's trying to get in contact with us. Let's go back uh-huh. to High Castle Castletown. Just roll your way there. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doctor, I don't feel so well. My oh, knees, it's a wolf my and neck. scare the shit out of everyone. Exactly. Yeah. My knees, my back, my neck hurts. What? Well, what have you been doing? I just roll around everywhere. Maybe you should stop that. I've been yeah. turning into a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we should probably look into that. <laughs> yeah. They, they tend to do an insane asylum. <laughs> It really hurts my back and my spinal area when I transform into a wolf. Oh, let me just call the other doctor here. They'll come in the white van. It'll be great. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> what a beautiful day here in the um, the uh, flea market. <laughs> now this is the uh, uh, what's it? One of those uh, those things you go to that time of you met J Man Jeff of. Expo. Oh, and, oh yeah, convention. Yeah. Convention. Yeah, this is a uh, S2K convention. You see uh, the Ron Moore booth <laughs> over there, and the and the, the Games Time booth over the there. The one with no line. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> snap! All right, tell us more. This is S2K I had, bar. I had to. No, no, no. It, it's funny and it's all. Does she have big boobs? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Large breasts. <laughs> It's been a few weeks since I've seen my fiance, so yeah, I'm just I'm looking at Elf Breast right now, okay? She flirted. You know what I told you, is she, why is she oh, talking she like is. why is she talking like Dixie Carter? She is she is flirting. You should flirt back. You hey, remember, baby, we could go back to my place. I live in a tree. Remember what I told you, honey? <laughs> no, she's with uh, the shaman now. Oh well, fuck her. He's an older man named Arr- Arr- Link. Arr- Arr- Link is trying. <laughs> Yeah, Link, come on, try a little harder. Oh, you're a coward, Link. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, he's a know, coward. Well, he, well, he no, he's a he's like the hero time, but he's not uh he's just not uh, good with women. He's just not good. <laughs> that's what sucks. was that meme I saw? What was that meme on, online where it said, "Uh, can save the world, but uh, or has has a triforce of courage, but can't talk to women." Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's Danny. Hey, this is Linda. Oh, Sh- Shad, Shad from Crime Time. Where's JTG? <laughs> <laughs> no wait, that's the gaming it's historian. It's Crime Time. That's a yeah. That's a gaming historian right there. It's a gaming historian. 
He's gonna he's gonna tell us about um oh the Nintendo DD drive today, right? Yeah. The history of S D K. S D S. Ten years ago, Ronnie founded from his bedroom the organization yeah. which we known as the S D two K. The end. I'll link you. <laughs> Link, your hat is melding with your shield right there, buddy. Right, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, Nintendo. Really, you still can't fix that issue? Yeah, you see, you wouldn't see that on the Sega Saturn, on the Dreamcast. Uh, no, you won't. You wouldn't see it on the Dreamcast. The Saturn, you, you. Well, actually, no. With with Crotro Latagons, you would not see that. But it would look not as good as this, though. Here's Ashe not... or Ashy. <laughs> Ashy. Ashe. Touche. Touche. Oh, goodness. You know, like, uh, you extreme know, body armor there. <laughs> I know she's ready to go. Like, you see all these brave adventurers, and yet they send your young ass out to go do everything. Go save the world. You, you'll be fine by yourself. Well, he was chosen by the gods. Well, the, or gods the American government. <laughs> the, yeah. The king was like, get on your boat and go get some shit, Link. What are you talking about? Go. Uh, and who's this guy? I don't know. Um, pot man? Because he wears a pot for a helmet. Whoa! Uh, it's Russell! <laughs> Yuli? Uli? It, it's Russell. Wow, we're also from the village. <laughs> just wow. just hanging out with these guys here. Wow. That's Colin's father. Colin. Well, who uh, the hell is Colin? Colin, Colin. <laughs> Colin Farrell? Colin, Maybe Colin, we helped Colin him with Powell. his bowels. Colin Powell. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> Every every day, one run mower can't read what right. Would you please donate so this run mower <laughs> can donate read? Please donate so I can please donate to my Patreon so I get my colon cleansed. <laughs> Ron, Ronnie, that's what you do need a Patreon. You do. I do have one. Oh, you you do do you? I just don't have any patrons. Uh, well, you gotta, gotta promote it more. No, I don't want to e-bag. No, no, don't e-bag. But you know, if you donate. Fifty cents, or oh, I think you got to do a dollar now. I don't think you can. Has to be at least a dollar. Yeah, I used to do. I do fifty cents to a channel called China Uncensored, because they're pretty cool. Well, you know what, Ronnie? I will put up one dollar. Is it per video or per month? I think per month. Per month, I will put up one dollar tonight, and we will see where it goes from there. Cool. I mean, I, I don't I do I don't want to promote it. I just put it in the description no, box. No, I did just, share it on yeah. I did share it on social media once. I don't want to keep on and. Well, hey don't, guys. don't push it, but just be like, hey, guys, I also have a Patreon if you're interested. That's all. Yeah, don't push don't it, push it, push it. No. When we get done, though, do something. For send every dollar we raise, folks, Ronnie will play Deadly Towers for ten minutes. Jeez. Oh, exactly. Push it real good. Dun, 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 push it to the limit. Yeah. Dun, dun, limit. Is it sugar and spice? I mean, not sugar and spice. Salt and pepper? I think, yeah. But, but, yes, Ronnie, when we get done, send me the link to it so I can... um. Yeah, I'll see the link. And here's Link talking to Jeff, <laughs> Jeff again. I want to order. I want to order. You know what? I do believe I'll start with the meat. What? Well, this, that, 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 that's another random spot he hides at. The first random spot we found him at was in the barn. Is there any other random spots he shows up at? I don't know. He, oh, he should, yeah. do a, should do a soup first, maybe a salad. Yeah. There's a place here where I live at called uh, Super Salad, but it's spelled Soup Soup. Super Salad. Oh, yeah, no, 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 Super Salad. I've heard of that, actually. Oh, I don't know if it's a chain, but I've heard of that name. Yeah, Super Salad, my friend. It took years for him to get it. Oh, I get it. Super Salad, because it's super, but it's soup or salad, the play on words. I get it. Did you go in there and have a soup and a salad and all together just mix it? <laughs> oh, no, but you had to have that big salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could talk about Seinfeld all day. Summer of George! Yeah. Yeah, let's play The Legend of Seinfeld to a like comedian. <laughs> What's the deal with the Triforce? Yeah, Newman's uh, Ganondorf. Nor, Nor, Newmandorf. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, my. And, and Kramer's got to be like Navi or something. Yeah. What's the deal with Ganondorf? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, does this guy ever die? You know, they beat him and they seal him in the, uh, the some sort of... Uh, uh, limbo, and then somebody comes back. What's the deal with that? I'm right, another Listen song to here. Listen to your heartbeat. Love the statues in the background, wherever they are. All 
right, let's see if I can get it right this time. One more time to remember, try to remember it here to play it right. Here we go. Here's some trivia. Can anyone tell me what that symbol on the stone is? Uh, it's that's the, the uh, eye of something. The uh, that 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 mask, the mask of truth, right? There's something similar, like a, a tribe. Isn't that the symbol of the mask of truth from Ocarina of Time? Yes, but it, it's it also symbolizes a certain group of people. I don't know. The Sheikah. Oh yeah. Uh. Whoa, way over there. Man, hey, you're far away. Can you hear me? Listen, remember Kung Fu Panda 2 is trying to yell at uh, the villain and he can't hear him from way over there? No, <laughs> I don't because I didn't watch Kung Fu Panda 2. Oh, you got to try, uh, try it. You got to watch it. <laughs> you got to try it, man. It's better than crap. Have you ever, yeah. have you ever seen King Kung Fu with the, the ape? No. no. Or the gor like gorilla, rather? Is that the cheap knockoff or something? It's the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. No, 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 no. The most ridiculous thing I've ever seen is Order of the Black Eagle about bringing cryogenically frozen Hitler to life with a Orson Welles Nazi leader, a demolition sex pervert, um, a, a character that's a James Bond ripoff named Duncan Jacks with a, his pet monkey who has a monkey-sized tank, and there's so much more I don't even remember. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. I remember Hitler, I think, traveled through time and Kung Fury. Okay, that's pretty fucked up, too. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, back in beautiful Lake Halia with his beautiful, beautiful music. Beautiful. I love, how, I love how Link can freely transform back into a wolf at any time, but he, no one can see him, though. He has to do it where no one can spot him. Well, the game won't let him do it. Man, rolling up what a hill, What would be so tough. bad with people seeing that? Well, they would freak out and probably try to kill him. Yeah, they, they would be like, Demon! Murder him! Yeah. Oh, jeez. I climb way high up here. Climb. Oh, I made a mistake! Mommy! Help me! Whoa. This must be the mysterious Aruru. <laughs> A Bobo? Masterly. I am Aru. Aru. Werewolves of London. Yeah. That's like an old Chuck Liddell. He looks like an excitable boy. Yeah. So excitable. Master Link. Hmm. That's because he has a master sword. Master you. <laughs> a cursed mirror. Dun dun dun. We're going into a prison. Was this going to be Alien 3? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Malice of the Doomed Inmates. That sounds like an awesome metal album. <laughs> totally. We are Malice of the Doomed Inmates, and we are here to rock you. I remember a wrestler named Malice. Cruel, cruel Malice. Remember, remember Wrath and Mortis? Yeah. Yeah, I mean uh, uh, Mortal Kombat Rejects along with Glacier. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Remember, remember the Kiss guy? Oh, yeah, the demon. That was stupid. All right, got Aru's memo. It's a memo. It's actually a TPS report, and he forgot to fill it out properly. Yeah. See, long ago, I saved this man in fire. fire. Life, and now he mm -hmm. cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. So I need you to ask him a favor. Fire! Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going okay. I'm to need you to go ahead and ask uh, for the favor, okay? That'd be yeah. great, Link. All right, thanks a bunch. 
matter of fact, I got the bobs coming over, so I need you to <laughs> skedaddle, okay? But, uh, I, I, uh, uh, Just don't do drugs, I'm going. <laughs> yeah. So, there was that little thing that follows you around, is that Milton? Like, Link, Link it, 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 it's been a while since we talked. You, you, you need to come back and talk to me. Oh. I'm so alone. Whoa! Oh, jeez. I thought I was going to take some damage like in Mario 64. Yahoo! Yahoo! ECW! Ronnie has lost his mind. Time to go see Ronnie's cousin. Wait, oh, Fire? That's his idiot. Does Yoko's name Fire? He should be fired. Wake up, idiot. Sad dwarf. Oh, wait, his eyes are open. Hmm, from old armor. Uh, I guess I ought to do what old Coot says. <laughs> do you see my pot belly? Does it look sexy? That's Jeff in 20 years. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you in 10. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 wow. Michael's the comeback. <laughs> <laughs> That's me now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use that uh, launcher later. Ah, <laughs> and don't, a later hater fell. Save often. And that will be the end of this part. See you guys in part 16. Oh, then, see God, you guys in part 16. Ah. Until then, God bless. Take care. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Part 17. This is Ron Moore, along with Tibbs and Jeff. Hello. Hello, lady. All right, Bye. so. Yeah, we are going to do some more pole collecting and stuff. Going to get some poles from the. Yeah, from the popo. -po. Man, I'm all, I'm all about them poles. Ah, right, dang it. Going to get some poles, have a cup of joe. Freaking tech tights, man. Leave me alone. Oh, dear lord. Ah. All right, so, man, where is Link going? Are we going to, uh, uh up the mountain somewhere, some sort of rocky terrain? Oh, no. Rocky We're going Mountain, down. huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, John Denver. Yeah. Go get your country music award. Oh, no, look out. <laughs> I like how so one guy trolls. <laughs> I like yeah. how some of the trolls are actually trying to kill you, and the other ones are just walking around like, whatever. Now, those Dallas Cowboys haters have ammunition now. And, and <laughs> <laughs> Cow Cowboys suck. The Bears. Yes. <laughs> ah, buy them Cowboys. Yeah. As a not Cowboys this year. fan, yeah, as a Cowboys fan, not happy right now, but they had a great season, though, at least. They had a great season to suck. <laughs> no, no, no. This this year they were ECW. They were number one, number one seed, and they barely lost by three points. But congratulations Ronnie. to the Packers. Good, good job, Packers. The the triple fudge Packers. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, Sorry, Aaron, 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 Aaron Rodgers though is legit. Sorry, I don't know where I got that from. He's Someone become wants... one of the greats for sure. Yeah. Someone said he's the Michael Jordan equivalent of football. I wouldn't say that, but he's still good. I have no clue what seating is and what you're talking about. I just don't – you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, go team, whatever. <laughs> you know, you, well, you only care about the Cubs. And the Bears and the Blackhawks. The, the Bears. All right. Oh, back in Goron's Mines again? Whoa, that's a big diamond in there. That's pretty cool, yeah. He just broke both his legs. Yeah, why don't you go steal that giant diamond and just go home? Forget about all this quest stuff. Well, but, uh, I believe there's a heart piece somewhere in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to might kill myself in lava for a heart piece. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's worth trying to capture someone's heart. Whoa. You know, whoa. In, this, in, this, in this game, the Master Sword looks incredibly huge, like super long. Maybe yeah. he's compensating for something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your your body should be burning at this point. 
Like, hey, no, that, 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 that is something weird, because, like, in Ocarina of Time, you needed the fire tunic. In this game, you do not. You're okay. He'll be okay, Link. Are, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, go in there. You'll be fine. He's Link. dead. Link, I'm from Texas. Yeah, I'm used to it. Remember, this Link can turn into a wolf, so he's otherworldly. Yeah. Yeah. He is a Brock Lesnar. I mean, beast. Hashtag Ooh, not cut. my Link. All right, so now we're going to play this bonus game here. That should be the uh, the official hashtag of everyone that hates evolution. That's not my link. <laughs> hashtag not my link. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know those people with the hashtag not my president. It's just a funny thing off it because he isn't my link. Only link to the past link will be my link forever. <laughs> These fangirls here. <laughs> is that the average Zelda fangirl right there? <laughs> yeah, as Link is ready yeah. to uh, have a wrestling match against Bonesaw McGraw in the Elimination Chamber. <laughs> you going nowhere. I got you for three whole minutes. Three minutes of playtime! There you go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do you have to be dead, Macho Man? Yeah. The yeah, cream of the crop! Yeah. Oh, yeah! You better pick up the, pick up the payphone in the background. You better pick up the phone and call somebody! <laughs> <laughs> my thing's my thing, yeah. Oh, dang it, I he said. Oh boy. I fell right here as Jeff makes me do this again. I know, I'm sorry, man. You gotta pay me the money. You gotta pay the troll toll to get in this boy's home. The troll toll. What is this, Showergate? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's soul. It's no, no, hole. No, soul. So, a job soul, bro. A job soul, bro. Points for reference. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, money, my man. Yeah. I was gonna talk about Macho Man uh, Randy Savage. Like, you know, he's in that cage, and you were saying make a collect call, and it's like, why don't you talk about Carrot Top then? Or is that too old a reference for your viewers? No, <laughs> oh, fuck Carrot Top. <laughs> no, he did those collect commercials back when phones mattered. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember that. Speaking of Randy Savage, I've been meaning to tell you this for a long time, Ronnie. My fate, the thing that always makes me laugh in the WrestleMania video you do with Swindoll is at the beginning when you're going through the characters and you get to Macho Man and you call him Macho Man Randy Travis. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that was, Swindoll, that was Swindoll that said that, yeah. No, you said it, I think. No, that was him. That was him. Really? Yeah, that was him. That sounded like you. No, no, that was him. The Macho Man I'll have to go Randy back and watch Travis. that. Yeah. All right, so we're done with this bonus game as I got the big quiver. I can hold more arrows now, and oh, that's what she said. Spangirls here. That's Principal McVicker's favorite item, the quiver. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Eek, the cat. As I capture their hearts, wait, they don't sound right. Why don't you have a seat over there, Mr. Link? Why don't you have a seat over there? You were in, so, Link, you were in the tent with these girls. Yeah, you pitched a tent all right. Oh. <laughs> Anyone ever notice their colors are red, blue, and green? How significant. That's great. They're all three gonna marry Link because he's he's technically a Mormon. It's a long story. A Mormon. High rule Mormon. <laughs> dum 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 dum. That that's why he there's only one of them left. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out of High Rule Castle Town and go back to High Rule Failed. We're alive, ladies and gentlemen. Here at High Rule Field in the High Rule Coliseum. Link former uh uh running back for the High Rule Warriors in High Rule State. Man, he's sure gonna have back problems there. Yeah, right. That's how he rolls. <laughs> oh my back. Oh, my. imagine hitting that shield like ow, ow. I know, right? This is not what a the... faster form of transportation. Uh, Agatha, what are you doing oh, look out who's here? here? Trying to collect more bugs. I, like I said, I have a coworker who reminds me of her, and I showed her the video, and she was next to, next to some Civil War knives, and she goes, "Ronnie, that's not me. I'm standing to a bunch of knives here." <laughs> no. Shouldn't that girl be back in her little uh, emo anime show? I'm sure there's one she's meant for. Maybe like Witch Hunter Robin or something. Yeah. Ah, puppies, oh. JR. Well, here we go. Uh, Link, what are you doing? You know it's, you're not in danger. It's it's the same guy that's been training you. Put your sword away. It's okay. Well, he's getting ready, Ronnie. He's getting ready. Well, I guess so. Ready to rumble? Ready to Ooh. rumble to <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. We meet again. This next... This next is the great. Wait, this next is the greatest. Is that a typo? <laughs> Are they supposed to say this next? NXT. Yeah, NXT. Yeah. What does NXT Damn. stand for? I don't get it. 
Miyamoto, can you just give me one game like Legend of Zelda 2, Electric Boogaloo? It's about street dancing. It's great. All right, time to run the Helm Splitter. Oh, the Helm Splitter. Hurricane Helm Splitter? No. Mm, helm Splitter? Stand back. Yeah. At the helm of the fight. Hunter Hearst Helmsley? Stop making helm punts, man. Yeah. Shut up. Hunter Hearst Helm Splitter. Hiya! With his finishing move, the pedic here. <laughs> Oh, this is the helm splitter. Show it to me. Yikes. It's a death blow. Yeah, you almost murdered the guy you're trying to take. Yeah. Oh. That looked like you flipped over, hit him on the head, and hit him in the back. I don't know if I'd call that helm oh. splitter. Link yeah. knows all about taking guys from the back. Oh, <laughs> he knows about getting it from the back. <laughs> Hi Alright, land the house better. Three more hidden skills. Daily actually, sword training? Get that asthma actually, taken care I, of. I don't even practice with the sword. What? I don't need practice. No, hey, but the bench warmers, don't chop at it. It's not a sword. You're not a sword. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cow. Yeah. I will fail. Fail? No, that was fail. I will field. <laughs> All right. What to do next here? I think to collect some more pose. Posey. Where I live at, my my old we job. Around the Posey. My, I knew a guy named Gary Posey, I think, or Gary Posey. Um, Parker but, Posey. Yeah. Like my, my my old job that shut down before it was uh, Carino's. It was a place called Po Boys, I think, or Po Folks. Yeah, po folks. It was like a kind of like a yeah you know, restaurant that had a po boy sandwich. I think it's pretty good. She you just good. got po'd. <laughs> yep, back in Hyrule Castle Town again. Freaking flea market. <laughs> <laughs> At the come down Saturday, Saturday, Saturday to the Hyrule Flea Market. We've got everything you need: rubies, pots, uh, swords. Why not? Yeah, and then Link, a wolf comes Link, by. Link's a pothead, but a different, in a different way. Well, you want a dog? We got a dog. You want a bone? We got bones. Come on down this Saturday and Sunday. Oh man, you can tell there's really nothing else to do worry, in this game right now. Don't worry about. Fetch. Don't worry about the barrier surrounding our castle. It's fine, guy. <laughs> it's fine. Come on down. There, we promise there are no Ganondorfs there. We seriously promise you. I guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Link's bitch is following him. Oh. Gee, stalkers. See, that's entrapment. Chris Hansen's waiting to have an excuse to have me take a seat. <laughs> They're following me. All right? That's entrapment. They're trying to engage with me. This is perverted Justice High Rule Edition. Or uh, To Catch a Predator. We're now in High Rolled. High Rolled. High Rolled. Well, the good news. <laughs> well, we just disappeared there. The good news is uh, that, that perverted justice, they've been closed down. Their, their CEO wasted all their money. On parties. Really? Yeah. So who is Chris Hansen working with today? For it's Hansen a different Kirby? organization. I, I don't remember their name yet. I'd have to listen in again. But yeah, it's a different organization. Well, we're not, we're now we're playing to catch a Poe. Chris Hansen's working with the Catholic Church. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Oh. They're good at getting little boys. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Yeah. To, to our Catholic fans, we apologize and God bless the Pope. Yeah. All right, and so, for everyone who wants to use this series as a walkthrough, uh, I don't know what to tell you. All right, yeah. Don't. If All you right. go to a Catholic school, do not play this. Remember that ghetto one, David Schumacher? Uh, I don't want to be in the news, dog. And Chris Hansen goes, well, it's a little late for that, dog. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little, <laughs> little late for that. <laughs> you you oh, just killed that chicken. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Little known fact, we got one of the decoys on this kid. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> what did, did he did he dress up like Link? Yes. How did you? No. Um. No. no, no seriously, there's like a young 18 year old decoy on the Catch a Predator that uh met up with this guy, and, uh, he, and I think J Man said, "Well, that's we guy. He's under undercover decoy." I said, "Yeah." yeah Ronnie, did I did I ever send you that the best of uh, to Catch a Predator? 
think I did. Uh, was, you or Jamie they, probably did. They had a, yeah, they had a whole bunch of compilations. It was amazing. I'm, nice. I usually don't like those shows, but it was great. Yeah. Didn't one guy kill himself after? It was a lawyer yeah. shot himself in the head, I think, yeah. Yeah. Something well, like that. You shouldn't be diddling kids. Did you ever see the South Park where they ha they like made fun of the whole Chris Hansen thing? No, I didn't oh, see yeah. that. I mean, it's like they pl they they placed like guys kept coming in and coming in, and the moment they saw Chris Hansen, they would take a gun and kill themselves. But they just kept coming in and coming in. <laughs> yes. Oh, well. Uh, well, oh. you know, at the same time, Chris Hansen is using this, you know, for his own gain. I don't know. It's a two-way street when it comes to this thing. Didn't you already do this, Ronnie? Yeah, I'm doing it again to get more rupees here. <laughs> this is what the folks pay for right here. <laughs> Zelda Let's Play and Sex Perversion Discussions. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> We are the best, folks. Oh, uh, The making of a great Red Supreme video. Right, oh, yeah. I know. We just need at least one slow B for one diabetes. I know it's diabetes. Yeah, they'll, 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 they'll uh... When they do, if they do, rest of prayers, which I doubt it, but they did, it would be like, uh, they would name it, uh, Let's Play to Catch a Predator, Part 17. <laughs> you know, I, I, I've, heard, I've heard them speak, they won't Let's Play, or they won't RP an LP that is like really, you know, with a lot of talking, well done. It usually has to be like one sad guy doing like, the, you know, stuff like that. Like we're at least having a good time here. We're not. Yeah, we're they, not bad enough. Unfortunately, to be they don't do Red Supreme's anymore. At least not of people's LPs. No, yeah. and the only way they ever do them anymore is that they get they after they do it. If the guy doesn't like it, they'll take it off. So that's kind of a problem too. Yeah. But they're nice about it. I miss the good old days. Gosh, stop. Take a joke, people. All you terrible well, Let's Players, take a joke. Well, I mean, I, to be fair, if I got Red Supreme back then, it probably hurt. It could, it could damage you if you're a noob who's just like, oh, man, I'm terrible. I'm being made fun of already. Yeah, but then you get, like, several subscribers at least. Yeah, but are those subscribers are... going to be trolls and haters wishing you to die of cancer, or are they going to actually like your content? Well, I, I don't think they'll like your content, but they'll just be fascinated that you're there. I, yeah. I've never heard of anyone saying, I hope you die of cancer because of the Retsu Prey video. Well, I mean, well, more views that, is always better. There, there, are, there are trolls that post comments if you suck. Like, man, I hope you get cancer and then die, or like the kid that made fun of Contra. Someone, you know, wish he would die and, and uh, or just saying some malicious things about him. I'm like, just because the kid sucks and reviews don't mean you have to send him death threats or wish cancer on somebody. Like, jeez, people. No. So it yeah. Might have it's been not Vince Russo. Russo. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and, you're, and you're absolutely right as you run right into that explosion. No, I, I agree, but I'll tell you what, there's one funny one. It is this kid playing uh, Mario Party alone, and there's clearly a group of people, like, the next room over or very close to him. And I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I remember a kid, I forgot his name, um, he did a series called Review of the Reviewers. Uh -huh. and he, Charlie knew him. Charlie talked to him before. He reviewed Charlie's okay. Trigger Sega channel. And, yeah. And uh, he uh, reviewed uh, someone, I forgot what the channel name was, but... It was uh, kind of like what I did, a webcam from the TV. Yeah. And uh, But there was a bunch of his friends in the living room, like the audience. Hey, hey everybody, yeah. And then they started playing a random game, and the, the kid yeah. was, like, bashing. And he also bashed an Angry Nintendo Kid Metroid review. That was pretty funny. Angry Nintendo Kid. I forgot these I forgot these ripoffs existed. Man. Yeah. I wish I was seeing where are so they now. Many of them. Yeah, where are they now? Wish I could find a where are they now uh, video or something. And what are they doing now? What do they think about himself? I think Viper at least looks back on himself and say, yeah, I was stupid. Ah, uh, it was a crazy time for Viper. We all don't blame him for that. Remember yeah. the R-Make video where he did half of it as like an AVGN ripoff? Yeah, Probably the can. Ghostbusters 2. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was trying to I, show uh... people, he's trying to show people, look, I'm not an AVGN ripoff. What I do is much different. I don't know. Did, did you ever talk to him with us uh, back when he was first starting out? And he talked to Charlie, um, Ronnie, uh, Rich. Yes. Uh, I, yeah. I, did, I did very briefly because he was in J Man's Part One of Donkey Kong Country. Work your, I'm not saying you you know deserve 400,000 subscribers, but you know people like him who literally you know record some game footage and then talk about something you know that's um, relevant or what you know like uh, something that's not. What am I thinking of? You you just said it. Drama. Um, not racy. Damn it. What's that word? Controversial. Con thank you. I'm a retard, Ronnie. Yes, con <laughs> controversial. And have you seen I my baseball? Have you seen my baseball? Yes, I am. I am. I'm sorry people were mentally disabled. I did not mean it in such a way. 
I, I anyway. loved I loved Rich when he was doing video game reviews, and some of his oh, news article yeah. stuff was good, and his his dating nightmare stories and bathroom horror stories were entertaining to listen to. So well, yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he had some good stuff. He had some great stuff, but I've tried watching in the past maybe like 20 videos, and I'm like, this is just the same stuff over and over again. I'm mm. really bored here. Yeah. All right, and I'm getting Link's getting bored here. He's just doing more grinding here. <laughs> he's just like, I want to be with you guys. Yeah. I know. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I want to talk about random stuff. This is basically what we're, you know, we talk about Rich doing footage and talking about stuff. That's what we're doing. We're doing footage of a game, but just talk about yes. something else. But That's what I was three, thinking. There, there's three of us. It's not just yeah. one person constantly yeah. talking. So it's even I know worse. It's, yeah, but <laughs> Rich, has, Rich has an ECW radio voice. He does. He would make a great radio host. I cannot disagree with you there. What is this, Cave Story for GameCube? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we got to the LP of that years ago. Oh yeah, Cave Story. Yellow also, Chew Jelly. Yeah, I love that that fuels your... So what, are they made into like some early form of petroleum? <laughs> yeah. I like to think it tastes like jet, like jello. <laughs> it tastes like gasoline! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you jelly? <laughs> oh. Uh, Wendy, do you need to go to the jelly school? Really? <laughs> All right, more, more of those lizards from Ocarina of Time. The Dongos, whatever they're called. They call the Dongos, Ronnie. Get it right. Yeah, Gosh, get it Ronnie. right, idiot. It, 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 it's the Dongos, <laughs> dumbass. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. I want to play a Zelda. Yeah. Ah! It's Link. <laughs> Dill hole. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I oh, seen, uh, there's a cartoon drawing where some kid was holding up a little stick. Act like it's a sword. Mommy, look, I'm Zelda. And she smacks him right across the face and says, It's Link, you stupid little sh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie, when I was a kid and I first discovered Zelda, I thought he was named Zelda too. I didn't, because I didn't play Zelda that early, though. And uh, Metroid, I think I did think her name was Metroid or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. And I, when I first discovered the game, Metroid. And then to say Samus, oh, okay, then of course but a lot like everybody else I thought it was a guy. Nope, it's a woman. No, no, I'm no. a big fan of the bands Pink Floyd and Jethro Tull, and I hate it when people think that that's someone in the band. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I remember uh, someone uh, saying, you know, back then they had to have smoked something. I mean, who would come up with the name Pink Floyd? And my friend, my friend goes, because his name is Floyd and his favorite color is pink. Pretty... So... And, and like the song Comfortably Numb is just about an it's going to the dentist. I mean, yeah. it's not about like getting high off something. Yeah. I've become comfortably dumb. Actually, it's a lot deeper than that. Oh, okay. well, that, okay, that's just the easy. Okay. I, you, you've explained that. That whole I... wall album tells a story. There, there's kind of a, a, a Pink Floyd reference in Shadowgate. The slime that kills you, it says you feel nothing. You just, you just dissolve. Oh, wow. Just, or something like that, like, well, there it goes, well, there's no pain, you are receding. Uh, I was about to say, that, 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 that's your end, Tibbs. Uh, my favorite band is Rush, so I, I, I like Pink Floyd, uh, but I'm not like a fan. Sorry. I I'm love in... Rush. Oh, oh yeah, thank God. I, okay. I, I loved Rush. 2112 is one of my favorites. It, it, uh, it really is. Temple of the Sphinx. Oh, man, just. Ooh. I, I, loved, I, 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 loved, I loved Rush and Mega Man 3. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. No, no honestly. Uh, sorry, uh -huh. I'm gonna say one more time, real quick. The one of the videos I took down in 2007 was the Tom Sawyer review, not the one that's still up today from 2013, of course, but uh, one of the ones I was embarrassed by. As far as like the intro and ending music to that review, I used Rush from uh, I mean, Rush, yeah, Tom, Tom Sawyer Tom from Rush. Tom Sawyer. Yeah. He's a modern day warrior. Mean, mean stride. Yeah, I yeah. think he got third party too. Oh, oh, I'm sure. No, I, I think, and it's weird, my favorite Rush album is one of their later ones. I think Roll the Bones has to be my favorite album. Hmm. And oh, cool. I, I used to not say that. It used to be, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the album. It was mid-80s. Uh, shit, I don't remember the name of it now, but it was never, like, the original or anything. Because I like, I like 90% Permanent, of permanent Waves, Farewell to yeah, Kings. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't per well, Farewell to Kings. Um, oh, I'm trying to think about it. It's, uh... I'm gonna have to look this up one more time. How could you not remember? You call yourself a fan. I'm just kidding. Well, be, no, uh, it's honestly, you don't even know. 
<laughs> no, it's honestly because uh, I don't know. For the past two years, my new favorite album has been Roll the Bones, and that's for some reason I just got into that album. Nice reference there by Tibbs. You don't even know. <laughs> no, I mean, well, you gotta. You're not a Rush I, fan because you don't even know. Yeah, you don't even know. What? Oh yeah, Grace Under Pressure, duh. Oh nah. yeah, uh, Grace Under Fire is a good TV show. <laughs> no, I used to really love Grace Under Pressure because it was like the, the pinnacle of the '80s, you know, rock album. So yep. Cold War paranoia, it was great. Yeah. But now I, I think I think probably Bet Your Life has to be my favorite song at the moment. Anyway, enough about. <laughs> Who wants to listen to some Hall and Oats, guys? I've been listening to them all day. It's been fantastic. Quaker Oats. She's a mad eater. <laughs> She's a scary lady. <laughs> She's the an man. angry tiger. The man in the box. Down, 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 down. Bam, bam, bam. Here he comes. Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> I, I have, we're gonna have to title this building, this building, this. <laughs> this, this building. <laughs> are you, are this you video drunk anything Tampa? but Zelda? <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> I, I'm I'm sorry. It's like 20 minutes of adventure, 20 minutes of po hunting. We've got to mix it with the other things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is cool. It's great. I mean, I have no problem. This is enjoyable. We're talking a little Zelda, talking a little music. It's fantastic. You know, wrestling. Tommy Dreamer. Oh, uh, wrestling. Uh, uh, what, <laughs> Cuddy. No, I'm pregnant. Raven goes, the pills say one at a time, moron. What do you care? It's not yours. <laughs> oh, Starts beating oh. up Stephen Richards. No, don't. It's not his either. In the crowd. Oh, Tommy. Tommy. Oh, man. One thing I, I never hope gets on the internet is I was at a, at a convention with a friend, and we got really drunk, and we went to the karaoke room, and they were recording it. And me and my friend Mike did Man in the Box. That's what he wanted to do. That was his. It was like, uh, okay. And I was drunk enough to start yelling and screaming, too. <laughs> like, hey, man, man, in the box. <laughs> yes, it was, it was probably that bad, but hopefully, hopefully that, that footage has been burnt or, like, thrown in an SD card and thrown in the ocean. <laughs> and then, like, but then during the karaoke, you fell asleep. No, oh. if, you, if you were if you were if you were a wrestler, your finishing move would be not just a sleeper. Well, it would be the sleeper, but we call it on a Sleeping Beauty. I, I love it. <laughs> One time, Jeff falls asleep. What? Two thousand nine? Yeah. One well, time. No, 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 you no. Hold on. The Skip Rogers video we were watching. You fell asleep. That was the first time. And then the 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 Papyrusy podcast. You it's still up today. Charlie starts playing the Wake Up Jeff music to try to wake you up, and you still didn't wake oh. up. <laughs> Okay, okay, so three times all together then. Two or three times, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, yeah, it was twice, that's right. But only twice. It's been like seven years, Ronnie. Well, you know, Let plenty it, of repetitions I can take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, oh. hopefully nobody's falling asleep during this commentary. Uh, Listen to this commentary, rather. Nikita fell asleep. <laughs> Nikita Koloff? Oh. Nikita Cruz, Jeff? <laughs> La Femme Nikita? Oh, ooh. our Nikita references are about <laughs> Next, after Raw, the USA Network. <laughs> La Femme Nikita. <laughs> I never watched oh. that show, and then I found out it was a movie first before there was a show. I was like, what the heck? I, I've never, wow. I never watched La Femme Nikita. Well, you should come to my shop and buy it. I have the complete series for sale. Is it good? I'd never watch it. I don't know. And next week, Rob will be preempted by the Westminster Kennel Dog Show. Oh, jeez, I remember that. They were pissed me off back then. I'm like, who cares? Oh, yeah. Who wants to see dogs? Who wants to see wrestlers? My, my dog. Who wants to see puppies? Yeah, J.R. Oh. Uh, Lauder. Will there be puppies there, J.R.? <laughs> I doubt it, King. Oh, forget it. I, I love my dog, though. I want everyone to see my, my dog. J-Man almost got tore up by the guard dog I lived with at the time. Oh really? Not not really. The dog oh. was tied up, but oh yeah, okay. Yeah, like came back there and just he, he was a guard dog. He barked any he, he hated it, all strangers. It looked like he's gonna rip your throat out. Oh uh, poor guy. I mean that sucks. You you get down you get down there to see you and then almost attacked by a dog. Yeah, so it's okay, Pete. Pete. 
J-Man, if you're listening, we miss you right now. Yeah. Happy late birthday. <laughs> Happy late birthday to you. Yeah. Uh, thanks you know, for, Jeff, uh, I gotta say, since we're all over the wall in this video, I might as well bring it up. Your Skype not? profile pic, Jeff, you look like so, like, dignified. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that that's Barry Burton from Resident Evil 1 in the live-action version of, like, the movie at the beginning of the game. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh my I, God. I, I, I love Resident Evil that much. I am just... You almost oh, became just... a Jeff sandwich. <laughs> it makes sense now. You're right. <laughs> what is this? Chris was our old partner, you know. Let me handle this. All right, so have me, a collected 20 posts yet? Me and my British friend Daniel can do Resident Evil, like the first game, line for line. Just that, seriously. Don't open that door. But Chris is... <laughs> what I is... The Oscar line is when he gets impaled by the tyrant. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I love uh, I love Chris when, um, when the tyrant is getting ready to attack Chris. He's like, you can't kill me! Well... Yes, it can. <laughs> oh, his time ran out. Oh. All right, so have we gotten, jeez, uh, the 20 pose yet? Uh, whoa. What the in the world? This ain't Star Tropics. Get out of here. <laughs> hello, can, hello, hello. Two can Sam over here. Plum, uh, wait, dang it, you took my line. Well, this is plum stupid. What is going on here? <laughs> Follow your nose to wherever it goes. <laughs> yeah, you punch me in his nose. Follow that. It's stupendous. <laughs> it's putrid. <laughs> oh, he he's got a watermelon, an orange, and a strawberry. He is the fruity loops man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. He he's the fruity O's. He's the generic. He can't be fruit loops. <laughs> yeah, not the uh, software fruity loops. No, no. For the loops, PC. Right, time to learn another song here. You see, do you? Has anyone ever used Fruity Loops? Yeah, I did okay. briefly back like ten years ago, I think. Yeah, I was just curious. I didn't know if people. I mean, people are using it. I just never met anyone. In I my used to field. eat them. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I had to move to Raisin Bran though. I need my fiber. You get no peach vibe. Yeah. Whoa. Lately, oh I've been into multi-grain Cheerios. Ah, see that—that's a good choice too. I, I decided to go with—I had it was between Honey Nut Cheerios and Raisin Bran when I went shopping, so I went with Raisin Bran because I kind of like it. So this ain't the Twilight Zone, but a Twilight Zone, the Twilight Realm, but um, I guess it's like the the uh, good someone uh, a different uh -huh. version of the you know those giant birds you use in the Twilight Realm. It's like the, uh, this is that like, bird before someone blew its face off. Someone yeah, literally yeah, yeah. calls. Someone calls Sega. They they just took Panzer Dragoon and ripped it off. Yeah, and dang it, I got started. Ronnie, over. you need you need to get good, Ronnie. Yeah, you need to get good. Get good. I still love that video, by the way. It ain't about get good, get good, get good. F you. <laughs> no, it ain't about getting good. Oh, it isn't about getting good. Oh. Yeah, the, the guy that did the video, he's, a, he, he's my brother, and uh, you know, I was kidding. Um, <laughs> From another mother. <laughs> yeah. The, with the Dudley boys here. <laughs> Dudley. <laughs> oh my God, the Dudley no, boys. Uh, my, my friend Demon, my high school friend that was with me in my uh, Captain Planet review a while back. Um, he his name is Demon, and like uh, since I kind of look like Bubba Ray, if like uh, if I gain more weight because I have glasses, my friends come out like, yeah, I'm Bubba Ray and. Devon, a uh, Demon, Demon Dudley, me and him with the Dudley <laughs> boys. <laughs> have brothers and different mothers. Yeah, I'm Rumble. would be Spike. And, and, and this is my, this is my brother, Rumble. <laughs> oh you sound like goodness. the Undertaker more than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So is the Undertaker retired now? He's getting close. Oh no. Okay. Almost. He's uh -huh. he, he's starting to look at, he's still in great shape for his age, but he's starting to show it at the same time. He's been doing it thirty years. He's pretty soon he's gonna uh, be done. Well, I figured according to the script they were probably gonna kick it after he lost the championship a couple years ago or whatever. Yeah, and or when he lost to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Uh, well, I figured I figured that was in the script. You know, he was starting to work his way out. Yeah, but I'm glad he go out like that because I mean that. 
it's a sucky way to go out, I know, but I still don't agree with that bills. to this day. Undertaker, I mean, I know that he didn't protest it and he's, you know, he's uh, he's okay with it. But man, as a fan, and not be, Roddy Piper said this too, Mark Calloway should have been the only guy to be undefeated at WrestleMania. He earned that legacy. Yes. Well, you, you better write a letter to the script writers and be like, well, you, you can't need change to change it now. This. I mean, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, go back in time. Say, say you invented a time machine. That was a meme know. after that happened to show Doc Brown and Marmy Fly saying, "We gotta go back, Doc. <laughs> we lost. We gotta go back." <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, Brock Tannen. <laughs> oh man. Oh. jeez. Oh, yeah. They fly. Jokes, you, everybody. Chicken? We're full of them. <laughs> Memory goes, hey, uh, but Biff, you gotta understand one thing. What the hell is that? He throws that <laughs> gold frisbee at him, and you. <laughs> you know he's a stand-up comedian. Who? Uh, Biff. I thought I said she. Have you ever Have you ever heard the song that he wrote? No, no, I've heard about it, but I've never heard it. What? It's pretty funny, cheesy gotta, but funny. I gotta listen to it after we get done with this, cause yeah, I've heard about it. I completely forgot. Oh, what are you laughing at, butthead? <laughs> Check out your mom. Uh, make like a tree and get out of here. It's leave. You idiot. He makes fun of himself. You idiot. It's like, that's what we, that's what we do in real life. We look at our young self and think you idiot. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, we all did a bunch of stupid stuff when we were younger, and it's like, oh, uh, why would you do that? Yeah, Biff Tannen put himself on the list. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back uh, to Hyrule Castle Town again. Everybody, we got jokes. We got everything you need here at the Ronnie Let's Play. Well, we got all the pose we need here to free Roused Hour from his curse. Hose before hose. Yeah, as Shane Assume looks on in the background. <laughs> Zap roused hours is what they call him, sir. You mean the guy from Crime Patrol? Yeah. <laughs> him yeah, as yeah. well, but uh, fi Final Sacrifice is a Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode. Yeah. Oh. S2K, no. a, poor, a poor man's version of Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> um, yeah, but man, I wish there was more Crime Patrol games. Those are the best to make fun of. Yeah. Well, here's something to make fun of. This this uh, shop right here. Bunch of idiots. Someday we should do Night Trap. J-Man did it. Uh -huh. Oh, we already yeah. did it. Here we go. One and two and three and four and dance. Jeff, what is your uncle doing there? <laughs> well, you know, he had to get a job somewhere. He is an alcoholic. Freaking sonograph. What is this, uninvited? He stole the sonograph from that game? <laughs> Man, I love this guy and this music. This is great. I'm having a good time over here. I love how this store is like this, but the one that runs the whole thing is that little yeah. midget. Yeah. Who's the complete opposite of of, of uh, him dancing over here. Yeah. Oh, and one and two and jazzercise. Yeah. Disco kid. This is kind of nice. For some like, reason... For some reason, when I first played this, I thought getting that uh, armor I just bought was required in the game, so I just kept on grinding and grinding and grinding. And someone told me, no, that's a side quest. Oh, you don't have to get that. Oh, okay. Can we just stay here, Ronnie? This is nice. No, Woo. I'm getting ready to leave. I can't Woo. stand this. Woo. Woo. I'd rather be in GameStop. Uh, no, I'd rather be here. This is fun. Let's dance. I'd with rather them. be in Come your on. shop. Ronnie, have you ever, have you ever <laughs> tried to go into, the, into this store before they buy it? Nah, not that I remember. They won't let you in unless you get your shoes shined. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, Mary boy. Poppins over here now, whoever that is. No, this is... Hey, baby, you should get out of here. her. So, Aww. That's the that maiden. place was cool. That was the human version Spent all day the in there. That was the human <laughs> version The human version of the maid, Mrs. Beakley in DuckTales. Hey, he did leave at night. What did he do with that woman? Ronnie, what were you <laughs> doing with that older lady? You have to find out next week on to catch a predator. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> well, it won't be a predator because she's of age. But anyway, to catch, to catch a milk. <laughs> oh jeez, Telma. Sorry, uh, I was... but uh, let's uh, go and dig under Telma's bar. I guess is what we're Maybe doing. Maybe she's the predator. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. I like All right, that. Alright, Roused Hour's house. Roused Hour, Roused Hour. What? Where's that? All right, he should be free now. He's made of gold. Duh. Nice. Well, he's still made of gold, though. At least he can move. And he's 
He's got like some big chompers, his teeth. Yeah. Got the great fairy's tears. The, you better go find out if he, he... I think he's got some fairies in like a cage in the back. You better cry, fairies. You better yeah. Cry. Yeah. And he's got emeralds for tits. Yeah, <laughs> that is a little weird. These fairies' tears taste salty? Mm. Oh, wait, you got to collect a total of 60? Jeez, what's going to reward us with after that? It never is, right? Yeah, I guess we have to find out. Ooh, and ooh, and we need to go back to that store. That was catchy. No, I can't stand that store. Stupid store, it burns <laughs> down. I hope everybody inside <laughs> burns down with them. <laughs> oh, God. No, no seriously, like... Cat. I've heard uh -huh. people like wish stuff like that on people. Like this guy I used to work with, he was a waiter, and he got mad at these uh, cheerleaders for like stiffing him. And granted, I don't blame him for getting mad for them for stiffing him, not tipping him good. But he goes, Yeah, they didn't tip me good. I hope their bus crashes and they die in the fire, they bang on the windows trying to get out. Uh, jeez. Uh, Whoa. What Whoa. In the world? Whoa. But I do hope those people in that shop die, though, and burn alive. Anyway. Uh, and, uh, ooh, and ooh! And ooh! Ooh, and I'm on fire! Ah. <laughs> oh, right. they're good people. They're just oh. trying to make a living. Oh, this guy dies in a fire too. I'm just kidding. I was, I'm a. He, he's a clown who didn't pass clown college. Jeez, Ronnie, you let yourself go. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's me at 40 or 50. Oh, jeez, four. That's four years from now. I better get in shape. Um, <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, here's a good here's a good thing about this part. I'm willing to endure this BS right here. Whoa, the cocos. Uh, and like, because now we're going to the uh, Real Valley or Desert Oasis to get ready for that part in part 18. Oh no! He's gonna get shot out of the cannon. It's like a Mario 64. Yahoo! Whoa. Yahoo! And we will continue with that part in part 18. Until then, God bless and take care. Goodbye. See ya. That was real off the wall. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 18. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs, Jeff, and Star Soldier. Yes. I is this Dune? Because this doesn't look like Zelda. There's going to be worms everywhere. And we're finally in the Desert Colossus. Hey, I'm calling up Sony. They're ripping off Colossus. Hold on, where's Sony's <laughs> shit? Yeah. Yeah, Tibbs, you saw that picture I posted in Hyrule Warriors? Yeah, I've seen a lot of things there. Be more specific. It says, like, uh, well, the one I just posted, like, today or yesterday, like, a Breath of the Wild. People are comparing it to a Desert Colossus or... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're That's... comparing it to Dark Souls, Shadow of the Colossus, and all that. Yeah, they're like, don't forget where it came from. But they were all inspired by The Legend of Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tibbs is just like, I've seen some... Uh-huh. Wait, what was that, Star Soldier? Yeah, what was that PlayStation 4 game that was supposed to be the sequel to Shadow of the Colossus? Oh, what's that the called? The Last Guardian. Yeah. Yeah. Like... yeah. Oh, yeah, The Last Guardian. Hopefully that was the last one. <laughs> no, it's the last guardian. Anyways, let's too. talk about good game. <laughs> no, no, I want. I'm gonna. I'm gonna finance the last guardian two electric boogaloo. It's on. Like Donkey Kong. <laughs> I don't know. Sixty four. Just make it good. <laughs> Donkey Kong oh, sixty four. Oh, it'll have a budget of like four dollars. It'll be the best. It'll be the best RPG maker has to offer. <laughs> so I yeah, don't get what does she have one sharp tooth there I, I know she's supposed to be all weird looking and all that because uh, this is a parallel to men well, I guess the realm of twilight don't have any dentists yeah I think the real question is why do those guys have shields for faces not right no the one question is why are these abominations existing murder them I didn't say well, that. Well, apparently, um, Miyamoto-san took some bad uh, mushrooms that day. <laughs> I walk into the forest, and I just eat random mushrooms. You know, whatever. Yeah. He never told us what he did when he went around his neighborhood as a kid. 
The mushrooms from uh, the rundown? Oh, gosh, no. Oh. Link. A link between the light and the darkness. A link between worlds. <laughs> Wait, are we, are we talking about two worlds? Yeah. One world. Half a world. What's that song called on SmackDown vs. Raw? This is what it's like when worlds collide. Oh, I love that song, Power Man 5000. Yeah. How come it's not Power Man over 9000? Because did, uh -huh. didn't the Dudley Boys use that as their theme, didn't they? Yeah, get up, get up, get up, drop the bombshell. Or that. What's yeah. going on the I, world? Yeah. I like Power Man. Same 5000. group. And it's dark, everybody. It's nighttime. Time to go to bed. Oh, All right, Gerudo. Desert. Love the music in this section of the game. Oh, there's another oh, pose. No. Uh, you and your pose. Yeah. It's the ghost of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> it's the ghost of Patrick Swayze. Ah. Dang it, Ronnie. Too soon. <laughs> too, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Hashtag. Swayze things. You ruined my joke, Ronnie. <laughs> I made a, I think I made a joke like right after Patrick Swayze passed away. It done in good taste, but someone kind of got mad. You shouldn't joke like that. I said something about, well, now you know he's he's in the movie Ghost. Now he is a ghost. And, oh, and then someone, oh, 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 you shouldn't have said that. Like, oh, come on. <laughs> it's done in good taste. Like I'm not the only one that thought that. Yeah, now they can do Ghost too. Yeah. Yeah. Go, oh, this go. time it's for real. <laughs> yeah. Ghost 2 also named Electric Boogaloo because we gotta get him dancing again. Man, he was great in Dirty yeah. Dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah, give oh. Demi Moore some work. Oh, yeah, exactly. She needs, <laughs> she, she, she needs a job. Um, Have you guys seen the video of Rob, Sh of Rob Schneider and his wife playing Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the Game Grumps? It's so awkward because he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Oh yeah, yeah, no, definitely. They they have no clue what they're talking about. Like, what what with the movie Pixels? I mean, his buddy, you know, tried to make a movie about video games, and he hasn't played a video game in thirty five years. <laughs> well, neither had his character. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's why I don't know. I just even my mom was like, "Wow, I can't believe they came out with this movie." It's like I at least played Mario for the longest time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. and your mom made her debut on the S2K channel in the first video. Oh, yes, my mother. Oh, that was when I was at home. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, we were playing oh. Put Your Clothes in the Dryer for the NES. Oh, yeah, Put Your Clothes in the Dryer. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what was that? Was that seven or more? Was it? No, it was like nine years ago, wasn't it? Uh, 2009. It 2009? Okay, so I no, even, it was only... Uh -huh. When I watched that video, I even asked Ronnie, well, what was that? <laughs> yeah. Well, what is so this right mom... here? Oh, is no, this the Bridge of Elden? Is this the bridge of ECW? It looks like a tower. And it is. Yep, the it's bridge of ECW. Why would they put it over here? I guess. <laughs> so this is like uh, the city dump, I guess. They put all the bridge. Well, the other bridge was in uh, Farron Woods. Now this is in the <laughs> desert. Uh, that that's a pretty certain amount of what the hell? Yeah. She's got some good force powers. Yeah, she's using her telekinetic powers to uh. Teleport that bridge back to uh, where it belongs, a part of that bridge. How did it end up here? Right? Well, what the, what, we gotta repair this thing, Gene. What, what are we gonna do? Well, it teleported somehow, you know, halfway across the world. Alright, let's go get a wagon. Yeah. And then they come to get in. They're like, well, where the hell is it? You said it was right here. Yep. Right, here we go. Oh, what, what I like to think is after they took this part of the bridge, they were like flying in, like, space time or something like that and just carelessly dropped it oh yeah, yeah. and also that thing is falling yeah. right off there's no mortar or anything well Come there's on. there's glue super there's... smash brothers <laughs> yeah, super... well, if you look at it those super... outlines of where it broke are there before they even break it yeah super glue did you just say you're gonna hold up a bridge a 30 ton bridge with super glue it's, it's twilight glue is that is that Link's brand of gluey cells? Yeah. Yeah. Man, He's just what, they're trying to they get him. To, uh huh. That's a lot of horses. They, they could have used that in Final Destination Five. Yes. Well, he, he's trying to sell the glue, but he doesn't talk, 
So he's just standing there holding the glue. Like, say something, Link. Talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> buy, buy Link's glue now. You'll love it as much as he does. Yeah. Like, All right. <laughs> It's gonna. It's interesting that the Breath of the Wild is actually gonna be fully voice acted, but I, I hope Link doesn't talk. I know, right? You should not uh, talk. They what do you think? What, talk. what do you think of Breath of the Wild, Star Soldier? Well, hopefully, you know they get the right actress to play Link this time. <laughs> is the actress? If it's all gonna be voice dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Miyamoto is gonna go get high or something, and then voice everybody because he's lost his mind. Yeah, it, it's it's gonna be great. It might even be better than Mega Man Five. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know you know what though. Only you sell two copies. I I know it's a little weird to bring up something political on here, but they should get Donald Trump to talk about it because nothing could be wrong with it if he likes the game. He's like it's it's huge. It's the best game ever. Everybody will love it. We're gonna Play rebuild. It. I'm gonna rebuild the bridge of Elden. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> And people would buy it. There's those kind of people who would listen the, to him. In the past, games have been stupid. They have been lame. Yeah. But I'm telling you, this time we're going to do what's never been done before. All right. And uh, this MP uh. went downhill a long time ago. <laughs> oh, this one turned out pretty. I'm liking this. This is We're having a good time, guys. That's why we got Star Soldier here. We need to make this LP great again. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, a, a few comments from you, Star Soldier, about making it great. We need to cheer you on. Come on. Speech. Yeah. Speech. I'm Canadian. I don't know all this U.S. stuff. Oh, good, good point. You know, enjoy, your, <laughs> en en enjoy your free health care and your uh, your model, oh. uh, your celebrity model of a prime minister. I don't know. So he looks you, like to you me. You should. <laughs> a lot of American celebrities should be moving there pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Except they don't realize your 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 long uh, you know immigration process that they have not discovered yet. Yeah, Amy Schumer, you're allowed to live here if you like. Now wait a minute. Well, why not Mexico? Yeah. What's wrong with Mexico? Uh, everything. Oh, Mexico kind of looks like this stage. Yeah. <laughs> we're alive. Hey, you could get you you could get work building the wall. Yeah. 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 We're alive here in Mexico, King. Ah, did you get your green card, Jr.? <laughs> Shut up, King. Uh, what a racist comment that was. That's pathetic. Oh, shut up, Jr. I actually, I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna move to the Falklands because the British will just let almost anyone move there who's willing to. Uh, I'm gonna go hang out there. Anyone want to join me? There's more sheep than people. <laughs> if I can meet William Regal, sure. I don't know. I may I may have to Brexit stage left. Oh! I right, got two more pulls uh, here. A, a rush and a British pun at the same time. It's great. <laughs> mean man, today's Tom Sawyer. Mean mean thrive. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, making making fun of my rush. Rush is the greatest band that ever came out of Canada. Uh oh oh no. Look at oh. oh. Oh, cool. And Pots. Link shall inherit the earth. Link, Link. I, I got, I gotta say, Star Soldier. I think there should be a rule for everybody coming into Canada. They at least need to know one Gordon Lightfoot song before they're allowed in. Should be just a rule. Already Lightfoot? I don't know a Gordon Lightfoot song. You don't know if Gordon Lightfoot. If you could Lightfoot. read my mind, love. <laughs> Hey, oh yeah, come on, Gordon Lightfoot is the best. He really is. Oh come on, Jeff, leave Kevin. Oh, I mean, uh, Star Soldier alone. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I just. I, I you're not I leaving. I know you're that. not leaving alone. Yeah. <laughs> I like talking to people. Do we I'm need to get uh, Chris Crocker in here? Leave him alone. <laughs> I'm a people person. What the hell is wrong with you people? I have seen the light as we go back to the surface. Oh, no. I've seen the top of the mount, and it is good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my shoulder got some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fire. <laughs> Pshaw, shut up, Dill Hole, I got some. No way, but it. Oh, you two little bastards. Oh. 
<laughs> you look spilled. I'm, I'm watching like Seinfeld commentaries on the collection, and one of the writers is co- doing commentary on the episodes. He sound like his voice is so like, oh, so right here we wrote this for Seinfeld. He sounds like McVicker. It's probably him that did the voiceover. <laughs> oh, don't oh, boss hog God. this game. Oh. <laughs> Last time Star, ah. Star Soldier was with us in this LP, it was part three. Gore. Did you catch that? No, what were you saying, the, Ronnie? La- the last time Star Soldier was in this LP was in part three. Oh, wow. Star Soldier, where you been, buddy? We got we to gotta talk about your performance. <laughs> uh, all I have to say is the word sucks. Yeah, we're... No, uh, it's much better. Yeah, the, the I, other I, night, the other night, Star Soldier pulled a Jeff and didn't make it in the commentary. Hey, hey, Star Soldier, don't feel bad. I work for myself, and I still don't have time for this most of the time. <laughs> oh, yes. Time to learn another skill. Kill it with fire. What the heck was that? I just heard a drop of water. Oh, I was having a drink. I opened up my orange carrot juice bottle and it went that okay. was timed perfectly <laughs> we meet again at last the skills I t- to teach you have entered the realm of true secrecy they are forgotten ways that I can't do I can't do story narration like Tibbs among techniques I shall be teaching you are some that you may do even my, endanger my you my Luna impersonation yeah do Luna it, persona do it. impersonation <laughs> It's time for the Raya Ramble Sable. Last time I taught you the Helm Splitter. Sable. <laughs> oh, nice. That's the Hunter Hearst Helmsley Splitter. Didn't you already learn Helm Splitter, like, a couple episodes ago? Yeah, yeah but this is a recap. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm this sorry. This is my favorite move. Now he's gonna learn the Mortal Kombat draw. What you you just call Finish. it, Dan? Go home. Yeah. Well, he suffers from withdrawals. <laughs> he's you know, gonna he, give him some Ambien. If, yeah, if you don't draw your sword, you, he suffers from withdrawals. That fail. <laughs> you must. Ooh, you must. The... <laughs> Tell me You're what to do with my blade, ma'am. Oh, come here, little boy. I'll teach you what to do with your blade. Whoa, have a seat over there. <laughs> hey, Chris Hansen, where did you come from? Yeah. I'd like to know where you came from, sir. What are you doing here? I was just talking about swords, my good man. Oh, you're doing a lot of talking right in this chat right here. I talk all the time because I'm... Hey, um... I want my money back. He said that that deals death. It didn't kill him. Oh, wait, he's already dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Mortal Kombat draw has been passed on. I don't think I ever. I don't think I ever got this back then. All right, the fifth hidden skill: the Mortal Draw. Draw. No one draws to this hits the ground. Draw. Draw. Two more hidden skills draw. left. May we meet again? Back in the Gerudo Desert. Where the hell am I? Why does my butt hurt? Because your butt hurt. Ah. There's a video where Arch Fiend sat Why down. Why is there? Sorry, there's, I'm gonna say there's Arch, there was a video where Art there's where Arch Fiend sat down and he goes, Ah, my butt's hurt. Oh, it's my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> that douchebag. He should put himself on the list, the douchebag list. No. <laughs> DB list, woo-woo! Oh, I got a yellow rupee. Thanks for telling me again. <laughs> you got 10 rubies. You got 10... Yes, I know I have 10 rubies. Jeez. It's like that one... Uh, what what Zelda game? I think it's for the DS where that thing always talks to you. Like, you have slain, slain one enemy. or I, just, I can't think of the name of the game. It's annoying. I don't know. Hmm. It doesn't ring a bell. Okay. Oh, never mind. But... I just remember that. Be Phantom Hourglass. What? What did you say, sir? Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, with that thing, that blue thing, always talking to you. I've played Phantom Hourglass, and I can't think of what you're talking about. Oh. Oh wait, is that Skyward Sword? Don't 
Groupa? Yes. Oh, that, fee, it, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah that's not on DS. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't play a lot of Zeldas. You know what? I'm a Sega like guy, I... so you know what? Yeah. Hey, I like Link to the Past, okay? We've already discussed this. Oh, look at this pig. Oh, just like Jeff getting roasted here. Well, Jeff, ah. just so you know, I am, I am also planning on getting Sonic Mania, so Sega represent. Alright, represent! Yeah, we talked yeah. about you that. Yeah, we talked a little bit about that last uh, last time I did a live stream was was the Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic oh, the got Hedgehog. shot in the butt. Yeah, he's getting he's getting clobbered. He's, oh, I got a key. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hold up in the air. Yeah. Hey guys, look, I got a small key. Let's clobber him to death. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, they all disappeared all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> well, he went through that door. We should be okay. Oh, that is hard. <laughs> yeah, I am not getting on that. There is no way in hell that's happening. What is that? That's what she said. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, it's time. Uh-huh. Hey. Oh, that's all oh, great. Now we're going to have Peter flag this video. <laughs> well, you you did already stab a few boars. Or, yeah, pigs before. Boars, that's it. Many Here, we power. got bacon now. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mini boss battle here. Oh, jeez. Bacon makes my one. dick rock hard. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, giant hammer here. I, giant I, hammer. I feel... Come on, you have to use innuendos, Tibbs. Not just straight out and say it. In, in your Windows <laughs> that was actually 10? a reference, but none of you got it. Oh, dang In your Windows 10? I innuendo face. I don't know. Oh. oh innuendo. It. Get it? In your endo? Ha 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 ha. You used to be smoking that endo. <laughs> endo I love his reaction me. here. I am. So oh. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Yeah, we showed him. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, wait. Oh. He's showing us. Link. Whoa, look at the fire. This is cool. Maybe you should run. <laughs> yeah. Fire hey. is bad. Hey. He's use like, I'm, I'm back awake now. I'm okay. You use that hog to get out of here. Ah. Uh, I don't want to go through that fire. Are you retarded? All right, come on. What? Oh, ouch. Where are you going, Ronnie? Oh wait, wrong door. <laughs> get good, Roddy. Yeah, get good. Get, get on the beast. Come on. Oh, what is this thing? As soon as, well, as, as Ronnie, you want to mount Brock Lesnar? Here we go. As soon as Ronnie yeah. dies from smoke inhalation. There we go. Mr. Ah. Barge. All right, so we cut through all that. All we did is just go through the desert some more, and then. Straight into Arbiter's Grounds, which we'll see in part 19. Until then, God bless and take care. See ya. Until next time. See ya. Only in part 19? <laughs> <laughs> These things take time, man. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're slow, lazy bastards, this to be honest. Much Look how long Ocarina of Time took. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 19, where I am now in the Arbiter's Grounds. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man. Ayo! Alright, so finally in the fourth dungeon of the game here, and this is a pretty cool dungeon, or whatever the heck you want to call it. It's a, it's a Temple of Time. No, that's oh. later on in the game, but anyway. That's not like the Spirit I, Temple. Uh, I see, like, a big asshole. <laughs> Whoa, it's more like uh, the spirit temple here on, for GameCube. We'll see. Yeah. So I, yeah. Feel like I feel like I'm playing the Mummy Returns here for GameCube. There was actual Mummy Returns game. I never played it. Yeah. Probably had that uh, Brendan uh, Fraser yeah. guy. Brendan Fraser. Fraser? Yeah. Fraser Crane. 
All right, so yeah, this dungeon right here, I do remember it being pretty cool. Took me a while though to figure out how to beat the boss, how to get help from someone. We'll get to that a little <laughs> yeah. bit later. Was it in a, uh, a Nintendo Power Counselor? Uh, yeah. No, uh, no, it's, from my, it's, it's actually from my old friend Heather. I had the webcam pointed toward the TV and she was telling me what to do. <laughs> I was like, how do I attack this boss? This is annoying. She goes, oh, okay, do this right here. Oh, okay. And <laughs> she said contact registry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what well, they tell on my video, let's get help with Twilight Princess. <laughs> Uh, whoa! Oh, oh. We, got, we gotta keep moving right I, there, or you die. I, I'm getting that sinking feeling. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, small key. Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh no, the mummy returns bugs. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, that, yeah, that kind of reminded me of a, a Ratchet and Clank game. Huh. Love them. Uh, let me fill up my lantern. Oh, my lantern. Oh, yeah. Man, that's a waste of alcohol. Come on. <laughs> yeah. He got Mr. Oh, Leahy's yeah. coffee. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. He got the Crown Royal. Yeah, more to drink, bud. We had the shop in this game, J-Man Shop, and you can buy all the alcohol and liquor <laughs> you can afford. Oh, man. All right. Whoa. Man, this is... Man, this really does remind me a lot of the mummy. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa. Remember those little skeletons that, wherever the mummies they were, that attacked, that attacked everybody, and the mummy returns in that forest, wherever they were at? I've actually never seen that movie. Oh, have you seen the first one? Yes. Okay. The second one's worth watching. It's pretty good. I only watched because of The Rock, which made a brief appearance, but anyway. Oh. Uh, well, what is... Well, you could probably just watch The Scorpion King, and it'll, it'll explain it all. Yeah. Okay, whoa. This is... Oh, is this, uh, oh, these are the pose. Whoa, the pose. This is some forest temple stuff here. Right. Whoa, wait a minute. Hey, open that up. I need that door open. Shit. Whoa. Poltergeist. Being surrounded, yeah, being surrounded by some gangster pose here. Ah. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. Some uninvited stuff right here. You know, this is the this is the single biggest thing I don't like about this game. Is this damn wolf shit. Oh man, this is pretty cool. No. What's so bad about it? It's a damn gimmick. Well, so is wrestling. Yeah, but that's different. Like the wolf pack. You got like AR and King and stuff. It's awesome. Well, the, I mean, Jim Cornette and and uh, you know The Rock and uh, you know. I don't see it in the game. Where are they at? This is a cool, oh, innovative man. thing. This is a cool, the innovative player. thing here for Zelda. I mean, transform to a freaking wolf. I mean, when I saw that in the trailer, I was like, freaking ECW. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, there. You happy? Transform a human link. Because J-Man don't like it. So here we go. Yes. yes. Now, you you know you had the power. You transformed to a wolf. Come on. No, I would, I would have Nintendo Power. Yeah. Or is it a... rupees? Ah, nah. better. No, hard container. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Uh, it, like uh, this game, the wolf transforming reminds me of that song from Metallica of Wolf and Man. What about um, Master of Puppets? Yeah, Master of ECW. Uh, what's this right here? Probably oh. a map. Probably the compass or map or something. Map the map. Map. Oh, a dungeon map. Yep. <laughs> uh, no. Uh -oh. Wolf. <laughs> see, you did as a, on purpose. <laughs> see, as a wolf, you gotta do stuff like that. You can't do that as a human. Well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Open up a secret passage here. Going down. Going down. Oh, man, Johnson. You're going down. You're going down. Oh, 
Oh, this reminds me of now it's a Shadow Temple stuff here. Too bad Lens of Truth is not in this part. Uh, this is like the the fucking windmill in Crackhead Village. Yeah. Whoa. Is that one of those re-deads? Evil Dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a small key. Oh. There we go. Well, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get your bank up. Yeah, but you don't have to remind me what it is every time. You know what? That's true. At least they don't do it with the hearts. <laughs> you right. got a heart. <laughs> That'd be annoying, yeah. You already have full energy. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. And say what you want about the first Ninja Turtles game. At least the first Ninja Turtles game, the beeping stops after a few seconds when you're low on energy. Right. All right, so uh, more pose in here. No, wait. Are those pose or just lights on the wall? Who knows? Oh, wait a minute. There's one. There's some paranormal activity going on. Paranormal activity for GameCube. Whoa, that was... um. That was PG-13. Yeah. There's a tag team called PG-13. <laughs> I, I don't doubt it. <laughs> no joke. Uh, well, he's all out of steam. All right, yeah. Reminds me of Shoutgate where I got it off steam. All right, moving on here to this door. What the heck? Whoa! Those huge rats. No, don't kill the rats. Oh. <laughs> These are the evil rats, though. Well, alright. Oreo's evil brothers. Come on, push good. it! Oh, I say push it. Push it! Run. Pull it! Pull it! Pull it! Oh, wait. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Pull my finger. Yeah. Me. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's right. I think I... the viewers uh, pull it anyways. Myself yeah. included. Yeah. All right, so two pulls are down. we got to kill two more to open the big door. This is totally the spirit temple. A mixture of spirit and, uh, I guess, shadow temple, oh. maybe. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. As I don't know where I'm going, let me go back. Hut, hut, hut. Bat tracking. Good old bat tracking like in Zelda and Metroid. Metroid Vania. Here we go. Oh, uh, was that? Yeah, it was the big key. Right? No, that's still a small key. No, the big key is the, the, for the boss door. Uh -huh. Oh, watch out. Aimed for just a small key. Watch out for the spikes here. Yeah, I remember this part, man. Jeez. Those spices come out of nowhere. You really got to watch. Kind of like the firewalls, like in Fire Temple for uh, Ocarina of Time, where oh, okay. they, they, they just get right in your face right there. You got to watch out. The spikes do the same thing here. I was thinking like uh, Prince of Persia. No, I never played that game. What? I played uh -huh. the uh, Action 52 version of Prince of Persia. No, I'm <laughs> okay. All right. I pull this lever and. Well, okay, that... you can uh, like a long time never play uh, Prince of Persia. Yeah, right. <laughs> For Super Nin make it Super Nintendo. It's a, it's a good game. It's a good game. Well, I've heard a lot about it. The Fresh Prince of Persia. There you go. Doom, right. doom, doom, doom. Uncle Phil. Mashed potatoes. The compass. Yep. It's got all the ash you'll ever need. <laughs> oh, crap. We're, we're turning into Alex Jones again. Yeah. Imagine him doing a let's play. Um, you gotta turn this. 
And then uh, Donald Trump will be your president. <laughs> yeah. Deal with it. Oh, what? Oh, I, <laughs> I thought I could roll through that, idiot. Okay, so I killed those. Remember, remember those, like, those creepy uh, bloody tampon things, whatever they were from Ocarina of Time, the Shadow Temple that creeped up on you? They're freaking ugly. Oh, um. Oh yeah, I was I was thinking of my ex girlfriend. Um, yes, yes, I can remember. Yeah, no, man, that's freaking creepy, disgusting. They may kind of remind me of those right there, except not as creepy and disgusting. Oh, there's a little midget Castlevania skeletons. Thankfully, they're not riding motorcycles here. Hey, they are highly challenged. Yeah, highly challenged. Oh, wow. Whoosh, it blew up my face. Damn. They're, yeah, they're like uh, they're like the Taliban or something. Kamikaze. Right, yeah. yeah keep coming. Come on, stop coming. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. Say what? That. Keep coming. What's wrong with that? Oh, jeez. Now there's his leader. Oh, ouch. Yeah, it's like, wait, what the hell was that? Oh, they, see? They're just oh, like the Red they Dead. They, they, scream, okay. they scream, they freeze you. Come on, you can't scream in real life make someone freeze. Come on. I can make them, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you just collected a red rupee there and didn't uh, do the uh, animation. Whatever. Yeah, that is good. Probably, I guess the game. Yeah, I think it's only out of the treasure boxes, which is, I mean, it's still lame. Yeah, or well, no, I think it still it still does that anyway. If not in the treasure boxes, but I think the game, maybe I collected it earlier and not and uh, they remembered. I don't know. Yeah. All right, let's dig through here. There should be another. Uh, yeah, there it is. Come on, boy. Pull it, boy. Come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. Oh, there's a third pole. Get him, Pete. Get him. That's why Pete barked all the time at the D-House. He saw demons all the time. Our that house. thought I was gangster. Yeah, our house was like the uninvited house. And <laughs> the uninvited. Pete was like a, like a deranged dog form of Wiley Coyote. Yeah, right, yeah. It's a good thing he was tied up that day, or he would probably have been torn up. Yeah, I know. I would have been uh, the freaking Roadrunner. Actually, no, because the Roadrunner always got away, but whatever. Yeah. Damn it. Well, let's run over here, back to the main room, to get the third torch lit up with the Poe Soul. Back to human form. Yeah. Ah, oh, idiot. <laughs> Stop rolling to the things. You... Man, freaking clumsy. You need to you need to quit drinking my crown royal. That's all I'm saying. Your crown royal. Ah, oh, see, dang it. Yeah. See. <laughs> you need to stay up out of my stash. Come on. Yeah. Whoa! What the <laughs> heck? What are those? Blame from? it on. The dog. Blame it on the dog. Look at ghost rats. Jeez. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Get off me. Get the heck out of here, it's too creepy. Yes. As the wolf unlocks the door, or probably Midna did that actually. Yeah. Here we go, in the main room again. Light, light the third torch. I drive so pole. I drive so pole. Points of reference. Alright. Jump up here and this giant freaking chandelier. What's Pondo number four? Yeah, J-Man has not been in several parts of this LP because uh, the collecting and all that stuff. So I saved the dungeon parts for you. That's right. All right. Because they're after the the tiers of VCW has been collected, but we've been collecting a lot of pose. Yeah, I I oppose the pose. Yeah. Ah, oh, what the heck? What is that freaking? 
See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Not the enemy, but the pull of the chain. You don't need the damn wolf dog bullshit to fucking do that shit. Link's doing it right there. No, I mean, what to... We don't need to... The, uh, the, uh, the gimmick is not needed. You need to uh, you need the wolf to dig it up. Gimmick. Oh, your Link face is a gimmick. Could, uh, shield. You could use a shield to dig shit up. I'm just saying. Shield. Ah, oh, come on. You already show. See, I'm sick of that. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Is that like, uh, like those enemies would drop on the 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 twenty twenty dollars, yeah. and you know, Link was just like collect like a boss. But then when it's a treasure chest, then it fucking shows up. Did Nintendo yeah. even test this before they released it? I guess not. After doing some research, I found a rupee. Yep. After getting on Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm tired of these freaking twitching tremors. What the heck they are? Jeez, having seizures. Well, that's what you get for uh, not getting on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. If you don't get on Twitch, you get Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> Twitch. You open up a, a treasure chest and it just says, you got Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, so you have to lift up this uh, chandelier platform. Yeah. This Castlevania chandelier. I should dress like a pirate and wear the puffy shirt and swing off a chandelier. Oh, All right. What's in her? Yo. Whoa. Bro, bro. Mini boss time? I guess. No, this ain't the mini boss. Never mind. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> that dramatic <laughs> end. <laughs> that. What the fuck was all that? <laughs> that dramatic. I'm here. That dramatic intro, and then, boom. And then Tom five. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the mini boss though, and definitely not. You'll, we'll know that. That was for sure. the mini bitch. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I think the mini boss is right after the big door after we defeat the four poes. That's it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a nice uh, looking weird snake thing. Yeah. Um, Reminds me of one of those eight ancient statues where it has a woman with like eight arms or whatever it was. And not Medusa. I don't uh, know. Whatever. Chakra? Chakra? I don't know. The Shaykhan? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Shao Kahn. Yeah. I think I the fourth pole. We have Tomb Raider. But... Yeah. I think the fourth pole is in here. Yeah, it's like Zelda I... meets Tomb Raider here. Damn it. Fucking hate dog. Oh no. Alright, watch out. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. Kick Come on, asses. Pete. Come on, Pete, get him. Which uh, what are you one? doing? Uh, setting there save states? What's going on? Dang it, fail. You gotta find out which, which one's the real one. I don't know, just attack them all. You know, because you can only attack the real one. Yeah, but uh, just go crazy, and the more times <laughs> you attack, one out of four times, you're gonna be correct. Yeah. Just go. Rah, 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 rah. What are you, Mr. Ratio? Maybe. I knew a guy named Horacio, and this white girl could not get his name right. Uh, Horatio, is my food ready? Jeez. Was she hot? Yeah. Well, then, uh, she should have been talking to me. <laughs> okay, I, was, I thought she was going to say, well, she can call me anything she wants. All right, so there's a fourth post, so now we go back to the main entrance and or the main room, and then light the fourth torch and proceed. I don't... You, you see... All this collection bullshit. Yeah, this well, is, uh, is not. I mean, this is yeah. like epic foreshadowing of mobile games. Uh, the tentacle <laughs> was the uh, the blinding force behind mobile games. This is Zelda Go. Collect. You gotta collect everything. Collect. 
keep collecting. Yeah, collect. He got one hundred collect. Damn. Yeah. No. Damn it. Yeah. This was uh. Damn it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Collect castle. <laughs> collect castle. Yeah. You gotta call collect and <laughs> fail. Mm-hmm. All right, there's the big door. It's opened. Now we will go and go further into the dungeon and get ready for the mini boss battle. Okay, for a second I thought that was the mini boss. I was like, what? no, no, not quite. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Wow. Whoa, jeez, watch out. You just said, like, uh, like, fuck climbing down, I'm just gonna, uh, Right, yeah. I was watching a, a channel on YouTube a couple days ago, uh, it was, like, talking about Die Hard, and, like, how many times Bruce, uh, damn it, not Bruce, whatever his damn name is. John McClane. Uh, yeah, John McClane. Uh, actually would have died in Die Hard. And that just reminded me of that. <laughs> yeah. It was like, yeah, that would have been a death right there. John McCain? Well, that guy's, uh, he's powered by some evil spirit, so that, that doesn't even count. Probably. What's some evil spirits in this dungeon? That's right. Oh, let me go again the spikes. Yeah, those are uh, boss spikes. All right. Now, see, this part makes sense to be the damn dog, whatever. Yeah. yeah that's what humans can't do. You don't have that sixth sense. No, I'm not saying it for that point. It's just like... I don't like dogs, and so I don't like... <laughs> Jeez. You're hit by the spikes. Well, I don't care. Not all dogs like Pete. Well, all dogs go to heaven. Yeah. Dogs lives matter. Anyway. Oh, no. Not this again. Kill him before he streams. Ah, dang it. Yeah. Oh, dang, I thought I had, well, is he freaking dead? Dead-ish. Finally, jeez. Well, yeah, they, yeah, they do have that attribute of, like, an ocarina of time. The, ah! And you set him on fucking fire, you play the, the song of... Sun or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> the song of sun. Whatever yeah. the fuck it is. The song is of uh you know what I forgot to anyway. <laughs> See? Well I know it's not song of sun. Gee. Well, I was just thinking fire and the sun is on Prelude fire. Prelude of light or something like that, yeah. No no yeah. wait. Dang it. <laughs> I don't know, just uh well throw the ocarina away and just fucking piss on him. Post a comic because we forgot this I can't believe it. The Sun Song. Okay, you know what? You're you're kind of right. Sun Song. Boom! Whoa. No, you said Song of Sun. So? Son of Sam, or whatever you I'm were trying to say. <laughs> and I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. Well, drunk people tell the truth. Six out of ten, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, we're coming to the cool part here in a second. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. This really bugs me. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, Ratchet and Clank part again. Freaking mold apartment. All the roaches over here come out everywhere. Jeez. This will teach him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. Jeez, oh, God, the bombs take forever on them. It's like, wow. Yeah, jeez, man. It's like army grenade. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no, not Jeff again. Jeez. Jeff, go back to sleep. I didn't mean to disturb you. 
I don't see any chair. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You you destroyed my shop. And, you know, yeah. and, and, oh! You got the Your Coco. Think... <laughs> your Coco's local. All right, so the mini boss battle. Yeah, geez, like, they haven't even got through half the dungeon yet. Ugh. Man. Damn it, Ronnie. Well, it's not my I don't fault. know why I'm get... you. Uh, you're the only one here, so I had to blame you. Well, I had to, I tried to get we guy who's supposed to be here, but he didn't show up at home like he said he would. So it's hard to have playful banter here. Well, you know, he has an actual YouTube career, and you know, yeah, we're, that's we're, right, yeah, yeah, we're YouTube losers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm proud to be a YouTube loser. I right. love it. Yep, Und the underground YouTube community. That's right. Oh, a door opens slowly, which means something must be behind it. Well, maybe, maybe not. Stupid water bugs, jeez. It ain't summertime. You should be able to jump on them. Or, like, he at least step on them. I don't think it, no, it don't work to just jump on you. See? I have a water bug at Water Burger, J Man's favorite place. You. Thanks. Oh, this is annoying. They don't hurt yeah, you. They slow you. Roll. You should be able to roll right over them. You can roll them oh, off you, but it's hard. Yeah. Like it, they slow you down, and it could cause you to, you know, get hit by enemy or sink in the sand. And jeez, freaking like creepy in too. Like that Ratchet Clank game I was talking about, uh, like the the creatures like actually eat you to death. Yeah. Here we go. Finally. Uh. This Mini boss battle. Eat you to death. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's let's cut strings. Let's uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, There's no strings legit. attached. I'm playing this game legit. Damn it! Damn it! What? Wait a minute! Whoa! We're fighting the boss from Donkey Kong Country 2, Cleaver Kiln, Cleavage. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, the the uh. Ancient Sword of Doom. Yeah. Oh! Ah, you missed. Oh. Damn, you got cut. Man. Whoa! Oh, okay, there's a driving force behind it. It's a giant Poe or giant ghost. Come on, get him, Pete. Yeah, okay, uh, that was, uh... Okay. Yeah. Oh great! Now we have the uh, the first Ganondorf. Fucking I know, right? Yeah, this reminds me of. Yeah, you gotta hit the arrow to make it fall down, then go into the hits. Oh wait, you hit it twice to make it fall down. Oh, so they updated it. Oh, okay. That that brings back the originality. Yeah. <laughs> The Castlevania stuff here. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look horrible. at that. Have a curse. Look at that perfect aim. You know, technically, the jump slash is not the most effective attack. It's actually that that get in and that j -j -j -j, you know little stab thing. Yeah. I watched uh, too much uh, Runner Guy twenty. Or whatever the hell his name is. Whoa. This is some Dracula Castlevania stuff. What the heck? Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Who would win out of Dracula and Ganondorf? Dracula. Probably so, unless that Ganon having the Triforce of Power can really help him overpower Dracula. Yeah, but Dracula doesn't truly die. He just well, comes back. Ganondorf. No. Oh, I got some spinner rims. Look at that. Yeah, you got like a... You got one of those uh, cereal bowls that don't spill. <laughs> what? Oh, man. They're out there. I'm, I'm not kidding. Well, are you a serial killer? Maybe. This is cool right here. Forget skateboarding. Right. Tony, forget oh, Tony yeah, Hawk. 
No, you gotta ride the rails. Right. Exactly. Forget Tony Hawk to do Lynx uh, Pro uh, Spinner Championship, whatever the heck you. Yeah, we're going to have uh, 1989 Skip Rogers. Zelda meets Skate or Die here. Except you're not skating, you're spinning. I beat this game. Back in my day, when you have video games. I used to beat this game so fast, you make your head spin. Why don't you, uh. The. Yeah, okay. I don't know, quit, quit putting a spin on everything. Right, don't put a negative spin on this LPJ, man. Hey, uh, yeah, that's all I can do. Yo, DJ, spin that! Didn't Eminem do like a Zelda freestyle rap or something? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I think I saw that one time, like, years ago. Ouch! I haven't, I don't know, I haven't listened to that guy since like 2003 or something. Yeah. Since 8 Mile? Yeah, around that time. A little bit later. Like yeah. Superman and stuff. I can't yeah. beat your Superman. Whoa, this is cool. Whoa, look out for the spinning spikes. Oh, what's this? Uh, rubies. Oh, good. Piece of heart. Piece of cake. Yeah, just a piece of heart. You see? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Hey. Oh no! Leave me alone, douchebag. Anyway. You see what a piece of heart gets you? Oh, this guy needs to leave me alone. <laughs> Creeper, stalker. Passion, spice by spikes. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta have a whole heart. Right. Oh, watch out right here. Oh, oh. Nice. Look at the moves. Oh, the boss key. Right, here we go. That's a treasure chest. Here we go. The oh. boss key. <clears throat> big nice. key. A big. Dang it. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Well, you know what really grinds my gears? These Castlevania gears here. Yeah, it's like I don't, it's like a weird form of jerking off. I don't know why I talk about that so much, but no, well, you're a jerk. Off. Oh, off. What, are you from New York? Um, no, no, that's uh, that's Green. <laughs> no, he's from Jersey, but I guess same thing. Anyway, precisely. Yeah. Precisely. Well, you know, he didn't uh, have us killed, so it's all good. Yeah. All right. Look at that. He's a DJ. He's spinning that. I don't know. It just looks stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you mean, but... Still something cool and different in the Zelda game. Dang. Whoa. We can't do that in real life. <laughs> Gimmick. Well, yeah, it has to be a gimmick. The gimmicks are used to get things over. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's Finally. All right, here we go. For the main event. Dun dun. <laughs> What's gonna happen, Jr.? Whoa, it's the, it is a, was it a Castlevania boss. No, that was a big buffalo. Never mind, or bull, whatever it was. Oh shoot! It's the Zant. That's Zant. Oh. Oh, we mean oh. That guy's that guy's badass. No, oh, I. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't played this game for over ten years, so. <laughs> I can't beat Zant. Oh, yeah, man. like uh -oh. a uh, fish head lord or something. I don't know, whatever. 
Uh oh. Ronnie Van Zant. Yeah. So I guess you're gonna have to fight uh, like a dragon, dead dragon word thingy. Yeah, this is probably uh, dead Ridley. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> It's, um, something. It's right, Fossil Star-Lord. Star Star -Lord. Star -Lord. Time to oh, stop stalling here and get this battle on. Man, this, yeah. This is a pretty fun Heavy boss battle here. Heavy metal music going on. Yeah, took me a while to figure this out, but pretty cool boss battle. Judas cool. Priest. Huh? Judas Priest. Yeah. Pretty cool boss battle. These uh, metal soldiers or whatever block you away from getting to the weak yeah. point sometimes. Yeah, they're uh, they're the metal gear. Yeah, plus you gotta watch out for the rolling grinder or whatever it is, it knocks me off. The rolling spit oh, see. Oh. The rolling I'm just gonna quote Nintendo games. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, Super Spike v -ball. It's a great game. Yeah, see this part right here? Ran out of gas right there or something. Come on! Oh, ah, fail. No, uh, uh, Friday the 13th. It was Friday 13th, about a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. Dang it, we should have started LP on Friday 13th because of that. No, not really, but... All right. Yeah, see, this uh, takes a while because you got to get to the... We, that, that happens right there. BS. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, Dino Wars. Right? Ah, oh, man. Classic, classic sc 2 game. Yeah. Boo, come on. Freaking no neo Nazi pirate skeletons blocking blocking my way. Boo, <laughs> move out the way. Okay, well, you got another chance. There Boom. Move, snitch. Get out the way. Yep. You're not so tough Wait, now. It, no, hell no. Nah. Nah. That's the epic boss yeah. battle. Oh, hell no. Oh, fuck that. That's bullshit. One hit. Get me in. One hit? That was like three or four hits. Okay. One fucking bullshit. That was uh -huh. three or four hits. What are you talking about? Ooh. How stupid are you? You know what? Stupid enough to sit here for 45 minutes. <laughs> going on here you mean this battle's not over what's going on here king oh this is this is every jr i mean ah i oh, told god. you good god you apparently there's Whoa. a hidden camera is a hidden camera it's on his mouth ah they don't push me off douche uh, that's what you get i told you i get for what all right, here's the uh, here's a rendition of the old uh, one of the old boss battle songs in Ocarina of Time. Thanks for your father, Dodongo. I forgot. No, it's when you fight oh. Volvaga, whatever his name was. I think. You know, I actually remember this part uh, from playing the game, like this part specifically. Ooh, I bust him in the mouth. What? Uh. What? What? Why do you keep putting yourself? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to do that on purpose. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Dang it, you fail. Well, whatever. Making progress. Uh oh, watch out. He's a little bit hard right here. Got a little. Uh, yeah. ECW. In ECW. 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 
Dang it, where's he at? Come on, coward. Ooh. That was a close one. There he is. There you go. Did you jump? Jump! I fell. <laughs> Come on, jump! Like I said, did you jump? Jump! Did you jump? That should have taken. That should have taken like five hearts away. Yeah. I'm starting to lose heart here. I don't know if I can beat this. Nah, you got it. Or save stage or something like that. Safe stage, yeah. Yeah, whatever I said. Uh, uh, Freaking uh, shots out. <laughs> With rockets. All right. Oh. oh. Boom. Boom. Tough at internet. Boom. Emerald. Dang it. Stop putting your sword in your sheath. There you go. Nice. E C W E C W. Grab that shit like a boss. Oh, yep. that was a nice sword put away. Yeah. <clears throat> like a boss. So now we get to get the Mirror of Twilight, which we will do in part 20. Oh, thankfully. Yep. Let's roll on out of here. And we'll see you guys in part 20. Until then, God bless. Take care. Peace out. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 20. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs and BioPhoenix. Here we go again. Yep. Yep, and now we're, we're going gonna to get the mirror of ECW. <laughs> so I take it you watched the Royal Rumble that happened recently? Yeah, kind of disappointed. Oh, yeah. But at least Reigns didn't win. <laughs> I'm not really a Reigns hater. I just don't didn't want him. He, he he did not need to win the Royal Rumble. If I remember right, wasn't it Randy Orton that won? Yeah, he, yes. he didn't need to win either, but it was a nice swerve in the end, at least. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he's actually still wrestling because I don't know. I just never really hear anybody talk about him. Yeah. Anymore. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he was one of the few ones that I remember that actually wasn't too bad. He's like, yeah. kind of like what, kind of like what Jim Cornette said about Triple H. He's not the guy that draws the money. He's the guy that works with the guy that draws the money. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, nice. These speaking of wrestling, these heels right here that try to jump the face just got pwned. <laughs> <laughs> now to get the mirror of Twilight. Ah, oh, this is cool right here. This item. Oh, I love that thing. Yeah. I uh, hope it spins one way and Link spins the other. Yeah. Yo, DJ from S2K, spin that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wish you can use that item, like, no matter where you are, but you can't. Yeah. Well, it that cool one, you can't. Like, it just won't do much. Well, well, you can. You can ride it anywhere you want, but I just, uh... It specializes in uh, that what we're doing right here, riding ride the rails, as Skip would say. Well, shit, it's broken. Oh, what the heck, man? It's just a chain reaction here to a bunch of broken stuff. Fail. The Boulevard uh, of Broken Dreams? Well, if the mirror's broken, wouldn't that mean there'd be like seven years bad luck? Yeah, Link's that way another seven years to be sealed up in time before he can do anything. Oh, man, there we go. <laughs> oh, now she's going to get pissed. <gasps> it's like one fucking corner. <laughs> right. 
Oh, oh man. I really, I really did used to believe that too. If you broke a mirror, you get seven years of bad luck for real. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of believed it too. Nah, I laugh in the face of danger. Whenever I see a ladder, I walk under it. Yeah, I, I used to really believe in all superstition. These guys are weird looking. Yeah. I like how their faces are not attached. They're like masks. Yeah, the fucking plane uninvited here. <laughs> He? Only he possesses. I wonder who that could be. Whoa. His name is. Oh. Da, 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 da. Whoa. Ganondorf. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. What? Uh, Ganondorf. I never well, there's a big surprise. Ganondorf <laughs> is behind all this. I haven't been shocked I since I, I haven't been this shocked since I played Mega Man 6 and found out Mr. X was not the main antagonist. <laughs> <sighs> Good God, King Ganondorf the whole time? What? That, it was me, Austin. <laughs> it was me, Link. It was me all along. That that's gotta be that's gotta that's gotta be Gettendorf. That's gotta be Gettendorf. I do like the way he looks in this game. He actually looks fierce. Yeah. 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 The classic Gettendorf theme. Oh, they stuck it to him. <laughs> Michael Cole, wait, wait a minute, King, what? what? He's still alive. Uh oh. He's still alive, King. Uh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> so by some divine prank, the gods granted some evil person power. But what? Yeah, that's one hell of a prank. Good job, gods. You had one job. Oh. Well, without evil, there can be no good, right? Holy <laughs> shit! Oh Jody, I need you to come in here and whop someone. <laughs> yeah, right? Wait a minute, King! That, that must be the Mirror of Twilight! So the last ditch effort. <laughs> there was my sword. <laughs> ah! What happened to a Michael Cole? Great movie. Yeah. Oh. That'd be a good Halloween mask to wear. <laughs> and now the mirror of ECW has been broken. We must look for the shards throughout the wrestling business. One in ECW <laughs> Arena, the other in uh, the Georgia Dome, the other <laughs> at uh, the uh, Alamo Dome. <laughs> but there's none in the impact zone because no one cares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You must destroy Heimendorf. <laughs> Let me guess. More dungeons to go to. It's almost like a formula. Like half the Zelda games, they do this. You start out by having to find three something, and then after doing that, you find out that there's a big plot twist and all that, and then you gotta find something else for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. Come on, so Mega Man. Uh, another Mega Man reference, like you get through 
one bad guy's castle and there's another castle to go through. Yeah. Although now they're going to be changing that with the newer ones, so it seems. Huh. Yes, drastically. Yes. I've been wanting them to. I've been wanting them to do that for years, but at the same time, I have to put myself in a different mindset, a different type of gameplay style when I play this one. So instead of Ganondorf, there's gonna be some guy with bad breath. <laughs> and, uh, to me personally, I I prefer Ganondorf as the heel all the time because I I love Ganondorf as a, as a bad guy. He's awesome. That's one of the reasons. It why is Ganon in Breath was, of the Wild. Uh, well, see, Except well, now they're calling him. They're, they're calling him Calamity Ganon. You just spoiled. You, you just spoiled everything for every. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but like, <laughs> it was in the trailer. Oh, okay. Well, see, they shouldn't have done that. I mean, I know it's obvious. It's most likely going to be Ganondorf. I'm surprised they named the villain in the trailer. They didn't do that to Twilight Princess. I guess because they wanted Zant to be known as the main antagonist and then Swerve, even though we all pretty much. Well, knew. in this new one, there's like a huge backstory going into it, and apparently the backstory itself has been revealed, but I'm avoiding it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no, I don't blame you on that. So, where in the Book of Historia does that timeline. Where does that game fit the timeline? <laughs> Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out next week on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Vince McMahon, along with Jared the King. Shut up, man. Your toupee is getting receding hairline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you failed, McMahon. Fuck Come on. Come you have yeah. Uh, thank you, pardon? One, two. He's got him. Oh, no. Two count. Oh, come on, Link. What a maneuver. I don't know. Link's All I know the boat it comes and you're on. <laughs> yeah, all I know when it comes to like the Zelda timeline, it just seems like they're going like even farther back. Um, like with the story. I was wondering... Skyward Sword was the earliest I think they could possibly get. Majora's yeah. Mask, Majora's Mask is a great game, but I didn't particularly like it compared to the other Zeldas. And one of the reasons why is because Gandorf was not the boss, it was some mask. I'm like, <laughs> real creative. Uh, well, I Oh, go on. I love that game. And one of the reasons why I love it is because of how different and dark it is. Yeah, I... This is the kind of darkness I like. The Twilight Princess darkness. The Majora's Mask darkness isn't, didn't quite do it for me. I think Majora's Mask is alright, but uh, the, the only thing I don't like is the... Uh, hey! <laughs> Sorry, Chris. I'll say real quick. See? How does he know Link Wolf? Link Wolf, how does he know that's him? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what were you saying, Chris? I was saying that, like, with Majora's Mask, it's a, it is a, a good game, but I just don't like time limit in it. Yeah, me and But Jamie I do like a lot of the other things about it, though. Yeah, me and Jamie weren't a big fan of the, the three-day uh, thing, but the moon was awesome, especially when it got closer and closer to you and you witnessed it destroy the Earth. That was pretty cool. Well, we got we got lucky over here, because from what I understand, the original Japanese version, you could not save at those owl statues. The only way to save, period, was to travel back to the first day. Oh, that would yeah, suck. Dumb. Alright, so back to this ambient Hyrule field music again. Oh. John Cena haters now firing at John Cena for winning the belt for the 16th time. <laughs> for like a millionth time. <laughs> the Legend of Cena. Breath of the uh, title. I don't know. <laughs> Breath of the title? <laughs> that makes sense. Breath of the... No, forget that. The Legend of Dreamer. Breath of the East. Breath of the Mark. <laughs> Breath of the Mark, yeah. You know, remember back in the so you day... you got no the... problem trans transporting in front of those guys. Yeah, well, I guess because they're enemies. Um, but yeah, like I was going to say, remember the old the SmackDown games? You SmackDown, know your role, then shut your mouth, and here comes the pain, then uh, just bring it. If, if oh, they yeah. kept on doing that today, I bet you there'd be a game called You Can't See Me. SmackDown, you can't see me? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Or SmackDown, the champ is here. I bet you there would be one called that. Oh, probably. They could do a commercial where Cena would be like, there are as many games as title reigns for me. Right, yeah, yeah. 
if Flair was still able to really go in the ring and be active in storylines, that would be a good feud. He, he he congratulates him and then turns on him and gives him a low blow. You think you can tie my record? You're not worth it. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, I would love to see after he wins number 17, because it's going to happen, you know it, Flair come out and tell the truth. Say, you know, this company says I only won 16, but I'll have you know I've won more than that. And just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> and then they have John Cena beat that. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, like... No, uh, we, we, we got to start Roman Reigns on his trek to 16. Yeah. Now, there's a, there, there's a picture on Twitter... Rick Flair posing with Cena, congratulating him. That was supposed to be done on TV, but I forgot what happened. Time constraints or something, so they didn't have Flair come out and do it. I wonder if Flair, deep down, I guess trying to be a good sportsman and not be a hater and realize it's fake anyway, he probably doesn't really care. I think the fans care more than Flair does. Oh, probably, yeah. With the amount of times that the women's title was switching back and forth for a little while, some fans are wondering if they want if they want to eventually have Charlotte be a 16-time women's champion. Yeah, I think that's what they're going for because she won what three times already. But like I said on Facebook the other day, it's like look how many titles Cena has won in let uh, just a little over 10 years in the same company. That really shows you how much of a hot potato all these titles are now. Yeah. And some people will say, well, is it okay for Flair to win it 16 times? Well, he defended it in different territories back then. The wrestling was different back then. Plus, Flair, how awesome he was, it's believable for him to win it that many times. He had great matches with pretty much every single guy he defended it against. And I, I think every single one of them, with very few exceptions, ended up better because of it, whether they won or lost. Yeah, he also wrestled a man that was asleep. Literally, he wrestled. <laughs> Kerry Von Erich fell asleep during their match, and he was still wrestling with him as if <laughs> it looked like he was really wrestling with him. So that proves that Rick Flair can have a wrestling match with a broomstick. <laughs> Didn't he, like, take his jacket off once and start fighting with that? Yeah, he would normally, like, t take his jacket off and bounce off the ropes, do an elbow drop or a knee drop, then get back on the microphone and start yelling again. <laughs> What is this? Is this the 17th world title? Nope. 100 rupees. Well, at least you can fit them in your pocket this time. Yeah. Yeah. On the one hand, I like how this game, it'll leave them in the chest if you don't have enough room. But the completionist in me and the dungeons that wants to open every chest, it drives me crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to be like the game completionist? Uh, he does some things that I I, can, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I take it, I take it you're refer referring to uh, Gerard or whatever his name is. I think Gerard so. Khalil, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see him and we got doing that. We got a perfectionist. How's that Lala doing, honey or Illa, whatever her name is? Well, honey, uh, uh, shut up! I want to talk to these people over here, not you. <laughs> Things about to get cold up in this beer's edge. Yep. Hey, Russell. Sean Connery? Oh, wait. <laughs> Sean Connery? <laughs> Shy Link, you're alive and well. You cannot die, McCloud. <laughs> you beat Arbiter's Grounds. <sighs> oh, shit. You must find the Princess Zelda. The Sages. That are first oh, mirror in the Arbiter's Grounds. Yeah. It sucks that he quit acting. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he is old. Yeah, but he still, he still could have kept going. It was just he quit because of that one movie he did, like, pissed him off or something. I don't know about that. Oh, it was the... What was that movie? The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Oh, yeah. I just know... Um, oh, yeah, I've heard... Yes, right. I was thinking, when you said that, I was thinking of the, the League of Extraordinary Gamers. Or the League of Extraordinary, uh, whatever that group is called, with uh, Wade Barrett and Rusev and Sheamus and whoever else it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, League of Nations. League of Nations. Yeah. League of Jobbers. Yeah. 
there's not three men in this business that can go toe to toe with us. I, I can't do Barrett's accent, but then that's when Austin Foley and Shawn Michaels came out with their ass. I was there for that. That was epic. <laughs> Sheamus can freaking blind you with his skin. Yeah. Oh, oh, you see that? That's BS. Link would be dead. <laughs> Link in any be other game, he'd be dead. Who are you playing as? John Cena? I mean, Super Cena here, Super Link? Uh, John Cena did that. Oh, wait. Oh, he just missed. AJ's going for the cover. One, two. Cena kicked out at two. <laughs> I can see Jeff Hardy like jumping off something like that. Right, yeah. The Swanton Bomb, except he doesn't tuck his chin in in time. Oh. Yeah. You know, speaking of Cena, why, when he hit the first AA in that match, why did he, like, like try to do, like, a Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero roll through and then do another one? I thought that was weird. I guess to put emphasis on it, saying this is it, and yep, I thought he had it when he did it off the top turnbuckle, and AJ kicked out. I'm like, yes. You can't follow a shooting with a stabbing. Right. Well, what the? Oh, that's uh, one of the other hello. one of the other uh, members of that uh the committee. Well, <laughs> hello there. I'll show you my sword if you show me yours. It's a little cold out here. Why don't I just warm you up? <laughs> are you warm, 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 are you warm, warm up to me link <laughs> hey baby uh, you want to chill uh, uh, Zelda Zelda and chill uh, yeah 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 let's climb to the top of the mountain yeah 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 yeah, yeah that's the mountain I like to climb uh, uh, god I even sound like Luna when I do that yeah yeah Saber yeah Saber here's the a Ashy is that her name Ashy's that sounds like a ghetto name, like some girl that had ashy legs. Yo, Ashy. <laughs> it's a Petra sketch. Ashley Banks? <laughs> Not Sasha Banks. I can't even see the path through this blizzard, eh? Alright, so now we got the map to where the, uh, the snow temple, whatever's next. Ooh, Snow Peak Ruins. Ah, oh, yeah, Snow Peak Ruins. Don't ruin the fun for me. This is where you get to go link boarding. What? Play Jenga? What? Oh, wait, she sketched the red fish. Is that right? Red it was like a monster fish. holding a fish. Oh, yeah. Prince Robbins. That's right. That's the fish we rescued. I love their heads. <laughs> yeah. We know. Yeah, beautiful part of the game. Oh yeah. I know we've been before. I love the Zora theme. Yeah. Well, oh, hey there. Uh, Go fishing, uh, yeah. fishing. Uh, I yeah. see you have fins. I have fins too. Hey, yeah, me too. Ah, no, you don't, deal hole. Shut up, butthead. Neither do you. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what if we close our eyes and pretend he's a chit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to love to watch episodes of Jamie and Wee. I mean, uh, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> we got Wee Weavis and Jamie. Uh, J Head fail. J head. <laughs> <laughs> that made no sense. We did a let's play of that back in 2015. I think it was Shane's plug. Oh, the um, the Beavers and Butthead game. Yeah, for SNES. Yeah. Oh well, that's the better that, one. That, so. Yeah. All right, and cool. We got to swim up the waterfalls just like you do in uh, Oracle Seasons. Princess and Prin Another Princess Child Ru Rock. Prin Princess nice Ru reference there. Princess Ruda, 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 Ruda Ruler, or Ruda, whatever her name was. Yeah, just. Ruda Ruder. <laughs> Ruda Ruder. Ru, ru, yeah. <laughs> she sprung on Link. Sprung a leak. Wait, whoa. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Like she wanted, she wanted to uh, marry Link. Yeah, some fish is going on there. All right, so look at the map here. Lene, Lene, Lene Province. 
As Jamie say, crack, we're going to Crackhead Village. Oh no, the Crackhead Village. Yeah. Uh, he cracks Too me up. Too bad Dompe's not in this game anymore. Oh yeah, Dompe? Yeah. I thought I said Dante. I'm like, what? Dante from Devil May Cry. Yeah, Dante's, <laughs> Dante's Inferno. What? Who's that? Whoa. No, it's me, Link. Send the midget out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I just transformed to a human right in the middle of public. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Don't roll to the grave, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go back to the Zora Princess or the Zora Queen's grave here. I have a hunch that the prince is. Yep, there he is. I have a hunch because I played this game before. Hey, do you look my hat? Yeah, I'm the one that saved your ass. I know you're mourning your mother and all, but I need a favor. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to tell you, your mom's dead. No, <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> He looks like a munchkin from Munchkin Land, painted silver. I don't realize, <laughs> how, I don't realize how little he was to now, like, because you saw him on his deathbed in previous parts of the game, and here he's like, oh yeah, that's forgot he is a child. Cool eyes, though. That thing on the top of his head is like moving on its own. Yeah. It must be a reek fish. That fish must reek of awesomeness. Be Edge's favorite fish. <laughs> and now for the benefit of flash photography. Yeah. <laughs> we call this five second pose the Zora flush. And they flush down the toilet. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, the core earring. Well, then give it to me then. Yeah. Nice. I think it would hurt getting stabbed by that. Yeah, right? They'll get you hooked. <laughs> I love this beautiful music right here. What was this from Ocarina Time again? The Serenade of Water? Yes. That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I was doing that, but... <laughs> We're here with Porky Pig. <laughs> Mother and child rocks in the waterfall basin near my village. Fish are red, bodies are blue. Like this game is easy W. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, so let's go fishing. What if I caught one of those other those Zoras instead? <laughs> Whoa, you caught a hundred pound fish. To go further. This one's a real lunker. Yeah. <laughs> Fish on. Go right to her nipple. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well. Reek fish. 25 inches. It reeks. <laughs> Alright. Transpire one back to a wolf and warp back to... Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, what the... The pose scent. Oh, the reek fish scent. What? I smell pretty bad. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at it. <laughs> it's like flopping in the flopping in the flopping. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, this, this LP flopped. Man, this always a pretty cool. Never mind that there's a wolf with an imp girl. You know, <laughs> just wadding through the water. Yeah. It's like, yeah, pff, that's everyday shit. <laughs> yeah. The guards like I don't know. I don't want to know. Back at Snow Peak. So do we get to go link boarding now? Uh, not quite yet. Well, oh. we could turn the hose on him. <laughs> yeah. There's the ice caps from 
Ocarina of Time and Jabu Jabu's domain, wherever it was. Yeah, Jabu Jabu. Yeah. It's possible, sort on Swordless Link's channel when he was playing through Ocarina of Time, it's actually possible, as Adult Link when it's frozen over, to act, get inside Jabu Jabu's belly because the loading zone is actually still there underneath the ice. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Well, what? Okay, welcome to Snow Dogs for the GameCube, where you play as <laughs> GameCube Gooding Jr. What is this, day after tomorrow? <laughs> Is it Dances with Wolves? No, this is good. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen it, I just always heard about it. I've seen it years ago, but I can't remember much about it. I like Snow Dogs. It was pretty good for what it was. Freaking Ice Wolves, I think, a bag from Mokarina Tom. I love how no matter how much danger he's in, he always makes sure he shows you what he got. Yep, because time freezes when you hold up an item, so I'm gonna start doing that in real life. If I if I feel like I'm in danger and someone's coming after me, I just wanna hold up something, they'll put stuff in the In Wind Waker, I believe when you get when your grandmother gives you the green tunic, you the camera cuts away from Link when he shows it to you, back to her, and it's it shows him like from a different angle holding it up, like in the real world he was actually doing that. <laughs> 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 Remember when he went into the fishing hut? He's like, oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> what part <laughs> was that? Oh, I don't remember. We've done so many. Man, it might have been part thirteen or fourteen, whatever. By Phoenix is one of those where in like late Halia was doing some grinding and fishing with bonus games, and Link walks in. Yeah. Link walks in in that fishing hut and his face is like, <laughs> so he's so he's so mesmerized with seeing all the fish stuff or something. I don't know. That's like me if I walked into a uh, a game store. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I told the story already. I worked with a girl that reminds me of Agatha. Oh really? <laughs> and I showed her. She goes, Ronnie, that's not me. And she, she was sorting out silverware. She goes, I'm standing to a bunch of knobs here, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, anyway, I look like you, but it kind of sounds like the personality. Hi! <laughs> I'll be taking I'll be taking it. <laughs> yeah, she has that voice. She has Agatha's voice for sure. About the same height as Agatha, too. <laughs> a bunch of ice bats around here, wherever they are. Yeah, we're, we're, we're about to come upon what, I don't know if it's my favorite dungeon in the game once you get inside of it, but like the ambience around it, I, I would just really, really love the next dungeon. Yeah, I really like it too, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, oh cool. I also like the item that you get in it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, I wasn't expecting that for sure. Yeah. Okay, this part of the game reminds me of the snow section in Majora's Mask. Oh, Snowhead Temple? I think so, yeah. We fought a giant buffalo blizzard, I forgot. Goat? Yeah. A goat, the greatest of all time? <laughs> time to, to learn another song. So where are we at right here when this happens? Like, let's look like we're in the alternate dimension here. I guess it's like an over, uh, it overlooks all of Hyrule. I think it's supposed to be symbolic. Because right there is the snow section we're at. Then behind, right there, that's the Goron Mines. We transcend time itself. Yeah. Oh, well, let's see, we're going to have to do some Doctor Who shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. This song right here has a different beat to it. Oh, but he spins around. Like, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Just follow your nose. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Thanks, Toucan Sam.
<laughs> you can't say them. Well, let me guess what's in here. More snow. Yeah, you know, more pose. Yeah, this game. You definitely... sounded like a redneck just then. More snow. <laughs> yeah, more snow. You sound like uh, the guy, the get good guy. Uh, more snow, f you. Yeah, get good, f you. More snow, more snow. Post for hose. Oh. <laughs> Post before hours. <laughs> I'm about to beat this hoe. <laughs> We're gonna have a hoe down. Yeah, that's definitely, um... <laughs> yeah, I love the handprints on the door. Don't slow down for the hoe down. I had his teacher, she's talking about, don't forget to fill out your permission forms. <laughs> As Bob Phoenix is typing up uh, something else to, to watch because this is boring. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's just someone just sent me a message, so I just wanted them to be a quick reply. <laughs> but, um... Oh, shit. Oh, another warp zone. Alright, there you go. <sighs> Whoa! What the heck is that? Hey! Looks like a giant snowball. It's Wait Bigfoot. I found him. That's it's not a one, snowball. It's one of the abominable snowmen. Yeah, the one from that. Um, what was it? That Rudolph the Red Nose cartoon thingy, yeah. bobber? Well, it's either. Uh, it's the one of the snowmen from the Mummy Three. Oh wait, that's the bum the bumble. That's Star Soldier. <laughs> I know like Mega Man 5. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man 5 is joke. That's a big fish. For some reason, I, pi I, I, I picture this guy with a voice like Andre the Giant. Yeah. Yeah, that would that would, that would make sense. Ganondorf is over! <laughs> Instead, he sounds more like Bastion Booger. <laughs> you come to house and see yourself. Remember the episode of Raw where Bastion Booger was just eating stuff in his face? Yeah. I'll do a commentary. Remember the monk that he oh, was before? Yeah. Friar Ferguson? <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Oh, Chris, it's time. Oh, yeah, link boarding. Yep. 3 a.m. We have to go, go do some link boarding. Is there a game called Snowboarder 1080 or something? Yeah, on the N64. 1080 snowboarding. Yep. Oh, cool. There's one on the GameCube it's... called um, 1080 Avalanche that's also really good too. Alright, nice. This is cool. Remember Cliffhanger on the NES who you actually like ski down on a dead body? <laughs> I never played that. I've seen gameplay of it and I do remember seeing that and I was like, oh wow. <laughs> that's the best part of the whole game. Yeah. They can't. They can't do that in the NES JR. Ah. Um. What was I gonna say? Whoa. Um. It's like I wonder if the game Cliffhanger has a cliffhanger. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we wait for the sequel to come out for years. Yeah, I think it was it um, Stallone that played in that movie Cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. Him and John Lithgow. Yeah. Do you remember the parody that Ace Ventura did of that movie? Um. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, get good, Ronnie. Get good. Jump cut. 
No, this is not a jump cut. This is me starting over. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, that's not me playing. Uh, someone else playing. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, oh this pet's here. And back here, there is a... There's somewhere up there, that little mountain right here. There's another Poe. Neither rain, nor Poe, no dead of night. You up there, you I don't idiot. know why I said that, I just felt like it. Are you writing a novel? No. <laughs> There's only <laughs> just a sentence. <laughs> Chris, what's up? Doing commentary with these idiots? What are you doing? Oh, um, yeah, I'm just, um, yeah, doing some commentary with, get people. <laughs> yeah. With Ron Blower and some guy, guy named, uh, My Michael Tidbits, or whatever. Tidbits. <laughs> Here's a tidbit of information, uh, was linked, just called another Poe here, was that number 40-something? It's like, what are you gonna do with all those souls? And give them to Ralph's Hour. Where you keep? Where you keep? Where you keeping them? Right. Well, I don't know. In like some sort of soul chambers, like Shane assumed and Freddy Krueger did. <laughs> well, time to learn a new skill here. Cause I forgot to do this earlier. So here we go. It's like, oh, I'm gonna fight you, even though I've done this like 20 times. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Your life may be forfeit. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't wanna. All right. But thou must. Now, come at me, bro. Come at you? All right. You say that every time. <laughs> yeah. The jump strike, I can do that already. Yeah. Let's fight to the death. I mean, fight. <laughs> I'm already dead inside. You can't kill me. <laughs> oh. Good thing I was like standing right here, or else I would have got my head cut off. Yeah. <laughs> so the snow like, How is it affected? It wasn't effective against me. Round one. Fight. Fight. Finish. <laughs> this is where Link got good for Soul Calibur. <laughs> Yeah, this is all the shit I had to go through to go join Soul Calibur. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, one more skill to go. Damn right, I'm endowed. <laughs> In doubt, in the roused hour, it fell. <laughs> what? In, ra in round, in Dow's hour. Jeff, roused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff will pop up in the next episode. We're doing a dungeon. He's bound to pop up out of some pot. Right. All here. right. Hey. Yep. So here's. Actually, oh. I don't know if that little guy's in this one. We'll find out the next part as we enter Snow Peak Ruins. And we'll next see time, that. I want to go now. Yeah. <laughs> well, too bad. We gotta go to bed now. Not up. Uh, yeah. And we'll see that in part 21. Till then, God bless. Take care. Yep. See you see guys. You.